Your, uh, your future daughter, Cindy Lou, okay, comes over and, um, you know, uh, or, you know what, let's do this even easier. Let's say your little son, Jack, comes over to you at 19 years old, and all things equal, Jack has the choice between two women. They both adore him. They're both beautiful. They both have what you would consider to be great virtues. But one of them had a past that was highly promiscuous, and the other one does not. Which one would you want Jack to end up with? Well, um, are you asking me? Because yeah. my, my personal opinion, like what I, what I would say is whichever one he felt like he wanted to pursue and whichever yeah, one. Yeah, but he says, but Mom, I can't decide. They both adore then me. Then neither. And I like them. I like <laughs> if you them can't both. decide yeah, who like you want to pursue, like then both, neither. Not right? They're both, they're both pursuing okay. me with rigor, right? If you I, had to make I the think it'd be a better, it better, it hang better. On, hang on, let me finish the question. Let me finish the question. I just <laughs> your let you question answer. doesn't make sense. No, I'll, I'll help it out. Does, it does. Well, hang on. It does make sense, right? So the, the question is, is that if they have the same current virtue, but not the same past, wouldn't you recommend that your son move for the one that has the same virtue as the other? but without all of the bear down of the past. I don't believe that the past has any relevance to the current. Yes, I just don't understand. Hold on, but hold on, just, but just, just to answer his question, <laughs> he's his asking face. you, he's asking you just in, actually try to engage with Well, that's, him. I mean, hold that's on, insane. Wait, what do you mean how, the past has no relevance? So we'll, we'll if, get to that. If, wait, if she was a felon that had no relevance, if, uh, if, you know, well, I mar if she I married blew, a if she blew felon, 100 so... guys, <laughs> if she blew 100 guys in a month long blow, blow dick affair, right? She had a blow dick a thon is that, is that, and she blew 100 called? guys a that would have no relevance to you whatsoever. Really? Go ahead. Tell me with a straight face that you're not lying to me. No. Tell me with a straight face that would have no relevancy yeah. to you yeah. whatsoever. No. No, you do think that. You're because, full like, of there's, shit. There's, full like, shit. There's consequences. Who the this fuck would, who would ever believe you that that would mean nothing no. to you for little Jack? You'd be like, you know, Jack, no don't way. worry about it. Sure, she sucked a hundred dicks in a blow He's dickathon. Move past it. Vulgar. Leave I'm the other shit. How do you get shit, invited you know? to the dickathon? Hold on. Because this stemmed from... <laughs> Like the advice to have girls wait and be less promiscuous. Well, because then he was talking to me. About okay, it. hold on, hold on. I, I do actually want to see if we can get an, Andrew, uh, an answer to Andrew's question. If you had to counsel your son, which do you pick? Well, I mean, as a mom, I'm sure I would prefer the one that was less promiscuous, but I truly believe that people can be reformed. People can. Uh, separate themselves from their past and start sure. anew, and that's from my own experience, and that's from my husband's experience. Well, we're, so no, that's, we're not doubting that so people that, that can is, be reformed. That's what, I ba that's what I base my answer off of. Yeah, but nobody's doubting that reform reformation is not only possible, but is key to the Christian ethic. But that does not erase your previous deeds. It does not erase your past. That just because you have been redeemed, the past no longer exists. For instance, you would agree with me that a who horribly people could be redeemed by Christ, right? Yeah, of course. Are we going to just suddenly forget that he? You don't forget. <laughs> you don't forget. Okay, about the past. No, but, it matters. But it is forgiven, and so when you. I didn't receive, say it's not forgiven. Receive, I said it matters. That's the point. Is that it matters? It's not that it's an equal thing across the board. That still took people, loved ones away from families. They still did. So horrible let me ask things. you, Andrew. Why does it matter to you so much? It, that a, a person has a past because Why I want to see my children. Various crazy if people I donated sixty-nine dollars. <laughs> Jesus forgives your past. Men don't. I got something here. I got something. So because look. Because if I had to counsel my children to answer your question directly, of course I'm going to counsel them to go with the person who has the higher virtue without the past because it shows a pattern of behavior that they've always moved towards virtue. It shows a pattern of behavior that they've always moved inside of that field of view. And so um, I'm not going to just dismiss a person's past behavior because their head was dunked in holy water and they say, now I've been saved. Christianity is a lifelong process. That's what theosis is. Your past is not suddenly erased. Mine isn't. Yours isn't. Nobody's is. That's why. And not only is that logical and consistent, but that's within the ethic itself as well. Redemption 
without works is no type of redemption at all. It can spend, see, you could take a lifetime to really repent for the horrible things that you did, like St. Mary of Egypt, for instance, who was a sex worker, promiscuous, spent the rest of her life in seclusion, in repentance. That's the type of thing that is redemption, not I got my head dunked and now my past is erased. That's insanity. Well, are you wait, looking, wait, hold are on, you... hold on. Question, question here. So, okay, do you think a man is wrong for not being willing to date a woman who perhaps she's changed, she's been redeemed, but despite this, she still has a past? Do you think a man is wrong for not wanting to date her because of her past? Absolutely not. I don't oh, think so then what are we arguing about? That? That's why I'm confused because, yeah. because well, I want to know why it's so important to Andrew. Because if you look at the fruit of a person's current life, if you look at if you look at the fruit of of the spirit, and you see that someone is you well, know, so then you do object to a man not wanting to date a woman with a so past. Wait, wait. So wait a second. So wait, you would uh, you you couldn't judge the fruit. You would have to ask your husband, right? <laughs> This is not a productive word. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, listen, I just want to know why it is that you wouldn't give a woman that has a past, you know, a chance if if she was trying to be different. Or I didn't say I wouldn't give that. them a chance. I didn't say that I okay. would not. Yeah, that was uh, me. I would okay. not. Hang on. I didn't <laughs> say that I would not adhere to the Christian ethic. What I said specifically is that if I was going to counsel my children, my children, which is the question that I asked you, and they were to come to me and say that a person had a very highly promiscuous past. They had had sex with tons of people. And, so, you know, last week or a year ago, they got their head dunked in what they perceived to be some holy water from the local heresy Protestant church and then said, hey, I'm reformed. Look at me. Everything's OK now uh, that I'm going to counsel them against that. And I'm going to tell them, no, that's not the fruits. Fruits are, are seen through works. That's how you see what the fruit is. Otherwise, how could you ever determine what the fruits are? In this particular case, here's what the fruits are. She was a or she was a loose woman. And in any case, this is counseled both ways in the Bible against both types of women, easy women and So yeah, it's gonna take a little more than, um, well, I just, I just got baptized last week, last month, last year, yeah, of before course. I give my blessing to my kid to marry somebody like that. I and I would question. think that you would counsel them the same way. Your past is not just erased. And I, I don't and I don't say that that's wrong and I don't I don't say that men should feel obligated to date a woman if they're uncomfortable with their past, whether their present life is like that or not. I don't think that that should be held against them because Yeah, but this is the wrong way to look at it. This is why we keep arguing, right? Because I'm saying she just they said there's shouldn't. No I'm saying that my advice would be you should not do that. Just because they're reformed and Christ has forgiven them doesn't mean it's a good idea for you to marry a former or a former promiscuous woman. Just because Christ has forgiven them, that's great. Then that's wh how that's would the you, path. How would, you, how would you preach that to a current Tell me. I would tell them you're going to have to live with what you did just like I would Dated tell a man. The TN donated $69. Andrew, your point about women hiding behind religion is valid. Your favorite logical fallacies are Marlboro red herrings, straw man, and false dilemma. If a woman can prove she's reformed, may. Andrew, you're yeah, about. What does that even mean? So anyway. Oh wait, hold, sorry. Various crazy people donated sixty-nine dollars. Born again Christian here. Former psycho man in the forest essay artist. Serial. <laughs> Oh. But you have to excuse my past. Dumb. <laughs> that is dumb. But back to this, <laughs> back to your point, because it's important. Um, your, your question uh, was asking me about forgiveness. Yes, of course they can be forgiven. They should be forgiven. And you ask me, well, wait a second. What would you say? I would say the same thing I would say to a man. You have to take accountability for what you did. That's part of the fruits you bear is accountability, especially under Christian ethics. That's what humbleness is about. It's part of accountability. I wish I would see more reformed who went over to the Christian ethic who said, I'm accountable for everything I did, and I'm going to spend my life making sure that all these wrongs I did were righted. But they don't do that. 
well, they like, go, that's, oh, I think that's well, what, I did these horrible wrongs, but now I'm safe. Don't judge me. We're disagreeing because you're talking about women that weren't actually born again. And I'm talking about women that were exactly. That's, no, you're that's, not. You're talking, we're talking about the same type of woman. You no. think, for instance, a or tomorrow could go to your church, whichever one it is that you go to, and the pastor could dunk her. She's saved, right? No, no. you can't just say that you're saved. You can't. You, I could say that I'm a freaking. Yeah. Okay. She gave her heart to Jesus. I'm sorry. She comes in. She says, I, "I." She throws herself down. She says, "Lord, forgive me." He dunks her. Okay. These now actions she's saved, right? She she has she saved. has she has been saved. Is that wrong? It. it Oh, she would know that because she would accept Holy Spirit into her life. Right, sure. Okay, Truthfully. so she knows so that the only been way saved. done that, the only way another then, person can know is by the fruit. That is the that's only right. way another yeah, person can know. The only way another know. person could know. You'll know is before by the, fruit. the fruit comes out. But yeah, but how other do you know? Won't know? How do you until you see How the would fruit you judge God? a woman okay. so the, the, who spent the, 20 years the, blowing men? The what ex, fruit does she need to produce? The ex would feel after you receiving the Holy Spirit an, an immense amount of shame. For, first and foremost, you would feel conviction in your heart for the first time. And that conviction would prompt you to listen. You can laugh all you want, but this is to do what? It would prompt you it would to prompt do what? you to want to change, reform and and take ownership and accountability for that past. Oh, however, I see. So, however, so for instance, they, if however, I could tell you that there's a former who exists right this second who's been sitting literally right where you're sitting right this second literally been sitting there yeah and she went and she got uh dunked at heresychurch.com and she went on a, a publicity sense. tour with her testament her testimonial to the world about how she has been reformed by christianity Okay, you would say that this has not been enough time given for us to really judge the fruit right <laughs> No, I, I think that, that telling the testimony and making a public, I guess, proclamation about your past and owning up to it and actively speaking a, about that testimony in, in front of people, in front of an audience, or you're saying this person is like, okay, um, talking in front of an audience. I think that that would be considered fruit. Right? No, would be, I wouldn't. I would consider. Would I would listening. consider that a person. I like. Uh, I like stone fruit. Just that. Uh, just that. Just oh, rolling yeah. through with your testament, your testimony you like doesn't plums? mean anything. That what I means something <laughs> is what you actually fruit is actions. do. Fruit is, is what you. Well, okay, but here's the fruits. The fruits are a lot more attention Damn, for you, now, and a, now a shield and a cloak from criticism using Christianity as your shield. I would say that I would like to see women like this who reform actually give their life to making compensation to towards those that they horrifically wronged, and I don't ever see that, ever. Based. Yeah. How about this? So I women, completely agree with you. I completely on. agree so, with you. So women can change and be redeemed, but men are not obliged to then disregard their baggage and marry them. Nope, they're not. These are compatible. No, and I it's think compatible. That's, that's part that's part of the works that Andrew is talking about. It's going to take work for you to earn the trust from a man when you have that type of past. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. that's I completely which agree is, with that. Which is why you encourage girls Carnal to pursue knowledge. the highest form of purity. And she's far as fuck from the mic oh right now. I think Holy everyone shit. is entitled to have their preferences <laughs> when Fischism. it comes to dating. Here, I do have to move on here. We do have, uh, let's see. Should you wait to have sex in a relationship? Well, we kind of already talked about that. You wanted to uh, men be following OF models on Instagram. I agree with you. Men should not be following women on any women on Instagram. Today he came with flyers, like um, trying to pass out to girls, saying that he would want um, to have the us massage him, like in a private room, in exchange for like uh, <laughs> insights on life. And then we looked up. <laughs> His name, <laughs> and he was like that an ex flyer. He mean? like uh, murdered his wife like back in the eighties. Oh my god! And like oh just recently went out. So yeah. <laughs> but who would awesome. agree to that first off? Oh. 
<laughs> I don't think shit. I don't think anyone did. And then I gave the flyer to our uh, manager, and he was escorted out. Cause oh my that's God. Crazy. Yeah. That's some crazy shit. Wait, so and he didn't like he wasn't gonna pay you for the massages. He's just he was like gonna, gonna give you advice. life oh, advice. Life advice. <laughs> like, yeah. Life advice. And that's then a yeah, bad that's deal, it was like really crazy. detailed too, saying like, oh, we would have to go either to a hotel or like my house, not his house. What? And Yikes. it's like during the massage, no he was gonna give you life advice. You think that worked on like any girl? There's no. So I was desperate no, for money, bro. Hey, <laughs> you, you give me a massage, and I'll oh, wait, give you life no advice. Like, what? They don't yeah. even get paid. Oh, oh, shit, wait, sign me lie. up. Gia Gracie donated $69. Bree, you skipped my now irrelevant read. Panel, how many 18-plus-year-olds have you heard say my parents f the whole county and I'm not a suicidal heroin addict? Wait, what? 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 Sorry if I, uh, Gracie, sorry if I skipped something. I must have... I don't see it here. Was it a super chat or was it? Um, but the question is, how many 18 plus year olds have you heard say my parents effed the whole country? And I'm not as, no, is this a rhetorical this, question? I think this applies to Brandon. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Thank you, man. Um, okay. So that was pretty crazy. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. We have Sophia, but she's. I up. mean, the, the question applies, right? So Brandon, how many people who are in your industry who have children whose children are proud of them that they share their wife around or vice versa you love coming back to me don't yeah you? andrew he's got well, the question andrew. was directed at you andrew the brother listen go to church the on go to church on sunday you brandon go to church on sunday do you pray and be your slave and let's carry on because i'm i'm tired i'm jet lagged to fuck i've got don't a headache, be a wimp know? dude just don't answer the question wimp. the super chatter asked you the oh super chatter is asking oh this question because he wants to know what your answer is uh, to what i'm summing out very quickly <laughs> so, so, so his, his question is how many of the people you know inside of this industry yeah. who allow their wife or significant other to be shared or are engaged in porn yes, have children who are proud of them. That's thought, what the intent of his question is. It, listen, and I'm saying this once and we're cracking on. We're in the Gen Z. We can make money multiple ways. I don't know anyone that's had children that do You're what You're not we answering do. the question. Uh, the question is how many of those children are proud I of I don't know any children. So let's move on. Thank you very much. You're not going to answer the question? I don't know any children. How many times have I got to say? You're pissing yeah, me Yeah, I know you don't have children. That's not what the question was. Me Listen to what the question is. Mm. How many of these people in this industry that you deal with who have children, whose children are proud of them? Have you checked on your wife? She might be getting fucked at the minute. Now, are you going to answer my fucking question? No, bro, move on, bro. I'm piss you're pissing me off, bro. Just move on. Yeah, I don't care if I'm pissing wait, you off. off. Bro, you bro, bro, wait, wait, fuck. Oh, well, Shut your bro. mouth and answer the fucking question. Fuck off. Go pray. Wait, Andrew, fuck off. Andrew, if he doesn't answer the fucking question, I don't care if I'm making you mad. Wait, you're God, Bob, bro. You're fucking boring from the if start, you prick. Wait, wait, guys, 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 guys. Oh, oh fuck, no, fuck this. 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 Thank you, God bless. Intel and wine. Oh, you're going to leave? Oh, the light is on. Oh, you're going to leave? Are you going to go cry with your wife who gets fucked by other men? Are you going to go cry with your wife who gets fucked by other dudes? Are you going to go cry with her? He doesn't have to answer the question. You're going to go cry? Your wife's getting fucked. Your wife's getting fucked. Your wife's getting fucked. Your wife's getting fucked. Guys, fucking guys, kids up. You're, 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 you're a father to other people's child. No, bro. I'm backing myself. I'm backing myself. No. Your wife, your wife, your wife, your wife's getting fucked right now. Stop being a cuss. Rage quit. No, because I'm bored of your god shit, bro. I'm bored of your god shit. There's no disrespect for each other. Look, I've got a better thing to do in LA. Look, yeah, you're gonna go fuck. What? You got better things to do? You're gonna go have your life get hold fucked on. by a bunch but, of wait, dudes? Bro? Yeah, your, your missus gets fucked on the wait, daily, mate. Yeah, Don't worry. The only person that gets yeah. fucked around here is your missus. Yeah, yeah, we love it. Men know how to be friends, right? Yeah, seriously. Men know how to be friends. Can both of you just stop for a sec? Look, um, look. Andrew, if he doesn't want to answer the question, that's fine. We don't need to press him on that. The only person who fucks misses. Oh, Wilson. go put, go, 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 Let me move it on. Done anyway. Yeah, listen, 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 go put your fuck. fake kids to sleep. Yeah, Weren't God, you like, God to, bless. Weren't you about to rage quit? Right. Weren't you about to show me? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. That's right. Run away, cock. I feel bad for him. Yeah, they really went on him the whole thing, and he did nothing but nothing but nice for him. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Bye, guys. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. Love you all. All right. Thanks for coming. Grand Zulu donated $69.
S is a bella, two S. It's Bye. okay, jerk in a corner yeah. while your wife screams another man's name. All right, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye. All right, Bye. see you guys, see you guys. Bye. I'm so sorry. Oh, they were fun. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Andrew, what are, you, what are you doing to me, Andrew? You make it. Brian uh, STR8 got no game, donated $69. Brian mute Andrew waiting a month dot you ain't worth it dot I'm a G and 50% approached me cause I'm comfortable with myself and not paranoid dot every chick I've been with we hooked up first second date cause I'm a good kisser. Three. <laughs> Nickelodeon donated $69. Why did you have to get those white Legos put in your mouth? Paris Best Western can't afford better for her little lap dog. <laughs> Why <laughs> Legos? <laughs> 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 I got work tomorrow. Yeah, I got an 8 a.m. That 9 8, 9 9 30. Uh, we're getting wow. in a tip. Like, we gotta write a paper. Yeah. Girl, I got a presentation in the morning. God, I'm still in the morning. Rage. Oh, oh my God. God. I need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. How is everyone doing? Hello. 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 Andrew, yeah, I just want to say I've got your rope, brother, yeah? Me and Sophia, we're in a perfect... I can't even understand what you're saying. No, no, can you no, speak listen, English? Listen. Can say, you speak listen. English, Limey? English, English, Nobody English. Nobody can even understand what you're saying. Listen. Talk, talk real slow. Listen. I've come okay, on here. I've listen. pranked you. Listen, me and Sophia are in a solid, normal relationship. We're not in Where an open relationship. Where you? She gets fucked by other men? No way. She doesn't, funny enough. I've pranked you all. Subscribe to Sister Bella. She pays my holidays. She pays for everything. Big up the sugar mamas. Big up Sister Bella on OF, yeah? I'm going to live my life. Okay. You crack on with right. God. Right. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Peace. It was nice meeting you. What's the... I don't understand. What's the troll? The troll is that, that they they're, they're not in an open relationship. I guess. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, that that was. Oh. <laughs> that was the. Uh, I'm like, I'm like. I'm like yeah, can you can you get that and you were like, closed up back there, Nick? Just get it, just so we can move on with the show. Just get it closed up. I I don't I don't even understand the troll. Why would you pretend that your girl got fucked by other men? I don't I don't even understand that. Make it sound a little more interesting. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I'm, we're going to go into the chaos row section here for a couple minutes, and then we're going to wrap up the show. Um, we're not going to do the bubble. Maybe, you maybe know. after. But uh, so, give me just a sec, guys, to get that going. Madison, do you want to ask a couple questions while I'm getting everything switched over? <laughs> oh, I'm on the spot. <laughs> Andrew, do you have a question? <laughs> Do you guys, um, do you guys all, no. do you guys think that he was lying? Um, uh, let, let us assume what, for a Brandon? moment that he was, we can only go off of the information that he gives us. So if his information and he says, well, I was purposely lying about the information, we can only respond based on the information that he gives us. Bad troll, ultimately. Because what offends me is actually your use of the law against women because I don't think that, like that, that woman who was here, um, who was, who had been born again and, and she had gone such a long ways and you were, it doesn't matter the way you say it. Like I know how your stance on tone, so it's fine by me. But you were saying that she was somehow not worthy of being who she was because she was teaching other women. I don't and think he said that. That's right. That. So let me so then let me respond me. to both okay. of these points. Point one, she can't teach other women because women can't be clergy in Christianity. Two, she made it a point that niceness was a Christian a part of Christian doctrine, and it's not, and it never has been. And I pointed out that this is not a Christian virtue. She's teaching falsely. Women cannot be clergy in Christianity. Period. They're not allowed to be clergy. Period. Never. Not, not even, not even once. They're not allowed to even once. You can't be like, oh, we're just funning. We just made one for the fun of it. Even if the results of it, you could argue the results or the consequences of this might be better in some way. It doesn't matter. The purpose of the religion is not that the consequences are always good. That's not the purpose of the religion. I understand. So I do know that that's backed up biblically, and I'd also like to say that in First Timothy it says 
treat older women like your mothers and treat younger women like they're your sisters with purity. And I'm wondering, where do you follow the law on that? Well, so, uh, yeah, let's dive into this. When, it, when it, we're talking about matrons, you're talking about Paul in this case, and I quote this quite a bit myself. And when you're talking about matrons and how matrons are supposed to teach, you're supposed to teach from a position of a pure heart to uh, only women. They're not supposed to have a ministry. Ministry would imply both. It's okay for matrons to give that matronly woman wisdom. Said hang she on, was hang women. on, let me finish. I'm answering the question. It's okay for matrons to give matronly wisdom, but they're not allowed to teach the gospel. They're not allowed to do that. That's not their place. They're not allowed to be clergy. Well, if why are you allowed to, daughter, to not treat on, women with done, respect? Almost done, almost done, didn't cut you off, almost done. If she was just talking to her daughter about, about the gospel, things like this, fine. Okay, but saying I'm a minister, I'm a part of clergy, and teach women as a part of a church clergy is wrong. Period. It's wrong across the board. It's okay, wrong I theology. disagree. Do you know what's also wrong? Smoking cigarettes and drinking alcohol, which you've been doing the whole time. You know, if we're going to talk why about is that wrong? Bald, because no, your body is wrong. a temple. Because your body is a temple. Oh, yeah, where's that said in the Bible? It Can is said it in up? the Bible, and you're yeah, ruining where? your where temple. Does it say it? And it does say you're not supposed to get drunk because Am you're going to be. Am I drunk? Make, I'm, not, I'm just saying you're drinking alcohol and you're smoking cigarettes. And you're is ruining your temple. Is drinking alcohol a problem? No, I'm just saying if you're going to talk about Christianity. So drinking alcohol is not a problem. Okay, so then why'd you bring it up as being a problem from getting, a Christian getting, perspective? Getting drunk is. Any and kind of am I drunk? I don't know. Are you? Well, let's see. I'm I don't just know. saying, if you're going to judge, five hours. If we've been at the show for five if, hours. If you're going to judge, three beers. do you think I'm drunk? I don't know, but if you're going to judge, then you know you have to get judgment back. So and I'm just that's saying. fine. And a you good Christian actually so doesn't judge. Judged, hang on, hang on. So you have judged that Christians are not allowed to drink alcohol. No, is that correct? That's not what I'm saying well, at all. I'm just why saying did you, you bring that up as a criticism so, of You me. can't say that you're so righteous if you're sinning as well. Not? And sins are the same Great. in the Bible. Tell me why I can't drink. Tell me why I can't drink. It does not why, matter why? if you are Tell offended. me why. The truth is what matters. She was calling herself a pastor, which is not possible, and a lie. A lie is a sin. Teaching from a place of lies furthers the sin. Tell me, so tell me where, wh tell me why I'm not allowed to drink beer while, while I'm doing a podcast. Tell me why that's sinful. Tell me why that's wrong. Go ahead. You can do whatever you want, and I'm not judging no, you. Nobody's no, perfect. No, that's not what I, I asked think you. what I you're is trying to say, sinful. if you're ruining your temple, which is God's body for you, right? So do I ruin that my temple when I eat a donut? Just like a prostitute is ruining her body. It's the same thing. Oh, a yeah. sin is a oh, sin. It says in the thing. Old so Testament, right? My, they are evil am I allowed, sins. Am lying, I allowed to eat a donut? Stealing. Am I allowed to eat a donut? Technically, no. It's bad for your body. No, I'm not allowed to eat a donut. Am I allowed to breathe oxygen? I mean, because you that have decays to. my body over time. But if you're talking about putting like high fructose corn syrup and all those bad things in your body, it is I'm technically not a sin because it is a, it is your temple. So I'm, I'm not, not saying we're coke. perfect, but I'm just calling you out. Wait, 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 I mean, to go off what she's saying. I want to make sure. Hang on, hang on, stop. Now you know. Now, if you want to know why it is I'm so hard on these women, now you know because this woman next to you just told me that it's sinful to drink. She couldn't back it up. She, right? She did. She she did make it is an actual. Hang on, stop. My turn now. She did make an actual biblical appeal, but she didn't know where it was. She just heard it in passing. On top of that, she said, "I can't drink a coke. I can't eat a donut. Right? I can't do anything." Apparently, Christians aren't allowed to do anything because if we eat a donut, that's, not what I that's said. like sucking a hundred dicks like a prostitute. <laughs> right? That, that is Isn't not that like what I that? said. Isn't that's like not that? what I said. I'm literally where that come from? Yeah, well, but, but isn't that an entailment? I'm sorry, isn't that an entailment? Isn't sucking a hundred penises like me eating a donut? Go ahead. Well, I think what she's no. trying isn't to say, it? which she can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think what she's trying to say is that everybody has all these, like, sins, whether they're hidden or not, okay? Like I'm not saying. Coke? I'm not saying what you're doing is a sin. I don't know you, you know? I don't know what in the context of it. I'm just saying You can't tell me what I'm doing is a sin or not? You don't have judgment? <laughs> no. You don't have discernment? You can't discern what's a sin? No. Uh -uh, not then in your why life. should I take your word for anything when it comes to Christianity? It's, you can't even discern what's a sin. It's between you and God, Andrew. I'm not gonna like. No. I'm not gonna look into your life. Yeah, you can have whatever criticisms you have about me. You know that's fine. All I'm saying is that have I, I made any personal criticisms about you? Seems like all the criticisms no, have to come you just, from you guys to me. 
what you just said was that you can't trust what I say about God. And that's fine because, like I said, I didn't That's grow- not a personal criticism. That's an attainment of your logic. And that's- If you say, I cannot make any judgment on another person's sin, mm-hmm. then you have told me that you cannot discern what is sin. Well, you, you are incapable of telling me what is sinful, so I, why would I ever for listen For another person, for myself, I think I can tell for myself, but I don't know, like, I don't know your whole grand scheme of things. I think for some people, drinking could be a sin. For some people, it could not. I'm just saying, I don't, I'm not here, I'm, I don't think that I could adequately point at your sins, Wait, and this I is, stand but, by but that. But this is, this is a bit of a whataboutism about his drinking. I do want to br- <coughs> quickly bring it back to your point about, so... Uh, you're a Christian, correct? I am. And so do you think that, uh, do you think women can be uh, pastors? I. What's your denomination, by the way? Are you I, Protestant? Well, not I did not. No. They all are. are no, you? I did not grow up in church. I well, grew up a de- different what, religion. That's what, what's your denomination? I do not have a denomination. I, yeah, right. You're I non-denominational. Jesus. All of you are always non-denominational. Which is okay, fine. But yeah. so can women uh-huh. be pastors? I, like, I, I don't know. I you know but bi- bi- i'm asking because you objected to his position and biblically mm-hmm. it would seem to indicate that women can't be pastors mm-hmm. from a christian worldview mm-hmm. grid one motorsports donated 200 dollars. none of the things you have pointed out ladies are sins the chrome you are referencing committed fetus deletus which is an actual sin why do you support such a person you ladies need to study you're so, wondering why these entanglements happen. These entanglements happen because people try to tell me what's what when it comes to this. That's fine, you can, but then you should expect an argument, and you should expect me to argue in favor of my worldview, which arguably I can make an argument right now. It, even if I knew nothing else, I could tell you that if somebody's saying that me drinking a Coca-Cola or having a beer is similar to prostitution, they're insane. That that's uh, ludicrous on its Well, I don't think that anybody here said that. And I also... Okay, well then, well then why can't I eat a donut? I don't think that anybody here ever said that. I think that we just... She said I can't eat a donut. No, she... I'm going to tell you what she said. She said I can't eat a donut because it's polluting the temple just like prostitutes are polluting the temple. There was a pastor who said if you drink water when you're supposed to be worshiping the Lord, then drinking water could be a sin. And I just want to ask you, Andrew, like seriously, I have a serious question for you. Like I know that you have problems with... Everyone's going to have a lack of education in the beginning when they find Jesus. But do you not want people to find Jesus? Then why are they calling themselves pastors? I'm and not calling myself a pastor. I'm saying I don't know. If they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So why would you do that? You think that if Jesus saw someone who said, I, I love God and I want to turn away from sin, he would be like, you don't know enough? You mean Pharisees? Yeah, he did it all the time. No, he did not tell the Pharisees they didn't know enough. He told them that what yeah, they were doing was corrupt. The time. He told, listen, I'm telling you right now, that there's plenty of people who have false ministries who are running around saying they do. There's been women on this panel who I've tangled with. But you're not answering my question. My question is... I'm answering it directly. No, you're not. Yes, I am. They've said directly to me that they have visions from God and that they're prophets of God. I've heard that they've said it to me. So, but that's still... My question is, what do you want? What do you want? Like... If, do you want women to be degenerate or do you want them to turn their ways? What do you want? Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Again, I'm going to tell you, you can do both. It's not a bifurcation. It's not a, oh, I, I, I'm going to use Christianity as a shield while I preach a false gospel. That's a bifurcation. You can do both. Jeremy you can both not be a prostitute dollars. and be a real Christian. Have you, you looked in the things. mirror, blonde tubby? Girl one, pull your jacket up, G2. Less makeup. <laughs> the Bible is ambivalent towards alcohol, considering it both a blessing and potential danger from God. I do need yeah. to. Andy. Yeah, hey, Jeremy, thank yeah, you. Hang I on. Do... Let me let me let me finish this up though. Okay, quick, quick, quick point though. Quick I'm point. Almost done. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, so back to this. You can do both, but don't tell me that just because you turned away from degeneracy 15 years ago and now you have a ministry as a female that I'm not allowed to tangle with you theologically because I never was a prostitute. I don't get to say I was never a prostitute, so now I'm above criticism. But you're telling me that because they have stopped being prostitutes, now they're above me criticizing their theology. That's absurd. I don't think you're they're above you criticizing their theology. I just think that 
the way that you approach them from an outside standpoint, someone watching the podcast, it comes off hateful. It comes off hateful. That's just I'm what sorry I'm saying. about your emotional state. You'd have to talk to the thousands of people who it doesn't come off hateful to, but rather would prefer to see these people confronted because nobody's ever confronted them. And okay. they get to just basically run around, do whatever the hell they want. There's never any ideological pushback at all. So what you're saying, but I just want you to let you know that this is what I hear. What I hear is, but they're not prostitutes anymore. So isn't that good enough? Yet, yet, interestingly enough, where's my extra credit for never having been a prostitute? I don't get any, and yet my theology can still be criticized. Isn't that interesting? But theirs can't be because they stopped sucking dick a few years ago. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> I think that you Hold have on. fair I... game to criticize them. I think that that's totally fine. I've never been a prostitute either. All I'm saying is that I think for the like health and well-being of the world, it would be great to be more welcoming to those people. That's all I'm saying. If you want to turn away, I think it's a great thing. Turn away. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's a great first step. But that yeah, doesn't mean that now all criticism uh, gets to fly by night. Doesn't no. mean that you get to pull a Nala and do a, oh, I'm, I'm done with the OnlyFans. Well, that's fantastic. But when people say, okay, but where's the compensation to the thousands that you've wronged? How are you going to make amends for these horrific things that you did, which even a court would have an expectation that you paid compensation for people you victimized, and yet somehow they can use this as a shield from criticism, uh, whereas those who've never engaged in such horrific activity get no additional credit for never having engaged in it. It's ridiculous. Got to move that things. That is ridiculous. Got to move things on. We have Gr Gracie, ladies of. So, Cindy, I give you, uh, give you a six. Uh, Sophia, give you five. Bevo ten. Lovely. <laughs> uh, for, I don't remember all your names, Monet. but. Monet. 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 I'm just going on off face, by the way. Okay. But. Uh, <laughs> what about on body? I definitely I'm have, not going there. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I definitely have better days for sure, but like, uh, meh, f five, six, for sure. Six point five. Wait, hold on. Six, six point five. <laughs> They're not gonna like that one. Hold on, can you lift up a little bit? Uh, too bad. Six point five. Okay. <laughs> Four. Oh. Okay. You guys asked. You guys said it was okay. No, uh, and, but you don't want. I don't have. No. I'll, I'll. I only like, will rate if you next? say yes. <laughs> should, we rate? <laughs> should we go? Should we rate you next? Uh, or? No, you can't. Now you. You just try to <laughs> get back at me. But personality okay. always takes the cake. That's true. No. Yeah. yeah definitely. Personality. What's inside yeah. matters. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I mean, no. Personally, I, mean, I wouldn't no date someone just based have no off their looks. Blind. Like it would, it would be a plus. But like, I would like a person with a good heart, right. good personality, mm -hmm. good morals to me at least, yeah. mm -hmm. and just like right stuff. Like you don't have to be like, I don't even know like who the hottest. Okay. Um. I'm just had Michael though, like, Murray. If you guys He's were like tens, if you guys, I mean, you're married, so okay, whatever. <laughs> if you were tens, you, I gotta be honest, you wouldn't be single. I mean, no, I don't be single. I'm single for a reason. Like, right. I don't, like, don't want no boyfriend. I just don't want no boyfriend. I'm a freshman in college. Like, I don't, that's not my focus right now. Right. I could definitely have a boyfriend. Right. So. Oh, trust. I could definitely have a boyfriend. <laughs> but if you were 10, you would have, like, the a, guys are a line up, of men. Okay, but just how earlier when you said that, you. like, you don't talk to multiple people at once, like, that's sure. the same with me. I don't, and sometimes people are just not interesting. Like, I don't want to be talking to hella people at once. Personally, right. for me, I just don't want it right i feel like yeah, i can't like, i got i got hella guys but i just don't want it yeah i definitely yeah i definitely got it like ah if the sure, right gig if uh, right gay what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> if the right so excuse, your me, mind excuse is. me do not mean to say that if the right gay hold yeah. on, yeah. on the right guy if the right G am i i think i'm G having G an aneurysm <laughs> if the right guy came along you would be dating him of course but like most like, definitely but i'm just not finding that here in santa barbara Santa Barbara don't got nobody. Nothing. Honestly, it's scary out here. Oh, show. This the Santa Barbara's not real. <laughs> Look, here, here's why I give pushback on this whole 10 thing, right? Okay. So a lot of people, like I'm sure all you girls know a guy who thinks he's hot shit but isn't, right? right. Do you guys know a guy who no, thinks no, he's hot no, shit definitely. but isn't? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. 
But like, that's kind of you. If you're claiming to be a 10, well, that's the attitude you have. But, but you guys all know guys who, who, think they're the, who think they're the shit, but they're not. I, I think, mean, but at the end of the day, our opinion doesn't matter regarding the guy. Because if he feels like he's a hot shit, he is in his own perspective. We, we can't on. tell him he's not because he's going to still feel like that. Right yeah, now. but you yeah. can come on. You clown on dudes who like yeah, think but they're that's shit, not, but they're not. Definitely. Yeah, I do. I feel like sometimes like, there's a line between confidence and cockiness. You yeah. Know? Like, right. I mean, th- yeah, there's a, there's a line between Well, let me, let me add this. So I actually think women respond far more better, even if the guy is cocky, mm-hmm. women respond better to that than men responding to cocky women. Mm-hmm. Because one of the, th- an attraction trigger for, uh, that, that men view in women mm-hmm. is modesty. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's Whereas I think women will like, some women obviously don't mm-hmm. like cocky guys, but like yeah. a lot of women will like that almost delusional mm-hmm. confidence in men. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so for some guys, like it, it's a bit of a differential between men and women. But like for most men, like we don't want like a cocky girl. Mm-hmm. Right. No, so yeah. Like, modesty is very uh, valued. Yeah, like that's that's totally understandable. Like I would want you know someone who, well, in my H- eyes, humble, least, modest. Yeah, model, mobile, like and just very you know like, I guess. But look, here's why I think this whole thing matters. I think when it comes to dating, you have to have a reasonable self-assessment of your own physical attractiveness. Because yeah. like here's the big problem I see. A lot of people, both men and women, mm-hmm. but there's definitely a lot of women who are like this. Because men, reality will slap you in the face. Whereas women, like you'll, your girlfriends will gas you up. You could be obese mm-hmm. and your girls will be telling you, oh my God, you're fucking beautiful. You're a 10 out of 10. They'll gas you up. Mm-hmm. And you're, like, your, your female uh, peers are never going to like correct you and say, nah, shut the fuck up. Like if I, if I were to tell my, my guy friends, yeah, I'm the fucking shit. I'm so fucking I'm hot. Me. They'd be like, shut up, Brian. Lose some and wait, Daddy. Because I'm, I gotta lose some weight. I'm a little chubby right now. No, I got a I dad bod. No, they be I like, shut the fuck up, bro. You ain't a fucking ten. You got a fucking double chin, if my bitch. Not cute they were telling me this sure. shit. Right. Right. No, that. You, you nah. Here's friend. the difference, though. Here's the difference. So, men will typically tell uncomfortable truths. Mm-hmm. Men, and I actually, as a man, I prefer that. Men will tell uncomfortable truths. Women would rather hear comforting lies. And so, mm-hmm. tell me the truth. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you the truth. I told you the truth. No, I'm t- I'm saying in general, like tell me the truth. Okay, yeah, but I'm so here's what I think. I think, I think I I I understand what you're no, saying. Yeah, but, but here's it's you, totally un- yeah, like it's, well, no, here's what I'm getting ra- right. So I do think it's the case. Not yeah. all women, but a lot of women have an overinflated sense of like kind of where they stand in the dating marketplace. And so what ends up happening is if you're too gassed up on your physical appearance or you think you're super attractive, and I'll get into a, some of the reasons why that is, you're probably curving guys, rejecting guys, who are actually on your level and in your league. Mm-hmm. So, and the, the guys who will give you loyalty, who will give you commitment, yeah. give you monogamy, treat you well, a lot of women are curving them, especially in their like, you know, uh, 18, 19, 20, all through their 20s, and the reason they're curving them is because you're getting sexual attention from men who are, quite frankly, outside of your league in terms of looks, status, etc. Now, I don't know, some of you guys are in college, I don't know if you've, like, you'll have, like, an 18, 19 year old college girl who can get sexual attention from, like, a guy who's a little bit older, a little more established, he could be, we, we've had college girls on the show who, normal college girls, 500 followers, they've got NBA players hitting them up, NFL players hitting them up, mm-hmm. professional athletes, musicians, yeah. famous, like top, top tier, like musicians, rappers, all this shit. Uh, and you can get sexual attention from them mm-hmm. or they could, or it could just be like the really attractive guy at college. Yeah. A lot of women are all chasing after the top 10% of men. Mm-hmm. And those men will happily just have casual sex with yeah. pretty much most women. But they're not gonna give that woman commitment. But see, the, there's a differential here is what you have happening is, a, a, uh, excuse me, sorry, getting tongue tied. A woman will sleep with a guy and she thinks, well, I was able to sleep with him. He was the X attractive. He was an eight, nine or 10, whatever. Because I'm able to sleep with him, that must be my league. But your league is not the men you can sleep with. Your league is the men that you can get commitment from, relationship and marriage. Mm-hmm. That's your league because you can, like women, men can't really sleep out of their league. Like if I step to a girl who's like a nine, I'm, instant rejection, right? Instant rejection. I'm not going to be able to like sleep with a really hot chick. Whereas like you could step to a guy, meet him on a dating app. He could be one, two, three points 
I, I know some people don't like this numerical rating system. He could be one, two, three points more attractive than you. He'll sleep with you. He'll, get, he'll have sex with you, but he'll never give you commitment. He's probably got a roster of 5, 10, 15, 20 girls. There's some dudes that are just like, have a massive rotation. And so what's happening is a lot of girls are sharing guys and they're kind of like pushing the guys. This is why a lot of dudes ends up in the friend zone. Actually, a lot of the guys in your friend zone are actually probably like the guys you ought to be with. So what ends up happening at 30, oh shit, couldn't get commitment from all these guys I fucked in my 20s. Okay, I'm gonna finally settle down. And it actually makes, it makes for terrible relationships because, because you think you're settling when actually these guys who you rejected throughout your 20s, actually the guys who are kind of in your league, but because you can get sexual access and attention from a really attractive dude, and it could be really attractive looks wise, status, money, personality, whatever. Guys can uh, make up for their lack of looks in other ways. Um, actually, women can too. Like, if you're a girl and you have like, uh, for example, if you're just add value to a guy's life, aside from just like looks and sex, mm -hmm. that's ma that can actually, I would, I would argue it's kind of the same with guys. Like, you could, hmm, like if you're average looking girl, but you're super sweet, you're not promiscuous, you're loyal, you help him out with things, uh, and you, you're like have a good personality, pleasant, et cetera, because a lot of guys don't want a headache. Like a lot of guys deal with like quarrelsome women. We don't want to deal like that. That's one of the ter most terrible things. We don't want a girl who like fucks with our peace because we are like, I don't know about you. Like you're probably like hustling, grinding, whatever. Yeah. Like you don't want a girl to add more stress to your life. Like you're a business owner, right? Like you don't want that added level Some of guys stress. Like toxic women. Yeah, those guys are yeah, like arsler. Right. Those guys are fucking no. <laughs> Those guys probably don't have anything going for them. The dudes who like fucking the drama and the, some those guys have nothing going for them because like. Well, if, I think like some guys want, they don't want it to be boring. They want like I don't know explain it. Like some women. Give me don't, boring. I don't want like, conflict. They want I don't to, want like, drama. See that you care. So Give me like, like a like, mellow girl. Uh, there, some, some girls like will just that. pick a fight just because they're bored. True. Yeah, and then but like the guys enjoy it because they're like, oh, no, like, there's some no, passion no. in it. No, a lot of boys no, don't. No, 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 no. A lot of no. boys don't want that. There's uh, boys like that. They really well, They're immature sure though, is, like, and they probably like don't have other shit going on in their life, so they like the excitement. But a guy who's already out in the world struggling, like, and when I mean struggling, like, they're already dealing like with the difficulties of like maybe their business owners, whatever. They're already like fighting the world out there. They don't want to come home and be fighting with their girl. So I guess what I'm trying to say is just to bring it back to my my point is so. As a guy, if we can sleep with a girl, I don't know if you, you agree with this, like if we can sleep with a girl, there's a pretty good chance we can get her in a relationship. Would you agree with that? Like yeah. if you can sleep with a girl, pretty good chance like you can get her in a relationship. Mm. It depends, what, it depends. Look, there's yeah, some girls who are for the streets. There's some girls who are for the streets. But like if you can sleep with a girl, there's a, pr there's a okay, well, comparatively there's speaking. Street, necessarily, yeah. I that's a weird one. It's how you're working it. I don't know, again, like if you sleep with someone on the first date, you talk more and then it's game over. You, you don't know. You say, it's, a, it's, it's a weird one, but I get what you're saying. Because that's I ridiculous. Have... No, I don't think anybody goes, oh, I prefer to, to get peed on. Like, I, no, I don't know. Ginger. Yeah, they do. I would agree. I would agree that almost nobody she's, she's in like sounded, a normal. She sounded a bit excited about it, Ginger. Uh, Come on. Yeah, Andrew, one second. A Andrew and I are kind of making the same point to a degree, actually, that like obviously most people wouldn't say, I'd rather set up like orgy gangbangs that involve piss as opposed to go work at a restaurant, right? But some people do make that calculation, and obviously, um, you know, whoever sex workers that do that kind of thing are are making that calculation as well. Yeah. So a lot of the times, it's yeah, not waitress, always, like... secretary, gangbang with six black guys are getting <laughs> peed on. What's I mean? <laughs> look, these are the decisions look, we have to worry about. In life this is now. look. This is the problem with this position. It's very easy to make fun of that logic because it's such an abnormal thing to do. I agree. It's not typical to for that to be a fucking preference of you to have, right? But it's there's zero as long as that there's zero as long as that here. preference might well, exist, uh, people should be allowed to do it. I mean, if you want to get paid to, to do that, then go for it. Why right? should they be allowed to do it, Econo Boy? Why is that a good thing? You know, because we live in a fucking free society. This is America where GDP. I live. Well, we don't, we don't um, live in a free. Fascist. We don't live in a free society. You're lying through your fucking teeth. We live in a society mm, where they can the lock you. America is the freest country in the world. They, we live we in a society, live in a society where they can lock they you in your fucking home for up to two years. We live in a society yeah. where the government can come in and do like, all kinds of crackdowns. What are you, what are you talking about? 
Listen, right? okay. What do you mean? I this think is a free every society. Are you locked Andrew, in your home Andrew, for two years, Andrew? No, I, you I mean, can live in a society where that the... where that can be the process during the lockdowns. We saw that people could be under quarantine <laughs> and businesses could be shut down and all of these other types of but things. Who, it's but not a free I, I'm society. Just, oh God, but, no, 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 but I'm asking though, who who was who was who was locked in their home for two years during COVID? Well if you can't Australia you can't go No, yeah, no, no, no. I'm talking in, he's talking about America specifically. Yes, who was even, locked home, even even who, in Ameri- who in America was locked in the home. Shut for up two years. so I can talk, lady. I'm trying to answer your question. So to answer you directly just so that you understand, when there's BLM rioters outside your fucking door, you're locked in your fucking house, don't you think? Do you think so, that you're locked? So they in were your locked in their house? home for two years. Well, when the Did government when the government won't dispatch the police, your local government refuses to dispatch the police, and motherfuckers are walking by throwing bottles through your window. You're pretty much shut in, yeah. And if you shut down every business, every small business, you shut down the beaches and you shut down all of the infrastructure and tell people they need to stay at home, yeah, that's a fucking pretty draconian measure. What the fuck are you talking about? And also okay. pause because yeah, we have a yeah, we have sorry. a dono for the charity. Uh basically someone loves Chud's beard and I agree as well. So Chud, your beard is looking beautiful tonight. So th- thank you for bringing That's it. Sports charity. The show. Great, good stuff. Yeah. So <laughs> okay. And then this kind of brings us to the first question naturally. So I kind of want everybody to engage with the first question. Um mm-hmm. and I'll move it to the second question as we kind of progress. <laughs> Could anyone? Well, wait. Society... I want to get back to this because he made a claim that this ought to happen because we live in a free society, which isn't an argument. Why should we have a preference well, for a free society, Connell? Well, I, I if guess anybody this is... engaged in sex work is yeah, the yeah, question, and you guys are topical. engaging with it right now. So go ahead. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, so it's not. It's not. Again, I, I said in my opening statement, it's not a matter of like it's a righteous thing to engage in sex work. It's just a matter of. If the principle, is, I think this is a decent principle for society, that if you, as a consenting adult, want to engage in sex work for money, uh, then that should be it's a freedom that you have. It doesn't seem begging. to result. It's just question begging. It's not really question begging. I, don't I mean, care it doesn't you, seem to result why in should I terrible care if uh, harms. You think, you think that it's a good preference for society. That's a presupposition. He's even answering your question a, because I mean, your basis I mean, for it. That's, made a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a presupposition. <laughs> that, that's a presupposition that that should be uh, prescribed to everybody else. There's no virtue in it. Do you think that it's virtuous to be a sex worker? Yes or no? Well, but the matter of something being virtuous Answer my or not, fucking question before you go into a spiel. Yes or no? I, is I am virtuous? answering... No, but it's Give literally not a yes or no question. Give me the qualifier after you answer. Give me the qualifier after you answer. Yes, it is okay. a yes or no question. It's it's not. No, no, it's not because Whether it's, it's virtuous to be a, to be a sex, sex worker. worker? So, it's so, a neutral act to be a neutral. sex worker. It's not good or bad. Okay, okay. it's just a thing that you, you should that. be able I to didn't do. Ask even if it was good or bad. Ask you if there was virtue in it. If the absence of virtue is, I guess, not being virtuous, then no, it's not virtuous to be a sex worker. But it's you not can bad have, to be you a can sex have worker neutrality either. with absence of virtue, but that doesn't mean that we need to go directly. I just over answered to, your question, to Andrew. Consequentialism. Directly. Why is it under this presupposition we ought to go ahead and decide that sex work is good because it's your preference? That's not what I said. I feel like you're not listening. Sex well, work is not a good or a bad thing. Then demonstrate that. Inherently. Demonstrate it. Demonstrate that it's not. Okay, so if, if, if you want to get into a super meta-ethical conversation, we can. In general, my position on sex work is that it doesn't appear to be the case that if we allow people to engage in sex work, that society has significant harms associated with that. Insofar as that's true, the freedom to be a sex worker should be you know, allowed. Well, be protected. first of all, it does appear that there are significant harms to being involved in sex work. So let me ask you a direct question. Would you buy a prostitute? What are those direct harms? Would you buy a prostitute, Econoboy? Um, I do not think I would buy a prostitute. No. Why? Because I don't want to pay for sex. I can get sex for free. If you couldn't get sex for free, would you pay for a prostitute then? Uh, maybe. Well, yes or no? Would you or wouldn't you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I've never I been in a know. position where I both so can't get sex. Is this going to be a conversation and... <laughs> where you know anything? Do you know anything? Okay, are you ever going to well, give me I, any I answers? knew the answer to the many questions you answered before. No, right? you just went on a long rambling diatribe. You it didn't wasn't long. I think the, the, the timer would show it was probably about 10 or so 15 let's, seconds. So, so diving into this, I think that the reason the, the you wouldn't buy— The attention spans are much lower nowadays with I our generation. I think the reason you wouldn't buy a prostitute is because you think it's not virtuous to do. Would you agree no, with that? No, it's just, again, it's because to buy a prostitute means I'm giving money for sex. So? I can get sex for no money. So I might as well oh, not come spend on. money on so sex. So it's not going to be transactional for you to date women? 
You just like what? You go on fucking Tinder and hope that some chick will just show up and bone you? Or yeah, there's always no, I mean, money. It, there's always why, why money can't transactions, just right? Just admit that there's something a bit seedy and 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 you know bad about going because to because all because like, all liberals is. all liberals are bad faith. They won't admit what's obvious. They're not going to buy <laughs> prostitutes because it's not virtuous. It's that's obvious, why. guys. Well, it's actually, I don't, I don't it's, understand what you mean by virtue. Silly. Like that's you're not even explaining your position. Like what what is the what is the What's the bad thing about, hey, I want to go and have sex, and that includes money? Why does the money make it bad? So if we're talking about virtues, I would I would look at, like, Christian virtues, which are all the things which you operate on in society. You adopt them. But that's just begging the question. The why virtue. is Christian virtue good? You haven't answered my question for your basis of why freedom ought to be the preference. I did. You answer that first. No, I, I established a utilitarian to... framework you know, that you just says said that it the consequences— I just said that the consequences. Mean anything. Well, Flandre, I mean, if, if I, I again, I having a conversation with I, I can, I can, I can repeat, I can repeat the answer. It, it seems yeah, like you're not it. listening. Yeah, I established it. the thought, the principle that it doesn't really seem like there's many societal harms associated. Yeah, it seems with doesn't mean anything. Being, what does that mean? Okay, it seems there's like. not a lot of imp there's not a lot of okay. For instance, if we were to say intuitively, is society around us just looking around us falling fucking apart because there's a lot more people on OnlyFans? No, it just seems like there's a lot of people that found a niche way to make money. Right? I don't think society, we don't see society completely I, I mean, deconstructing. Look, society wanna, falling not, apart's not, not our standard, dude. What are you talking about? And that was an intuitive I'm, comment. I'm, I'm, the empirics, I'm like, the empirics I don't like necessarily agree with Big Pepper Fascist, but I just think it, it, you're delusional if you're not going to admit. But society isn't falling apart, but there is like an okay. ever increasing sexualization of our society that okay, I think but is, is worthy of some consideration. Sure, concern, sure. It's not. It's not, not that that's not worthy of consideration. I completely agree. It's just a matter of is that like is the end result of you, you say a sexualization of society or like a sexual liberalization? Let's say, is that bad for society or not? And I'm just saying the cost benefit so, analysis. It just doesn't seem okay, like well, it's really 20, that bad. So tell but, me this, guys, in, in 2020. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Should women be drafted? <laughs> This is this is in efforts to to figure out if yeah. you guys are feminist or not. Um, should women be drafted in the military? Mm. Like, by drafted, do you mean like when you turn eighteen, like you're automatically? Okay, yeah. So men have to register for the selective service. Currently, there's not a draft in the United States, okay. but all men in the United States at uh, at eighteen, in order to be able to vote and have other benefits, they have to register for the selective service, which would then make them subject to military conscription in the case that there was a uh, military conflict which uh, required a draft. So do you think women should be subject to uh, selective service draft? Forced? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Okay. I wouldn't even trust women to like fight for our, our country unless that's like their that's their thing. You know, like if you're like that type of woman that you feel like so you're so stronger and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But I just feel like no. Okay, what do you think? Well, hold on. So you think they should be drafted based on how they feel? No, about... no, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying if, like, willingly, if you just want to. She's go. saying if they want to. They all just really want to volunteer. Yeah, yeah. If they want to volunteer, yes. Yeah, but then uh, yeah, this should be the is... purpose. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean. Right. Well, that's what we currently have. Yeah, but uh, I, yeah, I guess we should be drafted because I mean. Okay. All right. I mean, I'm plenty of men don't want to join. <laughs> okay. Sure. Plenty of men. I'm plenty of men. Plenty of women. Doesn't matter. Okay. If we gotta do what we gotta do, I mean, yeah. Now here's the interesting thing. You guys both have different opinions on this. I still don't know which is actually like the actual feminist position, because it will have feminists who will argue it's actually. We had one last week with Andrew, yeah. who said, "Well, it's not. It, it's not." equitable it's not equity for women to be drafted that's a whole nother thing Interesting. but what about you no no okay no women should not be drafted. should not be drafted no but they should be paid equally in sporting mm. events no comment okay <laughs> no they shouldn't be drafted i don't think so well hold okay, on okay so everybody except anza yeah said women shouldn't be drafted <laughs> but y'all want to be equal so wait a sec, how are you equal if the men are the ones that have to fight and die to defend the country, the men are the ones that build and maintain all the infrastructure, right? Like none of this stuff in the studio is built or maintained by women. Do you know that like 90% of infrastructure jobs are still held by men? Mm -hmm. And that if you look at the top 20 jobs held by women now in 2024 versus 1924 are almost the exact same. So women have had 100 years to do whatever they want and they still do the same 20 jobs they did 100 years ago other than 
We switched out farm labor for HR work. But other than that, we're secretaries, nurses, daycare ladies, uh, early childhood education, uh, administrative assistants, retail workers, all the same shit that we were a century <laughs> ago. So if the men are the ones tasked with every time there's a natural disaster, they have to go out and rescue people from the fires and the floodwaters. And every time there's a war, the men have to go and fight it and defend the country. And any time there's a criminal who needs to be violently arrested, it's going to be a man who goes and does that, not a woman. Where does the equality come in? If we're doing the fluffy jobs, you know, we're all singers. We got a lot of singers and musicians, which is cool. It's great. I love music, too. But y'all ain't like rescuing people and uh, you know doing the doing the heavy lifting or the dirty or the dangerous jobs like who collects the trash men, you know who uh, does all the steel working and oil rig work and uh, all of the like sewer cleaning Kelly men. We have a video on this, Rachel. Actually, Nick, remember that video we were looking at yesterday? <laughs> I think it might still be on one of the tabs. Let's watch this. No audio. No audio. Go ahead. Oh, there's no audio. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Are you ready to work on an oil rig? All right. Those Come on, are feminists. Get in there. You those can do are it. some rough necks. Come That's on, ladies. Ladies. Anyone? Andrew, Andrew had to do that. stuff like that back in the day. They'd lower him underwater into Underwater welding, I not, guess. Terrible. Not or underwater, <laughs> but they would lower him into these tiny little horrifically frightening spaces to do extremely dangerous stuff. I'm claustrophobic. I really feel like yeah. women should just have the choice to do if they want to, because I know some women that can handle it. They do have the yeah. choice, and they're that's not. They do, and they're, and they're not. not doing it. That's they don't fine. want to. Well, this I mean, is, well, this is fine. the big secret, yeah. right? Is that women don't want to do any of this dirty, so. dangerous, scary stuff. They don't want to. Well, yeah, but is that just, you know, what we've been raised with, the culture no. we're surrounded by? No, and I have data to back this up. So, so okay. if you... Oh, is there more, Nick? <laughs> just let it play. <laughs> yeah, we'll just let it play. So back around the time of suffrage, we're talking like 1850s to 1920, roughly around there when the big yeah. suffrage movement was happening. Um, th th did you guys know that most women were completely against it? Mm -hmm. By all of the uh, referendums that they would do where they would let women vote on whether they wanted the vote, only about 4% actually had any interest in voting. Mm -hmm. And they actually had really good reasons for this. There was much higher membership in anti-suffrage groups than pro-suffrage groups. And these groups would do public debates. They would do written debates, uh, newspaper periodicals where they would go back and forth and debate these things. And the women who were against suffrage said, look, the primary purpose of government is to protect persons and property. Okay, why task women with that when we're not really capable of doing that? Okay, uh, we don't want to have to be drafted. We don't want to have to do jury duty. We don't want to have to be a political block because back then women had advocacy groups for thing they, things they wanted, but they weren't a lobbying group. They didn't have like voting rights, so they weren't able to be as easily politicized. They felt like they had a moral high ground to ask for things like, we need more parks, we need better schools, we need clean air, whatever it was. Um, and that if they became just another voting block, they would be involved in dirty politics and they didn't want to do that. They felt like somebody has to be morally neutral and not involved in politics. So given all of that, do you guys think that women can protect and defend persons and property? Sure. Yep. Okay, I mean, I, I well, first of all, I want to go back to the fact that for a long time, women weren't allowed to own property, or at least not without being married. And so... Actually, it was the opposite. It was once you got married, you generally, whatever belonged to you, belonged sure, to Sure, but then kingdom. usually the woman is still living with the family. Right, and but why would you... So think about yeah. why. Why would why you want to live on your own? Why do you think women didn't own property? Well, do, you, do you think it was just the patriarchy, like just no, hated I'm not the saying women, that. I'm and they not just wanted that. to put their boot on their neck and keep them down? I or? generally don't think that. Okay, I generally, think? I, I generally think it was just a matter of the times, like you know, th we because it was. I mean, so you, do you think there was a reason, though? Do you think there was a logic behind not letting? I think women it worked for back then. I, I think it worked for what it is at that point in time. No, I think I don't think you understand what I'm sure. saying. So, if you're a woman yeah. and you own land and it's 1802. Mm -hmm and bandits or cattle robbers or um, Indians come and they say, we're taking your land. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? But that's exactly my point. That worked for that time. OK, what's different now? We don't have that as much. I mean, it depends on the neighborhood, of course. I mean, it depends on the community, OK, so if you own land now in 2024 mm -hmm. and you have a squatter 
who comes and squats <laughs> on your property and you need them removed. I did do that. You call, do you call ladies to come and physically remove them or are there men who come and physically remove them? So I had a subleaser who I needed to get rid of and I did all of it. My landlord didn't do anything. Okay, what'd you do? I went to the court and okay. I got the papers. I took her to court. I won. Oh, wait, as a woman squatter? Uh, y yeah. Oh. Well, okay. Oh. But did you physically remove her or did cops come? Well, did she willingly, after the judgment from the court, she willingly left? So, okay. The lease was up. She refused to leave. And, uh, and so, um, you know, I got the paperwork. Um, I gave her the three-day notice to vacate, which is the proper way to... Right, you're going through the eviction process. Exactly. Yeah. And so then, you know, uh, and she was still like, that's not right. That's, you're, it's totally illegal, even though I got it literally from the courthouse. And so then we're like, okay, let's get the proper eviction papers. Mind you, we still uh, had um, the papers escorted by okay, so, cops. So, so did, did you, you both went to the court and there was like the eviction trial? Yeah, and we did. Okay. Well, I mean, what the eviction trial? So, so she did leave within the five days of receiving the eviction. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, so let's say she stayed there, right? Yeah. Because I think this is what Rachel is getting at. Let's say she stayed there. You, went, you, you even won the eviction case. Yeah. The judge did an order. I don't know. Typically after the eviction, I think they have a, another period of time. It depends on the state. Yeah. It can be 10 days, 30 days, whatever it is. And then the cops will come after a certain period of time and then forcibly remove the person. Mm -hmm. I think what Rachel's trying to get at is right. who's going to forcibly remove the person, whether man or woman, if they were even after getting a judgment from a court, they still refuse to leave. Right. Okay. Um, so in this case, um, because she left within the five days, I didn't have to have like, the sheriff remove her. Right. But um, in, I mean, at least when uh, I was giving the papers, the cops that were there were men and women. Yes, primarily men, but there were women. I mean, right. who's to but say there can't be more? Well, you, you're talking about the process server. So you served her with the. Um, so it was my mother who served her, but because of the threats she was making, we had her escorted uh, by foot patrol. Ah, and that was not like a bunch of strong, independent women who marched. It was a man and a woman. Okay, and if it had just been a woman, do you see what I'm getting at? Do you see like who, I, who I, defends I, <laughs> our national borders? Not a bunch of feminists, right? Uh, the use of force is still always going to be men. I mean, of course, like when you come men down are taller and bigger, of course, yeah. they're going to they're gonna have no, that physical... Well, I, I always got it. I right. always understood. I, right. <laughs> I mean, going back to the sports things, I mean, the men are going to be able to do things that, you know, women right. just physically right. can't. So, when we talk about equality, yeah. the only equality women have is the illusion of equality granted to them and provided for them by men. Sure. I mean, that's why I think it depends on the context when it comes to equality, personally. Um, if, you, <laughs> if, you, if you have to appeal to men and say, men, let us be equal. We demand equality. And the men go, fine, we'll enforce equality. For, is that really equality? Well, that's why I think it depends on how it is being handled. Personally, I think so it's, it's up to the men, <laughs> basically. It's well, always going to. When well, you because they're already in that men. position. If I mean, if that was, I mean, if we could flip it, and then they'd have to ask us, right? I oh, mean, okay, okay. So you think we could put women on all the oil rigs, and we could put women in the Senate, we could put women in the military as generals, we could make them sheriffs, and that would work out fine? Yeah. You think so? Okay. So I mean, well, here's the thing. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, uh, for example, I remember watching this one show. Uh, I think it was called Stars and Stripes. And it, it took a bunch of celebrities and put them in the position of military. It had men and had women. The person who ended up winning was uh, the skier Peekaboo Streets. And she, she was a woman. She beat out actually um, who the Sarah Palin. Who that guy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she ended up beating out uh, like Sarah Palin's uh, husband. Um, and uh, this is a reality Wait, show. Wait, what? Where's this? Guy? Where is this guy? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, for example, she ended up winning. She was in, but they were all put in position of military, and she ended up winning. It was a woman. So, do you think that men and women are the same? I don't think they're the same. I don't. I got like again. I think physically there are differences. Okay, um, just physically though? Like you don't think that men have certain strengths and women have certain strengths and they each have like different divinely appointed roles in existence? Um, well, I mean, I'm an atheist personally. Okay, um, well not, okay. Do you think that they have appointed roles in society in order for society to be mostly successful? I think that's how it's come to be. 
So can I ask you another question? Yeah. Do you think that women are happier today or do you think that they were happier before all of this stuff? Um, I That's think a good question. because it's proven that women well, are way less happier yeah. today. Okay, but is that just the stats we're looking at now as in like those are the stats we're taking? That's just ignorance is bliss. Yeah, because I mean, for example, like people like to make the argument that, um, you know, we're seeing a rise in autism. Okay, is it the fact that there's a rise in autism or did we just not take into account uh, the, the fact that, you know, we didn't know what it was before? Well, so well, I, I think people know I can actually was. explain this because it's like my area of specialty. Yeah. There's um, surveys that were done, like very large scale surveys that mm -hmm. were done in the 70s and then again in the 90s and then again in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. So the first one that came out was called the paradox of female happiness where when they surveyed women all over the West and asked them if they were, how, what their satisfaction levels were, a ton of different metrics were used. Um, in the 70s, pretty good, pretty happy, uh, not a lot wrong. By the time we get to the 90s and they repeat the survey, uh, women are declining in happiness in the places that they have the most freedom, the most egalitarian society. So the places where women have the most equality are the places where we see them not only reporting that they have higher levels of self uh, unhappiness, but also we see a rise in alcoholism, fetal alcohol syndrome, mm -hmm. depression, anxiety, uh, prescription drug use. Mm -hmm. Every metric they look at, women are reporting that they are less happy. Now there's a lot of reasons we could talk about why that might be, sure. but I think people don't understand that when women are trying to be equal, it makes life pretty impossible. You end up thinking you can have it all, do it all, be it all, your ex expectations are wildly high, and you expect that you're going to be able to have a husband and a family and a career and do whatever you want, but also have a man who's gonna take care of stuff. And these things all contradict each other. These things do not like mesh together well. Mm -hmm. On top of that, women are more emotionally volatile. We have a hormonal cycle every month that you know <laughs> fluctuates. We have pre-menopause, we have postpartum, you know, we, we have a lot of ups and downs okay, that we and don't have. Why, so. why does that make us more emotional? Because I mean, because, and I'm genuinely because asking. the literal hormone well, in your hold body. On. I know, I know. <laughs> but I mean, for example, let's look at like history here. So much war has been caused by men. Well, I have something for this actually. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, they, they looked at monarchs, for example, kings, kings and queens, mm -hmm. and they actually found that queens were just as or even more likely to wage war than kings. Oh, yeah. I'm not disagreeing. I, I think there's some real messed up women in history too, truly. No, but they, they did like an analysis here. I'm not just mm -hmm. saying there were some queens. They just comparing all of the, I don't know if it was, if it was the, uh, the English monarchs, the British monarchs. I don't recall exactly the specific sure. details of this analysis they did, but they did find that queens were more likely to wage war than kings. Okay. Just wanted to put that in there. Sure, sure. I mean, uh, are we looking at it statistically as in, I mean, let's be real, there were probably still more kings in history than there were ever, like, queens that were but really it's per, in it's charge. But it's per capita. Okay, right? so it is per capita. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I don't mean, I can't speak to that personally. So why would we think that men are going to start more war if women are more emotionally well, volatile and less rational and less logical on average Well, maybe than we'd know are. that if we were taught more about those women as well. Because, I mean, I personally, I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. I, I mean, how, how many women in history can we actually name? A ton. Well, I mean, talking I mean, in that specific position to cause a war. I mean, I'm an Orthodox Christian, and we have yeah. tons of different queens and princesses and women Wait, who sure. were in various leadership positions and sure, waged horrific I mean, war on their enemies and sure. things like that. Sure. So. I mean, it's just usually, I mean, we see, you know, queens that are just with a king. Yes. Oh. Uh, you're, you're getting sorry, a sorry. <laughs> well, that, off, that would be, I could give you that except that in the modern age, we have a whole bunch more data that proves that this is not the case. Okay. It, for example, when you look at juvenile correction facilities or mm -hmm. women's prisons, so we were just talking about how men have the monopoly on force. Yeah. So men in male prisons, things like that, generally men grow up using physical force mm -hmm. and when they're little they do rough and tumble play with their dad with their siblings with their friends and they kind of learn where the boundaries are of like how much can i beat up my friend before i go too far and actually cause mm -hmm. harm mm -hmm. so they tend to learn that young and uh 
it, it has an impact. Women don't have those same experiences. So what we see is that when women do have the monopoly on force, for instance, when you are a female guard in a juvenile facility or a female guard in a, in a women's prison, mm -hmm. The women guards are far more likely to be abusive, and the abuse tends to be worse than mm -hmm. than men. And I have I, heard that they do think it's it's partially because of our emotional volatility, our home, hormonal um, fluctuations, and also just because women tend to be more likely to be on prescription psychiatric medications, have mental illnesses, um, and just be less used to knowing where the boundary is. So when women lose their shit and get physical, they tend to escalate to a point that's a lot okay. worse uh, than what a man Can I ask do. then, is some of this maybe because, you know, also I, we hear a lot that women don't get the resources they need in the medical uh, field? You mean like mental health wise? I'm not talking necessarily mental health. Like for me personally, I took years to get diagnosed with chronic illness. Okay. Um, and there's a lot of that. And there's also not as much like research in, on women in medicine. Um, like again, going back to well, autism. How, how I, does that relate to like the well, violence? I, I think I kind of know what you're talking about a little bit. I'd like to offer up a bit of a rebuttal. Okay. So I think you're talking perhaps about how there's less testing of certain drugs yeah, so on I women, mean, or like less, less things are tested on women. My rebuttal though mm -hmm. there would be, well, one thing that's a concern is if you're, tes if you're testing an experimental drug on somebody, if the woman happens to be pregnant but she doesn't know it, there could be ramifications there mm -hmm. when it comes, because for example, some medications are not recommended if you're pregnant, mm -hmm. for example. So if you're testing something experimental, the woman doesn't know she's pregnant, mm -hmm. You know, obviously, it could be very rare that you know she's happened to, to be partaking in the trial, and you know she's pregnant. That could be one of the justifications for why they're more inclined to test things on men. There's also like this component of well, women uh, when uh, women's hormones tend to shift a bit more throughout their cycle, so I think it's better to test on someone who has their hormones sure, are a bit more and level. Sure, and I get this. But the other thing is, it's not clear to me if it's some privilege to yes, have have to be tested on to it. have like experimental <laughs> right. drugs yeah, tested right. on you that that seems like it would be a negative like a more men are so desperate for money and resources that they're willing to have experimental drugs tested on them i think if it was actually the reverse if it was 100 percent women where we were testing drugs on them there would be a huge outcry from feminists saying wait why are we like subjugating <laughs> women specifically to this this you know drug treatment that seems like I, I get what you're saying i mean i personally wouldn't be opposed to that okay. uh, but um if it was 100 percent women yeah i honestly think it's kind of necessary because sure, but i feel like feminists would just argue and be like Wait, i mean hold on this is like look at how this is unfair this like is why equal. are why are you, women you're not gonna hear that from on? me personally okay. but all right well that's fine um but uh no i mean for example uh this is a more minor thing but like okay why has okay uh Recently, on, when they test like uh, tampons or pads, mm -hmm. uh, it's only now they're using uh, real menstrual blood rather than like water or uh. like. But how does it's different? I just wonder how this gets back to what we were debating, which was why. Well, okay, can, so can <laughs> women defend persons and property? Yeah, I'll just tie back to that. If, <laughs> if, if a hurricane takes out half the eastern seaboard, are the women going to get out there and get the power lines back up and put the sandbags out and rescue people from the floodwaters and rebuild everything? I mean, I would certainly hope so. No, they can't. They I mean, can't do it. <laughs> they can't do it. Look up with me but it was going to end like it i just like we were both weren't really feeling the relationship anymore hmm. it was just you yeah. both weren't feeling the relationship or like i guess mm, i wasn't but it's a little complicated why is it complicated <laughs> um because i wasn't feeling the relationship anymore then he, um were there other people in the picture well no wait no, I didn't um <laughs> I wasn't feeling it anymore and then um I like didn't break up break it off um when I should have and then um so there's a little crossover maybe with uh, another individual kind of yeah Okay. 
What, yeah. was, did you have a sense that he might have been seeing somebody else too? Or? No. Okay. Um, but yeah, definitely my fault. I was in the wrong. So you, you said you ended it? No, then he found out and then he ended it. Okay. Yeah. How often would you guys see each other? Because you said he goes to UCLA. You were in, we would you were see here each other like on the weekends. Yeah, on the weekends. Every like, weekend, or kind of like every other weekend, or um, every other weekend. More often than not, would you go there, or would he come to see you? Um, well, I had a single, so I, I have a single, so he'd come here. Okay. Yeah. Like a your own apartment, or you just had a single bedroom? Oh, like my own apartment. Yeah. Oh, okay, I oh, see. Yeah. And he had he was in a triple or something. Uh, yeah, like he had roommates yeah, and yeah. yeah okay so he would come to see you mm -hmm. um and are you still are you involved like the this other guy are you involved no. with him currently no. no okay um so in that in the three month period that you've been single any other dating prospects anything more no. casual no. short term no i not just not interested everyone okay. here's just not it well so the other guy that was kind of in the picture was this like a short-term thing or what, yeah, what happened most, there um, like it was a frat party and yeah i just like we're, we were just i don't know i didn't really it like spring break happened and then we didn't talk and so then just yeah like me and this other guy just like stopped talking after spring break just because, like, so you were seeing we, him we for saw a each bit. other, like, yeah, okay, we, so we were seeing each other spring quarter, and because we had the same class, right? And then yeah. we didn't have the same class anymore, and so, I see. yeah, frat, frat guy, yeah, are you in the sorority? <laughs> no, no sorority, okay, <laughs> all right, um, okay, well, maybe we can talk about that a bit more later. Uh, what about you? Um, I've been single for about three years. My longest relationship was a year, and the reason we broke up was because of his cheating. He was cheating? Yeah. Okay. All right. Good times. A lot of cheating, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Gustavo? Married to whatever podcast? <laughs> okay. Down. Matt. 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 Uh, I'm luckily in a relationship. Uh, my current one is my longest. It's been a year and eight months. All right. Sweet. Um, Andrew Wilson, what about you? I'm uh, happily married, have been for well over a decade. All right, cool. And that. Oh. Brian loves roast beef. Flavia donated $200. <laughs> Ladies, would any of you date Brian? Sorry, Brian, I know you like fresh off the boat Asian women, but Daisy only likes BBC. Your average white clock ain't gonna cut it. Uh, Daisy, Leng for Gurf. Uh, By the way, I'm a fan of this sub. Of the, Just, uh, yeah. okay. And it's not true. But I, I don't know if he's talking about the, the subreddit or if he's talking yeah, about like- Yeah, I know like, he's not talking like about, the, I'm a fan anyway. Oh, of, uh, of, this of both? Of length? No, I mean, or the <laughs> Reddit. No, but like the actual question. Both. Who oh, okay. doesn't? Yeah, I yeah. mean, who doesn't, right? So, okay, I, I, guess, I guess we'll do it. Okay. Uh, would, any of you, would any of you date me? No. <laughs> I guess everybody would. Why not? Oh, okay. I would, um, no, you can I, be you can be super honest. I already I, know your type, so like I wouldn't. What's, what's my type? You like you're pretty Asian women. Hold on, I like <laughs> white women. I'll date any race. Okay. Date any race. I mean, what I, races have you dated? Yeah. White, Latina, Asian. But which one? I think you I had a short, very short-term thing with a black woman once. Mm. I live in Santa Barbara. Okay, you can't fault me. There's like yeah. no black people here. Okay, it's not my fault. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't discriminate. I agree with your values. Pacific so. Islander, throw me a Pacific Islander. She would I'll take. You. Oh, okay. There you go. All right. What about you? I wouldn't. Rip. Hi. Kelly. Nar. Is it because I'm white? You're such a racist, Kelly. <laughs> no, it's not because you're white. Sure. Sure. Okay. What, what about you? No. Rip. Is it because I'm white? <laughs> no. What? What's the reason? Old. Too old, yeah. <laughs> I'm a boomer. That's How fine. old are you? Huh? How old are you? Thirty-four. Yeah. 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 People tell me I 
Never mind. Okay. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> no, you're like my dad's age. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> your dad's young. <laughs> yeah. Gustavo. Si, mucho. He'd date me. There He's we go. Married thank to you. For you. That. He's married. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you for that. For that one. Um, okay. So, I'm trying to think where we. Let me actually really, and we'll come back to the chat. I think uh, we're all caught up on everything, right, Nick? Okay, so we're gonna just uh, get into some pre-show notes here. Actually, no, I have a qu I have a quick question for the whole panel. Um, who here is religious? I don't know what's the definition of r religious. Like, do you, are you Christian? Uh, I'm Buddhist. Buddhist. Yeah, I'm okay. Buddhist. Buddhist. Yeah. Okay. I am a Christian. All right. Um, I go to church and I go to a Catholic church, but um. I'm not like a hundred percent like I don't know I guess religious mm -hmm. like I just I go to church and I try to be a good person and have a good relationship with God but I don't believe every single thing that every role Catholicism has okay um, I am a Christian I am not religious what so like atheist ap um, agnostic um, Satan, Satanist, I, no, I, Satanist. No, I, I don't really have a stance or anything. Sure. I don't know. Um, I was born Catholic, but I'm not religious. I'm Christian. All right, cool. So, let me see here. Uh, let's uh, just get into. Let's get right into it. Um, trying to think here. Do you guys hear that like old timey music? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's kind of nice. You can leave the door open. All right, so uh, got some pre-show notes from Daisy. Uh, actually, first thing, Daisy, you said you've done like you've had you work for a plastic surgeon. You've had quite a bit of plastic surgery done. Um, just out of curiosity, because sometimes very often on the show we talk about mm -hmm. makeup, yeah. plastic surgery. Yeah, I'm always curious, like, how did people look before? Like, do you have any photos of you? Like, yeah, yeah, I do. no plastic surgery I, at all. I do, but none. Are you? Can we? Would you send them to us to, for us to look yeah, at? Yeah, I would. Not pri like for the show. For the show. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, we could. Do you have your for for the phone? Yeah, I could. <laughs> yeah, I could. I, I don't mind. I mean, it's not just the plastic surgery makes you look different. You uh -huh. have you got to work on your body as well. Sure. Yeah, right? you can work out. And the makeup. Yeah. The style, everything. Sure. So, like, I'm talking like Daisy at 20 versus Daisy now at 28. Yeah. Like, when did you start getting plastic surgery? Uh, I got my first surgery when I was uh, 2018, probably. Okay. Like, my eye, eyes. Eyes. Okay. I've done my eye three times. You've done your eyes three times? Yeah. Breast three times. Three times? <laughs> yeah. Damn. So, do you, are you saying, like, you go. I just upgrade them like bigger yeah bigger and it's very common in china you guys to every girls get their work done in china very, yeah getting, I think it's getting common getting everywhere now in, Ch yeah. in china in korea middle east it's very common because hmm. when i said that before on the other shows they were like roasting me you know who, they, who they was roasting what Everybody was roasting me because, For oh, what? she ugly before, she, because she had done plastic surgery, mm. her body's all fake. <laughs> That's not true. They, they were saying that you looked worse before the plastic surgery. I look, uh, they were saying that I look good right now because I've done all the work. Okay. Because I typically tend to make the argument that people look better before the plastic surgery. I want to know what people look like years after the plastic surgery. Yeah. So if you want Daisy, just blast to the Instagram, send one at a time uh, if you want any photos. And maybe we'll let the chat decide. Okay. Better before plastic surgery? Well, I'll try better to, after. I'll try to find it. Okay. Let's see. It's going to take some time. You guys go ahead. That's fine. I'll, I'll ask another question, then we'll come back to the, okay. the main topic at hand. Going to Noel here, you said you were raised in a very traditional, strict, Mormon household. Yes, very you're, strict. Now you're no longer Mormon, though. Is that correct? No, I'm not Mormon. You you said you're Christian. Christian, yeah. And you didn't say Catholic. You're not Catholic. No, no, okay, not just Catholic. Christian. What denomination? I'm like non-denominational. Non-denominational. So okay. I follow Jesus and God. I don't follow a denomination. Okay. I don't congregate. You said also you do not consider yourself a feminist. 
you wanted to speak on traditional relationships, marriages, and the importance of it, you'd also, uh, so what was your take on traditional relationships and marriages and the importance of them? I think nuclear family and traditional marriages are like extremely crucial in our society mm -hmm. in terms of like raising kids sure. and populating the world, um, keeping STD rates down mm -hmm. and, you know, being happy. I think most people will get ultimate fulfillment of joy through nuclear family. And most of the people that I know that have children's or children say that that's their main source of joy, like true joy is through mm -hmm. having children. Sure. You know, kids need a father and a mother to raise them to get that good balance mm -hmm. of feminist values and like masculine values. Wait, hold on. When you say the a good balance of feminist, I meant feminine. Do you mean feminine? Yeah, okay. Feminine. You said that you also wanted to speak on monogamy. Yes. Uh, the science behind it and why it's not feminine or empowering to sleep around. Did yeah. you want to elaborate on that at all? Yeah. So I think monogamy is very important. You know, it's not necessarily healthy to sleep with a bunch of different people mm -hmm. in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. um, and that is one thing that has contributed to STD rates. They're super high right now. Mm -hmm. um, and it's because people aren't monogamous anymore. They're not getting married. Right. And they're just, you have girls that are sleeping with a new dude every week. Um, yeah. And that's kind of why it's dating is not wild. working out. It's wild yeah. out there in the streets. Literally the streets. In the streets. streets, it's wild. You said when you were 21, you were living in the Bay, I assume the San Francisco yeah. Bay. You were on your own. You met your boyfriend at work. You ended up allowing him to move in. You would drive to him, uh, or excuse me, you would drive him to and from work every day. It went, and it was an hour drive yeah. there and back. This is a story from last time. Did we already go over yeah, this? Yeah, this is from last time. He didn't pay rent. Eh, that's fine. Yeah. Didn't pay rent. I'm just going over this mm -hmm. uh, just while we give Daisy here a bit of time. He didn't pay for groceries, didn't provide. He leached off you and ended up catching him cheating as well. Yes. This was not the four-year relationship no though, no no it? this was the third relationship how many relationships been. would you say you've had i've been in five now five in the span of nine years does, it, does that include our, our dear friend no that was a brief brief brief, brief brief thing not even a title okay so has every single guy <laughs> <laughs> cheated on you basically yes yes but i think okay. majority of men and some women are cheating nowadays just because with yeah, social media you know, and how dating has changed all right Let's see, you wanted to talk about laws on infidelity and abortion. I didn't say abortion, but infidelity, Well, this yes. might have been from your previous time oh, you were yeah. on. Um, and you also wanted to, we, importance of nuclear family, raising children, monogamy, mm -hmm. but laws on infidelity and abortion. So would you be in favor of, for example, like somehow criminalizing cheating, infidelity? Yeah, absolutely. Within the confines of marriage, marriage. or even in just any long-term relationship just like a civil relationship probably like a fine of some sort like how there is in other countries but in terms Are of marriage, other countries have fines for yeah. for uh non-married infidelity cheating yeah. i guess i'm pretty sure china yeah. has a law on that which country china china is it this true be. daisy confirm china. or deny what a law? does china have a law against cheating in a relationship uh sort of like if uh, if the guy cheat on their wife, if the wife wants to divorce, so there's kind of like financial. Mm -hmm. How do you say like? It's like a fine, like they pay. Yeah, they the guy pays more. Well, there actually is something, and maybe yeah. Andrew, if you can help, just looking this up, there is something actually in some U.S. states where it's. Um, I'm trying to think there's a specific legal term this typically involves married couple a spouse can actually go after uh the the third party that's sort of making the cheating happen there's a specific legal term for this um alienation of any thoughts on that andrew there's a specific legal term. It's only in some states, though. You can actually sue the person that the cheating partner, I guess. Any law? I'm not aware. I'm not aware of what the law is called. Alien. I, I think it it's alienation of affection. Somebody in the chat is saying, alienation of affection, and it is a civil. I don't think it's criminal, but I think you can you can 
bring a civil claim against somebody. Okay, I just sent. You sent it? Did you send them individually, by the way? Or like yeah, in a group? I did. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Daisy. Um, so, but going back to you, Noel. Uh, so, okay, you think should be, what about criminal penalty? I think, I think it should be criminal. So going around the table, do you guys think that there should be a criminal penalty for cheating? And it should, maybe it's a misdemeanor and a, like a non-married couple and a felony <laughs> <laughs> if you're married. Going around the table, starting with you, Daisy, what do you think? Well, I think so, because I think if a man, like, if they want to cheat, I think it's okay to sleep with other women, but I'd prefer you be honest. What? <laughs> Wait, you, oh, you're, you're, so you're cool with if a dude, Yeah. Cause as long as they're upfront with it. Let's be honest, like, one guy sleeping with one woman for the entire of his life, I don't believe that. Just not me. Do you think it's the same for women? Like, could you yeah, see yourself it sleeping could be the with, same. with yeah. just one guy? Yeah, because feeling face away, especially sex, sexually. So you're fine with it if the guy has other women? Yeah. Okay. Just be honest. I, I think it should be criminalized. Criminalized? Yeah. Straight to jail? Um, but I haven't thought that deep into it, but something should be done about it. Okay. So, um... And it should go both ways. If the woman cheats... What if it's just like a hand job? Like, should yeah. that... Is that, like, I less... I have a question about this. So, you're, maybe you can... You maybe you can, like, like, confirm... Like, you're, like, itching yourself like you're <laughs> fucking, like... Crack. I itch my crack. <laughs> What's that Dave Chappelle? Like, he's all like... Okay, sorry, go ahead, Madison. Go ahead. So, go. I heard in uh, France, S-ing the D is not cheating. My French friends told me France that. France is... I'm, I was born in France. Yeah, so is that that's true? Why, I don't know. I don't keep tabs on the dick-sucking laws in France, Damn. but... <laughs> Uh, France has really interesting kind of social views on um, kind of dating relationships and stuff. It's a little different. It's a little more uh, open, I guess. I don't know. Like mistresses are a bit more tolerated, I guess. But anyways, um, so straight to jail. Felony. Yeah, even if it's felony. a hand job. What's that? I said even if it's a hand job. Even a handy? Yeah. Anything okay. sexual, whether it's a primary sex organ or a secondary sex okay. organ, anything what involving. About a kiss? And you're fine with <laughs> you're fine with divorce, right? I like I would never Cuz like wanna... for example, Catholics, mm -hmm. I know you're not Catholic. They're against divorce. I mean, I'm I against mean, divorce to an extent. I think the only exception okay. would be like severe abuse or infidelity. Okay. What if what the what if the wife like it's a dead bedroom relationship? And she no longer wants, like, has sex with her husband. Uh, would that be grounds for divorce on the husband's part? I would say there should be actions taken prior to deciding that, like maybe therapy, therapy, like couples therapy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sure. Figure out stuff but okay, assume you up. do all those things, and it's still like she just no longer wants to have sex with her husband. Do you think it'd be fair for the husband to divorce her? Maybe once the child is grown up and an adult. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Um, I don't think that there should be a law. I mean, I think that if people decide that they would want to do that within their relationship, but everybody's different. So if sure. it was a law, there's people who have poly relationships, open relationships. So I don't think that there could be a law in place because at the end of the day, I mean, we vote for this and we live in a democracy. So well, okay. if it were a poly relationship, that wouldn't be cheating because that's agreed upon prior. Okay. Oh, well, wait. Okay. If you don't, if you don't mind... I kind of dive into this position a little bit. Yeah, you go for it, Andrew. So when you say, um, as long as it's agreed upon, then it's okay. Um, and so the the inference here is, what if you're married uh, to the to a person and they agree inside of the marriage to do this? Like afterwards, like after they're mm -hmm. married. Um, if it's agreed upon by both parties, then that you know that's two way consent. Mm -hmm. But you have a lot of marriages that happen where. The man all of a sudden wants to become, an, you know, polyamorous, and the wife doesn't agree, or vice versa, and so. Well, the reason you think that it should be criminalized is because they're breaking a vow, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, and also you're pretty much jeopardizing that child's development, and in some. Well, let's cases, assume there's no children. You would still agree that it needs to be punished the same way, right? Yeah, you're still putting either partner at risk to contract an STD. Okay, well, let's assume that they are able to get women who have a clean bill of health. Um, you would still be for such a law, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so even if you, even then, with all those things, you'd still be for the law, but wouldn't you be for the law because it's breaking a vow? 
Yes, because it's breaking a vow. Yeah, but wouldn't it be breaking a vow anyway, even if in the middle of their marriage they decided to open it up? Wouldn't you still be breaking a vow? That's a tough question. I mean, if, if both people are agreeing on it, I don't see how that could be breaking a vow, because you're both agreeing on it. But well, you can agree to make a vow, and then later um, you can consent to break the vow, but you've still broken the vow, haven't you? I yeah. don't understand how you can get around that. Like, if I vowed, for instance, to never defend myself in a fight, and then uh, somebody attacked me, and I said, well, I, I'm going to take that vow back, I, I still broke the vow, didn't I? Yeah, but th in that case, yeah. it would be self-defense. Yeah, yeah, right, but I still broke the vow, right? Yes, yeah. So then, if people in the marriage decide to open their marriage up, why wouldn't you arrest them for that as well, for breaking their vow? That's the point. Well, if it were a two-way you know, opening up of the marriage, then yes. Then but they still broke their vow. That's very So true. then your justification for them breaking their vow, and that's what the justification is to have them arrested, doesn't make much sense because they can break their vow in the middle of the marriage and still be arrested by your logic. Uh, that are not arrested, that doesn't make any sense. Now they can break vows as long as they just kind of consent to break the vow, right? Yeah, but there should yes. probably be like something like similar to a prenup prior to getting married that <laughs> goes through all of these things that they agree upon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, but if in the middle of the marriage they both decide to break their pre-agreement and open their marriage up, from your perspective that's okay, but they still made a vow and broke their vow, and that's the justification for why you think they should be arrested if one cheats on the other. So that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Well, I think situa like depending on the situation, maybe not arrested, but definitely something like a fine or something to you know punish them because why would why would you even get married in the first place if you plan on it of opening up your marriage or if well we'll assume that they didn't plan on it but they just decided in the middle of it to do so just like I'm sure that people don't plan on having a sexless marriage but mm -hmm. oftentimes they do right well maybe those laws would be an incentive for people to choose wisely and get married if you truly love that person. So you, would retract, so you would retract it then and say that it's actually Part probably a better policy that you could not open your marriage up even by consent because you would still be breaking your vow, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, you answered the question, I believe, Kelly. Should it be you know, straight to jail, cheating? Um, I just think that's just too unrealistic. To, criminal to penalties, criminal I mean, criminal penalties for for cheating. No, that's it, no. Uh, I agree. Agree. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like uh, it's a mic. Oh, um, I think that there shouldn't be a law if you cheat because there's different positions that could be put in, mm -hmm. and I don't think uh, it's like a straight line. Like I get married, I cheat and then pay a fine. I feel like there's open relationships. There's people who, um, uh, the partner likes the other partner to have relationships with the other partner. I, it well, cheating would imply that there was some mm -hmm. understanding that it was monogamous, but one partner, yeah. like if you, if you're in an open relationship, it's not, I don't consider it cheating. Mm -hmm. But I feel like when a marriage, um, when you live so long together after a time, you do not want to have sex with each other or you still do. And I feel like people change and they're like, sure. okay, let's open up our relationship. And that's when the other person's like, oh no, I don't, or yes, yeah. I do. Okay. Uh, Maddie. I mean, yeah, I think cheating is terrible, but I just also think it's unrealistic. But I feel like by your standards that you would set criminalizing infidelity, I guess, don't you think people would just be in more open relationships? It would probably cause that, but then it would also lower divorce rates. It would lower a lot of things. Are you okay with like open or like what's your stance on For that? For me, I'm not. I don't care if other people are in an o open relationship as long as it's a two-party consent. But if you don't if you don't care if other people are in open relationships, then why would you legislate it? Why would I allow for open relationships to be? No, why would you make legislation penalizing people for breaking their vow in an open relationship if you don't care? Mm. I mean that's a difficult question, you know. I haven't thought that far into it. It's just like a generalization that I kind well, of Well, just to be clear, are you against open relationships or it's specifically 
cheating within the confines of a monogamous, clearly indicated monogamous yes. relationship. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll move on from that. Um, Daisy, we have your Instagram things. Don't pull it up quite yet. Um, so it's from 2015, 2018. 2020. No, yeah, 2015, 2018, 2020. Okay, mm -hmm. so guys in the chat, you're, we're, we're, we're checking, you know, Daisy back in the day. Back in the, was this the, this was like the Obama administration? Okay. And then 2018, the Trump administration, and then 2020. Okay, all right. Let's pull it up. You, you date her. Okay, this is Daisy. No plastic surgery. Wait, nothing. hold on. No plastic surgery here? Nothing. No boobs? No. <laughs> yeah, it right. Looks, Come on. It looks like there's He blood. doesn't believe, right? You don't have to believe, no. but I'm just telling you. That's 2015. It no still plastic. looks, the boobs look. They're because fine. naturally, my boobs oh. are perky. They look fine. Fit. Because yeah. I you're my you're skin are very tight, but here my boobs are small, but they're just like. Are they? Yeah, is, they are small. I mean, <laughs> it look looks. Me. <laughs> are you? So no, I mean, no fake titties in 2015. No. No fake titties. 2015, just do a calculation. I would be so young. So you wait. You're 28. Hold on. You gotta remember. I'm. You know. Uh, math is not I'm my like forte. 20, you would have been 19? Yeah. I don't know, 18 year olds. I was in school. 18 year olds begin fake titties and BBLs yeah. and shit. Oh, okay. yeah. you started in Just not Maybe not in nine years ago because that time it wasn't like very popular, you know, in China. So, okay, just to confirm, no fake titties. No, okay, all right, nothing. next. All right. And so you said you did have some stuff done with the face. You uh, got your he, eyelids here done. Here I got my eyeliner, but that have was you like had the was it the buccal fat in the? Have no, you had no, that? no, no. I've Not never that. had that. I and always had like for stream. anything for the jaw or anything. Oh, uh, I do like Botox. Botox, Botox okay. yeah. yeah. And here I got right. lips. Yeah, lip injection. Okay. Yeah. And then next, and then this is 2020. 2020. Yeah. You're in Paris. I'm sorry for. You being in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> 2020, yeah. Okay. No surgery. No surgery? No, Wait, I mean, no. like, nose. Dif the the oh, biggest nose. is my nose, because if the I nose. change my nose, I look completely different, you know? But yeah. right now, I look different. It's because my makeup, my style, the way I dress, and also because I did bodybuilding. So but you my, have, like, a my, face photo my even whole before? Because, like, that first photo from 2015, you're, you're okay. looking down, you're wearing sunglasses. I do. I do. I do. Let's see it. We got to okay. see it. Anyways, you have to find it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, anybody else here ever had any plastic surgery? Matt? I'm just kidding. What? No. Okay. No. Any anyone <laughs> here ever had plastic surgery? Not nothing. 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 Mm -hmm. Have you considered it? Have you guys considered like, oh, I'd like to maybe get fake boobs? Anybody? I have. Considered it? Yeah. Any mm -hmm. of you? I like, thought about it, but like, I wouldn't do it. You've mm -hmm. thought about it? Yeah. Okay. You think it'd be cool? Yeah. Have boobs, but <laughs> but like I'm fine. I'm fine without them. I don't need them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I, I want to ask the, the, <laughs> the guys in the room, Andrew. I'm gonna ask Andrew. I also want to ask the chat, the viewers. Maybe we can start a poll. Uh, actually, hold on. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a poll. Uh, it feels like I'm kind of singling Daisy out here now because I'm asking this. Do you prefer women? without plastic surgery with or without plastic surgery me personally i'm not a fan no offense daisy i don't mind not no a, offense. i don't mind not a fan not, not a fan, fan either gustavo you a fan are you a fan of some giant fake titties <laughs> no. no 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 senor no, no. nick you're lying uh, it is I mean, he might nice be look at, he might be I'm lying because sure there's a bit of a flirtation there's a flirtation bes between gustavo and daisy no i swear not i swear not no not not like anything it was just like a little eye contact i i picked no, up he on. just looked like cute you know cute oh. like. have you ever seen a girl yeah. that has plastic surgery in your life you actually didn't look better before have I seen a girl who got like, plastic surgery? Who has plastic surgery and then and she seen looks, her prior and you're like, oh, you actually look better they, now. <laughs> I think they always look better look before. Better before but the plastic surgery. Do you prefer bigger boobs or smaller? Natural. Bigger or smaller? 
So, okay. I but actually don't smaller. care. I don't care. Oh, really? It's a, I don't really care. I'm, a, I'm, I'm part of the small titty committee. Okay. I, I like small boobs. I like big boobs. I like them both. No, you have to pick one. If I had to pick one? Yeah. How big are the, are, when we say big, how big <laughs> like, are we? Like some fucking not, melons? Not like crazy. Some fucking can no, crusher? No, 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 no. I'm saying okay. like can. beautifully big. Like, like a C big. cup? Like, like C cup like, versus A cup? Like D, D, D E. e. Yeah. E. Like you can see clearly, East. like East. Cre Damn. you can see cle clearly the cleavage. The cleavage. Yeah. You can see cleavage. Be <laughs> honest. Be honest, please. No, look, big boobs are nice, but like I would never like if a girl had n absolutely no boobs, I would never be like that would disqualify. That would never disqualify yeah, I understand. her. I'm just saying, like to pick. Sure, one. in terms of like what is most perhaps. Uh, uh, actually, you know what though? Hold on, let me double down on the small boob team here. Uh, you ever seen like Greek or Roman statues? These women aren't like have giant fucking melons, right? They have like modest sized boobs. They're like well proportioned. And those are like, that is right. sort of like what's beautiful. And so I have this theory that pisses everyone off. So a girl with small boobs, she can be, she can be beautiful and she can be hot. Mm -hmm. But a woman with like giant fucking knockers, she can be hot, she can be sexy. I don't know if she can be beautiful oh, in terms oh. of her titties. Okay. How about mine? Oh my That's god, an I'm getting take canceled. on that. <laughs> Ryan, huh? how about mine? What about yours? I don't like. No offense, do they Daisy. Look, like, do they look disgusting? They don't. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> to to be, it, you want me to be honest with you? Yeah. So I'm not gonna say. I wouldn't. I wouldn't use the term disgusting, but. Okay. I actually don't like the look of fake titties. Okay. And the feel? Okay. I'm not a fan of the feel. I don't I don't but like the know, feel of the fake titties. A good surgery could be very natural. You you mm -hmm. wouldn't tell. Guys don't understand when it looks, surgery. Yeah. I have a radar for fake titties. Okay. <laughs> no, you don't. Mine look I, fake because I have like very tight skin. I didn't have body fat before. Right. Yeah, that's true. Some are more convincing than others. I do have a radar for the fake titties, though. So. What you if do? they just have like oh, an yeah. How do you know if you have? She could be wearing a turtleneck, and I'm like fake but tits. But how do you know if you <laughs> haven't had experience with that? What do you mean, haven't had experience with you one? Told, you told everybody you don't like fake tits. I like, don't. Yeah. But how did you know? If I've had one or two encounters with women who've had plastic surgery. There you go. They tricked me. Okay, I was tricked. <laughs> I got tricked. Okay, they got past my fake titty radar. Okay. And uh, the feel, though, eh, I'm not a fan. Oh, she sent them? Yeah, we'll take a look. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. This is date. When was this? 2013. Okay, oh, chat. So Hold cute. on. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I don't know. I nice. I don't think you need, you need, I think you're fine. What? Wait, I'm sorry. What, what age did you say? 2013. Oh, 2013. Yeah. So how old were you in that pic? Like, like 17. Uh... Just say 18. 18. Just yeah. Saying. I don't know. I'm not good at math. Sorry. <laughs> two plus I don't two think you four. needed to change anything, to be honest. Well, to From, be honest, I effort. don't care what people think of me. I do what makes myself happy. Yeah. What made mm -hmm. you want to get your. Right. I wanted to look like job. this, and okay. I look like mm -hmm. this. I, uh, nobody's paying for my bill. Right? They can judge. I don't mind. What Wait, made you there's want another to get your photo. Boob job? Okay, we'll do. What made I want to? Um... Okay, so this is when. Yeah, that what? was in Egypt. Egypt. Sorry about that. I was okay. Never mind. Wait, was, what? What? That you was were, like. Wait, why were you in Egypt? Travel. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> what were you in Egypt? Wait, love go the... back, Nick. Go back. Okay. So this is. Uh, you have some lip filler here, though, right? Uh, I uh, I don't remember. Probably is the lipstick, but here. What year I... is this? Oh, you got the fake titties though. Yeah. Okay, Here, that much, was like the, <laughs> the the fir first first All right. first procedure. Yeah. All right. So boys, you've seen some photos. What do you think before? Would you prefer? Would you have preferred Daisy after or before? Before? After? Okay. All right. Anyways, um, sorry to put you on the spot like that, Daisy. It's fine. I yes. don't mind. Okay. We do, it's just a conversation that comes up all the time. Loose Pussy Energy donated $200. You let him hit IT raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. You said I am may have his kids. 
Don't care if he's here or not. Now you're a single mom. Hashtag <laughs> good CEO. You. <laughs> All right. to you. Uh, well, we'll get into that in just a second here. So where are my notes? Let me see here. Let me actually, before we do that, I do have to read one. Actually, Daisy, mm -hmm. I'm going to have you read it, okay? Do you want to read it? Your name is Jing, uh, Jing Chen, not Daisy. You are a liar, you are a fraud, you are an escort and a criminal. I cannot wait for you to be deported. What uh -huh. Phil Christian is king? Okay. Do you want to address any of I those? I don't want to address anything. You can do whatever you want. If you are able to get me deported, go ahead. Oh. Uh, I don't okay. give a shit. Sure. Um, Let's see here. So, okay, getting into the notes. Speaking of Mother's Day, it's Mother's Day today. Uh, we have Daisy here. Yeah. Daisy. Um, so, I think we start off. Oh, one quick. Andrew can't wait to talk. Yeah, well, so I'll have. I have a. What? <laughs> I was just going to say Happy Irony Day. <laughs> what is that? Irony. 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 What Iro is ironic? 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 Oh. Um, so I've, I, I'm going to get through some of my questions. I have some questions for you, some questions for Noel, um, and then Andrew has some questions. So I'll just try to get through mine as quickly as possible, and then uh, Andrew has a couple questions, and then we'll go from there. I think a good starting point, though, is so there was a, so you were involved, uh, romantically involved with Walter from the FNF podcast, and uh, you guys were dating. Yeah. And why don't you? Can you just just give us a quick maybe 30 second summary of kind of yeah. everything that that's gone down and then we'll get into the details. Okay, so yeah, I've dated this guy. He was uh the owner of the podcast of Fresh and Fit. And I met him on last year November. Mm -hmm. And then we start become official in December end of December. It was like New Year, so he made it official. He posted us on YouTube caption was she bought my mom a gift now it's serious and she uh, he asked me in person like i want you to be mine no other guys mm -hmm. then i went back home for chinese new year then we started talking like you know then uh i told him i was gonna move to miami mm -hmm. and that's what happened then when we actually came back to miami i stayed in his apartment for more than two weeks then i got pregnant i got pregnant then he like when I found out I'm pregnant, he already broke up with me. That was like two weeks later. I stayed in Miami. He in broke up apartment. with you. He broke up with me before I found out I'm pregnant. Okay. Why did he break up with you? I don't know. He just oh. switched off, which I mm. found out later that he might be playing the game the whole time, and uh, he didn't want the kid. So I, when I called him, he told me, "I don't want the baby. You go get a pill." Mm-hmm. That's it. That's uh, okay. That's Actually, it. I did have one other question before we delve into this. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe we'll we'll come to it at the end. I was going to ask you, kind of, did you do any dating when you were living in China? No. No dating. Okay, I then cut it's it not off. Worth. Like, I was completely solid. Okay. Because I, I just, it's unrelated to the the uh, Walter thing, but I was just curious about. You know, perhaps the differences in terms of dating in China versus here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, are, you know, those differences. But we'll come back to that. So, yeah. uh, so let's. I think you went over timeline here. So you were, uh, you met him in November. Is that correct, Daisy? Right. And then you broke up in February or March. 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 Uh, and March twenty fifth, he broke up with me. March twenty yeah. fifth, he broke up with you. When did you find out you were pregnant? Uh, April first. I, yeah, I did a test. I had a pregnancy test on April 1st. Okay. So that's the, like, I went ahead and I texted him. I okay. showed him the pregnancy, pregnancy test. Okay. Then he's like, I'm going to call you back. Then he told me I don't want any kids. So you, you took a pregnancy test. Mm -hmm. You were texting him. You let him know. Yeah. And then not long thereafter, you wanted, he wanted to call you or you wanted to call him? He said he was on some kind of party, mm -hmm. and he said, oh, I'm going to call you back. So he called me back for five minutes. Didn't, didn't went well. Was this the conversation that you recorded? No. Okay. That was, uh, that was later. 
That was later. Okay. Yeah. So I guess what perhaps the first thing we do is actually listen to the uh, con the recorded conversation that you have with him. Um, one point of clarification. You s there seems to be some discussion of a lawsuit. I'm a little confused there. Yeah. Is there actually yeah. a lawsuit? Yes. It just went very slow. Are you the defendant lawyer. or the plaintiff? Defendant. You're the defendant. Yeah. Okay. So they, Walter filed a defamation? No, what no, no. I, I, I am going to file a defamation oh, so there's, lawsuit. But there's not currently... You there is nobody's my, filed. My, not yet. My lawyer is working on every evidence right now. So you do have a lawyer? Yes, I do. Okay. So there hasn't been a filed case yet, but you intend to file, uh, is it a defamation action? And coercion. Coercion. Co a coercion? Co oh, coercion. 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 Yeah, yeah coercion. Okay. Right. Um, and you're doing this, I'm assuming, in the state of Florida. Is that correct? Uh, that I have to like follow up with my lawyer. Because you said you live in New York, right? Yeah. I'm okay. saying New York. Is there any reason you would file it in New York versus Florida? Because he, he lives in Florida, and, uh, right? I don't know, actually. My lawyer, they're super busy because they're like very big in New York City. They haven't told me anything. Just like a few days ago, they text me like they're going to collect all the evidence and then make announcements. Wait, like so that. hold on. Is this um, your... Are they taking this on... Uh, shit, what's the term for it? No. Like, um, are you paying them? Or is this like they're taking it on contingency? On, I think on that's contingency. The, is that the term, contingency? Yeah, but okay. we talk about it. I was supposed to be paying, but then uh, I told them, like, because low feed is very expensive in here. I wasn't be able to collect all this money, and okay. my bank account is in China, so they gave me this. All right. Solution. Well, we can talk more about the potential lawsuit later, but um, while we play the video, because you recorded a, uh, a phone call, a phone conversation that you had with him, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll play it just so the audience can hear. Um, what I, I guess my question for you is what prompted you to want to record this conver conversation? See, uh, people don't believe me, even I show all the receipt. Well, but you had not gone public at this point like when you recorded the conversation yeah, I recorded this was still a private matter yeah okay. i did it because i want to prove it want to prove what i want to prove that i am pregnant with his child and he but doesn't prove to who prove to everybody prove but it, it wasn't public yet yeah but i did this in advance so i can show people whatever i'm showing right now as people can see, I have showed all the receipt, and they still don't believe in me. So what if you think I don't have the record? They're going to say you're not pregnant. But so at what point prior to the recorded phone call, the leaked phone call conversation, yeah. at what point did you make the determination that I'm going to go public with okay, this? Um, first time I reached him out, he told me, um, no, he doesn't want the baby. So then four days, he ignored me. Mm hmm so then I was like, okay, I'm going to give him some time. But four days, he, he hasn't reached me out. Then he didn't I, text you? Or right, he didn't, he didn't text okay. me. He didn't do anything. So you texted him, hey, I'm pregnant, and he didn't respond? Yeah, he said, I don't want a kid. I just okay. don't want a kid. Oh, no, so he did respond. First time I texted him, yes. He, did he res responded immediately. Right. Okay, but then you followed up. Yeah, then like, so first time I did the pregnancy test, it wasn't like very clear. It's a cross, but you know, uh, I thought maybe he thinks I, I'm trying to trick him or something. So I just double sure and went to the hospital. I did a blood test. Nick, can you Four days later, I text him again. <laughs> this is the blood test. Then I told my friend, maybe it's time to record it. Mm. Because in my head, I was very upset and emotional. Why? Because I know this guy doesn't want to take responsibility. Well, how do you know that? Because he broke up with me for, for well, no reason. Well, he broke up with you, but it's not clear well, if... He broke up with me for no reason. You're not in my position. That's yeah, why you can't I don't know feel me details. because I moved from China mm -hmm. for him. He broke up. Do you think it's wrong to break up with somebody for... like? It's, it's all it, right to br break up You can break up with anybody for any right, reason, right? Right. That's okay. Yeah. That, that's all right. Sure. But just because of that, I 
kind of sense that he's not like a responsible man. Because he broke up with you. Right. In that way, because mm -hmm. I'm here alone in this country. I had all my package delivered to his apartment. Right. You moved I here for him? I, yes. I moved from China. I had all my package. I, I couldn't even wait because he was telling me, you, you should go. But okay, you say that he, he, it didn't seem like he was going to take responsibility. What kind of responsibility were you hoping he, let's say you continued on with the pregnancy, what responsibility were you hoping he would take? At least to take the responsibility as to be a father, be there for the kid. Okay, so you wanted him to be involved with the parenting. Right. Okay. Um, and it seems at that point he would have been unwilling to do that. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, why don't we play the video and then we'll go from there. Go ahead, Nick. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing. Okay. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. No. Okay. So what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Nothing. Do anything to you? Nothing. What? Why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you gonna deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby. That's all. I mean, to the to the doctor, I guess. To the doctor. So you want abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? Because I'm like, there's no way that that's true. But then I said, oh, wow. Like. So just think about it. It's meant to be. God, wants, God I... wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. It is. God wants <laughs> you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. And then you're, relate in a rela you're fucking me for a month. And I'm pregnant. What does that mean? Well, like it, now, I just think about if like if you force me to kill the baby, then you're a sin. Well, we already said by having sex, but it's too late now, you know. But honest. Um, at the very end, there you say, f uh, force you to get an abortion. <coughs> um, is your position that he forced you because you got? You ended up getting the abortion, correct? Yeah. Is your position that he forced you to get the abortion? Yes. I tell you why. Because okay. we both planned the baby, and I'm not both on birth control. Wait, you. So I wanted to have the baby. Trump donated One two hundred dollars. I hope she During realizes the, uh, that recording a conversation right without both parties' consent is a felony in Florida, and once Trump is back, she'll be deported faster than the Japanese running from Godzilla. Okay, thank you. Um, Thanks for the 200. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, so hold on. Uh, go ahead with what you were saying. Uh, so um, we actually both plan to have the baby, and I want to have this certain certain understand when the father is there. Wait, he just to be clear, he he planned to have the baby. Yeah. Wait, because you only dated for a month? No, we dated four months. Wait, so for he, four months and you wanted to have his baby? He told you he wants to have a kid. He said if it happens, it happens. Okay. He asked me, what if you get pregnant? Mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to keep the baby because I want to have a baby with you. And mm -hmm. I'm 28. I'm ready to have a kid. But why did you want to have his... I, I just think, like, in four I months... I was in love. Yeah, oh. yeah I was in love. I, I, I have to, so just some more questions, though. But um, yeah, it just seems very... So, okay, he said he wanted to have a kid with you. I mean, we know, that, like, you had some mm -hmm. tweets that you also released. Or, excuse me, not tweets. Uh, text messages that you guys, that you released... 
which uh, indicated that you guys were perhaps not being safe. Uh, I won't get into more detail, but you guys were not being safe on that front. You were not on birth control, is my understanding. Were you taking Plan B at all or no Plan B? No, he, he nodded okay. in me every day. Okay. <laughs> As you okay. guys know, he does that to many girls, not just me. All right, well, I don't know the details okay. of so that, but... Yeah. Was he but doing that with other girls when you guys were together? The one next to me. I'm oh. sorry. So, okay, so... I'm a little confused, I'm though. I'm sorry, Noah, but, but I'm just kind of... Everybody very, already knows. Yeah. Yeah, so you... I'm just a bit, bit confused here. Um, you said it's against your religion yeah. to get an abortion, and you're yeah. a Buddhist. I'm Buddhist. Is I don't believe in cure anything, like even the uh, ends. Okay. But yeah, but, but wait, Andrew. The reason you don't believe that is because why? The reason you don't believe you should kill anything in Buddhism because, is for what uh, purpose? It's because in Buddhism religions, we don't believe in do anything harm to any to people or to animals. Right. So if we the, do that, we go to if we do that, we go to hell. Yeah, we so this would be, in life. your estimation, a person, correct? What does that mean? That means that the baby that you were carrying, it yeah. was a person from your worldview. It was a person. Yeah. It was a person. Hey, pay to win. Thank you for the gift of 20 memberships. Um, guys, I'm going to actually put a brief temporary pause on the TTS just so we can get through this without interruptions. Um, Andrew, if... I'm down to have you come in on this. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Are you, are you cool I if just I just- I just want to get clarification on that point. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I just want to try to get through my questions and I'll totally open it up to you, Andrew. Um, so you are a Buddhist though? Yes. Okay, and in the, under the Buddhist, is a Buddhist position like abortion is, uh, it's not allowed it's within not, that faith? It's, uh, I, I want to correct that. When I say that, I was very emotional and my, as you guys know, English, it's not my sure okay yeah so i meant in buddhism we don't believe in kill anybody or doing anything harm to people mm -hmm. because we want to be kind to everybody right and that's how i feel when i'm surrounding with people i'm always trying okay. to be honest but i just can't keep the baby because they are harassing me after they hired many people and they made many allegations on me i don't want my kid's father to ha to behave like that and I don't want to be a single mother I just have to be realistic I have to be s responsible for my life and my kid okay. I don't want my baby father it's this type of guy you know they were making jokes wait but even I think even in that conversation it sounded like you did want him to be I mean you we're having sex with him, sleeping yeah, with him. I did. You I did, did want him to be the father. Yes. Okay. Yes. Before, even when I had the conversation with him, I was sure I want to keep the baby. A hundred percent. Okay. Did because you want to marry him? I don't care about marriage. I don't believe okay. in marriage. Wait. So. But okay. Well, um, but you did say like in that f phone conversation that you don't want to kill the baby. It's against your religion. It's against Buddhism. You said you wanted to keep the baby. Yes. But you did ultimately get the abortion. I did because after everything happened, they were harass internet harassing me. Uh, wh while I'm pregnant, uh, he didn't show up, doesn't re re respond everything. Instead, they, they, the whole group of people would insult me on internet. And they were saying, they were celebrating me being a single mother, make, playing a song like, you let him in, <laughs> hit in the road, now you're a single mother. Right, the song. Well, they, I mean, but do you think that... And then also I found out other things about him, that he was doing this to many other girls, and he also mentioned Hail Mary. He brought a girl that... Well, hold on. Let's, let's, stay, let's just stay focused okay. on, on your specific um, relationship with him. So um, how, far, how far along, when you told him, were you four weeks, five weeks, six weeks pregnant? Uh, when I told him, it was like probably less than four weeks less than four weeks okay yeah. and then so and is that how long from when you told him to when you recorded the, that phone call four days four days and then from the point that you recorded the phone call how soon after did you release the phone call to the internet uh a, like a few days later a few days later yeah okay well, wait. I don't really remember when I recorded, but I know when I I released it a few days later, not immediately. Okay. okay. 
And I mean, you're saying though he was hesitant to be involved. I mean, certainly look, I mean, even if it was the case that he, he, I mean, you could, you can't force him to be involved in terms of parentage, but I mean, I can't there would have been, there would have been some sort of uh, child support payment, for yeah, example. But I don't um, want a child support. I want my baby father to be there. Okay. Well, but I mean, don't you think, I mean, this is from the time you told him to the point that you released all of this on the internet, it yeah. sounds like maybe only about what, seven days mm -hmm. went by? Yeah. I mean, so, I mean, for most men, I would assume it's pretty, can be pretty shocking, especially someone who you just broke up with, it takes time to process that sort of thing. I mean, don't you feel like you kind of took the first shot in all of this? No. Well, you, I mean, you leaked yeah. the private conversation. Yeah, I leaked. Yeah. But Based I mean, but don't you think that that was an escalation in this you can say that you know he wasn't being responsive to you, mm -hmm. but this was an escalation on your part mm -hmm. by making this public, and then of course, I mean, I, from perhaps his perspective, he would be less inclined to want to communicate with you further, because when he did communicate with you, he called you on the phone, you recorded it, which was a private conversation. I'll tell you, even if I didn't leak the message, he wouldn't take the responsibility. Well, how do you know that? You gave him one week, and then you. <laughs> you went based nuclear on, based on, on the how, guy. how we find out who he is later he basically well, tricks women buys fake stuff to trick women and also made other women pregnant also on the phone record i asked him have you ever made anyone pregnant before he said okay. yes sure he made his ex-wife get an abortion so for me in my head i was like okay this man doesn't want to take responsibilities and also we we didn't use protection. He just kind of like nodding me every day. Mm -hmm. And also I wanted to have the kid, you know. So for me, if you don't want a kid, just tell me, simply tell me, baby, I don't want a kid. Get a plan B. But don't you think in- Alas, that's all, but- I mean, don't you think in furtherance of either a reconciliation of your relationship, or if that was just never gonna be possible, you guys reconciling romantically, uh, having him, him involved as a parent, don't you think, extending him just the most basic courtesy of keeping this whole thing private could have been in furtherance of you know him being involved potentially i really don't know i'm not sure but i'll tell you why i decided when the moment i decided to leak the message is because when he texts me i want to get other four girls tested okay so can you imagine when your boyfriend telling you that why you're pregnant? He pregnancy, does that pregnancy test or something? Pregnancy test. He, so he admitted that he was seeing other four girls mm. at the same time, uh, having sex without protection and not in them. You didn't so know for that? me, I was no, I didn't yeah. know that. For me, Wait, I know. Wait, but earlier on in the conversation, you said you don't object to a man having sex yeah, with I, other women. I don't. But okay. he was telling me there's no other girl, okay. and. Okay. Uh, they're not you and even if I do sing other girl I use protection so he kind of like always avoid me like uh, avoid this conversation he just said I'm not seeing other girl plus when I was with him two weeks mostly he was with me 24 hours except the three days when he tried to break up with me he just like he disappeared for three days so before trying to break up with you yeah he disappeared for three days why did you want him to be your baby's father i was in love but like i know i'm just like i just want to know like what, what did you think that was like so great about him that to make you want him to, like because that's a big title to have like whoever you choose to be your child's father is a big choice i was in love that's all Yo. was that your first time in love sorry was that your first time in love or first time first time in love ever First okay. time I wanted to have kid with somebody. Um, all right. So, and then at the end of that video, you were make you were saying something about him uh, forcing you to get an abortion. Mm -hmm. And I'm just a little confused there. How did he force you to get an abortion? It was like kind of like misunderstood with my English. Translated in English, that means like if you ask me for a abortion. No, I didn't mean force me. Okay. Because I know I'm adult i can make my own sure. decision okay yeah uh and then you guys together you and noel you guys did make a video titled uh yeah we did uh 
Nick, are you able to pull that up? No, 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 no. It's are, you're pulling up the Reddit video. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Nick, the YouTube video, please. Um, what did, and what was the title of that video? We are the victims. So and so just before we we pull that up, uh, do you guys consider yourselves to be victims of Walter? Yes. So he victimized you. Yes. How? I don't feel quite victim, but I do feel like I was played. Well, you said we, so the title of the video is We Are the Victims. So, I mean, you were both in the video, so I would assume that means that... We both and, and other girls. Other women, too. Other women, Victims yeah. of what, precisely? Mm. A, a crime? Uh, I wouldn't say a crime, but emotionally damaged. Emotional Emotionally damage? damaged. Emotional abuse? And, um, for me, yes. Was he, he just, like, dating all of you guys? Like He was dating, like, different women, but he kind of made me, like, his man girl. Well, at the same how was, time, when you say he was a, a emotional abuse, what specifically? Uh, what, what, when what, he found out I'm pregnant, instead of standing up and wipe it up, he told his partner, making allegations about me, pull up some fake videos about me saying I'm escort. Well, calling me a whore. Call his baby mother a whore. But hold so on, I mean, didn't you come... obviously, all this internet attraction attacked that caused me emotional damage. Did you do that before or after you leaked the... After. It was after. After. Well, so... Do you think it's emotionally abusive to leak private phone calls? Uh, you mean, uh, me? Me, For example, uh, let's say Walter had recorded a private conversation that you and him had mm -hmm. that was of a uh, private, yeah. private and delicate nature. Yeah. And he leaked that. Would you feel that that would be um, abusive? I wouldn't like that. But, you wouldn't like but it. But I wouldn't. I was. I also wouldn't treat anybody like that. So. Okay. Look, we can. Okay. Look, it it we, may certainly be the case that Walter isn't wasn't perfect in this. Wasn't pregnant. Perfect. That's perfect. not a good word. Like he's. Worse than that. Wasn't well, I mean, you, did you know that? I mean, for example, he. I mean, his his podcast. He does sort of. I, d I didn't bit, know. But he is a, a bit up. Well, one, you said that you would not object to a man sleeping with other women, even yeah. if you're in a relationship. Yeah, with that's them. because I'm realistic, and also, we human build that this laws and this restrictions for 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 our generation, for people, for human beings. But before, we, when we were back in thousands of years ago, we didn't have these rules. Which guys, rules? guys like could sleeping with different women just to produce babies, okay? So right. human nature, human, human nature, we don't just sleep with one person. Mm. That's, I'm just being realistically. If my husband or my boyfriend respect me, and always be honest with me, I'm fine. Just don't bring me disease. That's what I told him. But instead, he could tell me the truth, but he lied to me. I don't sleep with other women. I'm solid. I already made up my mind. And then when, 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 when I told him I'm pregnant, he told me I need to get four other girls tested. So my mind was bloated. I was like, what the hell is going on? Wait, so if you, if you're like, I'm trying to figure out what the goal was and all of it. Did you just wanted him to be your, your baby's father? I would. Because you said you didn't care about marriage. So yeah. it's like if, the, if everything else, like him sleeping around with other girls or whatever, yeah. that doesn't matter to you, like, then I don't. Like, how are you guys saying, like, you got played? I was hoping that uh, he could just treat me nicely instead of just telling me, go ahead and get a, like, get a pill. Like, if he could just, like, say, uh, baby, I'm going to get you through this. Uh, I'll, I'll go to the hospital with you. Any of that. Mm -hmm. But he didn't, he didn't but say I mean, any he, of that. But, I mean, they do sort of hold themselves out to be these kind of playboy characters. I mean, they have a segment on mm -hmm. wom Womanizer Wednesdays. Walter claims mm -hmm. to have had a uh, body count of over a thousand. He says he's slept <laughs> with over a thousand women. Um, I mean, you must have known to some degree that he was probably involved with other women. Well, I know he's a playboy. Like he, right. he, he, he's, oh, he's, he's okay. He's, you knew that. He, yeah, I knew that, but I didn't know that he has bad character. 
playing boy and bad character is different. Okay, I didn't know he's evil like that, and well, I don't on. pay evil attention about a strong word. I don't pay attention do you about. Think, do you think he's evil? Yes. Why? Because of the way like he what, treated him. Just what after. specifically he, did he do that was evil? Made me pregnant. And well, not that, would make, that would make him evil. But just I mean, not for you, but for women. We actually carrying a baby. We actually had to get an abortion. Well, you consented to the sex, correct? Yes, I did, okay. but I, I didn't consent. Have sex, nutting in me. I didn't. Okay. And didn't men what? controls that. Men controls their behavior while having sex. And How we cannot on birth control. We we cannot control if a man's gonna come inside us of of us or. No, we cannot control that. Well, well, but I mean, you had sex with him multiple times, I'm assuming. Yes, because... And he I was coming inside of you every single time. Because I wanted to have the kids. I also right. wanted to have the kids. Right, but so, I mean, it's not like you were f saying, please don't do th this, please don't come inside of me. Oh, I didn't say that. You were that. fine with it. Yeah, I was fine. And my future okay. total told me, you're going to get pregnant on March, which it happened. Well, that's, yeah, I think that's typically how children happen, you know, the guys... I don't know. Like it, my future told, told her, it literally told me last year you're gonna be pregnant. I really, I was Wait, hoping. Wait, your fortune to, teller? <laughs> yeah, my fortune teller. Was it like a palm reading, or what are we? <laughs> I don't could know. You, someone from China. Like a I believe in that. Cookie. <laughs> I, you, no, you will be pregnant. No, 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 no. Do we have any fortune cookies in the studio? <laughs> Let's see what she's gonna get today. Um, okay. Wait, so he knew you wanted to get pregnant? He knew. He knew it. And okay, I was well, taking it seems all like this. They were planning. I was taking the supplements. You know. Your take stuff. was a prenatal? Prenatal. So yeah. I you're was, taking prenatal supplements. I take that and I quit drinking, you know, stuff like that. I really, I really sincere, like, wanted to have the baby. Did he, did he want to have the kid? I, I mean, he didn't say, like, oh, I really want the kid, but by his behavior and action. If he didn't want to have the kid, he wouldn't have. He, like, I asked him many times. I don't time. think, well, I, I think he, genuinely, I think he, he didn't want to have a kid. I think yeah, he didn't want to have a kid. But he also enjoyed nutting in you. Yeah, that's what I'm but why, like, why didn't he tell me? I asked him a hundred times at least. That's just how guys do you are. Do guys are just going to, you know, if a guy gets to hit it raw, they're going to. Why would he pull out? <laughs> I mean, well, I then he should know that. <laughs> if they're not on birth uh, then he should know that uh, the, their partner is going to get pregnant. <laughs> Oh, he didn't care if she just go ahead and get an abortion. That doesn't affect him. Have you? Because have that's you very, ever? It's a damage for women. Prior to Walter, have you ever had? No, never. Never. Okay. Never. It's just. Um, I think it's just important so for women to choose who they're having sex with without a condom because we should already know like we're gonna get pregnant and everything. But if he's already. I, as I said, I didn't mind. I was in love. Sure. And so, <laughs> just going back to the video, um, you guys, the video is titled "We Are the Victims." Um, I'm not sure if I really heard an answer to this. What specifically are you guys a victim of? And well, Noel, let me hear from you. Well, I don't think I'm like a victim victim, but okay. prior to going out and meeting Fresh, I told him, look, I'm not on birth control. Okay. I don't want to have children out of wedlock. And, you know, I expect you to use protection. And then right. when it came to that, he just didn't, didn't ask me about it, didn't give me a warning. He just kind of blasted like and it took me by surprise because i was trusting that he wasn't going to you know okay but you said like use protection so you allowed him to have sex with you without protection or it just kind of happened really fast it's one of those things where it was like wait what do you mean like the act of having sex happened so fast like well so just give us a bit of context here so you hold on let me look at my notes here um you In terms of meeting him, uh, so you had been following their podcast for for a while. For a while, and I was okay. following Myron, and then one day I saw a reel, followed fresh from it, and then like an hour later he hit me up and he said, come to Miami. And I thought it was about the podcast because I was already scheduled to be on it. And I was like, oh, like I'm already gonna be there in January. Okay. And he was like, oh, okay. Um, he's like, that's great. He was like, when you come out here, he's like, I wanna take you out, I wanna get to know you. So I was like, cool. And then he had me end up coming out in December. It just worked out just a little more conveniently because she wasn't going to be there. Um, I didn't know that. 
So wait, because okay. she wasn't. There's gonna crossover. Be there? Yeah, there was so a crossover. So he first saw you, and then so he started seeing Daisy. No, no so he, he met me first. Yeah. Oh, November. met you first. Okay, they so met in November, me and him started messaging end of November. How long have you been following the podcast? Fresh and Fit podcast, probably like a year and a half. Have you seen full episodes? Not full episodes. You'd see but clips. Like clips. Yeah. Did you ever watch periods of an episode? Um, you know, you'd tune in for thirty minutes yeah, or something. Yeah. Okay. And so you, uh, he DM'd you, you guys had a couple of conversations, mm -hmm. text messages, phone calls. He offers to fly you out. Yeah. And then he picks you up at the airport mm -hmm. and then drives back to his place. Yeah. And then you guys pretty much immediately go at it. Is that correct? Yeah, it was. So from like stepping like through the door, <laughs> oh stepping through the door to, uh, <laughs> does he throw it down quick? I mean, I would say a cool 10, 15 minutes into getting into his apartment. No, no, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's what's the term? Foreplay? Uh, no, not foreplay. <laughs> was there like any, you know, oh, the weather is... Uh, Wait, so you know. wanted to just... Small talk. Was I, there any small talk? <laughs> or just really. step through the door, he puts on <laughs> some Barry White, goes at it. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. So you wanted um, to just fuck or... No. Well, so, so you, but you step through the door... So how much time elapsed from stepping foot into his place to hooking up? Probably like 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 yeah. minutes, okay. And, um, okay, but I mean, so you were, I assume you are enthusiastic about that. Well, yeah, I was attracted to him. He's okay. charming, you know, he'd FaceTimed okay. before. Um, and, you know, I'm human, so. What do you mean you're human? Like, heat of the moment, if two people are turned on, what do you expect, like, that's gonna happen? And did you hook up more than, more than once with him? Twice. There. Twice. Okay. Um, what do you mean twice? Like two, yeah. two separate times. It's like one night, one night. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Eskimo <laughs> sisters over. <laughs> Eskimo I, sisters I over. I that. Eskimo sisters. And did and did in both times that you hooked up with him, he didn't use a condom. Yeah, both times. What prevented <laughs> you? From this guy likes rolling the dice. Holy shit! Fucking <laughs> 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 Walter rolling the dice here. All right. Um, Is that how you guys met? Through Instagram, yeah. yeah. Or th uh, that's how me and Daisy met. She, yeah. she liked my photo, and I saw her bedroom. She has photo with in his bedroom. Oh, <laughs> damn. Damn. So <laughs> you you saw, it, but you were very familiar with their podcast. You'd seen clips. Um, I mean, were you familiar with the? Look, there's a lot of content, both yeah. in my podcast, their podcast. Were you aware of the fact that, you know, these guys are a bit, you know, they're playboys, you know, they get, they, you they know, date a lot of women. I knew they got women, but yeah, like I, I, at that point I hadn't even seen the Hail Mary video. So it was like, me, me neither. Yeah. Did yeah. you guys think it'd Wait, be what's different? the Hail Mary you video? Guys, no, you can go to my, I'll Hail send you, I'll send you. What, really quickly, what's it about? Hail Mary video? He was, he admitted, basically he admitted that he made other girl pregnant. And His wife? No. Another other girl. girl. Yeah. And then well, he, I don't, I'm not he, surprised if he's, you know, sleeping yeah. with women. Then he lied to the girl silence. that we're going to have kids later, then took her to the McDonald's that her done, never talked to her again. Like, told her to get an abortion, never talked to her again. Okay. But, yeah. but what, what do those instances actually have to do with the two of you? Like, um, oh, if, that's uh, just if shows. Walter had, impre had impregnated half of the United States, <laughs> I don't actually understand how that's pertinent to your particular situation. Uh, it does. With him. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. If your wife or your ex-girlfriend, any woman that you, you were in a relationship with, if she was pregnant with every guy she dated, does that make she does that does that make you considering still dating her? Uh, like you would no, add, uh, absolutely I would, I would, like no. no, I wouldn't still date her. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. You know. Uh, yeah, but um, nobody's really questioning whether or not you broke up with a guy based on the fact that he's out humping a bunch of other women. Nobody's questioning. That's like that's not what's in question. What here. are you question about then? Yeah. So I'll tell. Well, I'll tell you what the question is. Um, so when you're talking about inside of your religious faith of Buddhism, Buddhism yeah. takes a neutral stance on abortion, yeah. as you yeah. know. But you clearly told Fresh inside of that phone call that it's against your religion yeah. to terminate this pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Does that make it murder that you terminated the pregnancy? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. So if he's not a murderer and you're not a murderer, no, I don't actually under... Hang on, hang on. I don't actually understand what the problem is as what could he have coerced you to do? He didn't coerce you to murder. 
because you're not a murderer and he's not a murderer by your own logic, right? Well, there is some behavior that she done that made me decide to have this abortion. What was yeah, that? Yeah, but even if all of the behavior, um, even if he did coerce you, let's just say hypothetically yeah. he did coerce he did. you to have an abortion. Hang on, hang on, I'm almost done. Yeah. Even if he did hypothetically coerce you to have an abortion, if it isn't murder, then that not that like coercing you to pick up a rake in the yard? I mean, what is the actual problem? The actual problem is I lost a baby that I was yeah, supposed, but you don't I supposed it to a person, have. I supposed right? to have it with Walter, and he doesn't want it. Yeah, I but why would that be a problem if it's not a person? If you don't believe that it's murder to terminate the pregnancy, you don't believe he's a murderer, you don't believe you're a murderer, then I what's the actual problem? It's just like picking a rake up in the yard, right? I think doesn't you're just anything. playing the language game. I've seen your show before. There's no way I can beat you. I'm just not going to argue with this. I think women in here, they won't understand me. Well, I'll ask, I'll yeah. ask some more questions. I don't want to argue with you because I know I can't. And well, I'm not, I'm not yeah. trying to argue. I, I'm really no, just genuinely just curious. Like, you're just like into this details and so sophisticated trying to catch me something or twist my word. But no, he's people not, he's understand not me. No, no, I'm, I'm really, I'm really not. I'm just, I'm just trying to understand. You're a very smart guy. I'm not trying to he here to, like, to defend on me. I know that I made mistake by dating this guy. I didn't know that who he is. And also, mm -hmm. uh, I abroad the baby. Yes, but I believe this is the best choice because I don't want a father. No, I, I, don't I, want I understand all that. Like that. I understand all that. Yeah. I'm not even playing a gotcha. I'm just telling you that yeah. if you're saying that it's not murder mm -hmm. to, to abort the child, mm -hmm. but you're saying he coerced you into aborting it, mm -hmm. I still then don't even understand what exactly he coerced you into doing, which was bad, because there's no murder. There's no, what, like, what's the actual problem? I don't get Co it. Coercion. Yeah, but the abortion, you consider it not to be a murder. If it's a murder, murder it's not me. I'm not a murder, it's Walter. Well, how, wait, how could he be a murderer <laughs> because if you don't consider it murder to abort? Because he uh, harassed me, internet harassed me, and he caused me emotional damage and all that. Yeah, no, I, I, get, I get that, but how could it actually be murder if you don't consider it to be murder if you abort? I didn't say I don't consider it, it's a murder. I said, okay, so you I do said consider it murder, so you're a murderer, or... I'm not saying, I said it's a coercion. A coercion to do what though? It's not a coercion to do anything bad if it's not a murder. I don't understand. I'm like, what, are you, what are you talking about? Well, if, if, you, if you terminate a pregnancy, it's not yeah. murder, right? Yeah, it's not. It's not. So yeah. then even if he coerced you to terminate the pregnancy, yeah. what is the actual problem? Because you didn't do, you, it's like picking up a rake in the yard, right? It's like uh, putting dishes away. It's, uh, if it's not murder, for you, yes, it's then what did, it, what did he away. force you to do that was actually bad? I don't get it. For you, it's, it's, it's putting a dish away because you, you are, you, you, you're not in my position. You wouldn't understand how I feel when I actually carried a baby. It was a baby, a dot in my belly, and I had to end it. Yeah, but you it's not murder, right? It's not murder, so it but it's, so it's it also not you, something we should encourage people to do. Yeah, why not, though? It's not a problem. It's not murder. It's just something she didn't want to do. And that's Andrew, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll come. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. No problem. So I'll are you cur up. encouraging people to, do, uh, to have abortion? Is that what you're saying? Go ahead, Andrew. Uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't because I consider it murder, but you don't consider it murder. So if you don't consider it murder, chat. why would it be a problem? If, if people went and had abortion, I don't understand. That makes no sense. You don't understand the consequence for women to get an abortion, the health damage, and all the other stuff emotionally. So you just don't understand because you're well, not I a mean, woman. You're not a woman. But that's why I was perhaps hoping that you could explain it to me that I if you don't I just, from your... I just did. I don't. I just did explain to you. I think people understand what I meant. So you're you, so that he coerced you to damage your health? Yes. Okay, by by um, by asking you to have it's this like abortion. he know it's a it's it's a he gave me a food that's poison poison that he knows it's a 
it's gonna like make me uh, sick and he still gave it to me he gave you what I'm just trying to make an I think example. An analogy, you're oh, okay. Using an analogy. analogy. I see. Yes. So, she, yeah. so the thing her. is, is that if if Walter doesn't consider an abortion murder, mm -hmm. and you don't consider an abortion murder, I don't un even uh, really understand what the problem is here. The con a consequence of sex is pregnancy, and if neither of you consider abortion murder, he doesn't, and you don't, then I, I don't I don't actually understand what you're upset about. To be honest with you. I think the problem, I think like her issue is like she, one, she wanted somebody to go through it with her. Um, and I don't know, she, I don't know why somebody, I, I, four months is really short, but you know, that's, um, I'm not judging her yeah, for but, that. But do you, does that make any sense to you? If I ask you, for instance, um, you know, if you got pregnant and neither one of you consider it to be a, a murder to, uh, or in any way, shape, or form immoral to I do an abortion. I do consider it a murder. Well, then that would make you a murderer, ma'am. No, I didn't make the decision because I wanted to. It's because... He... Well, you said he forced you. Did right? he go with you and do it, or...? No, he didn't. So, so if you don't he, consider he, he yourself a murderer, all of that. then you can't consider having an abortion murder. So you're saying that's okay? It's okay for him to do that? Well, not from my worldview. I think it's is awful. Is that okay? Is that okay to get a, your, impregnate a woman and ask her is. to get a potion, like taking a pregnancy, like taking a Plan B pill? Is that okay? From my worldview, no. But from your worldview, you just said it's fine. You just said from I, your perspective, no, from the I, Buddhist perspective. I didn't perspective, say that's okay. I said it's not okay. That's why I'm upset. So is it? So is it murder? See, you keep playing this question. You keep playing this. Well, I mean, you know, it's because I, I don't understand. You know. If it's not, if you if you didn't take a human life, then why is it actually a problem? That is a human life. I was if pregnant. Then, you're, then that would be a murder, wouldn't it? I didn't say and it's not it a murder. And if it is a murder, then that would make you a murderer, wouldn't it? Not me. I didn't because I didn't want to. Is fresh? Well, did he swallow, did he yeah, swallow the pill for you? or? Wait, so are you saying that fresh is the murderer? Yes. Because he wanted to do it. Because he wanted to do it. You guys heard the voice message. He pushed me to do it. He okay. never showed up. Did you just not want to be a single mother? Andrew, I'll, and I'll ask a couple questions. I didn't want to be a single mother. I didn't want my, my, my baby daddy to be like someone like that. But no matter what, you still had the decision to either take the pill or not take the pill, right? Yeah. So it just seems like you're putting all of the accountability on him. I think that's what we we're trying to well, say. Oh, I didn't. Well, definitely not. That's not what I meant. Let's get back to the video, though. So you did have this video of called We Are the Victims. Nick, if you can just sh pull it up real quick. We might. We Yeah, We Are the Victims. There it is. That's a nice penthouse apartment, by the way. Is that? Airbnb. Airbnb? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. And you guys, it's a fairly long one. Uh, I actually watched watched it, and I have a couple notes here with timestamps. Uh, if needed, I'll pull, pull up the actual peer point of time uh, corresponding to some of my questions I had. So uh, f starting with Daisy, you said that 13 minutes in, uh, you, when it comes to abortion uh, and pregnancy, you consider it as you actually have a life in your belly. Okay. Uh, at 18.30 in that video, you said one of the reasons you, you got the abortion uh, or perhaps women can get abortions, is uh, you feel it carrying a baby, you feel pain, bleeding. I uh, did. Okay. Yeah. And so uh, you said that perhaps one of the reasons women will get abortions is for health issues, like they might get it for health issues. Was that one of the reasons that you decided or that wasn't related? Decide what? Not to keep the baby? Yeah, some women, you said some women might choose to get an abortion because they face potential health issues if they continued with the pregnancy. I was very depressed. That was not the only reason. It's just everything put together. Okay. Um, but you didn't have any health issues, though? I was mentally. Okay. I mentally caused physically. All right. No. Now, at 29.30, Nick, could you actually skip to 29.30? Uh, and we'll actually play from 2930. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, 
Uh, let me know when you have it, okay? Yeah. Shit, hold on. One of my chats. Let me actually read this chat really quick. Uh, throwing a wrench into the mix. Happy Mother's Day. Have your parents told you about how they met? If so, how? Which parent was more? I'll, I'll have to come back to this. Oh, wait. Did it not trigger? Wait. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, that's weird. I don't know why it's not triggering. One sec. Well, didn't you turn it off? Oh, I did pause it. Okay. Um, all the TTSs are shit. They're, uh, just a reminder, guys. Uh, TTSs and chats, we're just going to pause it just to kind of get through some of this stuff, and then we'll all open it back up in a little bit. Uh, okay, so Nick, have it. Go ahead. Like, we're here to take you down. You can pause it. What do you mean by you're, you're here to take him down? Mm. Like, is that your goal? You want to take Walter down? Yes. Why? Because you hurt me. Okay, maybe that, like, let's just say that, you know, take your word for it and that he did hurt you. I don't yeah. doubt you there. Um, do you think it's... Like, do you see yourself just moving on from this? What do you mean? Like, y'all could just drop it. Just move on with your lives. I did. That's why I chose in the end to take the pill. Cause no, I, I don't mean uh, that. I mean just like this ongoing conflict with oh. with them. Should I move on, you mean? No, I mean, I have mean, you, cons I, have I, you I, considered I, that? Uh, yes, I am moving on with my life. And but I'm you said you're pursuing a lawsuit against yes, him yes he still need he still need to get what he deserves and to be clear that's a you're f doing a defamation lawsuit yeah, yeah. and then also a cur it's a like a coercion it's a intentional i believe it's well i don't know what you're specifically going for but intentional infliction of emotional distress something like that yeah and he could have bring me a serious std but he didn't so what's the what are your damages yeah, damage is. I don't think you can sue somebody for what they could have potentially done to you. Yeah. So did he? He didn't give you an STD. He did. Oh. Oh, I'm fine right now. He gave me ultra infection. Oh what? A what? A UTI. UTI. Yeah. Oh well, you can hold on, but. But you can get. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah, get yeah, yeah, holding yeah, in your pee too long. <laughs> I don't think a yeah, UTI isn't necessarily sexual. Okay. STD. Okay. Fine then. But so you intend but to sue him? I'm, you intend to sue him for a I am UTI? Not, no, no, not just this. Okay. okay. Well, no, I know there's other things, but yeah. I'm asking why you are planning to sue him. But um, why shouldn't I? Like they they are defaming me and putting slander on me. Why shouldn't I? Like everybody's calling me. Who's they? Like them, like his partner, Myron. So what, what's so what's the main thing that they're accusing you of that you find def defamatory? They call me uh, a professional escort. An escort, okay. Yeah, they, and you don't have you have no history of no, escorting. No, okay. Because they, they did release a video, which I already. That's not you, though. Yeah, correct. Okay. I addressed that already, sure. which I, which is also why I'm working with my lawyer. Okay. And he, uh, they ruined my reputation. And uh, I lost a lot, a lot. You have damages? Yes. Okay. And uh, they also said, call me a thief, which I am not. I've never steal from anybody. You're filing this lawsuit in New York, is that correct? I think so, yeah. Because my lawyers are in New York. Did you do any venue shopping? Because New York actually has fairly strong, uh, it's fairly, uh, it's a good state is my understanding to be a plaintiff in a defamation case when it comes to being like if you're in New York I think what do you mean you're saying that's difficult to do it no I'm saying that's probably one of the best states if you're a plaintiff in a defamation case yeah. but I'm just curious why you didn't given that he lives in Florida you were in Florida when I don't know any lawyer in Florida it just, just seems like venue shopping I, a little bit like you chose the best state to file a defamation I don't know. I was in New in, York when I deal with or you haven't anything. filed it yet correct not yet but it, I would, it's I would a, still a give it a shot. Yeah. But 100% you are intending. Yes. Okay. Uh, so I'll, I'll try to get through all this. So because I know Andrew's got a bunch of questions, so I'll try to get through this as quick as I can. Uh, okay. You said at 38 minutes that you you hid your the time that you had your abortion. So there was a period of time while there was this like kind of 
it was going viral on the internet. Yeah, I, I didn't you, hit, I didn't hide it. I no, just, but you said it, I you did said it. you hid your abortion. There's different be between secret and lie. I did not lie. I just didn't tell anybody. I got it down. I didn't tell anybody on public until when I was drinking a glass of wine in Miami mm -hmm. and they called me out. They were like, you're pregnant. I still didn't want to explain. Then right, didn't you make a post where you were like, oh, it's okay to drink a little bit even if you're pregnant? Yeah, but I at just, that time, I you was, weren't even pregnant yes, at all. I was just trying to educate these people, like, it's okay to have a one glass of wine. Well, you at that Only point, you were still, glass. but at that point, were you still intending to carry on as if you, at least publicly, that you were still pregnant? I was going to tell them anyway. Okay. So I scheduled the podcast with, oh, uh, no, I mean, the show with okay. Duke the Down, so I was going to tell them, like, later on. But I just wanted my right. vacation, like a little vacation. Okay. Uh, Nick, could you go to 5425? Um, let me know when you have it in the video. And just a reminder, guys, we are taking a pause on all the chats and the TTSs just while we get through the segment. Go ahead, Nick. I, until, until I take you guys down, like, I'm not, I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to shut up. Okay. Like, the tree told me to shut up. You can, I'm you can pause. Um, I'm just like, so what, I think I might have already asked this, but what prompted you to decide to, like, leak all this, go public? Um, that's my revenge, to be honest. He hurt me. I want to hurt him. That's all. I'm just curious, though, like, because, I mean. Wait, you, did, you, did you say revenge? Yes. That you did this out of revenge? Everybody knows. Him? Everybody knows. They didn't like that, the fact that I leaked the message. Nobody agreed with this, but I still do it. I'm not regretting it. It's because when somebody tried to hurt me, and actually they did, and they don't think about the consequence after, and am I letting them just like to like move on like that? Like They're never going to learn a lesson if they don't. If I didn't do any anything actually like that's going to damage them. So you can go ahead and judge me for being, uh, you know, whatever. I'm not judging saying. you. I'm just saying. No, I'm um, not saying you. I'm saying the public. Yeah. Like I really yeah, didn't I mind. Like they can, they but can. But the motivation. They can hate you me. think that the primary motivation that you had was vengeance. You wanted re to kind of get back. First, revenge, uh, because he hurt me, so I want to hurt him. Second, because I wanted to warn other women as well, because there is a lot of message that I've been getting that. When when you say he hurt you, what? What precisely did he do? He broke up with you? No, he made me pregnant and he didn't want to take the accountability. But okay, I uh, I don't he, know. Does him getting you pregnant was that him hurting you? He gave me pregnant and didn't want to didn't want me to keep the baby that's hurt. That was, hurts. Was he like telling you he didn't want to have a baby? He just heard like the voice. I didn't you know. heard exactly what he said. Go, go take a pill. He didn't even say, "Oh, come to Florida, okay. come to Miami. I'm gonna go to the hospital with you." If you, you know, we 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 broke up already. We can't keep the kid. Like he can just say anything. Like that's nice. Like he just, all of a sudden he switched from somebody that's nice, charming to somebody that's like, "I'm just a stranger." Like, deal with yourself. Like that's how I get it. That's how fuming I was. Yeah, and he deserved to be punished for that, right? Thanks for that. Yeah. So I'm just yeah he did I mean he did right he deserved to be punished he deserved for you to to um, to punish him for doing doing that horrible thing to you right well I didn't expect that from you but thank you okay but he well, did right didn't he he's asking you did yeah he didn't what? he he did didn't he deserve to to uh, I mean he deserved it right he did yeah so I mean he needed to be punished didn't he yes is he is he really punished I don't know. Yeah, because he, he still needs he still needs to be punished, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to like see him in jail or like? <laughs> yes. Whoa! Oh, okay. oh, come on. Jail? Yes. Straight to jail. Yes. Straight. Straight to jail. Yes. So you think for like, getting you not for knocking you up? For making me pregnant, for making other women pregnant, for giving yeah. other women STD while knowing he sleeps with okay, multiple well, women on, without protection. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Okay, uh, Maddie, see, Maddie, go fix that, please. Oh, I think they might have it. Just double check. 
Sorry, guys. Our fucking s- <laughs> welcome to the whatever podcast. It's trying to come down right. Production now. quality is fantastic. Uh, wait, hold on. Don't. It's good. All right. Oh, it's the, that's what fell the ziz thing. Okay. All right. Uh, so I am a little bit confused. Um, so if you had so much conviction about keeping the child and being against abortion, the father being a perceived or actual scumbag who doesn't want involvement um, and, and the ensuing drama, the public drama, it doesn't seem like enough pretext to go and get an abortion if it's against your religion, against your values. So I'm just a little there, confused there's there. There's a lot of a lot of different reasons. Well, also, one of the main reasons because I was like during the pregnancy, what I had to fight with all of them. I but was like very stressed. You know, I was worried about my stressed? health. Why were I stressed? No, I'm not questioning that you were stressed, but okay. why were you stressed? Because of the because they the were drama. putting yeah the drama, the allegations on me, and and especially he, he never like actually made any announce, announcement he was keeping his mouth shut while his his partner was speaking for him so i want you to just be a man man up like even if you made a mistake just say daisy i made a mistake i shouldn't have done that that's okay i take the apologize even though it it, it takes bo- both to you know how to say to get pregnancy so it like two to tango yeah two so like I would be okay. Like I just, he just so stubborn. He wouldn't even. So, okay, but apologize so, to me. Apo- wait, apologize for what? For what? Like well, I mean, he's a, I mean, he's a real son of a bitch, right? I mean, treating you like that. I mean, he kind of he kind of has it coming, right? Kind of has it coming. Well, I I didn't really know that because I just felt. I just like personally, I just wanted to feel who this guy is, like. I didn't know he, he's like this scumbag until he broke up with me. I searched him on Google. It, a lot of things came out. I'm like, wait, this can't be true. So yeah. that's also okay. why. And when somebody treats you like that, I mean, they deserve to be punished by you, don't they? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. So a couple, a couple more questions. So you said that you were... Would you say that the primary reason for you getting the abortion was because you were stressed out by this whole thing? That's the main reason. That's the and main reason. There's another reason. Um, as I told everybody, I was growing up in a single family. My parents broke up when I was 10. Mm-hmm. And when I was in childhood, when I was in school, people always laughing about me, making fun about me without, like, I don't have a mother. You know, like, it's just, like, very tough for me. Like, my childhood, very tough. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want my kid to go through similar situation as I as me okay so but th- you said the primary reason was because of the stress is that correct the you know the stress that was the main reason from from all the drama with fresh and you know all that that was the main reason you decided to get the abortion yeah okay do you think that you kind of brought some of this on yourself yes because I, th- truthfully, like looking at all this retrospectively, had you kept all this private, had you not leaked the phone call? Because I mean, he, he uh, they have grounds to have been upset with you for leaking a private phone call. Yeah. yeah. You could argue that that's a, that's a pretty big breach of trust, even though you guys had broken up. And I mean, look, uh, maybe he wasn't moving in the, the best way when it comes to his relationship with you. Yeah. But I mean, leaking a private well it's not just leaking the phone call i mean you intentionally there was like uh forethought it was premeditated you recorded the phone call with the intention of then releasing it yeah um so i mean perhaps none of this stress would have been caused if you just tried to handle this privately and you did take in in this conflict in this war that you're you're now finding yourself in you did kind of take the first shot at least from how it looks. Maybe, yeah. I think whether it was leaked or not, he was still going to tell her to abort it, and that's still going to cause stress. 
Yes. But she, but she says, I mean, and I was ve already I very stressed when he told me he didn't want the kid like, sure. in the beginning. Like I gave him four days to think about it. Nothing happened. He sure. never replied my message after all. But I mean, just myself being involved with, uh, you know, being out there publicly and doing a podcast and. I mean, it can be very stressful getting, you know, I don't know if you've got any death threats. I've had death threats. I've had nasty messages. Uh, and then you have people lying about you. You have people saying nasty things about you. A lot. Uh, I, don't, I don't suspect any of that would have occurred if this would had been kept private. And so uh, it just seems like... Uh, That's because I'm not saying I'm not saying Fresh was perfect, but... It does seem in terms of making this whole thing public, they obviously responded to you, but you kind of, once you opened that door, you sort of un what's it, uh, opened Pandora's box mm -hmm. and kind of, well, okay, they, you went public, he's gonna obviously respond publicly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, okay, fine, you make sense. Okay. I mean, yeah. um, at a minute. I'm taking the consequence uh, yeah. for my behavior. And yeah. in that video, an hour and five minutes in, you, s you were speaking about uh, Abba Atlas. Yeah. Me and him, sh we're actually related because we share the last name, apparently. Abba? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're not, I'm not really, we have the same last name, but we're not related. Um, you were upset that he betrayed you by leaking DMs. Yeah. Isn't that precisely what you did to Walter? Yeah. That's you different. leaked a phone call. That's different though, because well, how's it different? Abba and I, we don't like. I didn't hurt him like or anything like. Didn't hurt he, who? Abba, like I didn't do anything bad to him. Like he didn't have to leak this message. The reason why he did it because he probably want to show off, you know, or he wants to like. He, cause he hates fresh and fit, so like that's gonna make him look good. Mm -hmm. Okay, your ex girlfriend actually hate on me, stuff like that, and uh, he actually like I like. He had like a huge, he o almost hit 1 million review after he did an interview with me. Like he's the benefit. He get all the benefits after the interview. Like he didn't have to leak the private message. Like that was but just like- that's what you, pr that's precisely what you did to Walter. And you didn't, well, he, you went beyond just leaking DMs. You yeah. also leaked, you recorded, premeditated, recorded a phone call yeah. and leaked the phone call. Yeah, but Abba didn't have to because I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't in a relationship with Abba. Sure. We were just cooperating. Like, why do you have to right. leak this There's message? A different and he doesn't there. have to. Like, he's a, a big YouTuber. Like, that just shows him that I really had a respect, my respect for him. That's okay. why I was very honest with him. He but, know. But by the so way, what if, oh, by the way, he knew that I was getting an abortion. I told him early. Oh, so he didn't. So he act like, okay. oh, I'm surprised. I didn't know she was getting an abortion. He knows everything in the beginning. I treated him like a friend. You felt betrayed, though, yes. by, by Abba. And okay. for no reason, he wants what, what he wants. He wants more like, you? So you feel like you, you and when do people And when people betray you, what? right, yeah. that you should be able to uh, go after them, don't you think? I think so. Don't you think you should be able to go after people hard who betray you? Yeah. And do, and do horrible things to you? Don't yeah. you feel like that? Yeah. So think about yeah. how you feel about what Abba did to you. Yeah. Would it be fair to say that that's how Walter feels about what you did to him times a hundred. <laughs> what I do to him to cost to cost. Well, him, in like, terms of like, it didn't cost him anything. In anyway. terms of the leaking the private, because yeah. Abba he leaked the private DMs between you and him. Yeah. You leaked this, these phone calls, text messages, etc. Mm -hmm. That's probably the the way that you feel about that. Yeah. Is how Walter feels mm -hmm. about what your leaks. Mm -hmm. But probably way worse because I mean there was more leaks. It was much more impactful. Um, but and also you said that you feel like you didn't do anything wrong to Abba, correct? Yeah, I don't think I did anything wrong because that was. Wh what what if I told you that maybe Walter feels that way? That he feels he didn't do anything wrong. Uh, he didn't do anything wrong by. Well, I don't know, but maybe he feels that way. But that's not true, right? I don't know precisely what. That's not true. <laughs> Everybody truth. knows that's not true. Well, you said it, it seems like your main quarrel is that he got you pregnant. It's not clear to me though if that is enough pretext to uh, get revenge. It's that it's okay. He can just be honest with me. Like he didn't have to play all this game to make me pregnant and dump him and didn't want the kid. You know, that's like very something very serious for me. Like I really wanted the kid. Okay. 
that's like something you wished for for a long time then you you couldn't have it you know what i mean that's like that makes me suffer a lot that's why I yeah, have and he so took much and he took and he took that away from you. That's why I I have so much hate. That's why I did this. Yeah. I've never done this. I swear, I've never done this to anyone in my life. Done right. what? People but have I mean, hurt me in the past. Just the, the fact he took that away from you. I mean, how could you even help yourself but go after him like this, right? I don't know what he's trying to say, but well, I'm I mean, just saying. I did I'm what just I saying, did. You, I, I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying, like you said, you've never done this to anybody. You've never felt hatred like this. I've never. I've and never. And that's hate. yeah, never. I mean, because he took this away from you, right? Yes. Yeah. So I mean, he deserves everything that's coming to him, and then some, doesn't he? Moving on in the video at the one twelve fifty mark in that video, you I think you were talking about Noel. You said that Noel, she's a victim because he slept with her without a condom and nutted in her without telling her. Okay. Cause, but uh, you said you don't view yourself uh, as a victim, right? Not necessarily. Like I did consent to have sex with him and I did go through with having sex without a condom, but I And you consented to that just without to be clear. a condom, yes. But prior I told him I don't want children out of wedlock. Don't. Okay, sure. I wanted him to use a condom at first, right. but in that moment, it just didn't happen. But you don't just go and nut in someone, like, without their permission. It, like, imagine... This guy's a gambler. He's just <laughs> playing Russian like, roulette Im Imagine you're having pregnancies. sex with someone. <laughs> imagine you're having uh, sex with someone. They just punch you in the face. Whoa. And then they say, oh, Some I'm sorry. Some girls are into that, Yeah, though. and then they say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm into BDSM. Just saying. At that point, it's assault, because you didn't talk about that prior. Yeah, you probably yeah. should. Yeah, so have mm -hmm. talked we talked about, about it prior. You talked about prior. Yeah. Yes, and you would think he would get, yeah, I probably shouldn't knock this girl up. I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit here, but at the 117.50 mark, you said, don't let a man take advantage of you. I think that's you, Daisy. You said, don't let a man take advantage of you. Do you so do you feel that Fresh took advantage of you? Yes. How? I'm just curious how. Mm because he won't really planning a future with me but he told me he was so that got me fooled so i decided to have a kid with this this person he was so he's a good talker yeah he like would just he, say stuff to you guys and that he, would he made me feel like he was serious i'm telling you i'm dating i have a lot a lot of dating like experience but this man he's very good he was like even like before a week he broke up with me he was like oh i'm planning a long term i'm gonna get us a house what if you get pregnant hmm. okay so you feel like he was like leading you on yeah there. yeah i am okay just like anybody just tell me like i don't want a relationship i don't want to have kids even though before him i was single for a while i didn't i was okay wait one question so you got you said you were you guys were in love right yes how soon after meeting him did you say, I love you? Uh, that's before I went back to China. So like, so how long would you say you had been dating before? Uh, like two months. Two months, okay. Yeah. And it's that's, quick, af that's after quick. I met his mother. It takes me like three years to say that shit. It's quick, it's because he said he... You yeah, met his mother. You met the mom? The moms? Mm -hmm. Yeah, multiple okay. times. He um, took me to his country, Barbados, to his mother and okay. his entire family. So, um, like, I don't know what that means. I've never Daisy, seen Daisy, what were you looking for out of him? Like, if he stepped up, like, financially, and, and he told you, you know, I don't want the baby, but I will take care of you. I'll take care of the baby financial needs. Would mm -hmm. that have changed the outcome of your abortion? Yeah, definitely. So, like, if the father is there and the father is a good guy and he provides... Yeah, so you just wanted someone to provide? Not, not financially, not necessarily just financially. I mean, financially and physically and like emotionally to the kid yeah because no, the kid deserved both parenthood because i didn't have it when i was young my mom left me when i was 10 yeah so it's just but my question is that if he told you you know i don't want to be part of the baby's life but i will take care of you guys financially you and the baby and um you no, know that's, I'll not, that's not what? okay no no okay um a couple more things so i i guess i'm just curious like so why try to expose him like, because it seemed like you were trying to paint him, like, I don't know, as a hypocrite or a deadbeat or not a Christian man because, because he wanted an abortion. But it seems very clear that, at least from kind of the conversation we've had and from some of the stuff that's, you know, 
been talked about on the internet, like it seems like you had no intention of actually keeping the baby. Is that fair to say? I had intention when I called him. Okay. And when I, and even though uh, when things happened, I wasn't like still wasn't like sure. I was like going back and forth, thinking what to do. Like you were on the decide. fence. Only like, I I think. Actually, I went to the ho- like pa- uh, parenthood twice. First time when I tried to get rid of, it, I didn't. I left. Right. I was crying. I didn't. Okay. And I did it. I went back the second time. But like, so, wh- I, can I ask uh, just briefly? Yeah. I was just curious if I could get some clarification. Have you ever taken Plan B or any contraception of any kind before? No, we don't have this thing. Like we have like an emergency pill. If someone mm-hmm. like in China? Yeah, yeah. But we don't yeah. have birth control like that. We have. Yeah. Have you ever taken that emergency pill before? Yes, I did. Yeah, before before all this. Not not with Walter, yeah, but if. No, no, I know, but in but in China, you've taken it before. Yes, I did. Yeah, how does that how does that one work? Uh, you have to wait till you're pregnant, and then you take it. Or you take it like the morning after. Uh, yeah. I, I can take in within forty eight hours. Wait, so Andrew, I think when it comes to the plan okay. with the Plan B pill, it's possible that you can take that pill prior to conception. Sure. Sure, that's what I'm asking about this specific pill she's talking about. I'm mm. just wondering, right. do you do you have to conceive, or how does that pill in China, the emergency pill, work? Mm. So uh, after after the intimacy, you can take it within t- 70 hours, 72 hours. That's the yeah. maximum time. Okay, and you and you have taken those pills before, right? I, I had, yeah. Cause, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait, so when you were trying to, because like it seems your goal is to like expose him. Uh, Expose him for like being a pro-choicer, being a deadbeat. Is that? Yes. But like, so why try to expose him for that when, I mean, that's, you opted to get the abortion. So why expose him for essentially? When I did it, it was just like very emotional, you know, like I was just very, very mad at the time and I didn't. I didn't want to get in motion at that time when I exposed it. I only decided later, later, because things get really worse, and, and he never showed up after that. It's mm-hmm. like he gave me no choice. Well, like, hold on. I mean, plenty of women who are pregnant, but even if the dad's totally out of the picture. Yeah. And to- In this and country, but not in my country. It's not something very in common. Men take accountability in China. If they impregnate a woman, they will take res- responsibility. Mm. It's something that's abnormal for me. But he's a, he's an American, right? Or that's why I didn't Barbados like. Or I, I had I didn't know. Like I only got here last year. On well, October. you were planning to stay here, right? Um. Like in, well, now wait, yeah. wait, no, hang on, yeah. wait a second. I'm I'm confused. And maybe you can clarify this for me. If you have taken this pill before in China, but you say that the culture in China is that they always take accountability, why take the pill? Because y- y- sometimes you have casual sex and things could happen. Okay, so this, yeah. um, so Not when you were having casual boyfriend? sex in China, yeah, I've yeah. So it. when you you were in your, when you would have casual sex in China from time yeah. to time, yeah. you would take this pill to prevent yourself from conceiving. Mm-hmm. Okay, I just wanted to get clarification yeah. on this. Go so, ahead, Brian. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it just seems like so the efforts to expose him and ruin his reputation for precisely the same behavior and conduct that you ultimately did. You wanted to expose him. Here's this Christian man who tried to get me to get an abortion. Here's this guy who he seems like he's gonna be a deadbeat. Mm-hmm. But you, you got an abortion, so I'm just like, why expose him for conduct that you're basically the, the his conduct is your conduct? I told you when I exposed him, I didn't want to do the abortion. I think what he's trying okay. to say is he's no. trying to, like, you kind of enabled him to do that to you because there was all these signs, like, you know, he's not a good, not a good dad. If you watch Fresh and Fit, he's not boyfriend, not husband. I don't watch bo- Fresh you. and Fit. And what? It just comes, like, you, you basically just got, like. Like, why expose him if you agreed to his terms? <clears throat> I don't agree his term. 
but no, you but did why? It, but you went through with the abortion. That's what we're saying. That's what he yeah. wanted you to do, and you went through with it. So you kind of did agree to his terms. Because you didn't have to have the abortion, you know. You. Yeah, but people. People. Well, but but people, hang on, hang on. In her defense, though, right? This he deserved to, to be. Pu- he hang on. In your defense, he deserved to be punished for this. You know, I mean, he deserved it, right? Yes, then what's the point? Like, what what yeah. what the question about here? Like, if you think I did some, I did wrong by leaking his message, fine, I accept it. But if you say he's he didn't do anything wrong, I don't agree with it. Like, I don't see what, like what, what what's the argument here? Like, I'm not well, I'm not saying you guys I'm not I'm not making any accusations at yeah. all. I'm just saying in your defense, if something like that happened to me, and I felt like I was fooled in some way, or I felt kind of like I had been made a fool of, I would be super upset. And I would want to get some revenge on a person. You know what I mean? Like if that happened to me, I, that's how I would feel. I would literally feel like I needed to get some kind of revenge on them for making me feel like I was a fool. Oh, Does would? that make sense? You would? What's that? I said you would. Yeah, would, I mean, don't you? Don't you feel like that too? Yes. Yeah, exactly. I mean, then, and I guess, I guess that's my pers- perspective too, mm. right? Okay, like, I understand um, what you mean right now. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll turn it back over. To yeah, Brian. yeah. So I mean, it's like in this situation though, you said that he forced you to get the abortion, um, but I'll know. At least here in the United States, Nick, could you close that? So here in the United States, I mean, Walter and men in general have really zero reproductive rights at all. So as a woman, if you want to abort the child, you can. If you want to keep it, you can. There's nothing a man can do in either scenario to either force you to keep it or force you to get an abortion. Now, it could certainly be the case that the man in in a scenario where a woman's pregnant could be a terrible father. Um, I'm not not making that accusation towards Fresh, but just to make an argument. Um, Just because a man's a would be a, a deadbeat or you know he's causing you stress uh that would not be him forcing you to get an abortion can i say something sure coercion for abortion is actually illegal in all 50 states there are laws against this well when you say coercion what do you mean precisely that means intimidating somebody threatening them online embarrassing them you could look all of this up online okay let me look it up sure. yeah well I go um coercion so to abortion. respond to this i i actually would agree that coercion to make somebody do anything, regardless of what it is, would be a crime in all 50 states, not just abortion, right? Like, if you're a man and you're going to knock someone up, the best bet is to just not tell them to abort it and let them make the decision for themselves instead of telling them, oh, I can't afford it, or oh, Yeah, sure, but, but, but to my point, if you don't mind responding to my point, coercion for anything would be illegal in all 50 states, correct? Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's not specific to abortion it's specific to anything which you utilize coercion which is why coercion is such a specific term usually coercion has some type of implicit threat of violence or something like this i mean surely neither of you ever felt like you were physically threatened by by uh walter right like you certainly didn't feel threatened yes you felt physically threatened by walter yeah not walter but I believe no, no, I, be, I believe Myron represent Walter because he was silent, and Myron was saying that he wish he's a woman so he can punch me in the face, he can beat me up, and all that. Like he yeah, but on public but he not, said that well, many but you times. you just said hang on, but you just said that you didn't feel any type of coercion from Walter. Like he, he didn't feel physically threatened from him. Neither of you felt physically threatened from Walter. I mean, I heard the call and Walter said in the call. He said, well, what are you going to do about it? And he said, nothing. He said, nothing. I'm not going to do anything about it. That doesn't sound like a threat. Is he a part of Fresh and Fit? Uh, well, well, sure. But if okay. I was a... That a, makes... If, that, if, then, let's a, assume for a second that, that me and Brian were partners on whatever. We're not. But assume that we were. If Brian said bad things about you and I didn't say bad things about you... How would that be me coercing you? I don't understand. That wouldn't be me doing anything to you. So I'm just saying, if you didn't feel actually physically threatened in any way his company by Walter, did. either his, of you... His company, then, which then, who re- represent him, did. 
Hmm. I'm sorry, say that again? I just want to make sure I heard it his correctly. Com his company. His company. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. His, com fresh, his company. Fresh, but his fresh and fit did his company ever physically threaten you? Or? Fresh and fit represents Walter Weeks. Well, okay. no, wouldn't Walter represent fresh he, and fit? And his lawyer told him to not say anything. Shout out, James yeah. Sexton. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> yeah, and then so he couldn't say anything, so he decided to let Myron to do all, everything. Yeah, all of that. Yeah, but I mean, you would have to hold Myron responsible for that, right? But Walter himself, did either of you actually, I, I just want to make sure I'm clear on this. Did either of you ever actually feel threatened in any way, shape, or form physically mm -hmm. from Walter? No. I don't no. know. No. No, but yeah. neither of you did. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And I pulled this up. So, I mean, the at least the initial de definition here from Oxford Dictionary. This I just typed this into Google. Coercion, the practice of persuading someone to do something by using force or threats. Um, so is it your guys' position that he coerced uh, either of you in any way? They have a site, CAFA, the Center of Abortion something, but there's specific laws on abortion coercion. On, okay. Yes, they do have specific laws on that. Okay. There's laws? Yes. What, you can't if, coerce, can I Google them? Yeah, go ahead. What, what would it be called? What it's, should it's I Google? It's like the Center CAFA. Something like that. CFA I, Institute? I just look know. up abortion coercion and the link should pop up. Okay. So there's a it's a criminal law? Abortion, coercion. I'm not too sure about the details so on it. So and coercion has to involve like uh, like a threat or if it could just like for example, would me like pressuring you to get an abortion would that be coercion yes that's coercion like if i was like babe i'm not ready for a child please get an abortion would that be coercion um no. i mean no. i don't know specifically but no in your view of whatever the term coercion is if we were dating i got you pregnant i didn't want to have the kid and i was like babe i'm not ready to have the kid can't have the kid don't want the kid please 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 get an abortion is that coercion i would consider that coercion really yeah Why what about <laughs> um, what about if somebody, if a guy uh, begged for sex that way, would that be coercion? I mean, that's a really weird thing to compare that to, but well, I, I don't, I don't know. Like I mean, that, you know? I heard that. I heard I heard tales from women like that when I was in high school, and then college age women all the time. Is that is that coercion from your worldview? If they just beg you to do something a bunch? I guess that would depend on who you ask. Me personally, but I'm asking no. you, yeah. I mean, no, I would still say no. Hold on, well, no. let me, okay. let me even use a different example. If, let's say I, would, I just asked you, I just said, hey, listen, um, I'm not ready to have a kid. Um, would you consider getting an abortion? Is that coercion? If it's a question, no, but if you're saying, I can't have a kid, I'm broke, I don't have money for it, I don't want a kid, that's coercion. You can't right. get someone pregnant and then tell them to abort it just because you don't want the kid. That's totally up to the woman, and the man has no well, say. Well, sure, but I mean, ask, so I think even in the prior example, I asked for it. Um, so you're saying if it's, if it's a statement instead of a question, yeah. then it would be coercion. Yes. What, if, what if the statement is, for example, I'm just coming up with this off the top of my head, but hey, babe, I'm not ready. I, wanna, I, I love you, but I'm not ready yet to have a kid. Maybe down the road we can do that. Um, I'd like, uh, I'm not ready to have a kid. I'd like for you to get an abortion. Is that coercion? I mean, not in that sense. Cause you're well, it's not, not like a question. I'm stating I'd like for you to get an abortion. Is that coercion? If you're saying I would like for you to, instead of I'm telling you to, then no, that's not coercion. It's not clear to me though. Even if a man were to say, no. I'm telling you to uh -huh. get an abortion. First off, he has no, he would have no legal right to actually force you to get it. But even if he were to say it, um, there, there's a reason that they have laws on this. I mean, if you have the link, let's look at it. So you, there's, if a man were to say, I'm, I'm telling you to get an abortion, but he has no intention of otherwise being mean to you or threatening you with, in any way, he's not threatening you. He's just saying, I'm telling you to get an abortion. I'm telling you, babe, you have to get an abortion. I can't do this. 
Is that coercion? I think so, yes. But do you think it's fair if he's saying that, like, to the woman, and then she still keeps the baby mm-hmm. and has it? Yeah, she should be able to do whatever she wants with it. I'm not an expert in the definition of coercion. That's what I would, I would. It's not clear to me if that would be coercion to just be like, well, any I of just, the scenarios I get. I wonder um, if, I can, if I can ask just a, a very brief question yeah. um, uh, to you. Uh, in, I'm sorry. I, I, I do take notes as we're going, and I usually get all the gal's name, but I had an ear issue, uh, and I wasn't actually able to hear uh, your name. It was the gal wearing the crucifix next to um, the, the blonde gal with the crucifix over on the, the right side of the table from my perspective. What did you say your name was? No, I was talking no. about me, Noel. Noel, okay, yeah, Noel, uh, you're a Christian, correct? Yeah, I was raised Mormon, or, but I'm just Christian. Okay, from your worldview, is abortion murder? Um, I think it is, yeah. Yeah, so by that logic, then is the gal sitting next to you a murderer? I honestly, that's, I don't want to share my opinion on that, because it really doesn't well, matter to me. Well, if, if abortion is murder. Yeah, baby, don't worry, you can say that, but there is Is the gal sitting next to you a murderer and there is a reason why right and we yeah, I just I just why. I just would like her answer if you don't mind if you believe abortion is murder is the gal sitting next to you a murderer I think she murdered a fetus that's what I think but a, it's and not a fetus something... is a fetus uh, equivalent to a baby to you yes yeah so then she murdered a baby yeah but that's her okay. decision and I'm not gonna judge her for it and I'm not going to judge no, I, I, I understand. I, I usually don't judge people who murder babies either. I mean, I, I'm not going to really respond to that. Okay. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll turn it back over to Brian, but I did want to get that clarified because I don't, uh, I just want to make sure that I get the worldviews down and that you are assisting right this second a, with a, a person who you believe murders babies i just i just want to make make sure i got that clear well i think everyone's missing the entire principle of the whole thing and they, that's fresh and they that know he they know lied and deceived okay and he's also a massive hypocrite they use their platform to urge men to step up as fathers or to be high value men and then they go and do the exact is it opposite. hypocritical to support murderers when you're against abortion is it hypocritical for you to do that as you point out other people's hypocrisy well god tells us to love thy neighbor so no oh, well how are, are then you should love fresh right i never said i hated him i'm just calling no, him well, out for bad behavior well but why why it's it's interesting to me that you would assist the woman next to you uh who has the same bad behavior that you are accusing fresh of as you accuse fresh of being a hypocrite would that not also make you a hypocrite as you call him a murderer, no, it would you not have to call the person next to you a murderer as no. well? Hang on, let her answer. Let her answer. I have a neutral stance on this. I don't think Daisy's in the right. I don't think Fresh is in the right. But I have okay. my own side that happens with Fresh, and that's all I care about. Their details, that's their business. She can speak on what she wants to speak on, but I'm not going to speak on her situation. I'll only speak on mine. Okay, got it. I just wanted to make sure I had that clear. I have a few more notes here. Uh, I will just to the rest of the panel. I'll open it up to you guys here soon We just have a lot of notes here with Daisy. So um, At least for Daisy just to conclude. um, I don't know if I'm old-school but in my book You never leak anything to do with family friends or somebody you're dating I think that's always private even if a relationship or somebody you're dating maybe it doesn't even end the best uh, I don't think you put them on blast publicly. I think that's my primary gripe here. Um, and it is dating related because, I mean, should you go public? Should you leak stuff? Um, I do think, Daisy, uh, I do think you escalated things here. I've been following this thing. Uh, I'm not saying Fresh is perfect, okay? But I do think this was an unnecessary escalation I think I do think you're in the wrong uh, in multiple ways here uh, and in life people are gonna mess up again I'm not saying fresh with Walter what he did was perfect I don't know all the details I don't necessarily think it means you have to go public though and I think it made the whole situation uh, bad for you made it bad for them uh, and I do you know 
I don't, again, I don't know all the details of your guys' private relationship. I do think, though, that leaking it, leaking the private calls, recording it, pre, all premeditated, in my view, I think what you did is worse than okay. what he did. Okay. Um, Can I say something? I have one question for you first, though. Can I say something? I'd Will like you to buy me something. a $30,000 purse? <laughs> <laughs> That's my final question to you, Daisy. Would I buy you? Yes. If I, I got to be wine to die. If I love you. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Good deal. Okay, well, go ahead. Go ahead with your points. Right. Uh, my point is, if I didn't leak the message, he would have never take any punishment from this situation. And I would be only the only one who gets punished. So... Punished? What do you mean? Like... Punished by making me into the situation that I would be the only one that's suffering from this, the whole process. Like getting pregnant, be a single mother, without the, without the father, without... Well, you would have opted for the abortion even if you hadn't gone public, right? Sorry? Like you would have, even if you, had, let's say you didn't go public, yeah. you kept everything private. I mean, you would have still no, gone the no, abortion. I, you would have kept it. I just didn't know my decision. You weren't but sure. But when yet. I called him, I was sure I wanted the baby. When I just find out I'm pregnant, I was really surprised and I was really happy. Um, yeah, so my, my point is, if I die, he die with me. Wait, what do you mean? Like, the, the if baby. leaking the message is, is going to make my situation uh. bad, okay, then let it be. Because then he needs to get his punishment anyway. That's how I felt. But okay, so I'm, I'm still a little confused, you know. So he broke up with you. Yeah. You're upset, you're upset by that. But it doesn't sound like, I mean, you're not... Um, you can say it's fine. I'm not perfect. I, ne I never said that. No, but I mean, like, you don't, you don't take issue with him breaking up with you, correct? Yes. Like that's not the the issue, really. It's not the issue why I leaked the message. That wouldn't be. I would. I would never leak the message. Okay. Yeah. Well, in any case, um, I don't know. I'm old school. I never. That's okay. I mean, that's okay. A lot of people don't understand why I did that. Like, I was. I'm also like. It is what it is. I did it already, and I'm taking the punishment, and I'm getting harassment. I lost. What is it like? But when you there's a quote or a saying, it goes something like, "If you seek revenge, dig two graves." Yeah. Because I mean, look, you got. Re I guess you kind of got revenge on him. Although, actually, I have a, I have a thought on this. Um, it seems like a lot of negative attention came your way too. I mean, you probably yeah. got nasty messages. Yeah. Uh, you you know probably I assume it's been super stressful more stressful than it would have been yeah. had you not leaked it but I actually think the other thing is and, it, and hang on wait and wait wait just to cut in almost done Noel finish this for me revenge is mine so saith honestly I can't I'm not Can I don't you remember for me I don't memorize every single verse I'm not perfect so vengeance is mine so saith the Lord I, I couldn't, right yeah all right. But so if your mission was to get revenge on him, um, now that it's clear, like, perhaps if you had continued with the pregnancy, that would have been a stronger position. But no, that's not. Well, that's so just, that's but, just entertaining people by. But you, you actually realize that, that this whole thing was probably the most viral that like they've got so much attention from this that it's actually probably to some degree actually been very beneficial for their business. People have been, you know, f tuning in, continuing to tune in. Did you get a lot of, in. like, attention when it was going on? Yeah. But Did like, you, like, benefit from the attention no. at all? No, not at all. Not at all. I mean, I, look. Everybody else did. <laughs> at least, at least for me, I'll know how they view it. I don't, I actually, me personally, even if, you know, getting negative, like being involved in some drama gets me more viewers. I actually dislike that. Like I'd rather not get like uh, like uh, negative attention. And if that means I don't get as many viewers from it, I'm fine because I personally don't like beefs and like drama and stuff. Me either. But so I don't know for them peace. if they feel the same. I don't know for them though if they feel the same way with negative attention. Some people like negative attention because it comes with there will be people who, oh, I've never heard of this podcast. Okay, I'm going to go subscribe, and now they're new, they've are new. they got new fans. This has definitely like been a huge windfall for them in terms of audience, attention, et cetera. So 
you've almost done them this sort of like perhaps uh, in accidental but that's additional okay. benefit. They're not going to be successful. You know why? Because they're only going to be attract people that's whose similar behavior as them. But like you and almost those, gave like those people <laughs> are not going to be successful because. Well, I think they're they're doing pretty well, aren't they? I don't I don't know all the details, mm. but you get but like okay if their goal is like we want as much attention on our podcast as possible because mm -hmm. the whole narrative of like hey fresh he's this uh you know uh that whole narrative is gone now that you got the abortion mm -hmm. like the whole thing of like it being an own like he's gonna be on the hook for child support you're gonna like take him you know take him to task in the family court system that's gone you got the abortion so he got all the, they got all that attention so, I mean, just from the argument of like, you're trying to take them down, get revenge, this has brought so much attention to them. Whilst a lot of it negative, it's also been beneficial in the, in the sense of, you just boosted their viewer, like their viewer count way up there. How just, did just, I know? I didn't know that. I mean, all this shit went super viral. So anyways, um, I, mean, um, I do need a $30,000 purse, though. That, just saying. I went at home. $30,000 purse. Just very briefly, like very Gucci. briefly to follow just on like that. You know. I just was wondering, what does Buddhism say about revenge? It's not good. No, it's not good, Easy. is it? Does it say that you should avoid revenge at all costs? I wish I, sh I wish I could, but I couldn't. It was just too much for me. Like I, as I, as, as I said, I've ne never done anything like that. It just, right. it was yeah. just out of my league. Like yeah. I couldn't control my behavior, and. But uh, adhering to Buddhism, you would have to say that Buddhism, especially, is against revenge of all forms, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What, what about Fresh? Do you have any critiques for his behavior? Let us assume for a second that um, I called this man directly and given him my critiques of his behavior. Uh, but regardless of that, why would that somehow mean that I couldn't have any critiques of your guys's? Well, we can accept critiques, but what about Fresh? Sure. What about him? Why would you make a what aboutism? Right now, we're just talking spe specifically about your purview, how you are viewing the situation, and why you view it that way. So now we are asking it's always you. Easy, it's always easy to make an office. Right hang on, now. hang on. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'll, I'll turn the floor over. It's always easy to make an obfuscation and say, what about this person? What about that person? What about this person? But that's really kind of a deflection. Right now, we're just talking about everything from your perspective. And I'm not being, I don't think I've been overly critical here at all. I've just asked you some very, very basic questions about your worldview. Is that not true? No, that's true. But we, yeah, would, that's we true. would also like to hear about critiques you. on Fresh. Like, right. is anybody going to address oh, I, I, his bad I got behavior? something. Yeah. Okay. I got something. By the way, I don't got beef. I, I really don't. I, at least from my thing, don't have beef with these guys. Uh, my critique would be. You probably shouldn't be blasting girls if they're not on birth control. I agree. That's a, that's Even a. If they are. I mean, it feels good, but you probably shouldn't be doing it. Exactly. Especially if you don't like. I know you're just trying to be nice. Walter, here. there's plenty of girls. Walter, there's plenty of girls in Miami on birth control, buddy. Like he's stupid for that. I'm sorry, but he is. Like be more well, sure, responsible. Yeah, you're he's, just being well, so but nice. hang on, he's hang a, on. He's a gambling yes, man. Hang on. Walter's we, a gambling man. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can we internalize that critique, though, Noel? Yes. Be more I, responsible I be re more on more whose end? Just his or oh. also on who else's? That I could be more responsible on my end. I have no problem yeah. admitting that. Yeah, so, I mean, this is my first saying, time saying that it's years. irresponsible for Fresh to come and you fine. But you also, uh, unfortunately, you are guilty of the same criticism, right? Which is that... You are the receiver and allow yourself to receive a man's seed. You're just as responsible as the man for giving it to you. So I don't understand the criticism exactly. Well, it's not exactly in a woman's control for a dude to blast in them. And I think we all Is it that. within a woman's control to let him stick his penis in her without a condom on? Yes, yes that is. And what would the general resulting thing of that be if a man is having sex with a woman with no condom on? She Generally, this would result in what? If I got pregnant, I would have kept it, okay? That yeah, sure, but what would that, that result in, though? If you allow a man to have sex with you without a condom on, you're not on any birth control, what does that usually result in? It can result in pregnancy, and I know yeah, that. It would, yeah, sure, so you are just as responsible 
as the person who you're criticizing for the action, it's, it seems to me that this is a kind of a deflection, right? That you're deflecting away from your own personal responsibility I'm, in this. I'm not deflecting. I could admit that I could have been more responsible. Were That's, you okay with, yeah. if you got pregnant, were you okay with having his kid or would you have not? I would have had his kid. And if he wanted So you're to okay with just having a baby daddy? No, but if I had been irresponsible enough to get pregnant, then I would have taken responsibility for that. But it would have been as much your irresponsibility as it would have been yes, his. I the can thing is, I can is agree. yeah, and if, if you can admit that, then I'll give the criticism both ways. Tell this guy you should wrap it up, but also tell you that you should close your legs, right? Like these are fair criticisms both ways, aren't they? They are. But yeah. also, it was discussed beforehand that he should not be doing that, and I told him that's something I don't want him doing. But you let him do it anyway. I didn't let him he blast it. Well, you just did it. absent but. him forcing you to, which is not a claim you've made, and in fact, you have made sure not to make that claim, Because he didn't, he didn't force me down and pin me down. He just did it without, like, it was... But you, you knew, knew his dick was going inside I'll, of you I'll with no Did you, him. okay, so did you tell him at any time no, you need to go put a condom on before we continue or not? No, I took a plan B. Then no, if the answer is no then, then what are you talking about here? You consented to all of that. Not to him blasting and Wait, did, but did you? Well, but hang on, that's an, even if he didn't, you still have pre-cum and everything else that you potentially have to deal with. Even if uh, he didn't, you're no fool. I can tell you're no fool. You know that the precondition of accepting a man's penis inside of you who does not have a condom on could inevitably lead to pregnancy there's it, no it way could. around that if, right if he's not ejaculating into you the chances of you getting pregnant are significantly lo lower than but if they're you, still there but it's yeah. still there if you're listening but it's still to there me. either way so i mean it's still there, you not but... telling him to go hey i'm not going to accept you without a condom on that's as much on you as it is on him sure i don't know how you get around that he still shouldn't have just blasted in me without telling me Wait, and cool. you shouldn't have allowed him to enter you with no condom I on, agree. right? I agree with that. Yeah. But Wait, one question. What, on the whole blasting inside, the, <laughs> <laughs> was there any conversation about that? Like, did you, uh, uh, what's the term? Did you say, like, but I want you to pull out or? Uh, he, I literally did not know he was going to do it. He did it. And then I was both like. Both times? He didn't know both times? Like he'd already done it once, and then you mm. did it a second time. It was the first How time. How do you reconcile the fact that you allowed him to do it a second time, knowing he had done it the first time? It was the first time that he did it. The first time we had sex, that's when he did it. He no, did you it. said he did yeah, it tw did. twice earlier. I, I said you we said had it was sex. two times. Had sex I said we had sex Not twice. He blasted in her twice. So the second time he he no. wrapped it up, no, or wait, Andrew, can you center up out. a little bit? Yeah, the second time did he wrap it up? No, but he pulled out. So he still had sex. Okay, with him okay, but hang on. Yes. So, so it stands to reason if the first time he blasts inside you and you let him enter you again unprotected that you would have the expectation that he may not pull out, right? That seems reasonable, doesn't it? Well, I think my reaction was enough for him to not do it the second time. Okay, when maybe. He, he but if you let him enter you it. again without a condom on a second time, you're still running the same exact risk, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Um, good times. Good times. Uh, I'm trying to think, uh, but there was no conversation like, like even before the first time you weren't like, hey, uh, I'm cool with not using a condom, but maybe you could pull out. Was there anything like that? Or I think you said it was in the heat of the moment. It was, and in it was the just heat like, of the moment. bam, bam, bam. Pick you up from the airport. Get to his house. Ten, ten minutes go by. Boom, right at it. <laughs> uh, there wasn't anything like. What, how did the condom conversation go? Was it like, was there a conversation there? Prior to me going out there, which I've said this before, I told him I'm not on birth control. Mm -hmm. I don't want children out of wedlock and I yeah. expect you to use protection. And he knew this. And okay. then in the heat of the moment, things happen. We're both human. It just shit happens sometimes, you know? So there was no actual in, like in the moment, there wasn't actually like a, fr either from you, like, oh, do you have a condom? There was never any actual in the moment, like any conversation on his part, your part no, because about because at that point I knew okay. and I accepted, you know, this could end in pregnancy right. and that is why I took a plan B afterwards because I don't want children out of wedlock. Is plan Wait. B in your worldview? 
Is plan B in your worldview an abortion? It's contraceptive. Just like how a condom prevents sperm from getting to the egg, so does plan B. Okay, so that, that wouldn't, you wouldn't consider that to be no, any type it, of it abortion? Pre it prevents conception. Okay. The abortion pill, however, yes, that is... Abortion. Know, yeah. uh, okay. I, I don't know if this is like TMI. Can I ask, like, what... Like, what position were you in when he blasted? Because <laughs> if you were on top, it's like... It's a little harder to pull out. Just, I don't know. I'm just throwing it I out was there. on my back, missionary. Missionary? So it's not like I could just... Fresh, you're a missionary. <laughs> I could just <laughs> shove him off of me, and I'm not going to because I okay. was attracted to him, you know? Okay. Like, I don't know what else to say. I, he was charming, you know? I liked okay. him. I was right. attracted. He made Fair it enough. seem like he wanted something. Fair enough. Me. So just, I have a couple notes for you, then I'm going to pass yeah. it all on over to Andrew, and then hopefully soon we'll get the whole panel in on I, I'll be very brief, I promise, and I'm, I won't, I, I'm not going to be mean. I just, I, I do have a few questions. So. Andrew's a sweetheart. No, I don't think he's mean. He's a I sweetheart. Think he's my Caucasian. I have good questions that make people think, and look, I have no problem taking accountability. I'm very aware of my own mistakes. Yeah, okay. Sure, sure. Uh, so one minute, Mark, we already went over this. You said that you followed the Fresh and Fit podcast a whole bunch. Um, at 3.30 in the video, the We Are the Victims are we the victims video you said coercion is illegal and we already had a conversation about mm -hmm. coercion 350 you say forced her to get an abortion um i don't know i think i asked daisy her view on that but so do you view that walter forced her to get an abortion myron did wait uh, wait hold on myron forced you yeah myron fresh and fit myron fresh and fit forced you oh. I'll, I'll answer How? this. I'll answer this. I don't think she was physically forced, but coercion is an actual thing. That's why they have laws on it. So what specifically did um, Myron or uh, Walter do, well, which which I, is coercion? So saying that you don't want to have a kid and that you don't have money for it, and then intimidating her online, embarrassing her, accusing her of being an escort, that's all coercion. You're intentionally trying to... So are you saying totality someone. of the circumstances? Yes. Because I would like to look well, at actually, those. Actually, Ryan, wait, wait, I can hold. just grant this as being true. Um, let's just grant for a second that that's true. You would have to give the same criticism the other way for coercion, that she was trying to coerce him to give her something that he did not want to give her well, by this same logic, provided, wouldn't you? She provided the texts and the receipts where he was pretty much okay with her having a kid, that they were planning. Yeah, right, but... I guess the point is, is that if it is coercion, if it is to say that due to the actions of objecting to the various things that people do, if the other direction is vengeance is being sought, isn't that also in and of itself a form of coercion saying, do this or else? When it's not pertaining to abortion, yes, that is a form of coercion aside yeah. from the specific act of an abortion. Yeah, so I would say that wasn't there coercion both ways then? Sure, both by ways. By your logic. Both ways, okay. but it doesn't take away from the fact that it's not okay for men to try and tell women whether they can have a child or not. I mean, I think in your worldview it is. I think in your worldview it is okay to even tell people that they can't cheat or men will throw them in jail, right? Let alone have an abortion. Don't you think within your worldview it's perfectly acceptable, in fact, for men to tell women whether or not they should should be able to have an abortion. No, I don't agree with that. Wait, Andrew, do you mean within her worldview, men would... Men saying you're not allowed to. Yeah, men saying yeah. you shouldn't get an abortion. How do those two correlate? Well, you're a Christian, Well, I'm right? just saying yeah. that you seem to adhere to kind of the, the idea that men can pass laws on behalf of what is moral or immoral. So the question here becomes, if this is really coercion, if the case here is this was coercive um, and you admit that then it, it had to have been coercive both ways how the hell do we determine who's right here in the case of Daisy's situation or yeah in, if it's coercive both it ways if it's vengeance for the sake of do this or else how is that not coercion I don't I don't understand that we don't know that let let judge decide right I don't think yeah, no, but I'm, but I'm asking her directly because I want to hear her opinion. I don't think anyone is right in this situation. I think he is very wrong to have deceived her and so, like sell her the dream, and I don't think she necessarily should have taken this online. Do you yeah, think she wrong did wrong first, him? or filing a case? Well, is it is it a is coercion a first come first serve, Daisy? 
Is it a who got to the coercion first is the one who's actually wrong? Or is it that two rights don't make a wrong, that even if somebody did coerce you, it's not okay to coerce them back, right? He was coerced mentally. She was coerced to do something physical that has a detriment oh, on her body. Well, well, but hang on. Uh, couldn't coercion the opposite way, reputational slander, things like this, lead to men doing self-harm the same exact way that Daisy claims self-harm was done to her? Um, I don't really think that. What was he self-harmed into? Well, the, the thing is, is that um, if you are coercing a person and it affects their mental illness on the other side, couldn't they easily commit the same type of self-harm that you're objecting to that you're claiming here uh, Daisy was subjected to? Wouldn't that be the same exact entailment of that, that the coercion led to her doing self-harm? Why would the coercion in the other direction not lead to self-harm as well? No, they didn't. I mean... Yeah, I mean, it didn't, but it could have, you, have, right? The fact is, it didn't. If you say that it, he could also yeah, have got her it pregnant, could have, right? But it could. So the thing is, it's like in your case, let's just it talk also, about the fact. Hang on, in your in your case, it also didn't have to. You just did it, but it didn't have to. So if the coercion goes the other direction, then it also didn't have to lead to self harm, but could have. He so didn't what have to what's not your base? in both of us. He did. right. He That's right. It's an indictment to, of both of you, did. right? But he did. Did he, did he put her in a risk that he, he, she could be pregnant? Yes. Did he make me pregnant? Wait, yes. did she put herself also, Daisy, at risk of becoming pregnant? No, she didn't because... She didn't put herself at risk of becoming pregnant? I, I did. I did. She didn't ask him to come in, numb and not inside her. That's my, my point. Yeah, but, but Daisy... How do Why don't you made? guys do, does like, a man, just can't does a man understand? Put, does a man put his penis inside of a vagina for babies to get made, Daisy? But men is that how babies? The is men, that where the men taking from? control. The men take in control. No, I think men, that women men, have an equal amount of control for whether or not they okay, open their legs for a penis. Now you are talking about women having penis, equality. Right? Wait, say that again. I'm sorry. So now you're talking about women have equality. No, I'm, I'm never asking agree you with. if women if women have equal responsibility for the we, action of sex. We don't. Men are the they leader. Don't? Yeah, we don't. Men are the leader, right? Aren't we? So, 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 wait a second. I just want to make sure I got this right. We can't take uh, taking control. Men, when... So, men led you to having sex with them unprotected, and it's their fault. You have no responsibility at all. Is that right? I don't have responsibility if I wanted the baby. Like I would take the consequence. Oh, like, well, I are don't men have allowed the to tell you? Hey, hey. I understand. So it, that's true. Men are leaders. So let me ask you this. Should men be able to tell you that you can't have an abortion? <laughs> no. Oh, well, I thought I thought they were the leaders five seconds ago. Because you said men are the leader. You, you, that's no, what you, you guys did. are that saying. Was, those were your words. That's men are the leaders. And so saying. therefore, because they're the leaders, we have no... We have no way to, to to take responsibility for sex. I just asked you if men should be able to tell you if you can have an abortion. You say no. Yes, men shouldn't be able to, but he did it anyway. Men shouldn't be able to do what? He shouldn't be able to tell me to get an abortion, but he did yeah, it anyway. Yeah, but can anyway. he tell you not to have an abortion? Should he be able to tell you that, that you're not allowed to? No, he shouldn't. No, he shouldn't be allowed to do that. So then men are not the leaders by your own worldview because you're saying that women have autonomy over pregnancy, therefore they have autonomy in the gatekeepers of sex, and that's that, Daisy. I think you just don't understand that women cannot control when the man decided to come inside her. We cannot control that. And she control her legs opening and closing, Daisy? That's a different thing. Come inside yeah, no, a woman and a open thing. the leg. There are different things. Well, we I know think that you're just playing the words because we understand. But I mean, you were women fine. Understand. You were fine with it, right? Like him I was fine in. because I wanted the baby. And he knew that she wanted the baby. I. That's my point. That's my whole point. Why are you arguing with this, Andrew? You know he did wrong. Sex is like, also just well, for reproduction. Well, let me let me ask you this: um, whether or not I think he did wrong. 
You just don't want to admit it that because you're the man. You want to stand in the red pill side. Let's just assume that I think he did the wrongest thing on planet Earth. How does that get you off the hook for your responsibility that he did something bad? It doesn't. I never. I I admitted that I take the accountability. Hang on, hang on. Am I here talking to him? Or am I here talking to you? So if Did I'm here he talking take to you, accountability? Hang, hang on, Daisy, I'm almost done, and then I promise I'll give you the floor. Oops. If I'm here talking to you, you're the person who I'm talking to, who I'm discussing the but choices that were made. But are we here to talk about made. both Wait, of hang us? Hang on, I'm almost done, almost done. You're the person I'm talking to. He's not here. I'm happy to criticize him to his face like I am to you, but it doesn't get you off the hook for any it wrongdoing doesn't. that you have done just because he may have done something wrong. As I Wait, said, I admitted that, but so far he never ad admitted anything. Why don't you go talk to him? Yeah, because I'm talking right now to you. And you're talking about both of our, both of our situations, Yeah, right? but right now why, I'm just talking about you just how you it. see the situation from your perspective. So this is how yes, Daisy, I have. how does Daisy view this situation? Not how Fresh views it, but how you view it. But I'm asking your opinion about well, it seems to me like this was um, perhaps some form of entrapment, ultimately. I don't really see a way around it. It looks uh, to me like you wanted, as you admitted, some sort of revenge on this guy for the fact that this didn't work out. You came in on a student visa. You committed a felony by recording him and then uh, and releasing it. And then on top of that, as you guys began to get into this, you said that your entire motivation around this was purely revenge related so so daisy let me ask you this from my perspective should i believe you are credible in any way no you shouldn't you don't have to okay. and, and i don't right. and i don't care if you should if you do or not because i know what happened and i provide all the receipt conversation okay. wise record wise <laughs> anyone who's smart they would understand mm -hmm. the people who are not agree with me because they are the fan of fresh and fit you said you mentioned so, some like, receipts. You don't have to be agree with me, and you don't have to take accountability for him. And you are not women. You you haven't been through what I have been through, so I'm okay with that. You can say, you can just criticize me. It's okay. Like I don't I don't mind. We have some receipts. We got the receipts. Nick, you want to pull up the first one? It's after. It should be right after the. What receipt? The receipt. No 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 no. It should be the first one. Should be a, like a screenshot, black, white text. Yeah. All right. Thanks for everyone's support. I'm here to stand out as a woman, woman as a victim in a relationship as a mom. I think we already talked about the victim stuff a little bit. Um, next one. We'll just go through the receipts really quick just to show them. Uh, so this is you, you and the, you posted these to your story. This is your, the pregnancy test. You said you want to keep the baby, don't want to kill a life. Uh, uh, yep, you always told me you want to be, uh, he says he'd call you, he says he can't, can't have kids, take responsibility. Okay, next. Uh, So you said not being a good human for wanting the abort. He wants the abortion. You disagree. Uh, you don't want kids right now. Wait, he says, he says he said, I don't want kids right now. And we spoke about it and you agreed. No. Is that, that's no, what he says. I don't know if. You, we have yeah, to yeah, review said, the words when they said and what, what actually happened. Mm -hmm. What actually happened is. He did it not inside of me every day, and I'm pregnant. Yeah. Two weeks that fast, he got me pregnant. If I did agree with him, I would have already taken a pill. Sure. Why Next. would I get myself in this situation? Uh, let's see. Uh, you want to have the baby. Uh, next. These are just some of the, okay. Uh, and then... Okay, next. You're a victim in the relationship. I'm carrying your baby. Next. And then you can just skip through this. The whatever. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. 
I have suffered many days before I decided to tell everyone what happened. I need to help other girls to know his true color. Okay, next. Uh, okay, ne next. Or is that it? Nick? I don't know. What, is there another tab after yeah, this one? No. Oh, bro. How did you not know that that was... <sighs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. Um, all right, so... What's the text message about? I don't know. I was just showing the receipts. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the. I don't know. You talk about the receipts. Those. Are, that's what that's, you posted. That's the one I posted. Yeah. And well, I'm gonna get. There's so more though. I'll get through my notes with Noel here. Um. So Noel, you were talking about like this coercion thing forced forced her to get an abortion. Um. You said that I was about to say something about that. It's the totality of the circumstances. What were some of the ways that he, you said he coerced her or forced her to get an abortion? So you said there was the, you, you listed like four things. Yeah, telling her that he can't have kids, that he can't afford it, putting it online, intimidating her online, embarrassing her online. Okay, I want to look just individually. Let's look at those first two. So what was the first one? It was saying that he doesn't want kids or that he can't have kids. Okay, so that on its own, is that coercion? I think so. He speculated that he had a vasectomy, and then he's uh -oh. like lying about that. And then, well, did did he mean he doesn't want kids or can't have kids? More so from like, I don't want to have kids right now. That's the way I would interpret that. If if he had had a vasectomy, then is it in any way, shape, or form possible for the gal next to you to have gotten pregnant? Yeah, it's a very slim chance, but it could still like happen. almost non-existent, basically. Not almost non-existent. It could still happen. And are you claiming that he's had a vasectomy? No, I, I said that was speculation. Wait, Nick, can oh. you pull, Those my pull up words. the tab? Uh, and then you were talking about coercion. You were talking about there's this website. So we actually found it. Uh, make it bigger so we can read it. Center Against Forced Abortions next. Uh, make it bigger. Up top, uh, scroll down just a, t a tad. Four, okay, so hold on, no, no, scroll up just a bit. There. Uh, forcing a woman to have an abortion, including minor, is illegal in all 50 states of the United States of America. Uh, uh, any, ind any individual who attempts to use force o or coercion could be subject to criminal or civil liability, including child abuse, fe fetal homicide, domestic partner violence. They don't really give a definition there. Let me just make sure I'm on the same page. If you scroll down. Um, there's not really. Oh, yeah. Pr scroll down, Nick. We'll just read the pro. Women who first learn to or, sus or suspect they are pregnant may feel pressure to an abortion, including from the parent, the baby's father, school counselor, blah, blah, blah. This is illegal. So it's, Ill it's illegal to feel pressured or to be pressured to have an abortion. So basically, Do they, saying, but this is just a website. I don't know if there's actually there's actually a law yes. making it illegal to pressure somebody. Like, let's say you were dating a guy, and like every time you hung out with him, he was like, "I don't know. I don't know if I want the kid. Can you? you maybe you're down to get an abortion. I don't know if that's. How could that ever be illegal? Because it's coercion. When women are pregnant, they're hormonal and emotional. Women think with emotions. They don't think logically. Okay, but I'm. This website is not citing an actual law. I would like to see an actual, no, I like, codified them. law called who? I called the website. This website? Yeah, I filed the form already. They have uh, legal teams. That's, that's the main reason why this website exists. I look, I'm not... Oh, Andrew's gone. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, that's why we got to call James Sexton here and ask, no. him, ask him, is it against the law? Is it illegal to be like, babe... Please get an abortion. I don't want to have a kid. I can't see how that would ever be against the law. Because you can't ask or tell a woman what to do when she's pregnant. What do you mean? Uh, okay, it's not clear to me if it's, it might not be the nice thing to do, but how could it be illegal to be like, how about this? Like, babe, I want you, I want you to wear like an anime waifu. That doesn't... I want you to wear an anime waifu costume. And if you... Would the, that doesn't Is pertain, that coercion? No, because that's not pertaining to reproductive, like, organs. But saying, okay, babe, okay, so just to be clear. Yeah, but coercion's coercion, right? 
But th we're talking specifically about laws on coercion towards abortion. We're not okay, talking so, about Okay, so yeah, right, but if it would be co coercion towards one thing, you would assume that that would apply to the other thing as well, because no. coercion is coercion. We're not talking hypotheticals. We're talking about coercion with abortion. Yeah, right, I understand, but if I, coercion is coercion, then Brian's point of asking you, if, just like I did earlier, if somebody did the exact same thing begging for sex, you say it's not coercion. I don't really understand where we delineate between where coercion for abortion uh, isn't like coercion for basically just anything. Well, because we're not talking about anything. We're talking about abortion. So wait, okay. Yeah, no, I, well, let me, ask, let me ask again then. Would it be coercive and would it be coercion if you're dating a girl to, be, to tell her, she, say, she, say she gets pregnant and you don't want to have the kid as the guy and you say, babe, I'm not ready for the kid. Say it's like a young, a young couple. They're both 19, mm -hmm. both 19 years old. She gets pregnant accidentally. I don't know, whatever, whatever the scenario. She gets pregnant. He doesn't want to keep the kid. She's on the fence. Would it be coercion for him to say, babe, please get an abortion? The best thing would be no, for no, guys no. just to not say anything at all. Men can't say anything at all? They shouldn't tell her, oh, abort it. They should just tell you, I will support whatever oh. decision you So make. in a relationship, you can no, never... No, so then, hang on. So then, can they coerce her to keep it? Mm, yes, but... Do you I... agree that men should try to coerce their women to keep the child instead of aborting it? Well, I think because you're already having sex and accepting that you will get pregnant, then... Yeah, but she wants to abort given. it, and he doesn't want her to. Do you, in your worldview, should he try to coerce her to not murder the child? Well, he's not the one carrying the child. Yeah, I, I understand, but my question is, if it comes to coercion in your worldview, would you prefer that he coerced her into keeping the child? Me, personally, I think men should coerce whoever to keep the child. Go so coercion all. is actually fine, just depending on worldview, right? Well, and specifically talking about coercing a woman to abort, that's not okay. We're yeah, I know, but co if coercing them not to abort is okay, then we're just talking about a worldview difference. So if both of these people don't think that abortion is murder, then why would it not be okay for him to do a coercion towards abortion the same way you would prefer that your man coerced you to not do an abortion? Honestly, I don't quite understand what you're trying to get at. So, so assume for a second, in, in your worldview, you want men to coerce women to not have abortions, right? Their, their yes, significant other? I, I personally believe that abortion is murder, so I would hope that men would right. convince their women to keep the child. Isn't I think that by coercion? Basically, by, by coercion, right? Well, yes, that is it, coercion, but I'm talking yeah. about yeah, so if that's true, abort, that's what if okay. both of them don't believe that it's an actual child? Then why shouldn't the man coerce him not to have the child? I don't understand, because now it's just a worldview difference, right? I you guess. want them to coerce based on what the best outcome is, clearly. I would want women to keep their children and not abort them. That's what I would want. Right, yeah, right, I, no, I understand. And you'd want coercion in that case. But if the other two people did not believe like you did, and they both thought that it was not a child, then what would actually be the problem with the coercion in that case from your worldview? I don't get it. Well, I guess that would be situational. If the woman is fine with it, Like she this situation? Well, she didn't want to abort her Yeah, child. but neither think it's a child. That's the point, right? But she still didn't want to, so I guess that's based on how... That yeah, but feels. if you said you said that even if the woman wanted to abort, though, you'd want coercion on the other end. Me personally, yes. Yeah, that's my whole point, though, right? It's like it seems like it's holding a, a dualistic standard to say that because you believe it's a child, you want coercion that way. But if they don't believe it's a child, you wouldn't want coercion the other way. That's bizarre to me. What are you trying to say here? So you're uh, saying Walter should not view, take any coercion, responsibilities for this situation? No, I'm Is saying that what that, you're saying? That paradigms, I'm saying that when you look at worldview paradigms, it's important to understand 
that within her worldview, actually coercion is fine as long as it's on behalf of the thing she wants it for. That's my point. On behalf of our reproductive rights. I didn't want to. As I said, I didn't want to. My point is I wanted to have this kid with him, not alone. Yeah, I know. but That's um, my point. But, but the thing is, is that you believe that ultimately it's up to you to be able to make that decision, correct? Yeah. I get what you're trying to do with the analogies with coercion in different situations, but I was talking specifically on coercing a woman to abort. It's never okay to Yeah, I'm talking specifically on that too, which is why I asked you if a woman wanted to abort, should a man coerce her not to? You say yes. I don't think a man should coerce a woman to abort. But yes, yeah, I, but I should think coerce him, fine for him to coerce her not to, correct? That would be fine. Yeah, so if that's fine, then what you're saying is that coercion actually is fine as long as it's just towards the things you want it to be fine for. I guess. I just don't think yeah. it's okay for a man that's to my, tell a woman. So that's to my abort. whole that's my whole point here is that it seems that uh, diametrically you don't even have a problem with coercion. But he didn't do as it long in as a nice way. Coerce people for what it is that you want, right? But that's not what he did. First of all, he's not 19. Walter is 34, 37. Yeah, I know. I understand. Well, let's dive into that. Wait, let's dive into that just a what's little bit more. And you were talking about 19-year-old. Okay, I yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. But let's, he's let's, let's dive into Wait, this, Andrew, can you uh, center up? Center yeah, up. Yeah, to, to Daisy. I just wanted to dive into the, a couple of quick questions for you before I turn it back over to Brian. Um, I was just wondering this. Can you actually prove in any way, shape, or form that this was Walter's child to begin with? Yes, I can if I go to court. Wait, what? So you you can't prove it in any way at all. I can't prove it's his child. I can. First of all, he did not he did not uh, um, deny it's his baby, cause he know on the on the record. Well, I know no I don't have any medical proof to prove that he's it's his child, but there is a law that during this time I was with him in his bedroom sleeping under his roof from the time I, I when I met him when I let's saw just him, go ahead and assume I, I mean I have a, I have proof I don't know why we should but why why should we actually assume well, that this was his child or for the, that just for the can, sake it, of the so conversation then why well, he didn't stand know, up and like, say it's not his child reason. in the beginning why didn't he just do a DNA test well I mean didn't you so why did he deny, DNA why didn't he deny everything I, I asked do many times on public DNA test could be done I ask him many times to do a DNA test because he but knows how, it's his do you know child. How, long along, how far along before he can do a DNA test? I don't know, six, eight weeks. I eight it was, weeks? I thought it was really far along in the pregnancy. Yeah, it's far. It's way further along than eight weeks. Uh, you've aborted the child. How could we ever make the determination it was Walters to begin with? Well, that's what judge decide, right? Oh. After all these re receipts, I have proof. If that was the only guy she was sleeping with, then who else's would it be? No, no, no. Well, he's, he's trying to say that question, I don't have proof. I Why don't have to prove right Why should we assume that either? Why should we actually make any assumptions absent proof or evidence? Why should we assume that? I mean, she was dating him. Like, she moved out there for him. Who else was she going to be sleeping with? Well, I mean, the thing is, is that absent proof or evidence? Why should we then, just assume then, that this was Walter's Then Walter why he child? didn't prove that it's not his baby? Well, Ask him. the burden of proof would be on you, not on Ask me. Ask him, why didn't he stand up and say, it's not my child? Why didn't he deny on the phone? Why didn't he deny anything? Why well, did he keep well, quiet? Okay, so, so it could, uh, he's admitting it could have been. I'll admit it could have, it been, could have been. But we don't actually have any proof that it was. You're saying that because I abode the kid and I asked yeah, him many times. Yeah, so now times. there's no evidence, right? So so how could we ever make the determination as to who's, whose kid it was? That's, that's not my decide, decision. This that's is a George's spoliation decision. of Judge evidence. Just would know that, that I got pregnant during the time Spoiled. I stay in his house. Let's let Judge decide. Wait, Andrew, did you have more questions? Otherwise I can just, I, I just I do. have one quick follow up and then I'll turn it right back okay. over. Okay, perfect. Um, last thing is I just want to make sure um, when you got your pregnancy test, I just want to—I just want to uh, be clear. How far along were you when you got your pregnancy test? All I know is when I saw him on March 
12th, oh, March 9th, I just finished my period. I just finished my period on March 9th. Mm. And then when I left Miami, it was March 26th. And did you, did and you I have got, an actual ultrasound or did you have yeah. a, just like a peed on it thing? I had blood test both in the, and the, and the pregnancy test blood test then I went ahead on April 5th I got an ultrasound so oh, you I did, did so you did it you did have an ultrasound yes I did okay and you have you released the ultrasound yes I did okay so I just want to make sure that you had an ultrasound uh, for that and that so it was past uh, eight weeks I just want to make sure no it wasn't eight weeks it wasn't eight weeks wasn't for eight the ultrasound how, how long was it for the ultrasound I don't know. I'm not sure. If you had to guess, how long was it like for the just ultrasound? Just do the calculation from March of uh, March of 9th till April 1st. April um, April 5th. So That's the day I got I got, I got two ocho sound. April, so like four four weeks roughly or something just like under that. 5 weeks or something like that, yeah. Yeah, so 4 or 5 weeks. Um I, I'm just doing a little bit of basic research, and it looks to me, now I could be totally wrong on this, I just wanted to speak to it, that usually ultrasounds aren't done until the six-week marker. Yeah, so I did b both times. First time, ultrasound, uh, there was like very, very little doubt, and the doctor said it's not clear to see, and then on oh. March 15th, I got another ultrasound. Okay, so you got two of them done. I don't remember two or three. I have to look on my phone. Okay. Okay. I just I just want to make sure I got. I, did, I just want to make sure I was clear on it. That's okay. all. I appreciate it. So this is what we're gonna do. I have a few more questions. I want to try, if possible, to just get through all of them as quick as I can, and then I'll pass to Andrew if you have anything, and then I will. We'll just move on to the regular, <laughs> regular show because we have been, just to be considerate of the other panelists here, we've been talking about this most of the show for quite a long time. So, uh, Noel, going back to you, you said that uh, at the 15 minute mark of that, we are the victims video, you said something along the lines of, you're leaking private information about Myron, about his condom usage, plan B usage. Uh, that came, I don't know, do you, are you, do you have something against Myron too, or? I don't have anything against Okay. either of them i just think they're both hypocrites and that's not really private information but that what stuff is? has been already been online he has like a drawer oh. full of plan b's in one of his okay his old condo or whatever i was just gonna i i don't know i feel like it's always again i feel like i'm old school i don't ever leak anything private when it comes to friend friends family and relationships i was just gonna see if you feel like it's appropriate to although you're claiming it's already public information yeah, it's already okay. public. uh 16 minute 10 seconds in you said it's not legal to manipulate someone into an abortion. It's coercion, it's a crime illegal, we already talked about that. Um, although it's not clear to me, like for example, the phone call that Walter and uh, Daisy had, mm -hmm. any, and maybe I should wait until Daisy's back to ask this, but is any of the conduct that you heard in that phone call, the leaked phone call between Walter and Daisy, was anything there that he said, uh, coercion or manipulative not in that phone call but not like in that the phone stuff call online for sure the text messages yeah okay what specifically did he say that you viewed as coercive coercive i mean telling her that he doesn't want to have a kid that he I okay mean, I've, I've, and that I've should been over this, and you so I, I don't really want to reiterate right i mean it, i'm not sure precisely if it actually is a crime but assuming it is you're you would be totally fine with walter being prosecuted for saying i don't want to have a kid you think that that's that ought to be criminally prosecuted? I don't agree with what he did, and I don't really. Well, have just an answer the question. Do you think it should be criminally prosecuted for a man to say to a woman who's pregnant with uh, his child, for that man to say, "I don't want to have this kid"? I mean, to coerce? Yeah, I think. It's no, problem. answer the question though. Do you think that should be criminally? Uh, do you think saying, "I don't want to have a kid"? should open up a man to criminal prosecution. Mm. I, I honestly I don't know how. Well, I feel you said about it's that. coercion, right? 
that's what the law says. I'm just going off what the law says. Okay, well, do you agree with the law? Let's assume it's the law. Do you agree with it? If it's the law and it could be implemented and they could be go to court and be okay. found guilty for that, then sure. All right. At the 2345 mark, you say, uh, this is why women don't come out in reference to, I guess, you know, their conduct. You feel like, I don't know. Um, but come out about what? The wrongdoings that some guys that do. That Walter did to you. No, just... Well, you came out the about The stuff about Walter. with Daisy, about telling her to abort it, and then about, like, the stuff with me. Like, it's so... Like, that's a very But come thing. out about what? Like you said, this is why women don't come out. You had consensual sex with him. Mm -hmm. You admit to this. Like, are you trying to... Like, are you trying to me too, Walter, over consensual <laughs> sex? I'm not trying to me too him. I'm just trying to show people that he's a massive hypocrite. She just felt me. Will you yourself sign on to a, a lawsuit suing Walter for coercion? No, I wouldn't. This isn't about me. This is about Daisy. I yeah, but I'm asking you specifically, would you do that? No. Okay. No. So, I don't know. It's like, do you, you consented to everything. Maybe he was not moving the best. Is, it the, is this really just a case of you kind of regretted the experience or you had a bad time with, with this guy? I don't regret the experience. I didn't have a really bad time with him. I just, people should see that he's a massive hypocrite and women should know. What, hypocrite how? A hypocrite how? He, he plays the red pill card and he's going to go and tell a woman to have an abortion. Like, he's a massive hypocrite. I don't think red pillars are necessarily against abortion. They're about men stepping up as far as. Are they? As I think so. Is that a prescription of the red pill for? I mean, she, all they talk about is high value men. And she was just trying up. to. I don't be, law. I, she was just trying to help me, like as woman to woman, because she felt me, and something happened similar. Something similar happened to her, so she I wasn't me. even supposed to. Yeah. Does it sound logical to both of you from our end hearing this that since both of you interlock with the same man and you both had bad experiences with him? that because um, Daisy here saw this as an act of revenge, that you assisted her with it because you also wanted, in your own way, a little bit of uh, payback. That's not revenge or payback. People, I'm just trying to expose him as a hypocrite. Yeah, I know, but isn't that in and of itself some payback? Just a little bit of vengeance. Sure, a little bit, but that's not yeah. the intention. Bro, you isn't guys... it, though? Like, what, what, would the, what would the opposite to the intention be if it wasn't to kind of get a little bit of revenge, a little bit of payback for what you feel like he did to you. I mean, honestly, I don't really care. Like, I don't. Like. Okay. Wait, you do care, though. Right now, I don't. I really don't. About what? The, the, whole... the whole situation. I'm like. Okay. So wait, if you don't care, then fr can I get a commitment from you here on out that you'll just cease attempting to expose Walter? Yeah, th like this is the last time I'm talking oh, about it. Okay. I right. have kept Daisy, what about you? You down to just drop it? They didn't ask me to do this, by the way. They don't even like me. <laughs> drop what? I just this isn't even about me trying to like get in good with like I just see yeah, this. I don't as... I don't like Brian either. To be Whoa, what fair. the fuck? Just... <laughs> what the fuck? Is... <laughs> You're my Caucasian dude. How could you say that? No, but all I'm saying is people see what happened here. I'm I'm okay to take okay. my accountability, but we also have to see my point of view, why I did that in the beginning. There is a reason why I did that. It's not like he treated me good, got, all of a sudden I exposed him. I got some more questions though. You ready? Okay. Noel, you exposed that he likes, can't believe I'm, yeah. you guys already put oh it out gosh. there. Why would you put this out there? You exposed that he likes nipple play. You call him gay, I think. I said, I don't know if he oh, might okay. be bisexual. That's private. Intimate information. <laughs> Why you, would wait, you expose that, that about that the guy? Like, you, does that mean you banged a, a gay dude? <laughs> what? No. no, no, no. I, that was oh, speculation. Okay. Not just but, her. I got other text message from her, his ex. His ex told me. About the... Look, he, I, hey, I'm not, not saying my thing. that I believe I have that's true. I have sensitive nipples. I don't like it. Could, it, could his, could his <laughs> ex want could for a little him. bit of revenge? Could his ex want a little bit of revenge as well? But why is it's every woman malicious. trying to take advantage malicious. of him? Why? Asking why? Well, it's, why? it seems like there's a lot of women who are out to get a little bit of revenge why, against Why you got to no, yuck his yum? Not, because... Why you guys got to yuck his yum? He likes a bit of... Okay, come on. Most of the stuff... He likes a bit of nipple play. It's okay. 
Let the guy live a little bit. Let him live. He's living. What do you what do you, what do you He's got, partying. Daisy? He's Daisy, like, do you do you have anything you know a little little on the frisky side? What? I don't know. Maybe you like a guy to play with your your knee or something. Some <laughs> girls like have like, like a, a oh oh rub my knee, baby. I don't know. You got anything like that? Yeah, I what, know. That's it, not that's not necessary to to say. Like if we yeah, if that's not Daisy, necessary. if we were dating and you bought me a thirty thousand dollar purse, <clears throat> and and you t and we've been intimate, we've been dating, and you're like Brian, I really like it when you touch my clavicle. That's this part right here. No, that's okay. Hold on, that's a little weird. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> I like it when you. I don't know if you if you did something crazy like you 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 like to make like cat noises or some shit. I, I wouldn't come out and be like, hey, yo, Daisy, she like wants to be a cat while we're having, you know um, what I mean? Sorry, yeah, I know, but why don't we pull up, pull up some evidence that when About he, them. when he done wrong, things wrong, why are we always pull up things that I okay, would, might, would you, might be I'm not just saying, would you like it if a guy leaked to the world intimate details about? It's, this is not necessary. You guys don't have any cases. With, with great, with great accusation comes a great responsibility to prove said accusation. He has not accused you. You have accused him. He accused her of being an escort. He's accused her of a he lot. He accused. Of he he defensively. He has defended himself, but he did not go publicly and accuse her of anything. He did not. That defend was done him. by you, not by him. But he did not defend on himself that the fact he didn't make me pregnant. Why didn't he yeah, per, defend perhaps, him that? Perhaps, but he he why never made he, any of this. Why, he did, why not did he try to make people distracted Daisy, from Daisy, what Daisy, the hang situation? On. Is did, that he did not publicly go after you on this. You publicly went after him, recorded him, and he then went after went me after, first. Hang on, you went after what? him publicly. Once you did that, of course, people want you to be able to prove your accusations. I You're did, the accuser. You're the accuser. Which I did. I post all the receipt. I have a question for Andrew. Do, do you think men should step up in situations like these and take on the responsibility? Answer the question. Uh -huh. If the situation is that you get a woman pregnant, should you take care of your child? Absolutely. Okay. In this particular case, though, I'm not certain that that's actually what happened here. And I'm not convinced that that's what happened here. And there's more holes in this story than a block of Swiss cheese. So I'm trying to get to the heart of it. And I'm not... I'm not so sure that this is uh, this is exactly how things went down, just because they're presented that way. Of course, you're the gonna more say that, that the more that we question it, and the more that we start to get to the bottom of it, the more this looks like a revenge plot by the admission of both of you to try to get uh, some kind of backseas at these guys because they basically fucked you and or he fucked you and dumped you, right? I mean, basically, he fucked you both and then he dumped you both, and you're pissed off. Then every time I try to go in the queries and give you a chance to defend yourselves against that allegation that I'm making, you basically prove it true over and over and over That's again because by your you own logic and reasoning. That's because you haven't pulled up something that I could prove that he's a asshole. Okay. Yeah, an asshole. Brian, yeah, I ask you, if I, if I show you, if I post, against that if asshole, I send you right? a video, would you play right now? I'd have would to you? review it. I'd have to review it first. Okay. What's it? What's the okay, video? let's just be fair right here, right now. Okay, let's do it. Wait, oh, <laughs> Wait. Jesus. I just, I do want to double down here. Okay, I don't course. think it was fair for you guys to leak the nipple play stuff. I mean, come on. It's not, that, yeah, it was, it's That not. stuff has already been on Reddit. It's already really? been talked about. I don't know. It's the, intimate. The, Would you like it if a guy shared intimate details? Maybe you like something a little, a little out there, you know? Ladies? Any, any of you got like a weird kink or anything, you know? You wouldn't want a partner to leak that shit about you. Maybe you want to like, I don't know. Well, I think they should be a little smarter. You have a huge platform. You have I a lot of people watching you. Maybe get girls to sign NDAs. I don't know. Maybe be smart about it. Especially okay. if you're going to be fucking so I many different people. You, you let's heard be, it here let's first. Let's be equal here. Get the NDAs, boys. Get, the, get those NDAs out if you got any weird... Sorry, not weird. If you got any crazy kinks out there, don't. You can't let these girls be leaking shit. Right? Okay, moving on. <laughs> Play the video, please. I got, I got to look at it first. Hold on. Uh, let me just get, get through this, then I'll look at the video. Uh, let's see. You said... We will, we will get to the other girls, I promise. Well, you guys... 
eventually. I think we give this another 10 minutes tops, then we got to move on. OK. Uh, let's see. You, uh, oh, at 5640, you said you realize that having sex doesn't mean you're not traditional. You still hold the same traditional beliefs the man should provide. It doesn't make me, doesn't make you, doesn't make me not a Christian. I still believe in God. That's what you said, Noel, at the 5640 mark. And this is in reference to the fact that you did, you hooked up with Fresh, yeah. you know, pretty quickly. Um, but uh, I did want to offer a little pushback there. Uh, I would argue that having casual sex isn't r doesn't really fall into being like a traditional Christian woman. Well, everybody sins. Everybody, even yeah. the best of Christians, they still do things that you know they're not, not necessarily okay, but let me ask you a question. To. Let me ask you a question. So let's say you met like a. Would you be willing to wait until marriage? Last time we talked about this, that ship has sailed. I would be. No, but what I'm saying is, let's say you met a, a fantastic, mm -hmm. good value Christian man, and he wanted to wait until marriage. Would you be open to that? Absolutely, but the issue is finding one that will wait till marriage, and those right. are almost non-existent. Sure. But do you think it would be a hard, a hard sail to that kind of guy who has those kind of values to learn that? You got flown out by top dog podcaster. You had sex with him within, you stepped through his door. You guys basically got right down to business. But they were talking for a yeah, while. Yeah, we were already talking before yeah. I came out there for you a couple of weeks. I mean. And he What's also made while? her feel like he wanted to make her a girlfriend. Look, I actually don't, look, me personally, I'm not a big fan of waiting. <laughs> but, but if you're gonna like hold yourself out as like this traditional Christian woman, and then it's like you got flown out. You, you know, that, that's the, the, that's the first like time really I've ever been flown out, and I've only it had happened. sex oh. inside that's relationships. That's nothing bad. That's not bad. It's because they're they're in a long distance. The only way she could do is fly out to see him. Okay. Let, right. let me explain. Okay. I, okay, she, I've only had sex inside relationships. I don't go having one night stands or well, hooking up with people. It's not a new guy every week. It's. I find someone to commit to, and then well, yes, we have sex. But let me ask you a question. So when you were on our show, you mm -hmm. were in a, you had just gone out of a relationship, yeah. if I recall. You were on our show in November of 2023. I think it was October. October, November, yeah. whatever. Uh, you were, you'd broken up with him. I assume it was a sexual relationship. Mm -hmm. In December, you had a sexual relationship with Fresh. Yes. And then you said that you broke up two months ago, and you were again in a relation, a sexual relationship. Yeah, I, I started dating someone in January, okay. and then by February, he proposed to me. And were there any other sexual relationships at all? No. Okay. No. All right. I mean, just I'm a little confused here about the whole being traditional Well, I don't. Thing. I'm not drinking. I don't do drugs. I don't go out clubbing. I'm not shaking my ass on dudes. Like, I'm not. I, I'm very you reserved. Got, but you did get flown out. And smashed. It's not a weekly she didn't normal get thing. Flown out. She just went to see someone she she's into. It was a fly out. That's not. It was a bit of a fly it, out. He just a little bit of a fly out. He played it's it okay. off. It's okay. I'm not. Out. I don't object to it's the. It's not fly. like they just I'm met first I'll, day. I've they were talking fly. for a month. The huh? They I, were talking each other for a month. They would video call each other for a month. I mean, they actually had the connections. He, That's why she flew out. He played okay. it off like he was trying to pursue me. And like I said in the last one, I'm very transparent when I start talking to a guy. I tell them, look, I'm only interested in marriage and having children. Mm -hmm. So if he's going to lie and deceive, that's not on me. That's his problem. Okay. okay? Uh, I fine. am a fool sure. to believe him. That's on me. But, And I do want to point out, you said you'd been following their podcast for a while. Mm -hmm. I, I don't... You did said, you think that flying... Did you think that flying out to Miami and staying with this guy was not going to lead to sex? I knew it was going to. We had oh, already, yeah. been, we'd already been you, talking. Like, you knew it, right? I didn't just talk to him one time and fly out. No, we had been... Yeah, I mean, he flew you out there because he was going to... You were going to smash, right? Like, that's what yeah. that's what was going to go down. You that's knew it. That's what guys think. Out. Women don't hump. think that. Women I think romantically. Well, well, she, hold on, but, admit, but, she just but, admitted I, she I knew what the like, intentions were. <laughs> what are you they, trying to he, get at? Fresh was probably like, <laughs> no, but yo, she's we not gonna, thinking just the fuck, sex. Right, it's babe? not just sex for her. For her, it was romantic. It was romance. 
it was a connection between her and the guy. Co- but for do guys, you, do you really the, think? You do you really think? Show. Do you really think he was like, this was the guy you're gonna marry? No, I, I wanted to figure that out. Be honest. You, you like yo. Walk, but like, what walk, were the odds that you thought that you. he was the man that you're gonna marry? Because if you've seen the show before, like, it can, it should be quite obvious that. Like, he's not married to Wait, did you know he had a thousand body count? Did you know At, that? When about I him? flew out to see him, I did not know that. And like I you said, didn't I didn't know about the Hill Mary video. I didn't know about a lot of stuff. I've only seen, like I said, the clips and the reels from the podcast. But you didn't know about the mm-hmm. thousand body count yes, claim. No, I didn't know that. Before you because like, you got to think, right? If he's like, he might be selling the dream, but if he's saying, I got a thousand bo- body I, count. I didn't know about that you when got, I went out. A thousand one is going to be, lying. that's going to be the one that works out. But like I said, lying. I didn't know about the thousand body count until afterwards. Okay. Right. Why don't we play the Hail Mary? Video? I'll, I'll look at it and I'll take a no, look. No, no, no. You promised. Did I? I don't know. Hold on. Play no, the tape back. No, 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 did I promise? I don't recall. I'm not sure if you I promised. Are, um, what, hang on, hang on. I, I do take notes this. as we go in the show, Daisy. I'll let you know what he said. He said, I will take a look at it so and take review it before oh, I, I Yeah, but there is a reason exactly. why don't you guys play because. Now, right now, you try to look us, make, make us look bad. Because it seems like you're deflecting, you're deflecting. So let's just play a video when yourself. Walter admitted something, okay? That's the proof. And it kind of okay. sounds like you well, guys are well, wait, enabling. Wait, you wait, asked me to what? prove something. I'm, a, I'm proving to you. Play the mm-hmm. video. And in the video, what will we find? The proof of? You will see. You, I will see the okay. proof of what? I'm not. Proof that it's a coercion. That is this he, like about fake jewelry? Is that the thing? N- that's the like part the beginning part. You don't have to play that. Play the Hail Mary. I don't know. <sighs> why? Why not? Like I don't let's just be fair. fair right here, because you guys are accusing us well, for being a, a fool. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Fair. Let's, let's, let's just be fair on both sides. If you wanna, if you want to defend mm-hmm. on him, okay, I have no no issue. I say right. I say play it. I okay. say that whatever you play, I'll probably be able to review in 15 seconds. I say play it. Uh, okay. okay, I'll put. <sighs> I say we want to be fair right here on the whatever podcast. I do not want right. to see what else you with got any to say, arguments. Like... I do not want to contend with any arguments that are not done in the fairest light possible. For some reason, I have a feeling though that whatever he's about to play is not going to be pertinent in any way to your situation. But still, I'm I'm down. I'm good. I'm I'm game, Brian. Okay. Okay, I'll play it in a moment. Let me finish my questions. We'll play it. But then we got to, Andrew, I'll give you five, ten minutes if you got any questions. But for the, we got to be nice to the other panelists. We do have yeah, to. Yeah, I agree. We, sh- we do need to move we, on to the other panelists. Three hours. Yeah, okay. Um, last thing, really, really last thing. by the way, they've been very patient. Thank you guys for being Yeah, very thank you guys patient. for waiting. If you guys it. want, boy, we got some chips back there. <laughs> Salty Reese's crackers. pieces. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, okay. Uh, Noel, you, you, it seems like you do have a history of going public. Um, you were dating another man, and you went public about that relationship. Oh, the like on your TikTok? Yeah, and, yeah. I would prefer not to bring that up. Oh, you, you don't want to talk about it? No, that was horrible. Okay. Um, you don't want to get into the details, just to be clear? If you guys, it's public. Like, it's on my TikTok. I like you, nobody's exposing me for anything and that was a very real situation and that's why I feel for her okay. so I it was something well then I, we, I won't pull it up but you you said in this you said that he abused your reproductive rights you said he became manic threatened me and gave me no choice but to lose my precious baby so what do you mean by and when you say lose your precious baby I mean I'm assuming I mean, you, he you dragged had me by the hair into his car and drove me two hours away somewhere I didn't know and literally quite literally forced me to get one. So I'm not going to talk about okay, that well, anymore. Okay, well, if that's what happened, that's obviously not acceptable. Um, yeah, it, it was physical. It wasn't coercion. Okay, that so was he, actually he forced physical. you. Okay. Like, I ended up in the hospital, so. Um, was, there, was there any component of, like, telling when you did get to the hospital, being like, hey, I'm being fucking abused he, by th- my... He threatened me. He, if I okay. were to say anything, right. I w- well, it was either my life or okay. So, well, don't I? Uh, I do not co-sign on that. Uh, and uh, let's see here. Um, I think we'll. I think we'll pull up the video. Is it? It's not decept- deceptively edited, though, is it? No, it's not. Edited. It's not. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, just to be fair, since you requested, I'm not going to just, you know, be like, here's all, you're not going to be allowed to share anything, not share any proof or anything. Just to be fair, Nick, I'm going to send this in the private chat. Um, no, no, no. I, I, I was just kidding. Um, wait, what? You two, you two are fucking horrific. And you've out, you, these allegations are insane. We picked them apart in 15 seconds. And these other women have been waiting patiently for us to get to them. And both of you need to get up where you're at and get what? the fuck out of here. What, what the You make me sick. Wait, both uh, of hey, you Andrew, make me sick. I don't want to hear shit, Brian. I want him out. He's get lying. the fuck out of here. Get Andrew. out of here with your bullshit false allegations. You both fucking suck. Your stories are bullshit. <laughs> And by the way, I got thought you could out. come down. What happened like, here? Now you're taking your mask off. This guy humped you and he dumped you and you want revenge. Mask off now. You finally it. showing your true true color get because here. because you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Thanks for showing us who you are. We're not getting off. We're not leaving. We are not leaving. We're the guests here. We are not leaving. Oh, you demand to stay? Well, then stay in silence while we get to the rest of the girl. We're not staying silent because we're the guests here. That's the main reason why we're here. Why should we and be silent? And now you're unguested. I'm pulling rank. Who are get you? The fuck out. Get out. Who the hell are you to tell Wait, me that? Okay, I'm the can. guy on the end of the screen. Get the get you, up. You have get no right and out. power. No, because you're afraid to play this video. No, we're not. You're not Walter. So shut the fuck up. You're here on a visa from the Chinese the, government. You are not the father. You're not even father. You need to get the are you fuck the out father? of that studio. No, That's I don't. What you need to do. I'm not going to. <laughs> Let him yell. Let him. See? Uh, this is the, the type of guy that's teaching you guys for being an irresponsible man. Can I see this video? He's showing us <laughs> that's who he is right now. Exactly the same as Walter Weeks. You mean awesome in every way? I'm sorry that you went down you and Walter at us first. you and you couldn't, you couldn't entrap him in your little fucking CCP scam. I'm terribly sorry that that happened, Wait, see, that you went CCP. down on a student visa, fuck this guy, he nutted in you a ton of times by your own admission, you let him, and then you tried to entrap him, you released the recording and it okay, didn't go then, over and exactly then I should how have you thought the it kid. would go over, did it? Then did I better keep the kid. It? It didn't work Why out didn't so I keep well the kid? You tried to entrap this guy, did it, lady? Why did, did I it? keep the because kid? Went, I should no, have kept the kid. We don't believe you, Broad. We don't believe you. You don't have to believe me. Just yeah, well. Don't. You don't does, have to because you are nobody. Human dog shit. Well, you yeah, are shit. You are disgusting. Hey, hey, I didn't like you from the first time I saw be you. Because you hate women. You hate women. You understand? Guys, guys. You have no respect for women. That's why you're here arguing right now. You respect women. So I said, brought up the video. You told me to leave. You respect women. You murdered your child. He doesn't. Andrew. Mother's Day. How do you like? Like that you murdered your kid happy mother's day murderer and the woman next to you she agrees with me how does that make you feel how does that make the entire ccp feel that you're down here getting impregnated and murdering your offspring how does that make you feel ladies that make you feel good chill calm down whoa <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on Wait, hold on. This whole CCP angle here is totally new to me. Are you involved with the Communist P uh, Party of China? I'm not going to talk about anything. With, well, hold on. With, if, you, if you omit here. Yeah, can you badmouth? I'm you, not going right to talk now, publicly, about... Can you badmouth the CCP for us just so that we know you're not a communist spy? Can you badmouth the CCP? Wait, I don't this? talk can you about say that the politics. CCP is is bad? <laughs> Why do you bring up politics? I'm asking We're not you, here can to you talk badmouth... About can you badmouth the CCP right now live on this show, or are you? I don't know you what you're talking about. Wait, is this? this you know I don't talk CCP about is, politics. No, I don't know. <laughs> so you we're not know, here to talk about this. You don't know what the party of your own country is. Can you criticize a single politician from your country right now? Wait, where's this coming? Why do you even talk about my country? What's that because got to do with you? Because I know you? exactly what your country does with these entrapment. Go to my country and exactly talk about what this. They do. This is the only way you can talk about. This is the only thing you can brought up. Now you're gonna criticize wait, my country, guys. I don't. I'm not. So about, now you're wait, gonna criticize my country. Let me, let me just ask. Because you have nothing else to say. Dana. You know you're wrong. Because <laughs> you know <laughs> you are loser and you're wrong. 
Andrew, let me ask Play you a question. The video. Andrew, let me ask you a question. Play the video. Are you, I just don't want, I don't want to promote any misinformation on my platform. Are you alleging that this whole thing, this is, this is breaking news, that this whole thing was like some, some uh, CCP attack on Walter, Walter? Well, I don't know. She's here on a work visa, you know. She, uh, she. So wait, she you somehow, said I'm here on a student visa. Guy, now, now I'm on work visa. She's releasing audio. It's, see, it sure sounds like some uh, CCP style espionage. Is Walter a, a politician? Is Walter Is this a, a DHS hit? Is Walter a politician? Yes. I'm asking you. Yes. 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 His no, show he's is not. highly political and highly politically engaged. It wouldn't surprise me a bit if you were part of some CCP spy network, like many have been, the to... upper echelons of government. It wouldn't surprise me a bit. I, s I didn't know that he was going to come in with the CCP angle. I swear I had. I'm serious. Like, this is. I don't know where he's even getting this shit from. Because he tried to get me leave. I'm not leaving. Guess what? Well, then stay while we get to the other fine yeah. gals who have been waiting patiently for us to talk. Uh, let's <laughs> wait for the video. Hold on. I'm going to return on, if anybody wants, I'm going to return on the TTS. Oh, my God. Has everything been... <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. It's been off this whole time. Shit. It's been, it hasn't been popping up. For those of you, I'm very sorry. It's just going to, like, come through. I'm sorry, guys. Jeremy I don't know what happened. $199. I don't know what happened here, Buddhist, boys. You decided unilaterally to kill a child. Take away boys, don't nut inside of stupid, like these chicks. The more they talk, dumber they are. Andrew, want to hear from you, my spirit animal. <laughs> By the way, that came in, these are coming in a long time ago, just giving you guys a heads up on some of these. I'm gonna have to read some of them because they've fallen off. Jeremy, thank you for, for that, appreciate it. We have Kill of Cereal throwing a wrench into the mix. Happy Mother's Day. Have your parents told you how they met? If so, how? Which parent was more of a rock in your life? Um, here, we'll go around. Uh, the question is, have your parents told you how they met? Oh, man. You want the stories from all the women? That's a long uh, how your parents met. Okay. You'll have, you guys will have to give quick answers on that. Uh, I'm going to write all these down because they're just now coming in. I apologize, guys. We wanted to turn it off just so there weren't interruptions while we were just trying to get through the uh, main story. Uh, good times. Good times. It's going to take forever to get through all of these. So while we're doing that, um, how did your parents meet? Quick answers if you can, guys. We'll go around the table. Family introduction. They met at JCPenney working there. Let me read this. Subscribe YouTube, poke and... Poke, poke and broadcast, okay. Yep, there it is. Pro okay, poke yeah. Poke and PR broadcast. Um, I don't know how my parents met, um, and uh, my mom was definitely like a, a rock in my okay. life. Okay, Inquisitor Zeal, Andrew, she did answer your questions. She said it's a problem not because it's murder, but because she was forced to do something she didn't want to to an individualist that is the ultimate crime okay thank you an, in, an individualist from the communist party of china really that kind of individualist yeah okay okay sell, sell me sell me another lie sell me another lie oh wow okay all right uh how did your parents meet um my mom's brothers were. can you straighten up your microphone oh yeah my mom's brothers were my dad's friends what about you blind date blind date okay uh, my parents are high school sweethearts. High school sweethearts, yeah. Okay, Aww. cool. All right, appreciate it, guys. We have a bunch coming in right now. Um, we've never done that before where we kind of like pause it, but uh, just wanted to make sure we could get through everything. Okay, he's just blasting that thing out. Um, good times. We're waiting on... Oh, you know what? While we're waiting for some of these to come through, we're going to ask the age-old question here. Stifler. <coughs> Ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to ten. Daisy, starting with you, uh, what do you? I was just wondering why don't we play the video right now? Well, because what? the other, uh, these ladies need to Because he got can, so obsessed. Can we? And so obsessed. Can we just play the video if Daisy wants to see I it? I know. I want to see it. We should just see it. I just want to know what it well, is. Well, now Daisy, you're disrupting the show. You know, don't disrupt the show. Be the, kind to the other people on the right? show. Oh, you the CCP will reward you hundred dollars. Okay, okay, calm Daisy down. Daisy and her blonde bimbo cook conspirator. Thank you, 
You two have proven my point of telling men to avoid all clout and money chasing demons such as yourselves. Gents, focus on yourselves. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Zentians. Appreciate it. Hey, dude, Zentians, I haven't seen you in forever, man. Really appreciate your uh, TTS. Sorry that there was a delay. What the fuck? <laughs> that is not how that normally looks. Oh, our Twitch is all scuffed. Okay, I got to fix that. Um, Streamlabs did a whole bunch of weird, weird shit, so I have to redo all that stuff. Um, hold on, I'll come back to that. I'm just checking here to make sure. I know a few of these fell off. There was LPE. Did we do the one from Real Trump? I think we did. That one came through. Okay. I hate hypocrites donated $200. Andro acts holier than thou and shreds women apart for their pasts. But he married a 304 who had five kids by three different men. And he had his kids with her out of wedlock. They are complete hypocrites. Andrew, Dad, she quick killed, response. Did she kill any of them? Did she kill any of her kids, son? No. No, she didn't kill any of them. Unlike a certain CCP murderer who is here before you today, you can give all sorts of criticism to my wife because she's supposed where's to have Where's the... Uh, Andrew, where's but, the... But just saying, but just saying, just going to throw this out, sorry that my wife didn't kill her kids. I'm sorry that that upsets that you. That guy slim and it makes shot you upset. donated $200. Hold on, hold on. Since when did this podcast turn into the people's court... Brian, how can you as a man sit there and allow another man to talk to your guests like that, let alone women? This isn't a good look. Uh, I mean, look, Andrew's his own man. I can't control what he does. If he was sitting next to me, I could, like, give him a little elbow bump. But, uh, hey, you know, Andrew's his own guy. He's going to, you know, he's got his opinions. Uh, yeah. uh, emotional damage. He might be a dirtbag with poor... Maddie, can you read it? He might be a dirtbag with poor values, but that's not a criminal offense. You de deleted your golden ticket, and now you're still looking for a payday. Move along. Your green card is out there somewhere. You guys can respond to these, by the way. Just saying. Just letting you guys know. A whole b We're playing catch up here, guys. Here's Grid 1. Grid 1 Motorsports donated $200. Yo, good to see you, Grid 1. Congrats, Thank you. Brian. You have the most fantastic of all plastics at the table. Daisy, next time have your work done in Korea, it will look much more natural. Oh are you God. or are you not an escort paid for sex? Why are you so obsessed with it? Try. Try to see if you can book me. Guess what? Well, you can't you afford this. it. Have you ever engaged in your life in prostitution? I have said that many times, a thousand times. No. Never. So you can shut once up right now. have you engaged in prostitution? Not even time. once. No. Ever. I sent that many other, times on different other places accordingly. Get your profile on their prostitution <laughs> sites. Up. How did that? How did that happen, Daisy? How do I know? You go find out. Well, I, there, there's no less than three which have been released, and I'm just wondering you to go how and is it find possible? out. You go and Juice find out. Unless you have slept wait, wait, with wait, me. On, the on, Asian on. on the right is obviously here for a publicity stunt. Her eyebrows are fighting for the last available real estate on her forehead. Please have her stand in the corner for three minutes of sale. I'm not going to have her stand in the corner. I typically only do that. I put Sometimes I put people in a timeout. <laughs> Daisy's been very, you know, she's been, uh, the, she's been good faith. She's been good faith. She's been, you know, I'm not going to do the corner thing. Madison, can I have you read this chat, please? I still think you should throw her off. Just my that personal. bitch needs uh, to I mean... shut the F up and act accordingly per her illegal status. If she talking like that in my home, I drag her the hell out <laughs> and let my dogs chase her back to the border or eat her for payback. Look, I mean, nobody's perfect in this situation. I mean, my final thought on it is I do think leaking the phone call, premeditated recording of it, uh, that was malicious, I think. Uh... So why don't you admit that he did it wrong as well? Oh, I did. I don't think he was okay. perfect in this, yeah. You only said he's not perfect. But you, were, you went on easy. You went too easy on him. What's in the he did here? wrong, but ultimately here in the United States, the ultimate arbiter of who gets to uh, murder the child or not murder the child is the woman, you. My main... We'll find out on court. Okay, well, my main gripe is the whole the leaking thing. I think that that's wrong. Uh, and I think it's a bit, uh, I don't know. 
A little despicable. That's it, though. Can you play the video? Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. I it's... feel like we're going over this topic around and around and around, so we should at least play the video because um, we're right. going around and around. We should just move on and let them talk because they've been sitting here for like four hours, and I'm sure they want to see it. So let's just drop it. Real Trump okay. donated $200. We'll, we'll, we'll get into some of that. Daisy. I work for the Trump campaign in the swing state of Nevada. Don't get comfortable in the U.S. Get your affairs in order because I can personally guarantee you will be deported after inauguration. Okay. 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 Stifler, ask everyone, ask everyone to rate their looks <laughs> on the screen. Oh my oh. God. Uh, Maddie, read it, please. Blank Daisy murderer Exodus twenty one twenty two to twenty five uh, mute her. Daisy, we have to mute you. <laughs> we have to mute your microphone for ten minutes if somebody donates a hundred. Five hundred. But actually, five hundred. Before we do though, oh because God, I asked. I the, I, you a hundred and you mute them. I I mute the. I don't know. Listen, we I'm gonna need. For I'm gonna hours. need a purse. <laughs> You're going to have to buy me a $30,000 purse. You want me to turn off the TTS? I need a $30,000 purse. That's not right. I'll take Gucci? I don't know. I don't know about There's anything. A about, I'll take a, what, what's a man purse? What are those called? A, a satchel. satchel. <laughs> you have, Daisy, uh, you have to buy me a satchel, <laughs> a Balenciaga satchel. Well, and then I will turn the TTS off. <laughs> Wait, not, oh. Uh, no. Uh, Hermes. You, okay. You have to buy me a... Why is that? He gets to pay five or oh, hundred or something to mute but, me okay, for before, ten minutes. That's I, the equal uh, here. This question came in before the mute, so we're uh, you'll be able to answer the the rating question, but then we have to mute your. Why are you trying to minutes. mute me? Like, what's the point it, that, of me being part, here? It, like, that's not right and not equal. Like, I it, asked to fun. play the video. Now you have played already. We've been here for twenty. Like, Hours already. That's well, he wants right. to mute it just because I, the other girl, you know, from the other girl. It only mutes it for 10 minutes, though. Then you get to jo rejoin the conversation. Don't even have the issue to play the video. Why don't you just play the video right now? I'll I just want to know what's okay, in the video. Like, what is this video? video? Hold on. No, uh, maybe we'll get to the video later. But first, I do have to. Jeremy, he did donate this. But the first, really quick, ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of 1 to 10. Daisy, what's your answer? Race, race who? Like, How attractive oh, do looks. you think you are? Like on That's a scale of one asking. to ten. Into the into the mic. Like eight. Okay. All right. All right. No. You can mute it. Eh? <laughs> ten minutes starting now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like seven or eight. Daisy, I will actually cut it down to five, if you're willing to face that corner in a timeout and <laughs> think about what you've no, you done. Can't treat me like that. You Tell you what. Do it, Daisy. Think oh. about what you've done in the corner in a timeout, and we'll only meet the mic for five minutes. That seems Why totally I fair. Do that to myself? So wait, Daisy. Wait, let's just leave them. Wait, wait, no, no. Uh, I'm not standing on that. Wall. No, you don't have to. I'm, I'm, I'm no, I'm. This is a negotiation. Myself. Yeah, wait, we're not going to make you do so that. Hang on, hold on. on. It, it's just a negotiation. You can, you don't have to do it. No, I'm not I was, kidding. I was just making He's you an joking. offer. Yeah, I'm joking. No, it's no, just a joke. Like you're the host. <laughs> That's Grid Jeremy. You don't know Jeremy? Donated two hundred dollars. No, Fuck the oh. video. Enough airtime for the whore. As despicable as Walters might have been, Grid. you are nice. ten times worse. Stop Hold your on. clout chasing and clean yourself up. You re an embarrassment. Be better. So you. I could bring down the mute to like three minutes, if you're willing to wear this hat. No, no mute, no mute. If she, she wears is the she hat. Still muted? Is she muted? I think is she muted? Nick, is there a mute? Yeah, no, okay. no mute. You wear the hat. There's no mute. No. You wear the hat. I'm not wearing the hat. Look, it has I'm a not. it has a helicopter thing. No. No. I said no three times. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, so eight. What about you, Noel? Seven or eight. Seven or eight. <laughs> Just Gerald donated $500. Make it 20 minutes. All right, 9.30. Hang on, hang on, but I'm going to negotiate on behalf of Daisy. Daisy, if you wear the hat, if you wear the hat, Daisy, there'll be no muting of your microphone at all. Wear the hat, Daisy. 15 minutes. 
It's a joke on the show. That's all it is. It's just a joke on the we, show. We've had people wear this before. I've worn the hat. I've worn the hat. Hang on, hang on. I can't hear you because you're and? muted, Daisy. <laughs> I can't hear you. Wait, yeah, you're muted, Daisy. Where is that? I'll wear it. Okay. He doesn't have Andrew. Do you have a Do you have a hat? I have a a hat. I don't have that hat. Do you want to wear the hat? No. Nobody wants to wear the hat. You've made me wear Damn. a hat before. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Okay. She, does, she wants a 20 minute mute. Okay. Uh, what was your rating? A 10. S scale of one to a 10. Okay. We got a 10. Eight. Okay. Eight. Six. Six. A six. Six. Gustavo. Siete. What is, I don't speak <laughs> Spanish. Seven. What's that? Seven. Seven? I give myself a five. Andrew, what about you? Uh, me, I'm a, maybe a three, five and a, or a four or something in there. <laughs> Did you hear that, Andrew? Oh. She called you a zero. It's, uh, <laughs> that was funny. I'm sorry, which one called me a zero? Oh my. Was it one of the chicks Jeremy who got thrown out to have sex with a random dollars. guy? Was it one Alternative, of the I want to hear 10 minutes of Andrew Spilling sharing his thoughts. Not much money. Well, we can't give Andrew a monologue um, for 10 minutes, but uh, I suppose that may, we were adding here to... No. <laughs> Hold on, Daisy, let me get you a game where you can play well. Uh, okay, I have Poke. I have um, I have Pokemon Blue. Hang on, which one? Which one said I was a zero? Here you go. Guess. I don't know which one. Your favorite person. Do you want? Do you want to play this muted. while you're muted? Daisy. Oh, Daisy. Daisy said I was a zero. The uh, the woman who smited her child in the womb. <gasps> that that woman said I was a zero. You know, I'll always be better looking than your child, though, Daisy. Oh my god. You know that. Always, because I exist, because I wasn't, you know, oh my God. murdered in the womb. <laughs> I just want to let you know that. <laughs> All right. God damn. Okay. I thought it was a joke at Holy first. Holy shit. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, oh, okay. So 10, you're the only 10 here? Yeah. Why did you guys look, like rate yourself lower? <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of fat right now. I need, I need to lose some weight. What's up, Walter? I could gain some weight. Like, let's hit the gym together, But, like, bro. what does that have to do with it? Like, I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm a 10 for myself, you know? Like, I'm happy with myself, and I'll yeah. be a 10 for the right person. Like, everyone, like, has beauty. It's in the eye of the beholder, but, I mean, for the right guy, I'll be a 10. Not to everybody, but, I mean, I think that Daisy is, like, physically, I think that she looks really good, um, too. So, it's like, and maybe got, some guy will look at her and say she's a 10, and some guy will look at me and say I'm a 5, but it just depends on the person. Mm -hmm. So for myself, I'm a 10. <laughs> Is that with or without makeup? I think either way. Like, I, I think for, I'm really happy with myself, and, um, and for, like I said, for the right guy, I'll be a 10 for him That as well. guy slingshot donated $200. For the love of God, can we please let the other four girls talk before they decide to go home from yeah, boredom? I agree. As a podcast host, it's honestly kind of rude to ignore them the whole show. You caught me. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little bit rude. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, to be fair. There's a lot to talk about. Um, but we do have, you know what? I got some pre-show notes for the... Actually, really quick, guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Guys, twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow. Drop us a prime sub. If you're watching over there on Twitch, like I said, drop us a follow and a prime sub. We, uh, the streaming quality is better over there. And by the way, Maddie here is going to start doing Twitch streams. She's going to be doing Twitch sure. streams. Um, so be sure to tune in for that. We're going to get that going here pretty soon. So drop us a follow over there on Twitch, twitch.tv slash whatever nick if you're able to show the uh thing from this thing i got it yeah it's all good uh let me get into my other pre-show notes here so we have our dear friend destiny over here destiny that's your actual name right or it's yes. like a, not a nickname that's my name okay uh you said you consider yourself i know another uh female <laughs> or used to be a, a prominent female twitch streamer uh named named destiny i just I, I just thought that, that was kind of coincidental. That's all. 
Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> you said you believe in traditional relationships and you have high standards in your relationship. You said you consider yourself more traditional because you're Mexican? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so what do you mean by, when you said you believe in traditional relationships, what do you mean by traditional relationships? Well, um, I don't believe in like hookup culture. I believe in monogamy. Um, and um, yeah. we do a segment on this show actually going around the table who here considers themselves traditional sorry Daisy no one <laughs> I consider myself traditional traditional yes yes into, into the mic yeah trad traditional yes okay traditional in some ways okay <laughs> we do a segment called are they traditional where we review your Instagram and we let the chat decide if you're traditional. So, Nick, if you could pull up Destiny's Instagram, we're gonna see, is she traditional? You know what I mean? Can you do that, Nick? Can you do it for me? Do me a favor, do me a solid. Uh, yes, we are ready, sir. This is our good friend Destiny's Instagram. If you can make us, yeah, there we go. So we're gonna look at the Instagram, traditional, not traditional. Scroll down. Oh, well, a little, okay, booty uh, uh, Okay, I think you can just kind of stop it there. Just keep going, <laughs> scroll down, let's keep going. Let's Is see more. Is that your boyfriend? Uh, oh, booty no. photo, I don't know, booty on the car. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's Instagram, it's fine. Bikini photos, shorts, short skirts, but I have a lingerie. I have a question. Like this, I don't like, know if what you, what you post on Instagram. Like, what does that have to do? Kind of like how you have like your relationship, or like sure. Well, we can even talk about that. You know, well, like, wouldn't you agree that one aspect of even within in the confines of being in a relationship, one component of being traditional would be your public facing modesty. Um, I think that nowadays, um, like, I was into modeling for a long time, and when I got into my relationship, I made it super clear. Group like, One Motorsports what? donated two hundred dollars. I agree with Andrew. The two raw doggers have enough exposure. Kick them to the curb like Fresh did. Don't worry, they are used to being fucked and thrown to the curb. Grid, you gotta be nice. Talking about it. Grid. Come on, you gotta be nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we can't hear him. His I, mic's I, muted, that's but it's like funnier. <laughs> okay. He, uh, yep. Um, He's trying. <laughs> look, I, for me, they look came on in good faith. We had a conversation. I'm not going to kick them. I'm not going to kick them. They haven't been, you know. You've had worse. Oh yeah, a lot for you. Get, for, I, I typically, <laughs> like, for me to kick, it's got to be pretty bad. We kicked a girl last show though, and she assaulted Nick. By the way, how? She fucking. She threw some. She threw something. She at broke him? his neck. Like she, she grabbed his necklace, broke, broke his necklace. His he was filming, and then like, cause our policy is if we're kicking someone out, we just film it, and then she like didn't. Even though she, there's three, four cameras here, she didn't apparently like when Nick took out his camera and started filming her. <laughs> you were just on camera, lady. So she reaches for the camera, is trying to wrestle it from him, and she, she assaulted Nick. Is this on YouTube? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I wanna it's watch. on YouTube, <laughs> on YouTube. A little replay, please? <laughs> Wait, so we were talking about the whole traditional thing. And the, yeah, you know. I had asked you like, what um, in the posting on pictures on Instagram kind of like had to do with um, being traditional inside of the relationship. Well, it's just like part of being a traditional woman would be being modest. For example, if I was walk, let's say you're walking around with your girlfriend and she's just wearing like super revealing clothing, like her ass is hanging out, short shorts, whatever, titties popping out. Would you agree that that would like not really fall into a traditional frame if we were walking together in public like that? 
So how would it be any different if it's like on your Instagram? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Then I would consider myself not traditionally about what I dress and what I post, but inside of my relationship, I would consider myself um, traditional when it comes to my relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I also don't post or wear anything that my boyfriend is not okay with. I do. Um, yeah, he might be fine with it. Yeah. But, uh, okay. You said you dated a guy who you had to break up with because he confessed to you he was sleeping with his cousin. And they were both men. Yes. So, I was dating this guy and I was back in high school and... We were dating for a couple of months, and I was kind of getting suspicion about him and his cousin. Um, and I know that's kind of weird, but just something was off there. Like he would hang out with him, he would hang out with him for long hours. And at first I thought he was cheating on me with somebody else. Um, and this had gone on for like about a month. And when he would go and sleep over, like he wouldn't respond to me. And I would think that, I thought that they would like going out and meeting other girls or, you know and just being unfaithful and it got to a point where i was super frustrated with the situation of him keeping secrets from me and being super suspicious that i confronted him i just put him can I, can I actually, i'm sorry could you just scoot your microphone that way right there huh right there no it's kind of just like blocking your right there yeah go ahead okay perfect um so yeah, so I kind of put him in a corner and I started to question him and I started to tell him that he needed to tell me like what was going on and be honest with me about if he was being faithful mm -hmm. and um, he like started crying and he started telling me that he um, was what? sleeping with his cousin and that huh? this has been going on hmm? since he was a, like a kid, like younger. Oh. Um, so he said that when he was growing up that he um, was uh, experimenting with his cousin <laughs> And um, he was experimenting with, with his cousin, and like since he was younger, like since he was like you know like ten years old. Excuse me. And this just and then it escalated to the point where they were sleeping together, and they That's were. That's fucking disgusting. Oh. Yeah. How long? Um, what the fuck? How long were you with this guy, and how long? How long was he banging his same-sex cousin while well, you were with him? I was with him for a couple of months. Um, I was in high school, so the relationship wasn't like se like sexual, um, but it because uh, I was younger at that time. But he, um, I was dating him for maybe a couple of months, four or five months, and he at that time I was maybe around sixteen, seventeen, or uh, I think sixteen, and he said that he started like being physical with his cousin since they were ten. So they had been already doing it for around six years. Bro, I don't, don't want to talk about that, like, kid shit. That's just weird. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I told his parents. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. That's a yikes. Um, Atsiri, how do you say your name? Atsiri. Atsiri? Yeah. Am I rolling? The, a little bit, it's right? fine. My name's Atsiri. complicated. You said the dating story would be dating... Um, what's up with... Um, you got all friends. What Dating at a young age during your mom's passing? Yes. How young are we talking here? Um, I was probably about 15, 16. Mm -hmm. I was young. It was like and high school. And you were, you mean you were just dating like high school, other high school boys? Yeah, a year older than me. Uh, we talked and dated for around a year when this happened. Um, my, my stepdad had passed away when I met him and he was very there for me, you can say. And then uh, my mom got really sick. And the thing is, we used to work together. We lived in the same neighborhood. Like, he would drive me to school from school. And then I was, I was literally, I would spend time with him. My mom was in the hospital for a month. And somehow he still found a way to cheat on me, which I find so disrespectful. Um, I, I thought it was ridiculous. And after that, like, I'm, my family's very traditional. They're very... Um, Catholic and Mexican so um, I completely lost trust of my dad everything like that and I feel like yeah. after that I never trusted guys and I haven't dated since since you were how old are you again you're 19 I was six uh, about to be no, 17 but you're 19 now right yeah I was about to be so you 17. haven't dated since you're 15 16 uh, 17 word yeah because um, it was a whole year and I was just turning 16 okay. when this happened all right um, but that's pretty uh, 
isn't that pretty common in Hispanic Catholic families, um, especially in, you said your nationality is Mexican, correct? Yes. And what year do you do the quinceañeras at 15? Uh, I didn't have a quinceañera. Okay, but, but it's not uncommon. The age. It's not uncommon to have those around 15, right? Yes, it's common. Yeah. So it's not that uncommon uh, culturally for women in that age bracket to even marry at 16, is it? Um, in very Mexican households, like in Mexico, um, yeah. people do marry at a young age, but yeah. uh, my parents were studied in high school. They weren't very traditional except for religion. Okay. So they were, they were devout Catholics, but other than that, they were not particularly traditional as far as like an adherence to, um, what Catholicism or how you would view tradition. Andrew, if it's all right, I will. I, I won't yeah, linger too yeah. long on, on this thing. Um, Maddie, I'm going to have you read this one that's about to come through. Kella of Cereals says, for the panel, would you let a friend set you up on a blind date? What dating apps are you on currently? Would you let a friend set you up on a blind date? What dating apps are you on currently? Uh, well, just show of hands, is anybody here currently on a dating app? Anybody? Show of hands? Okay, no. Uh, would you, starting with you, would you let... A friend set you up on a blind date? Uh, yes, I think it would be fun. Yeah, I would. Oh, hold on. Oh, Again. yeah, I would. You would? No. No. If I was single, yes. Sure, why not? Okay. Sorry, Daisy, you're muted. <laughs> All right. We have, I'm trying to see what was the other thing we had to do. There's some other thing we we're going to react to. Yeah, we'll come back to the that. Video. I know. <laughs> <laughs> there was Instagram page. IG pages? Yeah. Oh, like traditional, non-traditional? Well, that was mostly for her since yeah. she claimed to be traditional, but um, can I have you tilt your microphone down just a bit? Just a tad. Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Um, going back to you, remind me, what's your name again? Christine. Christine. So, Christine, you were dating a guy for 1.5 years. It was medium distance relationship. He was, at, he was going to a school about two hours away. Mm -hmm. You've been single for three months. Mm -hmm. You seem to have a thing for frat boys. What's mm -hmm. your What's your frat of choice? Is no, it SIG that, app? That, mm. No? No. <laughs> so when did the thing with the frat boy end? Um, like... You said spring break. Yeah, spring break. So what, early April? Yeah. So that was like, what, a month and a half ago? A month ago? Mm -hmm. And then you've been just... No, no guys in the picture at all. No. No guys. Nothing. Z never. No dating apps. No dating. Farmers apps. only. No. Christian mingle. Very single. No guys. No, okay. No guys. And have you? Uh, do, you uh, do you party at all? Not a lot. I. Um, like go out to street. Yeah, I go out sometimes, but it's not. I. I don't know. It's not really my scene. Like. Do you, when do you drink? I do, but like, I don't, when I, I drink when I go out, but I, how often, I go So out, how often do you go out? Like maybe. Once a week? Twice yeah, a week? Like. Friday, Saturday? Once a week. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And so since the breakup with the fraternity boy, fraternity <laughs> guy, excuse me. Breakup. No. Nothing. Nothing. Celibate? You've been celibate? Yeah. No, no hookups, nothing. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. Have you, um, I'm trying to think what my, is there anything dating related you'd like to get off your chest? Anything that frustrates you about dating? Um, I hate ghosters. 30 minutes, by the way. <laughs> you hate ghosters. Yeah. What do you mean? So like you hook up with a guy and then they never talk to you again? I'm traditional. I don't really you're, hook up with guys. You're traditional? Yeah, I okay. don't really do that much. What do you mean? Like, I... Usually, yeah, I don't know. I like have to get to know them first for a long time, mm -hmm. and I like don't talk to a lot of guys because I'm just really not interested. Like, I don't know. It takes a long time for me to like actually be interested into in someone. So, like, how long do you think like you would typically want to wait for a guy to hook up? <laughs> um, like thirty minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> 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 like a month. One month is that like a hard fast roll? 
what do you like never not breaking this it's God be not mom. like a rule but it's just like that's just how you that, that's just how it goes usually okay yeah but are you like these guys that you're you're mostly dating college guys right yeah like are you going out on proper dates or is it more just like hey let's meet up at a party type thing um well i've only been on one date since and so it was like with the frat guy yeah what was that what was the date um we played tennis and got lunch <laughs> okay not bad yeah for, at least for a college guy i mean yeah. most of these college guys it's like hey come over yeah let's smash yeah okay tennis How's your backhand? Is it pretty good? Oh, no. I you didn't know how backhand. to play tennis at all. It was horrible. The, like Terrible. He smoked you then. Yeah. yeah. Destroyed you. Destroyed me. Did you get a tennis ball in the face? Yes, I did, actually. So just... Yeah. Okay. All right. Good times. Good, good times. times. Uh, what's, one of the, what's one of the big uh, grievances that you hear from your girlfriends who are dating? <sighs> Is it the fuck boys? Yeah. The fuck boys? Or just like... I don't know, like they're just really premature ejaculation. What is it? What? Yeah, that honestly, is, really? yeah, yeah. I, I just guessed that shit. <laughs> Wait, they just come too quick? Is that the yeah, they do. Like sometimes it'll be like. <laughs> 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 Should I not? No, you go, go, go for it. Go for it. You're good. It'll be like three pumps, oh. and there it is. You know. He's a brave and a decent man. He's a pioneer. <laughs> or like they'll just be really bad kissers or something. Bad kisser. Like okay. bruising of the lips. Ooh, like biting? Like, yeah. Ooh, yeah. No, it's just no. like not cute. Wait, so like when you say this is happening to your girlfriends yeah. or like to you too? No, not to Not me. to you. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> not to you, but just your girlfriends. Yeah. The guys are just. just yeah, gross. Too quick. Yeah, too quick. That's kind of a compliment, though, right, ladies? If the guy <laughs> comes too quick. Right, Daisy? Oh, sorry, you're muted. <laughs> oh, um, I guess it, it can be. Yeah. Right? Like, if you, you know, it's like 10 seconds, you know? Usually means it's good. That's how you, ha as a guy, that's how you have to frame that shit. If you come too quick, you gotta be like, oh, babe, it's because you're so hot. You know, normally. <laughs> of course, I never, like, that's not a problem for me, but. Oh. Yeah. As long as it's not every time, you know? Yeah. Like, can't be every time. Yeah, you know. Round two, you know, usually, like, adds a, <coughs> a minute or so, you know? It's all good. <laughs> good. <laughs> but what, ladies, okay, so if a guy, <laughs> okay, I'll open up the question to the panel. If a guy was consistently, like, he just, bam, too quick. No. Like, 90% of the time is it just is it a is it a deal breaker starting with you? Yes. Wait, can you strain your mic a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Wait. Yeah, that's good, I guess. Do you want me to tilt it down? Yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah. There? Yeah, so it's a deal breaker? Yes. He just blasts in too quick. Too yes. Deal breaker. Okay. Deal break. Um, Would it be a deal breaker for you? Yeah. But like honestly, as long as they finish me like honestly, not horrible, you know. <laughs> Kelly, what's up, Kelly? What well, you got for us? Three Scoot pumps. into the table, Kelly. No, You're three too pumps far is away. Insane, yeah. No, three pumps is crazy. Yeah, three pumps it's crazy. Is crazy. crazy. Has any girl here encountered the three pumper? <laughs> A three pumper. I've encountered somebody that we were making out and he came. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were making out and he was like. And I thought we were gonna go to like you know to the next step. Shit. And he was like, "I'm sorry, but like." Have y'all seen American Pie? <laughs> you know that mm -hmm. scene in American Pie where. Yeah. Um, Noel, what about you? Really if the guy's just too quick. I mean, it's kind of a deal breaker. Deal breaker. Yeah. Damn, y'all. No rough. You know, rough. Give the, guy, give the guys a chance. Maybe they're nervous. But I well, think what if a girl sucked your dick for three seconds and then just stopped? Wait, what? If a girl just was sucking yeah. your dick for three and seconds. And she's like, I'm done. That's happened, bruv. Yeah, so you like put your, put your dick in her mouth and then she was just like, okay, done. I know. Would you be like, oh yeah, that's enough for me. That's, 
No. Does that happen? Or like, what if you're in What's a relationship with someone? What's even the point? Let me exactly. Just suck your dick for three like, minutes. what if you're in a relationship with point? someone and she never wanted to like to suck your dick? Oh, she I'd still, I'd like, still date her. You would? Yeah. It's not. I'd prefer if she's like needs to suck the dick. Killer of cereal donated two hundred dollars. Uh, Give me a scenario of how you would deliver that information to the guy. Wait. Show me how you would let him down for that reason. He reached <laughs> climax too soon. What conversation do you have after that? Yeah, Noel. Actually, wait, Nick, has it been 30 minutes? Uh, yeah. I think it's, it's almost there. Almost there. Okay, Daisy's going to weigh in on this. She's been, she's been, I see her. She wants to tell us about these premature ejaculators. Okay. <laughs> Noel, Noel, tell me. So is the question how I would like to deliver? How would, yes. So first, I would probably bring it up to him respectfully, like, hey, I kind of noticed this. I don't know if it's normal. Maybe you should go get it checked out. <laughs> and then get it checked out. Yeah. What's and then <laughs> Checked, okay. I don't know, you might have high testosterone. It could be a- <laughs> Oh my God. Jeremy donated $500. I'm sorry, Daisy. I'm PLS, sorry. don't let Daisy SPK. Andrew, please I share know. our Christian beliefs. Speak up, please. It's time for an Andrew monologue. Brian, straight up, bro. It's water weight. Lol. Andrew, I. Madison, stay true. Andrew, Georgia I've, I've here. Okay. Jeremy Thank got you, Jeremy. Money. Jeremy's, a, Jeremy's a fucking legend. Uh, Jeremy, Andrew monologue. What is the like ecclesiastical, uh, orthodox Christian perspective? I'm trying to say this without <laughs> being like disrespectful. What's <laughs> would like if a like I, I assume in orthodox Christianity, like if a, like a woman could not divorce her husband if he was a premature ejaculator, correct? <laughs> Just, I'm trying to understand um, the. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was, I was waiting for the, uh, for the chat to come in. Oh, it's. I'll read it. Uh, I'll read it later. No. Uh, under, under. This is all forms of Christian ethics, by the way. It doesn't matter if they're Catholic, Protestant, whatever. That would probably not be a good grounds for divorce. Um, mm. Though it probably would be something you would need to work on. I would guess. Okay. All right. Madison, I'm going to have you read this chat here. David Treziak says, question, met a girl this week, hung out twice. She's good at pool, pretty, going for a PhD program, but she's covered in tattoos and smokes. Are those red flags? What are the flags? Cover, so she's covered in tattoos. And she's Why, hold on, just a question, right? Let me read this again. Met a girl this week, hung out twice. She's good at pool, pretty, going for a PhD. Why does the butt come after the PhD program? Why doesn't the butt come before the going for a PhD program? David Treziak. <laughs> she's good at pool, pretty, but she's going for a PhD. <laughs> and she's covered in tattoos and smokes. David Treziak. Treziak. As in, like, she's going to invest her time in that rather than yeah. the relationship. You're, you're going to marry this girl? She's going to have six figures of student loan debt? You ever think of that, David Treziak? 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 Covered in tattoos and smokes. Yes, red flag. No offense, Andrew. <laughs> I prefer women who don't smoke cigarettes. The what fuck am I, am I covered in tattoos or something? What the hell? Oh, I didn't I didn't know that. Just from a dating perspective. But probably you having a penis, Andrew, is probably the bigger factor here in me not wanting to date. Oh, you. I mean I would hope so. <laughs> 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 unless unless you're somebody's cousin. That's <laughs> true. Uh so <laughs> what are the flat so are those red flags, ladies? Do you think it's a red flag? that she's covered in tattoos and smokes tobacco cigarettes. I'm, what hold if, on. What, I'm just, what if he means like marijuana? Yeah, what if he means like angel dust, meth, PCP? <laughs> okay, so ladies, here's the scenario. She's covered in tattoos and she's, because David didn't clarify, she smokes meth. <laughs> Is that a red flag? Noel, starting with you. It's very much a red flag. Yes. 
Absolutely. Red flag. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, what about the tattoo thing? Covered in tattoos, red flag? Uh, I don't think that's a red flag. Me neither. Yeah, not a red flag. It could be, though. I think so. <laughs> you, you think so? Yeah. You got some tattoos, though. I don't, I'm not covered. I've, you're not covered? No, I, I know you're not four covered. four small ones. Four small ones? Yes. Okay. No. Sorry, I do think covered it's in tattoos is a red flag. For, for a woman? Yeah. What sorry, about for a man? Um, yeah, of like course. Like, you wouldn't date a guy covered in tattoos? Probably not, no. Okay. All right. Sorry, Daisy, you're still muted. <laughs> uh, like another six minutes, I think. Six he minutes. He might as well donate another five hundred. <laughs> he did, right? He did. No, no. So, I mean, I again. Oh, she, want, she wants. She just wants to stay muted. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't mind, like, she's yeah. She's so chilling. She's kicking it. Keep, keep donating. She's kicking it. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, can you get it? Just to, should we get her an applesauce? Do you want an applesauce? <laughs> Apple. Ooh. Applesauce. That sounds pretty yes. good. Yeah, I'm, I'm Yes. Oh, you actually want an applesauce? I was kind of joking. <laughs> we have applesauce, chips, Wait, don't, this, a banana. Well, I do, sit, I do, sit, like, I'm really hungry. Wait, sit down, sit, sit down. Oh, you're just getting up anyways? Okay. <laughs> uh, we were talking about premature ejaculation. You know what bothers me? I'm sick of this fucking double standard. Like, women can premature ejaculate. No problems there, but as soon as a guy does it, y'all get all up in arms about it. I think that's bullshit, son. Well, but it's a lot Like, more. I can't come quick, but y'all can come quick? That's double standard. I think it's nice Rude. if we both finish. Yeah, I, well, I, yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm just tired, sick and tired of these double standards. Speaking of double standards, like, you know how the, like, if a woman sleeps with a lot of men, She's viewed as like a slut or whatever. Mm -hmm. But if the guy does the same thing, like all of a sudden he's like gay. What? Wait, what? what? Huh? <laughs> Who's that? Who said well, he's gay? Yeah, like if women sleep with a bunch of men, like she's a slut. But if a man does the same thing, he's gay. Like that's just seems... with a bunch of men. Men. Yeah, like that's well, kind of well, a double that's standard. That's because. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, why does the woman get to be the slut, but I have to be gay if I sleep <laughs> with a bunch of men? You can be the gay men? slut. I just think it's a bullshit double standard. They're all sluts. And you're the yeah. gay slut. Yeah. You're just, yeah, you're just a gay slut. <laughs> no, but like all of a sudden, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Right. So, for, but you guys, I think we were going around the table. How would you break it to a guy? He's oh. just three pump chump. Um, I wouldn't tell him there at the moment because I wouldn't want to make him feel bad. Yeah. But I do date to to marry or to have like a long relationship and i think that like being sexually satisfied in a relationship is super important especially because i am somebody who is monogamous mm -hmm. and i expect my partner to be loyal to me so i do think that sex is one of the most important parts of having a faithful relationship is sure. making sure that both partners are very sexually satisfied mm -hmm. so if that person doesn't meet my 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 needs then i just i can't continue a relationship with them because mm. i want to be faithful to my partner for for the rest of my life kelly what about you how would you break it to the guy i would probably just <laughs> kelly would be like really <laughs> 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 no, i would just be like oh um, yeah like i mean it, it, am i like is it the first time that i'm having sex with him and then just uh let's just say it's the first three times the first three times and he busts in that in three pumps yep <laughs> well, so romantic. I will be completely honest. If it that happens, the second time that happens, I I I would okay, be iffy. Was, was that you? Yeah. Okay, whatever. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Something fell. Don't worry about it. Go ahead. I would be like, if it's the first time, okay, maybe you get a pass, and then the second time, it's like, whoa, why, why is this happening? And then. I don't know. After that second time, I just be like, nah. What it, what, let me ask you guys a question, though. Would this scenario, like, let's say you knew, like, let's say you knew his ex-girlfriend. Maybe you knew a couple other girls he dated, and you knew that he never had an issue lasting, or, like, in terms of coming too quick with all his other girls. <laughs> Would it almost be flattering if, like, with you, he came really quick? No. No? Because it's like, why don't you try? Try oh, what? Try harder with but me. What if it's, what what if it's like a compliment? It's girls. like the pussy's fire. You just admitted that it's never really a compliment. It's just like an excuse. Wait, what are you talking about? Yeah, Wait, you did yeah. say that. You, did say you that. said that. What did I say? In the beginning, you said that guys could use that as like an excuse. Excuse. So. 
Well, just let's assume it's true. <laughs> Okay, then oh, yeah. can he so keep tight. going? Oh my God. Can he go again? Bro, a 30 minute minimum refractory period for most I men. think that like it depends like what he does after. Like if he just like comes and just lays there. What about what, he does, there? What about what he does before? Because at least my philosophy, she has to come before I do. Grid one motorsports donated two hundred dollars. Oh, when she can answer, I just have to know which congressman Daisy is planning to sleep with to keep her in the country. Will she let him bust in her too? Too bad there uh, isn't a Clinton in office. Okay. <laughs> uh, two more minutes on her mute. Um, okay, thank you, Grid One. Um, okay, um, where we were? Where were we? I think you we're, can't make oh, a girl come in three points. I was, I was going to say, like, <laughs> what if the guy? Because at least for me, I, I want to make the girl come before we we even have sex. So like, what if he already makes you come? But like, when it comes down to sex, it's just like. That's really. a whole nother scenario. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's so complete. I don't know. That adds a little more to the, you know, if that's completely different than him just fucking you for three seconds and then that's it. Him making you come first. I feel like by like, virtue of me like trying to argue this, people are gonna think. <laughs> that you <laughs> bust in three seconds. Yeah. Yeah, is that the impression that I'm giving off here? That I'm because I'm defending this. Yeah, yeah you're going pretty hard. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a men's rights activist. I think it's men shouldn't be women shouldn't be judged for these things, and I don't think men should be judged if they're busting nuts really quickly. Okay. Do you hear that often from women though? <laughs> that hear women one. are that women are coming really it's quickly. It's good when they do though. Yeah, but how often do you hear that? Wait. Show of hands, who at the table? Oh wait, I don't know if that is this too. Is this like asking for too much info? Nah, any what? any ladies here like quick? Sometimes. It depends. Like I'm. You know what I mean? Anybody? With my partner, but it's because he okay. knows what I like. Okay. You know, so when you have a little bit more sexual chemistry with someone. All right. Then okay, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, well, we can unmute Daisy now. Uh, I'm just for the, the I found you. <laughs> uh, do you have any plans to date any congressman, Daisy, from Grid One? Any what congressman? Is what is that? A, uh, like a politician. Me? Yeah, like a U.S. politician. No. I don't. I don't have a plan to date anyone. Okay. <laughs> Jeremy donated five hundred dollars. Wait, Jeremy, I gotta ask her one question. Wait longer, Daisy. Sorry, wait longer. Murderer. Oh. <laughs> I do have to ask her one question because I was about to ask it. I'm sorry, but then we'll remute. Okay. Um, we have uh, we got four Asian women here at the table. I wanted to ask uh, when it comes to like racial preferences, would do you guys would you date uh, Asian guy? Yes. Yes. We already have, we've had this conversation. A long time ago, uh, Kelly. <laughs> the first one and I got roasted so hard for answer it. it. But how did I you got answer roasted it? Too. Um, what did I say? I said, nar. You, you <laughs> would, said not date, would not date an Asian guy. Wait, why? Um, I just haven't met somebody, an Asian guy that I've had that kind of connection with. But like, is it just like a whole on, just wouldn't even consider it? Um, like you've never dated an Asian guy, correct? No, no, but I, I, you, I your also, current boyfriend's black, right? Yeah. And have you dated white guys? No, not really. Like I've La maybe La like spoke Latino guys. I've dated. Yeah. Latino? Like okay. gone on dates, but that was like a, a while ago, but I've only had like two like real relationships. Tilt, tilt the mic down a bit. I've only had like two real relationships okay. and then the other guys were just like, um, okay. You know, but no Asian days. guys. Wait, you're from <coughs> LA, right? Mm -hmm. Are you from the SGV? No. No. No, okay. I'm from the SFV. Yeah. San Fernando. Yes, okay. San Fernando Valley. So there's not, there's honestly, there's not that many Asian for, guys. For there those watching, either. SGV, the San, San Gabriel, Gabriel Valley, it's like predominantly Hello an Asians. Asian area. Yeah, it's a lot of Vietnamese people, and I'm, I'm Vietnamese too. And yeah. um, but the, in my area, there's not a lot of Asians like okay. at all. So. But you wouldn't date the Asian guys. I don't. Is there like a so. famous Asian guy you can be like, I would date him? Hmm. No, not really. Really? No. 
I mean, I don't, it's not like, some of them I find, like, I can say, like, oh, yeah, like, he's attractive and he's not, like, he's not ugly. I don't think, okay. I don't think, I don't, I'm not, like, appalled. Sure. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, I would. You'd, you'd I mean, I have. Was your, like, 1.5 year boyfriend yeah. Asian guy? Yeah. Wait, what okay. is your ethnicity? Vietnamese. Oh, I'm Vietnamese too. I know, I hear that. I was like, oh, cool. Do you guys both speak Vietnamese? I do, yeah. I can understand it. Can we hear some? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. And so you would date, uh, would date an Asian guy, mm -hmm. have dated Asian men. <clears throat> I, okay, I s didn't say this last time, but I, like, I, I'm not opposed to it. Have you ever? Yes. The first two guys that oh, I ever, okay. like, really liked, like, in my life were Asian, so. But didn't you say you wouldn't date an Asian guy? <laughs> No, not her preference. That. I just said or it's that. not your preference. Yeah, I, I just all I said was like I, I like white guys, <laughs> and then everyone was like, "You're racist." You're a race traitor. <laughs> that's that's what happened to you. I've got a, a quick question. It happened to you, uh, Kelly. Before, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Go, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Andrew. Go ahead. No, I was just wondering. Just a quick question for Daisy. I haven't spoken in a while. I'm just curious. She's muted though. Do you She's muted. Muted. Yeah. Oh, can we unmute her just for the purpose of me asking this one question? I, I, do you think Jeremy would? It's just real. It's like super quick. Okay. Jeremy right. will forgive me. I, I promise you'll forgive me. I don't want to talk to you. Uh -uh. Do we got, do we got you unmuted yet? She said she doesn't oh, want to talk to you. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, well, we, let, why do you want to ask Andrew, you? can we, can we put it on pause for ten, uh, like five, it'll six like minutes? It'll take one minute. That's it. Just one. It'll, it'll but we got to respect the mute. We got to respect the mute. Okay. We, we got to respect, respect the mute. Hold, but we will get to it in six minutes. While All we're right. doing that, we do have Nickelodeon. Ladies, Madison, can you read this? Ladies, what would you choose? A perfect 10 body for 10 years or be a single mother but get covered six figures a year till your child grows up? I think we know Daisy's answer. What? We're gonna start with you over here. So what's your answer to this? Wait, I'm confused. The mother or the body? Um, oh, it's a, so a perfect 10 body for 10 years or be a single mother, but you get uh, covered six figures a year till your child grows up. I would say the mother because I would always want to be a mother. Um, wait, perfect 10 body for 10 years? Like so you have a perfect 10 body for 10 years or you... Oh, yeah, that one. Single mother. <laughs> yeah, of course that one. The perfect 10 body? Yeah, I would love to have a banging body. Same. Yeah. Body? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, same. Body? Probably body. Body? Okay. Sorry, Daisy, you're muted. We have Killa of Cereal. For the panel, what ethnicity have you dated mostly? If you've never dated a certain race, what are your reasons for not? Uh, let's start with Noel. I haven't really dated a specific or certain race. It's been a mix. Yeah, it's been a mix. <laughs> so white guy, Latino, black I, I've, guy? I've dated a mix of All guys. of them? Do you have a fave? Pacific Islander? Um, are you against? them no no i'm not you're not against them no okay i don't I, race is not what i think about when i'm dating someone like i don't go after a certain race it's just whoever i'm attracted to and have a connection mm -hmm. with okay a mí me gustan los latinos mm -hmm. wait what she said she <laughs> likes latinos oh latinos yeah latinos okay my boyfriend is black so but like <laughs> I mean, so you <laughs> Jeremy donated $200. Oh. Please oh let Andrew okay, speak. Okay, so let me finish up with this chat, then I'll have Andrew ask his question. Um, what ethnicity have you dated mostly? Black guys. Black guys? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I like Asian guys. Now, for you, is it like, and for Kelly too, only black guys or like you would date other races? Like white guy? Um, again, like I've never found, I've never met somebody who I found like that yeah. physical, not phys not, just, not just physical, but just emotional connection yeah. with. And then what about for you? Like, would you? I would, yeah, I would date other. White guy. Do was the frat guy a white boy? Um, but, he was half white, half Asian. Okay. Wait, what was, was your gonna, question, I Kelly? was going to yeah. ask if, um, 
you like prefer if you're dating an Asian guy, if you would prefer yeah. to date a Vietnamese guy or if you a different I think Viet Asian. guys are really ugly. Oh really? <laughs> 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 okay, so you like <laughs> But I, I wouldn't be opposed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You think Vietnamese guys are not they're not I like I've never found one that you're, you're like more into like the K pop, like no, Korea, like I don't know. I just Koreans. like. <laughs> do, they have, do you have siblings? Or like a brother or? Yeah, but he's like twelve years younger than me. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? I feel like mostly my type is Latinos. Caucasian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, wait on that really quick. I've I've seen these like TikToks and shit. Um, oh, Oxford study. Wait, what? Oh, no, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's like, there's like the, ta like, ta uh, what is it? When it comes to like the different uh, ethnicities of Asian people, it's like, uh, <coughs> like what's the most attractive or which is the most toxic? Oh. And I was, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys want to weigh in, like what do you guys feel is like the most toxic? toxic group type of, of Asian? I, I shouldn't, like I shouldn't even know. ask this. Maddie, you asked this shit. What is the most toxic type of Asian? Is that what? I don't know. I, don't I feel like I don't know what he's asking. I don't have yeah, a lot of I feel experience like, yeah. with that. I, I don't have experience either. Yeah. I don't feel like I've had I've had a big enough dating pool to tell which ethnicity to is honest, toxic. I don't think Asians are really toxic. I would I, honestly like a lot of Asian men aren't toxic like at all. Like yeah, you know I don't know. They're very like soft. They're soft spoken. They're not like aggressive at all, which yeah. is, you know, it's nice. But Andrew, do you want to ask your question? <laughs> Andrew, do you want to ask your question? Yeah, I was just. It was a question for uh, for Daisy, <coughs> if you don't mind. I was just wondering, um, do you think that Hong Kong should be free? Uh, what? I already said I'm not answering any question that's related. Do you? Do you, Okay, I understand. Do you think that what happened in Tian Tiananmen Square was good or bad? I'm not answering anything that's politically. Okay, so you don't, you're not it? sure if Hong Kong should be free? Should it be free, Daisy? Should Hong Kong be free, Daisy? Tell me, should it be free? She is not engaging. Not, you're not going to answer, huh? You don't, you don't know if Hong He's Kong should be free. Me. Trying to trick me so hard. No, it's not a trick. I'm asking directly. I'm not answering Should Hong question. Kong be free? I'm not answering question. That's not for me to say. That's yeah, not but in your opinion, in your decide. personal opinion, I don't have Hong a Kong opinion. Be free? Sorry, Hong but you Kong think I'm nice. stupid, but I'm sorry, you're not getting anything from I didn't say from you were my... stupid. I'm asking Because you're you. asking Should this Hong question. You free? know this is some type of question we're not supposed to talk about. So I'm what telling you, you right not now. Supposed to? You know, you, and that, I mean, maybe but why are you asking? He had control of you. Why are you asking? You answer, but, but why do you ask? Why do you care? I just want to know. Do you think Hong Kong should Goog be free? Google it. What about Taiwan? What do you think about Taiwan? Google it. You don't. You don't know. Uh, what about? You know where Tiananmen Square is, right? Like, I don't I know. Step away from you don't know anything about any of that. Nope. Not good at history. What? No. Well, okay, well, I was just curious. I just, I just wanted to get this on record. You don't know if Hong Kong should be free of Chinese influence. You're not sure? I said I'm not answering the question. Oh, okay. I said I'm not. How many times I was just did I tell you? But, hey, I, look, I was just curious. It's a legitimate question. I was just wondering what you thought about Hong Kong and Taiwan and if you thought Tiananmen Square, if you, did you think that that was, that was okay or... What, what did I miss? What, I, I was gone. He asked her a political question and she declined. Okay, yeah. all right. Basically, Just asked what she thought of Hong Kong and Taiwan. That's all. I was just curious. But I mean, I, I understand because there could be some kind of political ramifications if you were to take a position on that in your home country, right? Is that, is that right? There could be ramifications against you and your home nation if you were to answer those questions. Is that correct, Daisy? <laughs> Wait, what does this have to do with dating? <laughs> what, what does this nothing. have to do with <laughs> well, related I think my that, situation that it has with water? to do with dating. If you're so talking about, you tell me, how about you talk visas, about it? student visas to date, 
and they get I'm not owed by student United visa. States citizens. That has a lot to do with I dating. I am not so owed student da visa. Daisy, Daisy, tell me Have about... Have you ever do, seen do my visa? Think? Do you know what, what? visa I'm, I'm on? I'm not what on student visa. visa. I, I don't have to tell you. You go figure it out. Well, you, you just tell me. You ask me this type of question, I don't, an, I don't want to answer you. Oh, so you don't go know find kind of it out you're since you're so smart. Well, I'm just, you're just I'm asking making you allegations kind of that doesn't make on. any sense. Does what kind of visa are you here on? Like, he's just being crazy right wrong. here, trying to get me, like, trick me right here. Because he know that... How is it a trick? Certain, certain it's a pretty, it's that pretty I'm not easy question. To talk about. Like, you're just trying to accuse me because I'm not American, so... Here, let me. I know what you. Help. I I'll, know what's in your mind. I'm not that stupid. I'll help out. I'll help out, Andrew. Would He's you? Would, so would it be Andrew? Would it be treason of me if I were to date a woman who was part of the CCP? Yeah, I would say so. But not only that, I would say that it ties directly into dating. To ask about people who are here on visas dating American citizens and getting impregnated by them. I don't understand how that wouldn't be pertinent to dating. Oh, by the way, so I, my curious. first boyfriend ever was American. Yeah, right. No, I okay. understand, right? So, so it's uh, to do I, why, do, why do I have to need a visa yet? to date American men? American men are everywhere in the world. And mm -hmm. as, I, as everybody know, I traveled everywhere. I have all this access to all the American guys. I don't have to come here to date American guy. Yeah, no, no, I understand. You can date American guys in your own country, but you also are dating American guys here in this country, right? So? Yeah, so that then it's pertinent to dating talk for this country if you're coming to this country and dating American I guys. Come, so I I'm came here, curious. I met this guy, and I did not ask him for a date. He asked me. So ask what happened. Ask your man. Ask your guy. Don't ask me. You're, 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 you I'm genuinely curious. Did you have like questions for the other panelists? Like, cause I'd love to hear more from them. Yeah, no, but we've been hearing from them for a while. She was muted for almost 40 minutes. So I just wanted to follow what up on this. What does that got anything hours. to yeah, do with we, me? We talked about her for like four hours. I, we should give them the chance to talk more. Yeah, I, I was just curious. I just oh, wanted man. to, he's, he's, I, I just wanted to see if I get an answer to the question. That's all. Anyways, moving on, moving on. Okay. Uh, did we at Prior Maddie? To that, we were saying here, how. Read this one, Maddie. <laughs> oh fuck. Brian, David Tuzakiak oh. donated $100. Oh, okay, Brian, Jesus, thank you, Maddie, for getting my name right. Gotcha. Marlboro, I smoked two of her cigarettes as an ex-smoker. It felt good, but my question was, what is the main red flag to look out for in women? What's the main? <laughs> Uh, okay, Maddie, can you read it? Jeremy donated a thousand dollars. Pop champagne. Okay, STFU Daisy champagne, Gold Digger plus Andrew Big Blank Energy. Thank you, Brian, for giving us a platform to speak. Madison, let's see that Twitch link. Let's see the champagne. Jeremy, can you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, all right, boys. Oh, she's gonna be streaming on twitch.tv slash whatever. All right, we have a champagne bottle here. He, Jeremy is. <laughs> fucking thanks jeremy <coughs> popping champagne bottles so let me get this going wait brian do you drink i the only time i ever drink is if someone does a champagne pop on the show otherwise i never drink no never i never drink do you just rarely not like it or i don't like the taste i don't like being drunk what if i it's just like what if i sh brought you a tequila that like tastes good there's no such thing as alcohol that tastes good <laughs> i promise you this one it's not bad and I just, I don't know. One I've never, I've never blacked. been a big drinker. I've never been blackout drunk. I've maybe been like, I got sick one time from drinking. And then after that, I was like, not, Done. not doing it again. So never been a big drinker. I, I don't like bars and clubs either. Not my thing. So, okay. Let me see if I can actually do this. Hold on. Let me put this over here, boys. Maddie, can you start getting those cups, uh, yeah. cups going? Uh, really quick while I'm opening up this champagne bottle, 
I'll just throw this out there. You're in the woods. <laughs> You're in the woods. Would you rather encounter a man or a bear? A oh man. My I'm sorry. Wait, a man. One by one? <sighs> a man. You're much safer with a man than a bear. Go ahead. Oh, um, yeah, I'm a man. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to take the fucking cage off. I know you can, but you're not supposed to take the cage off. Only two people are drinking. Oh, one. Yeah, Kelly and... Oh, oh, oh! Hold on. You really don't drink, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wait. Spencer, are you gonna help me? <laughs> we did it, boys. We did it. I've been practicing. <laughs> Just kidding, I haven't been practicing. Um, Who is this Jeremy guy? Is he regular? To, I, th I recognize the name Jeremy, but... Uh, that's or does he just have a lot of passion for this He's from Fresh and Fit. Is he? Oh, for real? Jeremy Lin? Yeah. Why are you making this he's an here, Asian he's thing? He's here to humiliate me. All right. Oh. Uh, I'm pouring out some liquor for some my like dead homies. That's what I'm, yeah, Wait, this is all we have? Well, only two of them oh. are she Wait, drink. underage, she underage. Drink. Underage, underage. Yeah. I just don't drink. Daisy, you want some champagne? <coughs> yes. Well, After uh, all this stress, why not? <laughs> after all the stress. <laughs> all right. We got here, Maddie. I'll let you do the you do the honors. I'll uh, get back to actually hosting this. If you can you pour, for, it's fine. All right. Uh, well, you uh, bear. Did you say bear or man? A man. 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 Oh, okay. All right. Man. All right, there you go. Uh, who, show of hands, who here is a feminist? Anybody a feminist? Uh, you're about to. Were you about to? Oh. Show of hands, are you a feminist? Anybody? I am. You're a feminist? Mm -hmm. No, you're not. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, Maddie's a feminist. Actually, Nobody here is a feminist? Daisy? Do you think, you think I am a feminist? <laughs> Probably not. Brian, do you want more because it's like... There's Bro, this is, four. I get drunk off I of know, three sips. I know, but I'm just saying. Okay, that. here, yeah, I'll take the rest. Don't touch. Okay. okay. Don't touch. Okay, well, tilt your cup. Can I touch your cup or not? <laughs> here, wait. Okay, I'll, I'll tilt. <coughs> oh, that was like barely any. Okay, barely any. All right. Um, we're going to do a cheers Pass. to Kelly and Daisy. Let's do our sweet. To, I think we're gonna do a cheers, uh, cheers to uh, the Wuhan lab. I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. That was. That's a, very bad. That was. That was a bad joke. I'm sorry. Uh, cheers to Jeremy. To Jeremy. Cheers to. Not by seeing that in three Where's seconds. your liquor, at, Andrew? Mm -hmm. Where's your beer? There it is. Hey. Is that vodka? What is that? All right. Uh, cheers to Jeremy. It's uh, mostly soda water with a little Salud. bit of vodka. Salud. Salud. Ah. Ah. Ooh, it stings. Okay. Do you get red when you drink? You know Pro what? Probably a little bit. You know what? I'll, have the, uh, I'll have the wife bring down a straight shot, though. How's that? Wait, what's that, Andrew? I'll have the wife bring down a straight shot. That way I can oh. cheers the correct okay. way. All right. There you go. Uh, let's see, where are we in my notes here? Um, we did the, okay, bullet. Do we do the bullet thing? Probably not. Uh, would, Andrew, was there anything you wanted to talk on? Oh, I forgot. Here's what we're going to do. Guys, we're going to get into, we're dropping the TTS to 69. The TTS has now been lowered to 69. I need to do a couple adjustments here. During this <laughs> segment, I'd like to open it up to the panel. Is there anything dating related that any of you would like to get off your chest? Chris, Christine? Why are we talking? No, Christine? I thought I already said mine. Or like anything dating related do you want to get off? Anybody? Anybody? Dating related? Kelly? <laughs> Daisy, come on. What? what you got for me, Daisy? I thought I'm muted. No, you got you've been off un, you've been unmuted ah. for like uh, okay. Nick. She's unmuted, right? Yeah. Like ten minutes. Okay. All right. What you got for us, Daisy? Like what? I don't know. You want to 
Talk about dating. Dating? Can I ask yeah. you a question? Oh, my. Yeah, go ahead, Kelly. Yeah. Kelly, go in. Um, I go was in, just Kelly. gonna ask you, um, like, do you want to get married like one day, or you just don't really care too much about? I do want a guy. Like, yeah, but I do want a, want a relationship. I <sighs> do want a family, but <coughs> marriage Sorry. doesn't matter to me. Like, um. I don't have a, I don't need a paper to be secure for my life. Do, you, do I make sense? Yeah. 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 You gonna get a um? You gonna get a Buddhist marriage? Nick, can you close the book? Yeah. <laughs> like on, honestly, are you gonna get a Buddhist marriage? What are you talking about? What, what's Buddhist marriage? Well, I'm asking you. I'm not what sure. What is Buddhist marriage? I, I but that's your religion, right? Is there, Buddhism. There, there is so no are you gonna, are you gonna get a Buddhist There's, marriage? Buddhism don't get like real monk. They don't get married. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but you're not a monk. I I'm not, but I believe in Buddhism because I believe in. People should be kind to people. But don't Buddhists have marriage ceremonies and that type of thing? I'm pretty sure they do. Mm, not, we don't. We don't. What? Buddhists don't have marriage ceremonies? No, not that I know. Well, then how do people get married in China if they're Buddhists? We're Chinese. We're not religious. Like. But you're, I mean, you're a Buddhist, though. It's because I chose to believe in Buddhism. Yeah, but that's a religion, isn't it? Yeah, but we don't have a like a religious like marriage religious thing. Like we don't have to like do like a church marriage if you're a Christian. We don't have to do that. We just have our own tradition. I'm pretty sure Buddhists have marriage rights that they do when they get married. I'm pretty confident. I think it depends on the you the culture, like which um yeah. which like country you're in cuz I know like Vietnamese they they don't have like a specific like way of getting married, but we do like a tea ceremony. Heal CCP donated sixty nine dollars. Cheers to Winnie the Pooh. Who's Winnie the Pooh? I mean, I know who that is, but like, why? Maybe said because you're wearing orange. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I, I just that was my that was just my guess. I'm pretty red, confident red, red, that Vietnamese also oh, engage in oh, religious yeah, marriage tigger, ceremonies. Yeah, tigger, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm basi yeah. basically 100% confident that oh, Vietnamese no. engage in religious ceremonies for marriage. Like that's there's I, I have no doubt that that's true. In fact, yeah, like they do they do indeed engage in religious ceremonies for marriage, right? Yeah, they do, but it's just not yeah. Gerald religious. donated sixty nine dollars. For the panel, if your partner caught fire and got third degree burns on 99% of their body, horribly disfigured from face to toes, would you stay in a relationship with them? Oh my god. We'll start with you and go around the table. What, what does that mean? So if your partner got like, was in like a fire and got like burned really badly, would you stay with them? Or would you leave him? Oh my god. I really don't know because I've Why never been in that situation. Alcohol? But like, if you were in that situation, oh. like it's just hypothetical. <coughs> I'd I'd probably be with him like in the beginning, but I don't think I can do that later because like, Minnesota that's kinda... underscore wise man forty nine <laughs> donated sixty nine dollars. Oh. If he a black bear, he don't eat poozy. He oh hell no, it's like a fat man killing a walla melon eating contest on two hundred and fifty milligrams edible munch munch chomp chomp my Caucasians. Get Daisy tanked, call La Migra and jig dunk. <laughs> <laughs> La Migra, call La Migra. Oh. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? La <laughs> uh, Migra. Adios mio. <laughs> so, uh, I'm curious, Daisy. Have you had any um, love prospects? What, the what fuck? do you mean? Like, why do you look at her like that? Uh, oh, no, sorry, I'm already drunk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> have, have you, like, have you, um, like, after all this shit went down, yeah. like, have your DMs just been like full of dudes like trying to get yeah, at it? Yeah, a lot of simps. A lot of simps. They say they hate me, but they DM me, you know. And they're like, <laughs> Ask me let me I take you on friends. a date. Yeah. yeah. Let me fly you out. How much for a night? It's <laughs> like, literally the ones like hating on their own son. How much do you charge oh, for an shit. hour? I'm <laughs> like, okay. Yo, <laughs> Whatever. What, uh, for real though, like, uh, what, what's the chance? Because uh, I'm a peace broker, right? Is there a chance for this, like, maybe not? Obviously, you guys aren't getting back together, but like, can you reconcile this? Can you just like, do you think there's an opportunity for you guys to just be like, yo, let's just drop this shit. Let's move on with our lives, you know? Because I'm a peace broker. <laughs> I broker peace. So I'm a peace broker. Maybe. Okay. I'm just saying, you know. That Maybe means a sit down? 
like a mafia wait, sit down. Wait. What's up, Andrew? I, know, I was just asking, so maybe you'll get off the revenge path? I want to see you doing bigger and better things, Daisy. I want to see you. What do you mean by doing bigger and better things? Oh, uh, you know, the, like more yeah. plastic surgeries and no, Andrew, a nice husband yeah, no, and no, all let, that let good talk, stuff. Let him talk. Okay, I, right. I really don't okay. mind. Oh, yeah, you don't mind? More, okay. more plastic surgery, which uh, I make myself happy. Maddie, could you read? Hold on, Maddie, read this. Daisy uh, and you don't have to like me. It's okay. Like, Re read it, Madison. Daisy and her friend's new names are Baby Killa and Blonde Bleep. Fresh skeeted. Can thing. we keep it to Skylar White? Like that kind of slayed. Wait, so. we missed. We missed one from Gerald. Sorry, Gerald. I'm gonna get it. Hold on. Wait. I will get. Jeremy we'll come back to 100 dollars. Daisy, you are beautiful on the outside. You are fucked up on the inside. Damn, that's, that's PLS heavy. change. What do you expect? Nobody believes you. Courts won't believe you. Move on. Brian, chugalug. Madison, tip the cup for Bri. He's a germaphobe and doesn't want oh me to touch his cup. That's okay. You don't have I'm to sorry. believe me. Since he donated so much oh. money, thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. And then yeah. we had this one that I guess I missed. My bad, man. Just Gerald donated $69. For the panel, if your partner caught fire and got third degree third, burns third on 99% of ladies. their body, horribly disfigured from face to toes, would you stay in a relationship with them? We, we already got answers on this. Uh, no, I kind of directed them to answer, but she answered. Daisy answered, Noel. Um, I would stay. Yeah. Would you stay? Would I you would stay? also stay. Kelly? Yeah. 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 Yes. Stay. So is this like, they look like the guy from Deadpool? Ryan Reynolds? <laughs> All fucked up and shit? Freddy Krueger. Okay, <laughs> good times. Thank you, Gerald, for that. They would stay with the third degree burns. What if your boyfriend? Oh my God! Killer of cereal donated sixty nine dollars. Are you still? Would like you date a soldier, color? a veteran who Are has put people in the wow, forever dude. box in an active no. war zone, and now who may suffer from issues like PTSD and TBI? There's a lot coming in, guys. Just FYI, uh, would you date a soldier who uh, has like PTSD or TBI? Oh, uh, so traditional we'll donated sixty nine dollars, and uh -oh. though acts so traditional, he for left you, Rachel Andrew. after knocking her up. Married a black woman, got back with Rachel, and had another kid out of wedlock. He married <laughs> Rachel when she had five See, kids by three on. men. <laughs> I did. I didn't know that. Woman. That's oh, Lord me. I'm so hang glad on, I'm not dating donated sixty nine. Wait, I can't. I can't. Late it's to the just, party as usual. I can't do it. The breeze finally just sets in up here in E Washington. Washington. Fishy. Pacific what if you West. found out the perfect oh, I didn't guy know I you just black started black. dating loves Teflon <laughs> Don Donny J fucking Trump? What if you found out the people you just started dating loves tough? Okay, just I'll, I'll ask donated these. $69. I don't believe any of you. This is in response to the 99% uh, burns on the body. Mm -hmm. He doesn't believe, he thinks you guys would break up with the guy. I don't know. Um, wait, so going back to so, kill, yeah. kill of cereal, would you date a soldier, veteran, uh, who's put people in the, fr who's deleted people, but who now suffers from PTSD and a traumatic brain injury, would you date him? What's PTSD? Post-traumatic stress disorder. No. Um, if I was married to them prior to them developing PTSD... Would you date, yes. is no. the question. No. 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 I respect those people, but no. I got PTSD doing this podcast sometimes, you know what I mean? It's tough out here. It's tough out here in the trenches. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then can we, we go, can we go back to the I was married to a black woman thing? I, I that was like that was super funny. Is Rachel black? Get, 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 I'm I'm sure I'm certain that somebody has some evidence of this, right? They're not just completely full of shit and making shit up. <laughs> I've heard a lot of great Excuse rumors me. about Excuse myself, me. but that one by far must be <laughs> the funniest one that I've heard. To date. Is it possible? I was not aware. I was going to ask, is it possible that Rachel has like vitiligo, like the Michael Jackson thing? I don't think so. I don't like, think is that, she uh, secretly that, black? that has occurred. No, but okay. um, I'm sure somebody is going to post a picture somewhere of my black ex-wife who exists 
inside only your mind because you're a fucking oh. lunatic on oh, the internet. Oh. But just wanted to throw that out oh. there. How that feel right now? Uh -oh. <laughs> well, I mean, it feels fine for me because the truth's on my side, and Same unlike here. you, I didn't murder my own child Same and then here. try to get revenge and I know on the person the and blame it on him because I'm not a fucking CCP you got lunatic. Dirt on you. But that's, that's just me. That's why you are nervous. Keep expanding. When you, well, I'm, I'm sorry, uh -huh. I'm I don't sure understand. I'm sure you got dirt on you. When you, when you say nervous, do you mean confident because I didn't smite my own child in the womb? Oh, my God. I admit that that you're doing better than Walter. Why can't you admit it that? He yeah, well, what do you wrong? mean, do better than Walter? I you don't remember doing, Walter's smiling. You are better than Walter. At least you, you didn't you. ask for a <laughs> Oh my God. Jeremy donated five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. STFU Daisy. Crazy. Crazy. I know. Jeremy really I got money though. You know what? Don't worry. Yeah, Really Anyways, uh, well, it's okay. Wait, that, it's, it's a troll. I don't see another reason why. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm so glad I'm not dating. He sent in, uh, hold on. Oh, what if you found out the perfect guy you just started dating loves Donald Trump? Ooh. Noel, <laughs> would you, <laughs> would I date him or would you date yeah, him? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. What was the question? Uh, perfect guy. You just start dating him. He, you find out he loves Donald Trump. Would you date him? No. Okay. So you, would you consider yourself my like more liberal politically? I think that I would. It's hard for me to say yes or no. I think that I would want to see his point of view first. Like, I think that that would have to be a conversation. Like, why he loves Donald well, Trump? His, what? Yeah. Like, like, well, his point of view is Donald Trump is like the was the president of the United States, and that he's the. Uh, Best fit. He, well, no, he's the, what's it called? The, sorry, guys, I um, R slurred when I'm drunk. Yeah. Um, he's the nominee oh. for the Republican ticket for president. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, whatever. Okay. What about you, Kelly? Um, I, I don't care about that stuff, so. If your boyfriend came to you and had a Donald Trump tattoo, would you? Okay, that's weird. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. That's weird. That's uh, really weird. Um, cr Christina, Christine. right? Chris Kristen? Christine. Christine. No. Uh, wait. You, okay. Da Daisy, aka Madison, read it. Aka Baby Killer and Blonde Blank, who fresh skated in. Dot dot dot. Their arms look weird. Bro. You're saying. Y'all crazy. Arms look. What's wrong with their arms, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at their arms. Their arms look fine, dude. I'm actually jacked. So I mean, Daisy, you're like a bodybuilder, right? Can we see a double bicep real quick? I was. Can we see a double bicep? Not anymore. Wait, hold on. What happened? What happened, yeah, Daisy? I lost all the muscle. Okay. Uh, wait, did you answer the Donald Trump one? Would you? I personally wouldn't. That's like, just my Like, great guy perfect guy but he tells you he loves Donald Trump you wouldn't be down no all right okay and you said Chris Kristen Christine Christine you said you said that you would um no no okay <laughs> cool cool uh Madison my current boyfriend is my perfect boyfriend, and he loves Andrew, Donald what Trump. Oh, uh, never mind. I don't know. It looked like you were doing something weird, Andrew. I wasn't doing it. What? It, I don't know. You just your head was like dunked <laughs> down, bro. It looked kind of. Oh, weird. Well, I was I was singing a song about my black ex-wife <laughs> that I didn't know that I didn't know that I had, but I was singing it for my chat. It goes like my black ex-wife. A oh. black ex white. I was doing something, okay, something yeah, along yeah, those okay. lines. I, right. I didn't realize that I was married to a black woman previous. Oh, I just, yeah. I didn't know that. So yeah. now I know. Okay. Would you date a girl yeah. who was like MAGA? <laughs> MAGA. Like uh, very, very. Well, I don't really like to date women who are like super overt politically. Because I feel like it doesn't matter if she's like conservative or liberal. I feel if like you're super invested this is my personal preference. If you're super invested in politics, you're kind of like, doesn't matter what, you're just kind of annoying to be, <laughs> to be honest. So if she was like, it's okay if she has her opinions. That's, I guess that's fine. <laughs> you can have thoughts and feelings. 
<laughs> okay, I'm, being, I'm joking around. Okay. But if you if she's like super like into whatever, it doesn't matter if she's like super woke, super conservative. It's like kind of annoying if they're like really because these people are constantly annoyed by things. What if she's like pretty liberal? Like she's not like an extreme. I uh, prefer like moderate girls. I think moderate's a pretty good way to go. Like I want to date a wokey. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to date a wokey. Okay. Just wondering. Do you vote? <laughs> yeah. yeah. River vote. donated sixty nine dollars to the girl my fellow Andrew has been destroying tonight. Would you have been able to sue in the same circumstances a person in China? Good question. <sighs> Could you have sued? Walter in China for the same thing. I think her mic's still muted, right, Nick? Yeah. Have her have, yell. Yeah. Have you been keeping? Uh, have you been keeping track uh, of the time? No, I lost this track of this one. It was five minutes ago, so we got another five minutes. Sorry, Daisy. Maybe just can you do like um, just blink and do Morse code? <laughs> do you know how to do Morse? code? Daisy, look at me, Daisy. You looking at me? Yeah. Looking at me? Yeah. Okay, we'll do split on that. You looking at me? <laughs> okay, do you know Morse code? I want you to give your answer by blinking using Morse code. So like, <laughs> <laughs> do you know how to, do, do you know Morse code? Morse code. I'll mute me. That's the way I answer questions. Uh, you got another four minutes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, wait, where were we? We were talking. What was the thing with the Donald Trump thing? Would you perfect date Donald, a you perfect sorry. person, boyfriend, girlfriend? Would you date a conservative? Uh, can you explain a little more on what? What's what there to explain? Mean? Like a conservative guy? Uh, yes. Would you date a conservative? I kind of agree with you. Like, I don't really like to date people who are overly. Mm -hmm. political and like that. Kelly? Yeah. Yes, and I'm also with you as well. It's I think it's sometimes hard being with people who are super overly political. Because they're just butthurt about Yeah, everything. they just take it All the like time. a lot of things really, really <laughs> personal. Yeah. Yeah. Jeremy donated $69. Oh my God. Pause the time, let her speak, then mute her again. <laughs> All right, he's given permission. Daisy, you can't do game, that. Daisy, you can't do that to me. So you can't do that to me. Do what? Am I a doll? A, a, why, why a do doll? You, like, am I like I'm a toy or what? Like he, he, he can. Play I'm not gonna talk. I'm so glad I'm not dating. Donated sixty nine dollars. Oh. Repeal God, the nineteenth for the love of Jesus. This is the exact reason my fucking business is taxed oh, to insanity. Fuel apart. is expensive and groceries are astronomical. Control your fucking women, men. Wait, what? Andrew. Oh my God! Read this, Madison. Baby Killa is a 304 times two and blonde blank who fresh skied, skied in our both boards. Wait, so Daisy, the question is from Rivrod: Could you have been I'm able gonna, to sue? I'm not going to answer the Jeremy's same question. Circumstances in a pers a person in China. I'm not answering Jeremy's question. <laughs> Okay. David Tozakiak donated $69. Tell your friends to watch to hit 10K. I dress down. Get if a girl asks for flowers, but three months into dating, is it okay to ask for a fancy 2K bag? To the curb. Maybe it's six months, Wait. maybe. What is he talking Get about? if a girl asks for flowers, but three months into dating, is it okay to ask for a fancy 2K bag? I think he's saying like, okay, like it's okay to ask for flowers, but is it okay to ask for a six k bag or whatever three k bag after six months? See, me and Daisy would never be able to date because like, <laughs> I <laughs> no, I'm just saying like, I'll get you like Chick Fil A. Wait, that's it. You don't know the whole story. I never asked for anything. For the for the the, 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 the thirty thousand dollar bracelet. Yes, 
I leave okay. everything. He texts me, I okay. got your birthday okay. gift. Then he he bought me wouldn't a work. fake thing. It wouldn't work. He bought you a fake bracelet? <laughs> yes. He bought me a fake bracelet. I <laughs> nah. Then Wait. Then I had bought fresh? me a real one. Yeah, then oh, I paid yeah. half on it. 30K. I paid 15K. <laughs> And, but <laughs> that's not fair. Wait, so but it was a fake. He bought a fake one for thirty thousand. Still, yeah, that's the the whole point why I told do you, you still to have play the bracelet. The video. Wait, do you, do you have the bracelet? No, I threw it away, like in front of his face. You like, threw it away. I, so he has it. I, he has Wait, it. he has it. He has yeah, it. It was fake, anyways. No, but, but that's three. No, but you did a, you did eventually buy the real one, right? Yes, because you when, gave it back. I, no, can no, you no, return no, it's here, can it's you here. It was Where, it's here. Oh, it's that one. That's the one. Hold on. Hold that shit up. <laughs> hold it up to the camera. Hold it up to this camera. That's a bracelet. I paid 15K with. You paid 15K. That. He paid 15K. That's the real one. Wait, button. this, hold it to this camera. Wait, so how much is the fake? That's, Wait, the, real, that's the real one. Yeah. The real one is 30,000. She paid Can I have it? it? After. Uh, you can yeah. take a look. You can show Can I put it on? Oh That's my god, so this nice. is... What brand is Watch it? Out. The only thing that I've got this expensive in this point is <laughs> don't, it, it's Brian, don't give it back. It's a miracle. Don't give it back. <laughs> don't give it back. Don't give it back. Don't do it. <laughs> Jeremy, I am not spending 500 on a spy, but shut this CCP 304 up again. I don't want to break this. Bro. <laughs> how do, wait, how do you open this shit? Oh. Uh, this is the bracelet. <laughs> okay, I, bro, I'm not going to... <laughs> Can I have it? No, because <laughs> I paid fifteen k. <laughs> I thought, I thought we had something here. <laughs> no, we don't, because you mute oh. me. <laughs> so if I didn't mute you, you would have given me the bracelet. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Don't trick me. <laughs> um. Actually, I don't know if you, there's a law in the United States when you give somebody to some, like you. Yo, China Doll, thank you for the gift of 20 memberships. Like, you gave this to me as a gift. Mm -hmm. Can I? Well, in China, there is some. Can you read this, cool. Madison? Replay Brady's over or something. It's L time. Oh, Did you hear Kevin Hart weighs 140 pounds? And if The Rock blows in Kev's butthole, he weighed 150. <laughs> yeah, she I, don't uh, the eat roast. bad. She all oh, hell. Oh, no. hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Blank Daisy. I wouldn't. Daisy with Daisy. Brian's D. Huh? Yeah, but I mean, speaking of Kevin Hart, I heard that he married my black ex wife. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. What's wrong with marrying a black wife? I didn't say there was anything wrong with it. No, why do you uh, deny it then? Why I do I deny it. something which is patently false because it's we not We don't true. know if it's not true or it's true. <laughs> She's we don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Know. People don't like, wait. I'm sorry. Like we people don't know don't if it's know. true or not. Like how can you people prove don't, it? People don't know if it's true or it's untrue. We don't how, so like, that, that's really strange, Daisy. You would Think that like you asked me the same question. So prove it. If they didn't know like what if they you just true, did to me, right? crazy ac accusations. Like I, I don't even so speak yeah, English right here. Like I have to like right. listen to your bullshit. Like, listen to your bullshit. <laughs> your bullshit. Puck for CCO I'm sorry. Are you Wait, Daisy? Are you saying <laughs> Brian? You really brought on Daisy just to dogpile her when Myron hates you and will never collab with you. Daisy, sue those losers and take them for all they have. Thanks to you, Puck Face CEO. <laughs> yeah. So, so I mean, I mean, tell me, Daisy, are you? Uh, do you? You think I have a black ex-wife? Well, this is what I have to say. To I'm that. fair than, than you. Like I'm like. We don't know, uh, right? You gotta uh, prove uh, it. Derp, derp, derp. Can you can you, you gotta tell me? prove it, right? You did. I'm sorry. It's your accusation. You have to prove it. I'm, I'm sorry that you don't know how things it. work, but that's how it works in a non-communist nation. If you make accusations, you have to prove the accusations. That's how that works. Did you know Same that? Same thing Daisy? you asked me. You have to prove you, it. Well, you were the one who just stated okay. yes, so I'm just curious. I didn't say Do yes. Have... I said we don't oh, know. Yeah, you oh, have you didn't to say prove yes, it. So you're just full of does shit. It look, does you it look good, boys? Shit. Does it look good? <laughs> about what? I mean, am I full of shit about this, Daisy? When I say that you smited your child in the womb, am Let I lying, Let me ask, Daisy? what's wrong with marrying a black woman? Wait, that's I not, didn't say there was anything wrong with that. it. When I say that you okay, smited... Okay, then I didn't say anything When like, I say that you smited your child in the womb, am I lying? Or did you smite your child in the womb? 
What does that mean? Word. It means did you uh, kill your uh, child? No, I, no, I didn't. Hold on, hold on. No, hold on here. Until proven guilty. Innocent no, until I proven guilty. Hang, 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 hang on, Daisy. I did your child kill... magically evaporate, I or did you do something anybody. to exterminate its life? So why life, do you say Daisy? that's murder? That's not murder. Oh okay? no, it's not murder. So if it. If it's murder to you, okay, fine. If not it's murder. not murder, why did I lose the kid? Because the father doesn't want the Walter. kid. Daisy, if so it's tell not me, murder, tell me, tell me, why is that wrong to marry a black woman? To show you what? I don't, I don't think he's saying that. Okay, I don't think then. He's I didn't that. say anything about it being wrong to marry a black woman. What are you talking then, about? Then why did you, why did you answer bug my with question? Me? You you smited your child in the womb. You don't believe though that this is murder. So why would you hold Walter accountable I'm for so anything? Glad that makes not no sense. Hold on. Hold on, boys. Huh. Hold on. Just got caught up on this Daisy chick. So some dude from another show blasted your ovaries and you decided to kill the baby. Now I understand. You are absolutely and utterly gross. Unbelievable. Well, I mean, he is right. You did smite your child in the womb you did in other words it's not murder right and if it's not murder daisy then you can't call walter a murderer you can't say he did anything actually wrong wait we have talked about it we have talked about it a little too much yeah but i want to bring it back because i just want to daisy what did 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 walter convince you to murder anybody or not Yeah, I don't I don't want to drop it though. I want to ask the question. Daisy, did Walter make you murder somebody or did he not do that? Look, I don't have to Jeremy, Wait, hold on. To afford it. Please, Jeremy can't afford it, please. For the love, for the love of, Christ. of Christ. Not sure what he's going yeah, for. Yeah. So so anyway, if you if you don't mind answering my question, did Walter make you murder somebody or not? Well he made Myron did. Myron made you murder, but, but it's not murder though, Daisy. Well, that's the main reason why I had to take a pill because I yeah, was but it's most, not a problem. I it's was not seeing murder, right, Daisy? I because I was seeing a doctor and I was seeing a therapist because I'm emotionally mm -hmm. damaged. Uh -huh. From what? Every, from something that's not murder? From from the allegations, from the defame that they're putting me in the situation. So I was sick in my head because of what happened to me and nobody's wait you were sick in your head i was sick in my head boarding your own child i was sick in my head because what myra and walter put me in through mm -hmm. do i make that clear i don't understand what did they put you through you didn't murder a child i don't have you didn't even think it was a human being here right? because people haven't been through this situation as i did and if you don't know you go ahead and google it I already looked Okay, everything. I'm going to Google it. What should I Google? Should I Google, is abortion murder? You say no. That's not, so, that's not so something for you to say. So now that we've established it's not murder, what did they put you through exactly? I'm That's confused. not something for you to say, okay? Yeah, you said it. I didn't say it. You said it's not murder. You're what? not a murderer, so you can't be a murderer. You cannot blame someone else for actions that put you in the position to take accountability. Word. I just want to address a couple things here real quick. Thank you for your TTS. Can I have my bracelet back? One sec. Hold on. I kind of like it. One sec. I'll give it back to you. In a, give it back to you in just a sec here. This is the most. I don't even wear a thirty dollar watch. This is the most expensive thing that's been on my wrist. Let me enjoy it for a little bit. Okay. Um, responding to the pug face CEO. Uh, they'll never collab. I'm not even doing. I'm not doing this in furtherance of a collaboration. Uh, that's not my angle here at all. Um, I just, I, I, uh, I certainly appreciate Daisy for coming on, for being willing to have this conversation, but I do object to the whole leaking thing. And who, regardless of who that's done to, I'm not in favor of uh, leaking private But you have in favor in Walter's perspective? Well, he should because Walter is clearly right. And you're clearly okay, um, he's right, a person fine. who smited your child in the womb and wanted to deflect. You wanted to deflect the responsibility for what you did by to that. him, and you explained that it was a massive revenge plot against this guy, as did the person who's next to you. It's re it's purely unadulteratedly. It's spite and revenge. You've admitted it's spite and revenge. 
I don't know how you wiggle your way out of that now. So if somebody punches you on the face, what do you do? Yeah, that's right, because you, you want to get quiet? revenge, because it made you feel if bad, If somebody right? punched you in the face, just like somebody said you marry a black wife, what was your response? Mute? My response was just to be like, nope, that didn't happen. <laughs> Wait, can I ask Andrew that's a question? That's not what you did. Go, go ahead, Colin. Um, I just wanted to Yeah, like, that's what I did. I was just wondering, like, um, just for, like from his perspective, what would he feel like was the best thing that she could have done in that situation? I mean, it, let's, let us assume for a second that we're going to take two different worldviews, because that's what we're doing. My worldview, which is Christian ethics, and her worldview, which is I don't fucking know what. Um, my worldview is... Abortion is always murder, same worldview that the blonde has, right? Same one. So if this is so, if this is true, then I would always default towards life. However, our CCP loving friend over here smited this child in the womb and has done everything in her power to place the blame on him. Am I, am I incorrect here from your assessment? Am I incorrect or has she not done everything to place the blame on him? <laughs> for her action as the ultimate arbiter, he can't make her have an abortion, right? Uh, yeah, agreed. It's, um, that was an individual choice. I'm so right. glad I'm not dating donated $69. Brian, you aren't a fan of leaking, but clearly Daisy is. It takes two, you dumb skull. You spread your legs. It was your choice. Stop shifting the blame to everyone but yourself. Self-respect, please. It was pretty despicable to leak leak the, the record the phone call release it i don't even think that these women should be in your studio with these other fine women here brian after what they did it's un it's almost unconscionable just my perspective okay a couple things here also there's a joke about the roast of tom brady i think the funniest joke from that was it was from Tony Hinchcliffe, and he said something along the lines of, Tom Brady, why do you look like a gay Tom Brady? <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. Okay. Uh, and then we have Yvonne's, Yvonne, 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 Daisy, had you decided to have Fresh's baby, Fresh may have been able to file a federal lawsuit against you for false advertisement, 15 U.S.C., section 1125, due to the drastic cosmetic changes you had from your original phenotype. Do we have the old photos, Nick? The OG photos? Anyways, it's fine, whatever. That's from Yav... Yav She looks good. Yeah. And that was like what, like nine years ago, like ten, like <coughs> wait, 2013. So. Yeah. Damn, he's he's going in. He's going in. Uh, thank you. you <laughs> it's been a while. I haven't seen you in the chat. Man. Slide appreciate room, it, Mr. Bullet donated oh, sixty-nine dollars. Daisy, send this message to your CCP overlords. Oh, geez. The Inquisition and Mobile Infantry stands ready to assist defending the free nation of Taiwan. Invade at your peril. Would you like to know more? Hey, what the what the fuck? It's okay. Do you want to answer that? No. Why are they saying like political stuff? Because <laughs> they try to trick me. They're being racist. Yeah. Like, like uh, we're in America. Like, anyway, let's yeah. talk about. Let's yeah, talk about guys. Let's talk about um, what's everybody's um, type. <laughs> <laughs> what? Should I, Should I start? Oh, we already know, Brian. What's my? <laughs> what do you mean you already know? What's my type, Kelly? If you, like, you know me so well, what's I my type? I feel like you definitely like like Asian girls, and I feel like you like white girls too. And yeah, that's like your top two for sure. Top two, yeah. Yeah. It's probably equal between like white girls and Asian girls. Yeah. Mm. You know, it's what? What you doubt that, Maddie? Mm -hmm. It's probably. Equal. I feel like I know your type now. What's my? Type? <laughs> you want to say it for me? Wait, Maddie, <laughs> can you read this? Why does Daisy keep changing clothes? You choose to spread your legs. You knew the potential God damn, bro, you had protect your sex. Does the blonde girl's lower jaw move except for... She didn't even change clothes. A. Mm -hmm. Let him lose money. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> keep going. That's not going to intimidate me. <laughs> Good times. Yeah. 
So like, how's the like dating? And teach him a lesson. That's right. So Daisy, how's the dating? Uh, Houdini forty one donated sixty nine dollars. Is Daddy Grid Wesley? Oh, he's been here. He's been he here. is our champion. Smite this three hundred and four, my guy. Oh my god. Andrew, would you rather sleep with the oldest woman or a trans woman? Which one, Andrew? <laughs> oldest woman. Same. <laughs> Sign me up. The oldest one who exists. Damn. <laughs> Okay, good times. Uh, what's my type, Madison? Go ahead, say it for me. Um, if it doesn't, if her height doesn't start with the four, you don't want it. <laughs> right. Um, preferably. Yeah, you do like Asian small, slash short, white short. women. You like them to not wear makeup. Minimal makeup. Minimal makeup. <coughs> minimal makeup doesn't Min have to be minimum. absolutely zero. Preferably, Pref if it's zero. If she shows up on the first date with a full face of makeup on, it's a no go. No, it's not a no go. Not I just be like, doesn't have a promiscuous pass. Uh, you modest. know it's a no go. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be. A, it wouldn't be a deal breaker. What if she looked different when she took her makeup off? I'd still hit. <laughs> no plastic <laughs> surgery. But like surgery yeah. doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't have any mental illnesses. What if she smokes weed? Um, what if she smokes weed? Is weed a deal breaker? Uh, I'd have a preference for her not smoking weed. It's not necessarily a deal breaker, but if she's smoking it a lot, then like every day. I actually agree with you. It's uh, it can yeah, make I don't. You, it can make you really like lazy and like. But what I about functional? I, I don't. Smoke? I don't <laughs> smoke at all, though. So I just feel like there would be such a mismatch of such a mismatch there. What if she was like crazy though, and smoking made her like a really chill? <laughs> mm. <laughs> you like chill. I like chill, but if she's like, what if I encounter? Of course, eventually, if you're dating somebody, you're in, you're gonna encounter them sober. So. Did uh, you ever go on a date with Emily? Who? She, she was. Um, Bro, what the? F Who's shut, Emily? shut up, Kelly. She, <laughs> hey, Kelly, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, what? Uh, no. No. No, we um, didn't go on a date. No. no. She was. I'm kidding. See, I'm kidding. I think she was like, she's a no. really good prospect for you. What the fuck? Okay. Are we talking about the same Emily? Bro, why are you, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> You're outing him right now, Kelly. <laughs> when was she was on like seven months ago or some shit? That was a long time, like back in like no, September. No, she was recently, I think. No. Oh. That was like seven, eight months ago or something. That was when I was on. I was on with her. Yeah, back in like September or something. Yeah. No, we didn't. I oh, because we were like joking about it on the yeah, show. Yeah, that's why. Oh no, we never. Ne we never went on no oh. date. No Cause day. I think you like no, cause you you gave her the ring. That's why. And then she oh, the it. ring. I proposed to her. Yeah. Hold on. Where's that shit? Emily. <laughs> Who should I, should I propose to somebody tonight? Yes. Uh, okay. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> the light. Catherine. And everything. Catherine. Will you? Cat. Ca Chris Christine. <laughs> <laughs> Christine, <laughs> will you marry me? You didn't get my name right. What's my name? <laughs> um, <laughs> don't respond. Brian. Someone whispered Brian. that shit. <laughs> Somebody whispered that shit. <laughs> All right, what's up? Um, wait, where, what were we talking about? Um, oh, my I type. Basically, I covered everything, right? Oh. Like the main things. <clears throat> She has to be willing to bow. bow? She has to bow. Mm -hmm. Smote. Smote. Uh, Maddie, can you read that? I can't handle this bleep. It is too <laughs> mudda it not mudda. You're an effing murder Damn, that's daisy. Crazy. Yeah, lay that's down crazy, and got your icky vag. <laughs> Run oh my God. Out. Bro, what the you fuck? kill the baby or it's too ZBL. Bro, mudda. Be They're nice. obsessed with you. Daisy. Guys, be nice. Yeah. Be nice a little bit. Eh? Come on. Oh yeah, we gotta do the bumble thing. Okay, we'll do bumble. the bumble thing. Hold on, guys. We're gonna then we're gonna do a couple other things. We are gonna try to wrap relatively soon, 20, 20 minutes or so. And then we'll uh, yeah, we'll do a couple things. Uh, I think we should do the age change the age range though. So Daisy, my home girl. We're we're friends, right? We're cool. Ooh. Damn. Look at oh, cool. Are we cool? Are we cool? Are we good? Are we good? We're <laughs> um, can yes. I, can I keep the bracelet? No. Okay. <laughs> I'll think about it. Um, what's your age range for guys you'd be willing to date? 
Anonymous donated $69. Daisy the baby killer. How is the whole business going? Has Duke or Abba signed up with your Lebanese pimp? Cloud chasing, low value woman. Bro. How could you? Do you want to answer the question? No, it's not worth it. Okay. Hawk Emery. That sounds good. Uh, Daisy, age range for a guy you want to date? Mm. He has to be young, younger than my father. So, so like, like minimum 30, age, maximum like age? 30 to 40, maybe. Mm. Uh, older than me, like, so older than 28. And then younger than 53. Yeah, 53. Wait, so Nick, are you changing it in Bumble? 29 to So wait, you, you said 29 to what? 29 to 53. F 53? Yeah. Okay. 53. Uh, let me just get all the age ranges right now while Nick's doing that age range. Um, 24 to 34. Uh, 24 to 34. Slide uh, we'll Mr. Bullet donated $69. We'll do it dollars. Daisy, I say again. Tell your CCP overlords the Inquisition and the Crucible Infantry stands united with Hong Kong and the nation of Taiwan defending freedom from commies. Would you like to know more? Yeah, we de donate, I mean, definitely. You can believe again. that Taiwan Old man donate, donate donate donated again. $69. Something I like to ask on the first date and would like the panel to answer, is Taiwan a country? <laughs> yeah, is Taiwan a country? I'm asking you right now. Do you think Taiwan yeah, we're, is a country? Yeah, we were just asking the panel, is Taiwan a country? Yeah. Daisy, is, is Taiwan a country? You're asking the panel, so ask other girls. Yeah, speaking to the mic, we can't why, hear you. Why do, why do I have to answer? Well, it's for the whole panel. Anonymous no. donated so $69. Question for the Asian women. What happened next when the American soldiers, when the tree started speaking Vietnamese? What? what? You two are Vietnamese, right? <laughs> yeah. Catherine, right? Oh, oh Chris, my God. Christine? Mm -hmm. Chris, Kristen? Christine. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Is your last name Win? Because you're winning me over right now. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it last name? No, it's <laughs> not. It, no. Kelly? No. Kelly Win? No. Oh, my mom. My mom's um, maiden name. Maiden name is, is yeah. when. Yeah. Okay. Lady, gen, gents, uh, if you're talking to a Vietnamese girl, it's a good line to try. It's like seventy percent of their last names are when. Yeah. Or it's she a might. Very, throw it's up. a very common Vietnamese last name. Or she might be really offended. Were you offended? Was that offensive? No, it's not offensive. It was, it was it's not offensive. Offensive. Jeremy donated sixty-nine dollars. Doesn't yeah, Daisy have funny. some mute time? <laughs> Let's just let her time to go to Andrew. If you've got 20 minutes left, let's do what her country does. Silence everyone, veteran of 15 years here. Hey, Jeremy, thank you for your service. Um, I'm thank sure, you for the I'm service. I'm sure Brian also. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, you very you. much for your service. Well, thank uh, you for his I didn't patronage. want Jeremy's thank previous you for your question. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I was just saying, thank you, Jeremy, for your patronage. Yeah. I'm still tipsy from the, the champagne pop, so. Sure um, Thank sure, you, sure. I, I, but I did wonder if we could get Jeremy's previous question answered, and if you thought Taiwan was a nation. I just wanted or a country. Do you think Taiwan is a country, Daisy? I don't think she's going to. A lot of a lot of people are wondering if you think Taiwan might be a country. Ask Jeremy. Donate ten thousand. I will answer. Ooh. Jeremy, is she getting a ten, ten, ten bands? And you get the bracelet. <laughs> And you get the bracelet, Jeremy. Okay. Yeah. Um, donate ten thousand. And then you have money, answer. right? Donate. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll do the bumble thing. Otherwise, guys. shut the fuck up, loser. Ooh. Uh, oh, he's broke got, ass. He's he, you think right he donate right. two thousand? Right. You can let me make me to speak whatever you wanted to speak. So hey, donate ten thousand dollars. Donated sixty-nine dollars. Taiwan has a monopoly in microchip production. China reclaiming oh, yeah. Taiwan would surely spark World War Three. How did this get so political? Yeah. What do you, what do you think? What do you think, Daisy? Do you think that? Do you think that if Ta if China took over Taiwan, it might spark World War Three? I don't pay attention to Can politics. We, I feel like we got to keep oh. it that dating got related. We got to keep it. Let's keep it me. dating related, guys. Okay. Ooh, keep it dating related. 
<laughs> okay, that was good. Um, all right, let's do the Bumble thing. Okay, so here's the segment. Uh, put us on the other side, Nick. Balake. Put us on the Balake. other side. Do you know a video I'm uh, talking about? Yeah. <laughs> so you get 20 swipes, Daisy. Tw hold on, okay. Maddie, could you read that? Daisy, oh. the baby killer, no value, zero class, and not a woman. That's how you do it, Brian. That cankles losing fans like a bleep. God loses damn, business man. in church. Cankles are two feet lower than... Cankles? C word. These guys are just are haters, huh? Damn. <laughs> That's rough. I feel bad for, like, reading these. <laughs> I'm no, sorry, you guys. I don't think she. Okay. I know. I don't know. I'm not even tripping. Maybe this is weird, but like a girl with nice calves. <laughs> like if a girl has nice calves, it's kind of like, damn, that's. David Tuzecchi you know donated I mean? sixty nine dollars. Like, almost like. Be respectful, yeah. please. Debate is important. Chris T. Uh, e. Respect to the whole panel. Thank think you. this is biggest gross cast. Best to hey. all. Taiwan is a hey. nation state. We've had. Hey, David. David. No. Bad David. <laughs> you know Bad. that book, No David? All right. Uh, let's do the bumble. So, Daisy. Double D Daisy. I'm sorry. Double D Daisy? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I blame it on the alcohol. I'm sorry. I'm, I never drink. I'm sorry. Now can I have my bracelet back? Wait, hold on. Let me just... Hold on. I'm, I like wearing it. Once, uh, you, I promise I'll give it back to you, okay? You get 20 swipes. Yes or no? Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Sapphire a man donated $69. Florida. He's from Florida, boys. To the demon possessed women sacrificing unborn souls for the sake of revenge and comfort. Christ is Lord and you will answer for it. So blind from demon possessio, they even see the evil they are. Okay. Okay. So, her um, swipes. Swipes, Nick. Okay. Daisy, you have 20 swipes. No. 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 Really? No. He's ripped. That's crazy. Yeah. No. 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 He was his girlfriend? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> his wife? I think I don't have to look at Wait, it. just keep going. Keep no, going. No. Everybody's going to do it. No. No. Oh, yeah. he seems sweet. No. R really, David? Yeah. No. Wow, That's damn, weird. bro. Yeah. No. Daisy. No. R uh, he's good. No. James. What? No. Look at that. Damn, you're picky. It's not my type. I'm sorry. <laughs> How no. many is that, Nick? Are you <laughs> counting? No. <laughs> At what? No. No. Is that twenty? That's zero, Daisy. That's zero for twenty. What's up? That's why I'm. I'm not. We'll, on we'll do another ten more. We'll see if we can get a yes. Go ahead. No. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Which one? Which, Which one? one? Yeah. Oh, guys no. Make them stupid when they do that. They are. No. Oh, ew. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that feels really. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Nah. Damn, y'all picky. Nope. Daisy, you're the picky. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh my god. Just not my type. Wow. Nope. There's not enough. Forest. Nope. Never mind. Yeah. Wait, what no. about? No. Hold on. I feel like really? Gonna say no Not even this guy? What are you trying to say? I don't. I'm, I'm, he's, like you're saying, I, I just any well, black he's got, guy. He's, he's, no, I'm just. It's not that he's. It's not. It's not even that he's black. He's just got good style. He's. He, he's got a nice watch. Um, he looks with a fit. He's. What, 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 he's definitely what, fit. What nice watch. He, what, he's definitely why is fit. He fit. He's not even like he's cut. He's all fresh and up. fit. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, you go date him. I'm not gonna date him. He's all right, Noel. All right. Uh, age range, Noel. Oh, you said 24 to 34. Yeah. Uh, Nick, you can bring it back. 24. If you can adjust the ages, 24 to 34. 24 to 34. David Tuzecchi donated 69 dollars. Uh oh. I did not mean to type gross. Oh, highest. I meant best. I don't think so. I meant actually. highest grossing donation cast. I like them all. I, I, we've had higher. We've had higher. Thank you, David. Good to see you, man. Uh, once you have it, Nick, go ahead and pop it up. Pop that shit up. All right. Pop it up. Pop it up. Mm. Noel. Uh, no. I don't know which one, so no. <laughs> With a girl, no. 
Like if it's mom. really his, yeah. It could be anyone. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. What? David, I, you can barely see his. Screen. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, no. Which yeah, one? Which one? Uh, Either. No. No. <laughs> no. I feel like a young. girlfriend took that pick. Yeah, he's 25. 25. Yeah, he looks so young. Um, a girlfriend yeah. took that pick. Oh. I'd say yeah. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, the dog. No. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> I can barely see. What is that? Oh, no. <laughs> it's Jeremy. Filter. No. Mmm. He, he has an attractive face, but the tats. She so likes no. tattoo. <laughs> no. You don't, don't like tattoo? Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, yeah, he's cute. That's 20? Yeah. So she said yes to this guy. Okay. Three. Damn, y'all picky. Y'all picky. Uh, what about you? <coughs> like 22 and like maybe the highest like 30. 22 to 30. Okay. We'll do that. Oh, you guys are in relationships though. Like you two, right? You're fine. You're fine to do this. Double checking. Hypothetically. 69, you who donated $69. Daisy, the real question is, do you swipe right on Andrew or plead the fifth? Daisy, would you, if you saw Andrew, would you, would you smash? Like, would you swipe yes on him? That's a dumb question. I don't know. I kind of feel like you like toxic guys. So like, you might have a thing. Like, he totally. I don't like toxic. You don't like toxic guys? Why do you think I like toxic guys? Don't most girls like toxic guys? Are you calling us toxic guys? No, I'm not. Wait, guys, 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 stop, stop, stop. I don't like toxic guys, and I like guys who's respectful. Would you prefer? Definitely would, not Andrew. Would you be more inclined to date a guy who is <laughs> no. like, yes, queen, you're so right about yes. everything. It doesn't have to you be. You can never no. be wrong about no. anything ever. No, it doesn't have to be in, the, in between. Okay. You just have to act normal. Okay. Okay. All right. Sorry, Andrew. Sorry. Do you have it ready, Nick? Bumble? Yeah. Go ahead. Pull it up. Oh. oh. Whoa. What the? F- oh, that's a gym pick. Okay. Mm. If you can, be quick with your no. answers. No. 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 What? Damn, I'm just, bro. it's not my type. Oh, Latinos, no. okay. No. <laughs> no. 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 Him again. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Damn, y'all picky. No. Shit. No. How many left? No. Keep going. No. <laughs> Wait, are you guys like answering? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes. yes. No. no. Damn, y'all picky. Okay, no, Kelly. No, it's not that they're not Kelly. Like, attractive people. Go f- uh, age, it's Kelly? It's going to be a no for everyone. Because your boyfriend? Oh. I think he's the hottest guy ever. Yeah. Aww. So you don't, But yeah. just like as a hypothetical, you don't, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. But. Well, I just already know. Like. Okay. For sure, it's not going to be. All right, let's It's going to be zero range? out of 20. Um, 20 to 25. 20 to 25. 20 to 25. Boom. No. 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 <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> what oh the God. fuck? Is that a photo? Yo. Yeah, there it was. <laughs> Yo. No. Holy shit. No, I can't see him. Ew, no. No. <laughs> no. 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 So you got the do rag on? What the no. fuck? White boy with a do rag? No. 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 Let's do ten more to see if we can get a yes. One yes. Go ahead. 
They go, they took all the cute ones. No. No. <laughs> Damn, bro. You had a good job? No. No. What? No. Oh. Like, that's just like, I don't know. That's like a weird photo. That's a really weird photo. That yeah. It's like, suck at picking photos. I feel like if like, it was a better photo, maybe. Okay, but, but like no. in person, like you could imagine how we look. Okay, no. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we No. 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 <laughs> no. What the? Why? No. Two gay guys in a row? <laughs> <laughs> Three gay guys in a row? Hold on. Uh, CCP government here, Daisy, you blank, oh. strumpet, we gonna put you in prison with the Tate brothers. With the Tate brothers? They're still in jail? No. No, they're home. You can bring it back. We're gonna get a yes. Please. Ma oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Grammar's underscore box underscore is underscore not underscore a underscore cock donated $69. Oh. Brian, my Caucasian, you hammied was same last WK when bottle bopped. Andrew, if Brian get blackout and ends up missing after Daisy gets deport, will you take over? She set her sights on our boy and he volney. If oh, shit. the evil CCP... Besides to retaliate against Brian, I promise that I will personally take over the whatever brand. Yes. You heard it, heard it here for, for, for first. He's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's keep going with the Bumble thing. Let's keep going. No. <laughs> really? He plays baseball. No, but you can't see his... Yeah. You see his side profile. Yeah, he's handsome. Can you show more photos? Nah. Please, baseball. WTF and, and Brian. Nice ring ass. spun cotton. <laughs> How about some polyester for us rednecks in the, the south? Oh, the merch. Deport Daisy. <sighs> Are you talking about the merch? Shop at whatever.com. Uh, deport. Guys, we're not going to deport... Yeah. There's no deportation. Yeah, but there should be. That's oh. the... Oh. Anyways, uh, Bumble, bring it back, Nick. No. So, nice side profile. No. Ugh. Really? No. He's like getting the ick from all of these. Yeah. I know. Wait. Like sleeping? Yeah. Huh? huh? What? What was your answer? Honestly, yeah. He's cute. Okay, <laughs> I see what's going on. <laughs> I get it. Okay. They're winning. Yo. They're just winning. Hey, you know what, though? Okay, never mind. Go ahead. Next. Wait, what, just wait, I want to see like three more. I want to oh, see okay. three more from, from um, Gertrude over here. Gertrude, ew. Gertrude. Next. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. 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 They all look like this. No. No, I just. Okay, I we, like we'll that. stop there. We'll stop there. He's, you, the, you're you're like one percent of the guys you think are attractive. That's crazy, son. You're picky. Yeah, so are, uh, they, so are uh, they. You're, uh, you're picky. I wouldn't even say it's, they're just all like. Bro, those are average. Those no, are like, like. Some of those dudes were like pretty good looking. Some of them look like they don't shower. <coughs> but some also, this like, is like based purely off of looks. So I know, like, they were. But it's also just like one picture. And honestly, like, if I'm on a dating app, I'm going to put the best picture of myself. And if these guys think these are the best pictures of themselves, like. They're trying to be modest. No, they're not. They're trying not. to be modest. They just think, oh, this picture's hard. So I'm going to use it as my <laughs> profile picture. And then they're just gonna put it as that. And it's like, dude, what, what made you think this picture mm -hmm. was good? All right. Or like, I've seen like, you know, like Shit. you can take better photos of yourself at least. All right, last one, what about you? I would say 20 to 27. 20 to 27. All right. Once Nick has that all ready to go, guys, twitch.tv slash whatever, and drop us a follow in the prime sub if you have one. <laughs> yep. No. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Okay. Hold, wait, wait, wait. One thing, one thing, one thing. I don't want you guys to influence her because okay. you guys were kind of like influencing um, um, Gertrude over here. So if you just guys don't do any indication, don't do like, Definitely. just let her, yes. no indications. <laughs> just let like zip, zip it. Okay, go ahead. Uh, no. No. Sorry, Brian. No. No. 
No. No. No. No. <laughs> no. 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 Let's give her five more. No. 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 What? No. No. Bro, I'm gonna be straight up. You're way too fucking picky. That's crazy. That's well, that's me, crazy. There was no Hispanic guys. In I her know. I there, was there was a couple. There was a couple. No, no they're there all white guys. guys. There was a couple of uh, Hispanic guys. No. There's at least one Puerto Rican. There's a one Guatemalan. And there's at least one Mexican. Trust me, I know this. Here, do five more. I bet you they're all gonna be white. Mm-hmm. All right, well, fuck. We'll do another ten. Go ahead, Nick. <laughs> You're like there. No, do that one though. <laughs> You can't even see him though. X. Literally. No. No. Oh. I'm just you. Wait, wait, really quick. You won't even date. You won't date a white guy. Mm -hmm. I would. So then what? Wait, but you said. It's because most of the pictures you can't even see their face. They're like right. switched okay. to another. Keep side. going. Keep going. <coughs> Let's see. Would you go on a date with them? Just a date. Yes. Wait. Keep. It's okay. No. Just, just go ahead. Oh, I said no. I would go on a date with him. <laughs> no, okay, but why did it shift? I don't know. What? It's because I asked her it, like to just think about it, like if she would go on a date with them, like you know, just a date. I think she's thinking I don't about like would he be my boyfriend? What if would you date boyfriend? this guy? Like, Girls will go on a date with a guy they're not even necessarily interested. like date them like be in a relationship. Yeah, like well, like me. You don't yeah. Know. Here, let's let's bring it back. Okay, we'll do a few more. Uh, I wouldn't hate date him. You would? I wouldn't. Wouldn't? Okay. I wouldn't. No. <laughs> I would go on a date with him. Which date one? Him. Hopefully yeah. the middle. The one, one in the middle. Middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The one in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> No. No. <laughs> I can't. No. No. He's holding a fish. What's no. wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you eat fish? For his dating profile, though? What's wrong with that? Oh, I guess I mean, he likes fishing. That's actually. <laughs> Looks like a handsome guy. That's pretty guy. appropriate. If you're stranded on a lake, he could mm -hmm. catch oh, a fish and cook it up. Oh, man. These girls are picky. <laughs> All right. These girls are picky. Picky, picky. Picky, picky, you should do girls picky. now. Picky. Yeah, why don't you do one? Yeah, just girls. What's your age? Oh, yeah. What would you do? What would I do for my age range? <laughs> yeah. Uh, shit. I got, I, I'm, I, it's pretty, it's pretty big. It's pretty wide. I would do, I would do, uh, 40. <laughs> well, A sugar mama? No, I'll do thir <laughs> 39 to um, 18. Whoa. What are whispering about? What are you guys whispering about? <laughs> what are you whispering about? Wait, we're not gonna do it though. Oh, we're not. Why, Why not? We, it's a it's a male profile, so we or uh, a girl profile, so, we, so it wouldn't just show. Go to, just turn it to the girl one. It's gonna show like. No, it's not. It's gonna no, show all the girls. It'll, It'll show all the girls. If you just show that you're just sitting girls. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, fuck it. Grandma's we'll do it. box is not a cock. Oh, well then I'll pick a different age range then. Learned this from my mother first time I met her. I was 25. You can't trust anything that bleeds every month and don't Bro, die. Hey, that, we Would don't you stand consider for doing a show on the next stage range up with Dayton and no 304 or if Would you consider doing a show on the next age range up with dating? You mean like age gap relationships? Is that the question? Disav I disavow the, the message. I disavow. I disavow. Okay, I guess we can do it, Nick. Are you able to swap yeah, the... That's what I was thinking. No, they're, there's a lot. They're like. It's gonna be. They do like. It's gonna show me like bi and lesbian. No, no, no. no. Okay, I'll show, all right. I'll show you. I'll show you like. No, no, it wouldn't show <laughs> if they consider yeah, themselves I straight. I think that like, but there's like a lot of bi girls or just. A Bro, lot you're of gonna girls. show me. You're gonna show. It's gonna end up showing me a bunch okay, of like but woke. It's my look. 
buy no, chicks. Not, I promise let's just you. try. Let's just no, try. Right. Some girls what did you put it to? What did you put the age to, Nick? I can't see her, but yeah, sure. Yes. 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 Oh, wait, I didn't mean to say, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I don't think I meant to say yes oh, to the other, see, like the... All like... Uh, uh, she's wearing <laughs> sunglasses, I can't tell. I'm, a, I, I'm actually gonna... I'm a pass. I'm a pass on this one. The <laughs> X. Uh, she looks pretty. Cool. Yeah, she, she looks really yes. pretty. I'll say yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what the Russia sex will be is. good, so yes. No, no, she's really pretty. Come on, man, natural tits. Well, okay, we, we can't put your foot, we have to let him. Oh, yeah, right, right. Yes, 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 no, no, yes. No. <laughs> no. No for both. <laughs> oh, she's really pretty. Come on. Uh, the tattoo. I'll just say it. she's attractive though, so yes. Honestly, no. Yes. Coco. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> no to both. She like cool she guy. like Asian? What, is, what are we working with here? Like, are we talking <laughs> like, she might be like, like Cambodian or something? What are we talking, Indonesian or something? I have no idea. Okay, yes, why not? Um, ooh, okay, this is a tough one. Color in the hair. Color in the hair. Isn't that a red flag to you? But she's four foot. Yeah, she does look short. She, she looks on the short side, the, ooh, but the, the, the piercings. Four three. Uh, she has a dimple piercing. Maybe she, if she's secretly based. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the piercings. A, yes, like a begrudging yes, a begrudging yes. Uh, yes. It's a little hard to tell. I'm gonna go. I'm actually. I'm going with no. Ooh, the, oh, the septum piercing. Ooh, it stinks. <laughs> He's a pretty girl, pretty girl, although I'm a pass. I'm passing septum piercing. For the septum? What the fuck? Uh, actually, I'm a, I'm a go, yeah, I'm, uh, that's a yes for me. Uh, yes? Yes? PhD student. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a go no. I'm going no. I'm out. No. Nope. Really? <laughs> nope. Bit of color in the hair. Ooh, armpit, armpit hair. hair. Oh. I was gonna oh. say. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit, son. Oh. Hair. What does this oh, mean? Is that um? She doesn't shave. That's a no go. What the fuck? No. That's a no. <laughs> If she shaved it, it would be a yeah. Girl boss, no. <laughs> no. 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, uh, the pierce, yeah, there's a Yes. Pierce. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Yes. The tattoos are a bit, eh. What the, the fuck are you? <laughs> Y'all are foot. That's a face full of makeup. I'm going to go no on that. Wow. Uh, she oh. She does she like she Asian guys. Is she Asian, though? She works she in retail. Did. She could be. She just looks like one of those She could white be like a white really girl who's trying to be oh, Asian. Yeah. true. Okay, yes. Like e-girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty. Uh, She's really pretty. That's crazy. Okay. Red hair, though. Red she hair. Right? Can't really yeah, see the body. Right. Probably, probably like a little. Eh, I'm kind of chubby right now too, so I'll, I'll give her a pass on that. Yes. Hmm. What's the over/under? This chick does like drugs and shit. 
I just get that immediate, like, she does drugs. 1,000%. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Asian, yes. Dirk. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Uh, yes, kind of. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's very beautiful. No. Right. No. Okay, we'll do three. We'll do three more. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a bit... L uh, not not quite as modest as I'd like, but uh, y yes. But do you notice how all these girls' yes. photos are better than the boys? No, they're not. They're not. And no, I that's a yeah. wait. Hard no, they and are. I'm gonna do three more. These hard are all no. like bisexual people too. So no. no. Wait, chubby Asian woman. <laughs> what? I'm it's on the sweet. fence. You're not picky at all. I like uh, I like chubby Asian women. Why not? <laughs> she, she might be Mexican though. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Uh, no. Last one. No. Keely? Uh, yeah. Oh, you're good. Oh, young. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to say no to this one. I'm going to say. She's Asian? She looks Asian. Is she? Yeah. No, she's definitely. <laughs> okay, I, cha I changed my mind then. <laughs> and with that, we'll. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, we're going to go. Uh, Andrew, do you have anything? Otherwise, we're going to get into the chaos section of the show, and then we're going to wrap up. No, man, go ahead. Okay, boys, we are now dropping the TTS to $20. Oh. We're getting into the chaos section, and then we're going to wrap up the show. So if you want, get your TTSs in. And we all China, 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 China. Brian, i got to remind you, uh, we got Need Men video, Reddit, and Touch the Swords. Not going to, wait, what are the other two? Touch the Swords. Need men, Reddit. We're not going to do the door. We're going to skip the Reddit. And then what's the other one? Need men video, YouTube. The view one? Yeah, YouTube. Uh, we'll do that in another show. So. We'll do another show. Uh, TTS has been lowered. Ladies and gentlemen, if any of you want to get in during the chaos section here. Um, so how's the love life been, Daisy? Mm. Any prospects? You mean like currently? Real Trump donated twenty dollars. I want to be ninja. I want to chop 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 chow down take chow down to Chinatown. I learn to chop real hard. I fight with credit card. I use my nunchucks even while feeding ducks. Hashtag bad friends podcast. That was beautiful. Themis the goddess of divine law donated twenty dollars. Brian, if you are a man at we all, and not a putsy, play the goddamned video that Daisy wanted. You promised to all viewers you're gonna play IT multiple times. Let the panel vote and play IT. Nah, he's Son. not gonna play. You guys can go watch my YouTube video. Anonymous donated $20. To answer the question when the trees are speaking Vietnamese, the axe started shooting next Vietnam War reference. What? <laughs> Grammar's box is not a cop donated $20. Seems Teresa range between 18 to 30s panel. I'll see about Get some older wiser see. guests to role model better passing down is easier than pounding into someone degeneracy is never slow in they get dumber and stupid. We, we get older people on the show. We get Stochastic older people on the show. decay donated $20. Fake boobs, fake jaw, fake lips, fake cheeks, fake eyes, fake boobs. Seems like Walter wasn't the only one selling a dream. Your response, Daisy. What do you think about that, Daisy? Were you selling JFD a dream? donated $20. <laughs> Thought of the night, boys are taught how to treat girls, but not what to expect from them. Hmm. Girls are taught what to expect from boys, but not how to treat them. P.S. Ladies, the bears thank you. Here's the... Trek Strucking more donated $20. Ladies, what is your favorite kind of apple? Fuji. Honey crisp. I'm more of a Fuji kind of guy. Honey crisp. I like the Fuji's. Is the only mm -hmm. correct. Honey crisp. Honey yeah. crisp is amazing. Okay. Brian is daddy donated twenty dollars. This has been a great episode for titties. Delicious. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. We should have a simp come on here. A simp. Yeah. Ring King donated twenty dollars. Gustavo salute. Brion, do you know there is a term in China for women who are not married by 25 years of age? Yeah. It's Shang Nu. Is it any Daisy? 
Meow underscore coordinated donated twenty dollars. Don't you just hate it when your cat wakes you okay. up like this? Meow. Meow. By the, no. by the way, guys, meow. for this twenty meow. twenty dollar segment. Meow. Mm-hmm. Meow. 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 It's gonna be. It comes meow. in so rapid fire. So meow. if there's questions, meow. try to keep the questions. Uh, you know. Meow. On the short side. Meow. Meow. Like a hand meow. raise can do it. Meow. Or just a statement. Meow. Because we meow. won't be able to give any meow. question like. Meow. A long Leo. period of time. I shit my pants hard donated $20. <laughs> Sit on my face, Daisy. Just kidding. I'm scared of ghosts. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Andrew seems to get it, though. <laughs> Walter Weekstick donated $20. <laughs> Andrew, I'm tired of you sucking me. Please stop. For God's sake, Wait. you fucking disgusting male simping faggot. Whoa, 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 Daisy, holy. It was a real I got a, I got a pleasure for me to uh, have you tight. Oh, Wet my sweet God. Putsy. Disavow, I disavow, Brian we need to ban that. Brian is fat, donated $20. Uh, Brian <laughs> is fat, fat, fatty, fat, fat, a fat, fattest. I'm so working fat. on it, boys. Lose Guys, I'm working on hit it. The gym fatty. I have a stressful job. I've been stress eating. I'm working on it. I'm going to lose some weight. I got a dad bod right now. I, I'm i fucking up. I'm going gonna, gonna to lose it. $21. I'm losing Does it, boys. pineapple belong on pizza, Daisy? Yeah, Daisy. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Pineapple on pizza? Yes or no? Quick. I don't know these questions, so I don't know. Pine, 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 no, okay. I don't know. 696 that. sextillion, 969 quintillion, 696 quadrillion, 969 trillion, 696 billion, 969 million, 696,969 donated $20. <laughs> Brian underscore Guys, loves underscore we're, Cox. We're almost done. We're almost done. Be Brian be Cox, Cox the last communication ten minutes. here. Ten, ten minutes. It is good to know you enjoy Cox. Can you share what you love the most about Cox? Call 1900 Cox today. Use code new underscore Cox for 69% off a full month of Cox. Pug for CCO donated $20. Let the chaos begin, Daisy. Andrew is only hating on you because his wife was a single mom with multiple baby daddies when he saved her like the simp that he is. David Tuzekchi actor Nate. He's still mad that she didn't kill him like Daisy did. Wait, why did it? Seven hundred and seven donated twenty dollars. Daisy, what's wrong with a black baby? I don't know why I it's understand scared. you just didn't want to have one, but you get upset about Andrew's fake black wife. Wait, it skipped all these? Destiny Wait. the Malich stream donated $20. Hold on. Andrew, why you married a non-virgin and divorced 304 why and why you're raising other man's kids? I you're not know. doing what you preach. Every time you are. <laughs> I don't know why David it skipped. Tuzek, she I'm trying $20. to re-trigger them. I apologize, the electric guys. Electric gates skipped. are down in Jurassic Park. Happy Mother's Day. Respect to Daisy and whole panel. Almost agreed with. Oh my God! I'm sorry. Hold on. I changed the setting, and it just. Hold on. I'm gonna try to get these all re-triggered. Um. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. Chinese Communist Party donated twenty dollars. I'm Andrew, gonna re-trigger Trish these. is I not even guys. an American citizen, so stop s in his d. Fucking faggot simp. Oh you lost oh my your God, shit fuck. on Daisy when Wait. it was time to ah. play the video because you knew you got destroyed. Yeah, if you see it coming, now, now donated twenty dollars. Andrew, there's a middle ground between murder and no problem. Disavow there's manslaughter, the... etc. Abortion isn't good, but there's a difference yeah, 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 between yeah, yeah, yeah. fully formed person and embryo or fetus. Sounds like coke, bro. Sounds like coke. Star Hopkin donated Take twenty dollars. Girl with white top. What are your honest thoughts on all of this? I like your opinions. Do these women sound like hypocrites at all? Yes, Kamikaze Cam donated huh? twenty dollars. What about bear versus man convo? Doesn't anyone realize this whole man versus bear thing is not new? Remember in nineteen ninety one. The Beauty and the Beast Disney movie. The Beauty chose the beast over the man. Sorry, David. Yours is going to get Junior missed. donated I'm sorry. $20. The one about Jurassic Girls Park. said no to guys with side profile, but said to yes to the girls with the same side profile. Yeah, Hypocrites. Ling Chen and Bimbo will take this cell. Liars. Hope the world sees you for what you are. 
Brian is daddy donated $20. Brian, you're working on losing weight like all the big women on Bumble do. <sighs> One year man. later, the same size. Ha, I'm ha, working ha, on ha, it, ha, man. Ha. I'm working on it. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Precious balls donated twenty dollars. Oh Apologize to the big head so the little head can give you more baby gravy. I'll put you in a good word for you. Psych. We found a new Asian. Seven hundred and seven donated twenty dollars. Daisy, what's wrong with a black baby? I understand you just didn't want to have one, but you get upset about Andrew's oh fake black hey, wife. Hey yo, yo, this is crazy. <laughs> Destiny the Malage stream donated twenty dollars. Andrew, why you married a non-virgin and divorced three hundred and four, and why you're raising other man's kids? You're not doing what you preach. Every time you are. <laughs> Ruse Bay Robert donated twenty dollars. I thought the drama between Drake and Kendrick was bad, but between Daisy and Walter is nothing new other than being both fools for the internet congra. Congra. Real Trump donated $20. Daisy looks like a James Bond side chick villain. Only difference is that I wouldn't spend 20 bucks on a movie ticket to Damn, see bro. the villain try and trap James Bond is, with child this is, support. This is also the roast segment. This is the roast Jeremy segment donated of the $25. show. The chaos segment. Still didn't kill them like Daisy did plus two. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. Appreciate it. Why can I never hear him laugh? Wes Watson donated twenty dollars. Oh boy. Wes Andrew, Watson. remember when asked to name three countries on F and F podcast, you said Australia is only a continent and not a country. You are yep. retarded as fuck. And you have the nerve to preach to others. I do. Australia's fake. Everybody the Rodent guy donated twenty dollars. For the love of God, can someone help me? I cannot for the life of me figure out what five plus ten is. What? Fourteen? 16 somewhere in between please someone get a steroid freak to answer this question w andrew destroyer christian dude donated 20 dollars guys who f girls then pressure them to get abortions are worse than hoes responsibility lies on the dude to have the final say with upholding standards sip 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 puck for cco donated 20 dollars Andrew, stop running from 304 lawyer, Farah, not so erudite and destiny. He's not you running from they them. Will all crush they won't you debate in a debate him. As they have in the past. Well, uh, the last two won't debate him. The other two, West I Watson think, will. But Twenty dollars. I've heard it from Andrew. Them. They won't debate why him. Why you have the nerve to think you have the competence to vote when you don't even know that Australia is not only a continent but a country too? You have right. a severe There's a lot form coming of in, guys. There's, there's... Oh, cope. It's not a country. King Everybody 1, knows that. 998 donated twenty dollars. Pseudo intellectual Andrew Wilson back on. No credibility or intellectual authority on any topic. <laughs> the dumb man's smart guy. Absolutely ugly model to follow. Glad Wes put damn. you in your place. Andrew, GTFO. you don't mind the the mean ones, do you? You don't mind. Star Hopkin donated twenty dollars. Question was for the one with brown hair. I remember her from when she was one before. You hold people accountable. Really Wait, great. The question Kelly. Was, are they hypocrites? Kelly. Oh. Kelly. Oh. The ghost of Daisy's kid donated twenty dollars. Andrew was the best part of the stream tonight. You got a fan, Andrew. You got some haters, and you got a, you got a fan. Thank thank you, uh, thank you, ghost. Up PR Aquatic donated twenty dollars. Oh Andrew Boneless or Bone in Wings. Oh. App say Bone in Wings. Bone in. Bone in. Bone in. Isn't that bestiality? Yeah, but j and just always remember Steve too that my donated haters are twenty dollars. Girl on the right, no. Blonde girl, no. Girl in purple, no. Redhead, no. Red girl in the middle, no. Girl yeah. in orange, maybe. Gustavo, no. Madison, yes, yes, yes. Oh. Brian, heal, yes. Oh. No homo. Trump for King donated $20. Trump 2024. The CCP is evil. When dating, no sex for at least a year. Blonde war needs hey. to take off cross. Hey. Christ hey, is be king. Nice. Be nice, be nice, be nice, disavow. Ghost Logistics donated $20. 
Notice, every other oh, chip is so come, pretty but even with table. total chads they say nope immediately. Modern Western there. chicks are total brainwashed bots. Get out while you can They boys. were very picky. They Ghost were very logistics. picky during the Bumble segment. Christian dude donated $20. Guys who have girls then pressure them for an abortion are the real problem. Weak men create crazy women. Shit, okay, word. Good times. Good, good times. Kyle donated twenty dollars. Brian, yeah, you, can bro. you suggest a new character for me to play in WoW Vanilla? Race and class for Alliance. Or Undead Horde? Rogue. Undead Rogue all day. All day, every day. If you're gonna go Alliance, you play female human rogue. You can also uh and uh Maddie, can you read this? Andrew, why are you on here giving other men advice? You literally married a blank and a sinner and are raising other men's kids like a cuck. Is her only positive that she didn't get an abortion? Jesus. Wait, are you saying that I'm so 69 Brian's underscore feeder 69 donated $20. They just, I can't control it. They just come. Some mommy milkers. Wow, 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 wow, you woo woo woo. They said your tits are nice. Colonizer donated $20. These two holes yeah, on the right both let the same amoral playboy they, they blow they out their backs and empty anyway, his balls so. in them, and have the nerve Wait, to come what? on to complain about hey, what they nice. knew he was. This Guys, be, no dignity. be, no, be nice. Be nice. Vladimir underscore Putin donated $20. Getting big time small PP energy from all these in sales spending you, their you last $20, 20 bucks, to bully Daisy. Guys, don't anyway, bully. No bully. the debate happening with Dean and Parker? We're going to reschedule Would like it. to see you all make it happen. We're going to get that schedule. Nickelodeon donated $20. Happy Mother's Day, Daisy. Yeah, How happy Mother's Day, Daisy. How did you find out it was a girl so early in the pregnancy? Was there a gender? No. Was it? <laughs> Suck my sick my Australian mother. <laughs> Put a shrimp on the barbie, <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> Suck my shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> that, sorry, that was terrible. That was so cringe. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeremy oh. donated $69. I would rather spend my money on the thought of you instead of actually oh, wasting Jeremy. any of my brother's time with you. Yo, salut. It's a Jeremy thing. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. Thank you. Appreciate your patronage, Jeremy. You're a legend. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Shaved arms and tummy out donated $20. Daisy isn't filing a lawsuit. No competent lawyer would let her come on here. My sprinkler goes like this. Hashtag justice for Nick. Hashtag free Hong Kong. Andrew smokes too much donated $20. Brian says he's working on it, but inflates every show. When he starts deflating, we'll know he's doing it. Maybe hit the Ozim pack. Or you'll look like fresh and maybe Daisy uh, will what? want your babies. Brian heard that. Trump for King donated $20. Trump for King. CCP is evil. Have girls name when World War II started and name who was the Axis. Blonde War needs to take cross off. Andrew is base. <laughs> King 1998 donated $20. Andrew, you turn your camera and panda to half the RP community to make a living. You have no academic background or credibility on any topic. Daisy actually performed better than you tonight. GTFO. <laughs> Daisy's child donated $20. Can't believe Rachel Wilson had kids with three different men. Word? Uh, what did Wilson <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Wilson's lungs donated $20. Andrew, if you continue smoking two packages of cigarettes every day, I will get a cancer, B-R-O. My slogan is get rich or die trying, and your slogan is get cancer or die trying. Die, motherfucker, die. <laughs> I guarantee you which one of us is going to get rich Star first. Star Hopkin donated $20. Ah, oh, yes, her name is Kelly. What are your thoughts? Are they hypocrites? I know you be keeping it 1000% the last show you was on was great. Actually an example of a good woman. Um, 
um, slightly. Daisy's yeah. ghost baby donated twenty dollars. Why did you do it, mommy? If you say Taiwan Bruh. is a country, I'll forgive you. Bruh. Puck for CCO donated twenty dollars. The Yankees just upset that China is going to be the world superpower by 2050. Cry harder to all the incels in the chat. Daisy F and uh. Death. Bad you eliminated half your country. Machiavelli <laughs> donated twenty dollars. Daisy, if you have a soft heart, this is the roast. you need this to have This is the roast skin. segment, guys. People if Netflix can do a roast, no we can you. do a roast. These are the fleas this that is the come roast with messing with guys the like whatever water. Podcast. You can do better. Daisy's supported <laughs> fetus donated twenty dollars. Why, mommy? <laughs> Even she thinks that's I'm funny. Sorry. Can I do it? Yeah, you can do I, it. Can I do it? <laughs> Hold on. Welcome to the Whatever Podcast, bro. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you serious? Is ash? Is some some ash <laughs> freaking you out, dude? <laughs> some cigarette. What the fuck? Some <laughs> cigarette. Anyway. There was a little cigarette droppings or All something. All right. Thanks. Be nice, guys. Be nice. Hey, oh my God. Ivan, I'm not, I refuse to even read it. You got to be nice. Um, be nice, guys. Be nice. Just saying. It's all like Fresh and Fit fans. David Tuzekciak donated $20. I don't have to agree with Brian or well, Andrew which one or was Brian, it, David? Maddie the or Jurassic Bus, Park but one? I respect debate. Oh, okay. Be nice. Uh, Please read my last yeah. one. The electric gates are down in Jurassic Park. Happy Mother's Day. Respect to Daisy and whole panel. Watson Almost agreed with Brian $20. on most picks. Respect Andrew to Maddie and Gustavo. Andrew talks a lot of Shiite for a cucky captain save ho single moms. Holy shit, look at you. God. That's a bag of trash. Hey. I'll smack your fat ass. Ten in charms and tits. Hey. Men don't have tits. <laughs> show show us your belly. Show us your tummy, dollars. Andrew. As long as Daisy is silent, money well spent. Go, Andrew. Lots of love, bro. Jeremy, Happy what do Mother's you do Day, for Daisy. Work? She's a veterinarian. A veterinarian? He's a veterinarian. Grandma's box is not a cox donated $20. So Australia has continental gov tea and not a country's? Gustavo is cumin over. We gonna strap him and get him but he'll pray go with baby dolls and start a nice family and do better should see Grammy's milkers. Daisy's underscore womb underscore is underscore a underscore grave donated twenty dollars. Andrew was the best part of the show as usual. W King. Guys, this is the roast. This is the roast segment. Andrew wants Tob Australian donated roast, twenty dollars. The roast segment. Tip my Australian spunk, Andrew. <laughs> What's this Australia beef, Andrew? What's going on with nah, you in it's Australia? It's not real, bro. He said it. Oh, it's not real. Yeah, it's not real. Real you're, Trump you're an donated Australia twenty dollars. <laughs> Andrew is right. Australia is a prisoner colony, not a real country. The best right. thing to come out of there was Crocodile Dundee and Steve Irwin, and the latter didn't even last very long. Right. Wes Watson donated twenty dollars. Andrew, by your own words on F and F podcast, your grandma was promiscuous, and that's why you hate female promiscuity and feminism so much. Every feminism hating man like you has a promiscuous family member. Warlord69, you were donated $20. Andrew, I'm here holding the line for you. Get some words in. A's for delays. Wait, you guys gotta stay at the table while the. The Morning Star donated $20. Wait, oh, you have to... If I had the choice between a woman and a bear in the woods, yeah, okay. I would choose the go. bear. At least I could get to have sex with the bear. Baldur's Gate 3 has taught me this. I just pray it's a female bear. Okay. Uh, Andrew, thank you for speaking the truth to the baby murderer. Daisy, you are fake. That the seat is stand up with that awful spray tan. Whoa, okay, all right. Uh, Botox. Okay. Oh, I can't repeat. I'm, I can't say it, but uh, yeah. Andrew's shivering in his sleep after getting confronted by Wes in person. <laughs> Hops around from podcast to podcast. <laughs> clout chasing bum. Andrew's not a clout. Andrew doesn't clout chase. Uh, and Andrew was armed. Andrew Anonymous had a firearm. He was $20. good. Andrew, if the sexual orientation is a choice. Then why homosexuality exists in the animal kingdom, too? 
DID some animals chose to be gay, too. Bain gay is plan B of the let's nature not, for let's procreation. Not, uh, let's, not talk, let's not talk about that. Kamikaze Cam donated twenty dollars. Bro, that's to Daisy, it's nobody's business but you and them. You do and don't involve anyone else. Okay. Um, Jeremy's about to come in. Just warning you, Daisy. Just warning you. Jeremy donated twenty dollars. Stay gone. Jeremy. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you're. You are back. That's true. Like you're. Like you came back to the table. Star Hopkin donated twenty dollars. PLS Spring Kelly back to battle the of models again. Lol. <laughs> yeah, Matt. Down. Yeah, we need Kelly to go in. Always down. We need Kelly to go in. But like only like the, the actual hose though. Punch for <laughs> like, for donated Kelly wants the hose. She wants. She Madison wants the hose. be honest. The Does strumpets. Brian sniff yeah, your like... chair after every stream is no. over? No, he won't even let me touch his cup. <laughs> Does Brian sniff your chair? <laughs> Kaiju you donated I smell Gorlock's chair no, though. Hell. I, I could be the love of your life, but you don't like tattoos. Shrug. Tattoos. Can you slide into tattoos. the DMs, Noel? Kaiju? You probably already did. Into the mic if you can. You no. probably already did. Andrew Wilson's stepkids donated twenty dollars. Did Rochelle Wilson really have three kids with three different men? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wes Watson donated $20. No. Brian, about the last show. Hey, okay, those of you troll. super chatting. You should have kicked the Latino after her first bad faith we'll answer instead of later. you saying that if the police doesn't do their job, nobody cares. Troll. I should have kicked her sooner. You are right, Wes. Bob I should have donated absolutely kicked $20. Her much earlier on. Andrew, you were on fire tonight. Absolutely unhinged. How much do you lift? How much do you lift, How much do you lift Andrew? As much as this cup weighs. Vodka. Nice. Real Trump donated twenty dollars. If Daisy's womb was a pilot, it would be named the Red Baron. Guys. This is the roast. It's the roast section of the show. You guys gonna roast? Can somebody roast Maddie? Simping for Daisy donated twenty dollars. Come at Maddie. Come Daisy, at Gustavo. You handled this well and with a degree of class. Chin up. Cheers. Lots of chins in your family, right, Daisy? What, well, Andrew? Andrew, okay, be let, respectful. Let it talk. It's fine. I'm a People veteran. No racist. No, I'm no a veteran, racism. not a veterinarian. Open that throat. Oh I'm a God. veteran, not a veterinarian. <laughs> Open. I'm a sorry. Chair. I, that was my mistake, Jeremy. <gasps> Damn, he's your biggest leader. Ghost <laughs> Logistics donated twenty dollars. Fifteen years from now, they will swipe right on any guy with legs. Wise up. Be like Maddie. Hi, Maddie. My like turtles. Why Andrew, like Wes me? Watson is the definition of a douche. More should have had your back. Real Trump donated $20. Oh, I've got to be the? honest, I usually date white girls, but Kelly is giving me some jungle <laughs> fear. <laughs> oh, wait. Isn't, isn't that if you're... Jeremy donated $20. And you're Asian? The Vietnamese yeah, you're just Vietnamese, sat down. Right? Some, what? Not the five hive chick. Lol. Not the five hive? What's five hive chick? Yeah, what's five hive? To the, Jeremy's hitting on you, by the way. Infetus donated oh. $20. Can you slide into your DMs? Spread it for Dirty D with okay. some money. Sorry, Jeremy. Now I'm at rats and human waste after oh, yeah. you rejected me down the toilet. <laughs> Bro. Thank you, Mommy. You will like never be forgotten. <laughs> Happy Mommy's Day as I suffered that ride. Elmay, I'm mad about a low Oh, oh it's, it's below the threshold. It's below the threshold. Uh, what? Okay. Below the threshold. Guys, the TTS, it's just, we're not doing reads. We're just doing TTS. Donated $20. 20 I needed proof of the black baby, so I recorded a phone call instead of keeping the baby lol. Make it make sense, and the pride she has for it is crazy. Guys. Daisy's baby died so young. Donated $20. This is for you, Andrew. Daisy, can you consult your fortune cookie and see when your next baby trap scam will occur? Joe Vanny 23 donated 
Gustavo, learn how to salute for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, dude. Straighten. Brian gotta... and Andrew are legit legends. Hold on. Check this out, Love Gustavo. Watching y'all. Straighten your R. shit up. Daisy's baby in the mouth. Straighten your... Because you do like this shit. You're like... Oh, Hate for just... Maddie donated $20. Can we see Maddie, I can see your split ends in 480p. Gross. <laughs> I can see them in person. <laughs> Star Hopkin donated twenty dollars. Naria talk me and my girl was cheering Kelly on that episode. There are good women and men, but the yeah, few Kelly's mess it dope. up for the many. Kelly's dope. Thanks. They love. Oh. Opinal Colony donated twenty dollars. Lamau mad about a low stock continent. Speaking of which, we could use a new penal colony to put modern day witch doctors, aka abortionists, to work on ejecting murderers, essayers, and PDFs spawn. Hmm. Why okay. Donate By the way, Andrew, just letting you know, we'll do. We're gonna do a redirect to you after the show, okay? Um. I forgot that Grandma's last time. box is now. not a cox. Donated twenty dollars. Would you do show on child support queens trapping dudes? My brother has six kids with four baby mams and he helped plan one. Believe or not, but I've verified myself three have admitted others IQ 70-ish duh. Uh, yeah, the Will Roast Maddie donated $20. Maddie, you are great. Wish there were more women like you. She's gone. She said thank you. She heard it. She's just getting some water or something. Or uh, working on her split ends or whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to read these really quick while there's a pause. Whew. Streamlabs acting weird. Meant to say congrats for being internet famous. I'll say this, Daisy. You'll never get a man higher than Walter. Or that's the best you're going to get in the dating scene. Jeremy also says blank Andrew lol. Okay. What? Wait, why the... Uh... Oh, F. Andrew. Hey, Jeremy, be nice. Matt donated $20. Jeremy, be nice. Be nice. Happy Mother's Day to Daisy. If the amount of D they've had when stacked on top of one another is taller than you, no go. Guys, this is like the roast of Tom Brady, okay? Roast of With ghost donated $20. Daisy, when did you have your abortion? Was it April 5th? Reminder, guys, not through YouTube. We're not. It's all through Streamlabs, but I'll pull them up just to be, because I'm a nice guy. Daisy, Daisy do you want to answer? April Brian Fred? is very fat, donated $20. I'm working on it. Andrew is the absolute epitome of Christians today. Racist to the core and feels righteous in the name of his so-called religion. I'm not uh, the way of racial. He's not racist. He a Abolish abortion, wife. donated $20. <laughs> it would be fitting if the CCP plant's baby was female. This is how the PRC has destroyed their country through the one child policy and so many more murderous policies. L. Wamau Simps. Word. Real Trump donated $20. Happy oh, Mother's Day. Like so glad my mom decided to send me into a shop vac said Daisy's child. And there are jungles in Asia. Me like his son Kelly. <laughs> Star Hopkin donated $20. Maddie got that mega mind head. I do have a pretty big head. <laughs> wait. It, you can't even see your Wait, is he head? talking about the forehead? Mm -hmm. You've got a normal forehead, Maddie. Yeah. yeah she's got a normal forehead, right? Infetus <laughs> donated $20. <laughs> Don't worry, mommy. God has me now. Hope I get to see you. But it doesn't look <laughs> likely. Money doesn't mean <laughs> good daddy. Learn your values next time. I've gained angels as family now. God knows your escort. Jeremy donated $20. Better than Tom Brady. Is this better than the roast of Tom Brady? Where this is going to be called the roast of. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Shaved arms and tummy out donated $20. Question for the Latinas raise your hand if you would date a chilling soldier. Hashtag justice for Nick, hashtag eight at 18, hashtag don't have sex with cousins, hashtag Taiwan is a country. Latinas, when you date Gustavo? Kamikaze Cam donated $20. I don't have a boyfriend. Check me out on Insta to add Kamikaze Cam Lolly, A or Nay, yeah. Lol 33 today. Oh, South shit. Korea. <laughs> Little love, love connection here. She said she would date <laughs> Gustavo. There you go. King 1998 Wait, donated Nick, $20. Are you searching for that? Andrew's not a clout chaser. Wait, why? 
He goes to your competitor right after they said terrible things about you and comes on here to pretend like he's best friends with fresh Dr. Tubrug to even come in Wait, person. <laughs> Brian and Maddie donated $20. Brian, would you date Maddie if she was single? No, we work together. No, it's weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, he goes to your competitor. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was, uh, that was is this now good. highest grossing probably not we've had we've had some pretty insane shows um you can pull that up nick just fyi we're not um uh, we'll pull up everything but we're not gonna uh everything has to be through Streamlabs if you want it to be a tts but thank you pinkerton appreciate it wow okay that was uh that was intense ladies and gentlemen let me just jump, double check a few things here. Uh, okay, any final thoughts from anybody on the panel? I have to say, man, that rose session is a great idea. <laughs> Much like um... Star Hopkin donated $20. It's hard to get a word. Gustavo, in, but... I noticed you have expressive eyebrows. Brian got a dump truck FR. What? Are you saying I'm thick? What the fuck? Do you... I was just going to say, much like. Wait, what? Do you? Baby, just like Daisy's What's your lip quivering? Madison, I was laughing because I was trying to say that 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 I was trying to I said, do you have a dump truck? You're asking me this question? Mm -hmm. Her lip quivered while she asked it. <laughs> <laughs> it was quivering. Uh, I don't know if I have... A, I feel like I don't have Colonizer cakes. donated $20. Uh -oh. Blonde bimbo, how do you reconcile right. yourself after taking up for someone you know is a murderer? You promote degeneracy. Holding hands with the CCP womb carver. Fucking disgusting. God, bro, guys. Jesus Christ, save us. Holy shit, guys. God damn. I, get being I, need, a to, I need to make sure I frame this section Canada as the roast section. $20. Roses are red, violets are blue. Daisy killed her baby and took it from this world. They didn't even rhyme it. <laughs> you guys are being mean. But it is the roast. It is the roast segment of whatever podcast. Okay. David Tuzekchi donated twenty dollars. Jurassic Park. Cool. Be nice to the staff and panel with comments. That was heavy. The about the dump truck thing. <laughs> what do you mean, David? David, what do you mean? Brian's dump truck donated twenty dollars. <laughs> Brian, I stand up and do a spin so uh, we no. can see that dumper. <laughs> No, nope. send a hundred and I'll do it. Do, no, I ain't even doing it for a hundred. I ain't doing. Send a thousand. No, and I'll pop not even bottle. doing it for a thousand. <laughs> and I'll pop do another it. champagne bottle, but I ain't. I ain't doing that. That's weird. Do a spin. A what? A spin. Damn, y'all thirsty as fuck. You trying to see my cakes, bro? That costs. You, Look th at you think I'm that cheap? What the fuck? Anyways. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, guys, go to Twitch.tv/whatever. Drop us a follow. Drop us a prime sub if you have one. Twitch. Dot TV guys, if you have an available Prime sub, you know through Amazon Prime, you link it to your Twitch. It's a quick, free, easy way to support the show every single month. Drops a follow, drops Canada a one. Twitch TV donated twenty dollars. Merci beaucoup. CCP plant probably saw her baby was a girl and said, "Scrap it." Oh my god. Oh my god. Word. Bro. Real Trump donated twenty dollars. Real talk, if Maddie gave Kelly her helmet, I'm not sure I could tell the two of you apart. Quick question, why can't you fool an aborted fetus? Because it wasn't born yesterday. King1998 donated $20. Griff to Andrew Wilson back on the pod. Try defending Fresh even more. The same guy who said terrible things about Brian. Doesn't even come in person to say these things. Turn off your camera, please. Star Hopkin donated $20. What the Brian fuck? Brian got a dumpy father twerk team. Had to make the mood like a BC tonight was toxic. But FR Kelly come back. 
Yeah, Kelly, you done? Yeah, but can you give me some donated next? $20. <laughs> some the world knew me as Baby Abba. I, I couldn't shine Wait, like you, Mommy. No F, right? I didn't ride the yachts and nobody meet to my princes. No, the wealth could have given me Yo. a great life. No OF, Andrew girls. Andrew spoke truth, Mommy. First from time heaven. <laughs> Jeremy donated Two shows in $20. a row, no OF, zero My daughter OF is girls. the most beautiful Asian I have ever seen. I would do anything I could for her. Yes, you have a big head, Madison. That doesn't mean you are not a beautiful person. Your head is not big. It's not it's big. Like a, that's it's a normal not. forehead. The ghost donated $20. Mine is definitely Daisy, was your abortion <laughs> April 5th? Or are you going to refuse to answer? If you have watched the previous podcast, whatever I've been, and also my YouTube video, you would know it's not, it's not true. Okay. Daisy is a sea donkey donated $20. I'm so happy that Daisy trapped someone other than me. More women should aspire to be like Madison. Wifey oh, material. I have a question. Daisy realized the baby was white and grabbed a coat hanger. Um, what? That's crazy. Jeremy donated $100. Oh, STFU Daisy. Damn, Jeremy, you got it. You got it. Wait, I, mean, like, I do have a question for the chat. Nick, if you can pull up the... Pull up the chat. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Damn. Oh, oh, my, oh my god. <laughs> really? Wait. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if it's fair if I ask it. Kevin Terrell donated $20. My guy, Jeremy, yeah, you real. could be in Hawaii, Japan, Brazil. With baddies, I'm a Navy vet, but damn dog, you using up them disability checks, huh? <laughs> also, where's Andrew's $500 love at? Anyways, Batman out. Yo, Kevin, thank you, man, appreciate it. Andrew is fake, donated $20. The fact that Andrew can go from the podcast that trashes Brian to Brian's podcast shows the true character of Andrew. This entire podcast has been in defense of the very people trying to bury Brian. I'm not doing this in further, like, I, you know, I'm not doing this in furtherance of uh, trying to, like, do a collaboration. That ship, my understanding, that ship's pretty much sailed. Um, if this, you know, I just, hey, I see something kind of not so good. I want to address it. Why, why are you looking at me that it's way, not, Daisy? It's not so good. The what whole. Do you, what do you want to adjust about? Yeah, like the whole uh, premeditated recording, leaking it. Uh, you know, not that's. I already know how I feel about this, Daisy. Daisy's underscore therapist donated I twenty dollars. I don't think it was very nice. Holy shit! What have you guys done? Do you see what I have to work with now? If Daisy wasn't traumatized before, she certainly is now. Lol, J.K. She just uses me as a guide for cloud chasing. Okay. Warlord69, you were donated $20. Gustavo, my man, I would slap you and turn you into the army, but that salute needs extreme work. Turn around and salute away from these women. They do not deserve that salute. Okay. Rock and roll. Good times. Uh, Nick, get Woe Grandma pulled up. We're going to do a raid over there on Twitch for her. Uh, okay, wow, quite a show. There's probably going to be a few more TTSs that trickle in, but I do want to say a couple things here. First off, still looking for a lawyer in Dubai who can go after Shea these scammers. Shea and Tummy Out donated $20. Happy Murderer's Day. I mean Mother's Day. How much to mute Gustavo? I'm sick of him cutting everyone off. $500. Daisy underscore Anthony donated $20. Daisy, if you're not a CCP agent, can you tell us what 10 plus 5 is? I don't even get that. What are, are they like? Are you not allowed to say what 10 plus 5 is? What's 10 plus 5, Daisy? Infetus donated $20. Mommy, what I is, still love you. Plus five Deep thing, down, do you still love huh? me? I wish we could have seen Santa all the fun things we could all have right, done. Okay. Right, You've embarrassed know. us. CCP is listening, mommy. Oh, no. You may go to jail. Yeah. Hide. Like your username is like okay. Good time. <laughs> uh, Kelly versus the OFOs. Yo, Brian, for real though. Sorry, I commented on your ass and started all this, but you got a dump. You got the dumpy. 
Did it? Did I show it? Yeah. <laughs> did I show it earlier on in the stream? Make it make sense. Donated twenty dollars. Women blame the man for leaving, but don't take accountability for picking a bad partner. You hold the keys. Make him commit and marry you first, and watch how quickly they leave. GG's God bless. GG. 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 Well played. Bucky Larson donated twenty-one dollars. Oh, Brian, Gustavo, Andrew, you three are awesome. Oh, Ladies, you. please You're try to learn from Andrew. He's very wise. Yeah. Thank you, man. Uh, I just want to say thank you, sir. Canada won you're, you're SD donated twenty dollars. Poor baby Daisy grabbed a thank coat you. hanger thank and you. went to work. That thank baby could have made it as a one percenter, but now that it's gone to heaven, we will never know. Netflix original should be Daisy the Baby Killer. Daisy's video donated twenty dollars. Oh to top it all off, you never actually heard Daisy out to give her side of the story and showed her video. Absolutely controlled video? to be a one-sided yeah, argument. Yeah, show it. Should we do the video? I want to see it. Daisy, you want to watch the video? I mean, people know what's what's going on. Like, even if even if they don't know you from this panel, they will know later. So I'm not I'm not gonna. I'm not tired. Okay. King okay. one thousand nine hundred and ninety eight You didn't want to play the video dollars. since the beginning. It's because that's Andrew not fair. I didn't no know that you brought me here to, to be get roasted a viral today. moment on here looking cringe so he can go up to that's 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 not, that is your trying. intention. Because I, no. I asked you ten to times to play the video, audience. you haven't. That's not fair for me. Jeremy donated five hundred dollars. After we get past all of this hatred and my own problems, thank you for this. God bless you, Daisy. Here is your five hundred dollars. Wait, was this to mute Daisy again? I'm gonna say I'm it. You're leaving, da Daisy. Wait. I have to go with her. Wait, God, we're almost. So we came together. So. Um. Um, well, thank, Daisy's thank fortune you guys, cookie uh, donated thank, thank twenty dollars. Uh, All of your baby deleting, yeah. cash grabbing we'll, we'll scams it. will fail. Your lucky numbers are ten, five, and fifteen. Okay. Hate for Maddie donated twenty dollars. Kelly and Maddie, can you please touch tips? Helmet tips. We're too far from each other. For fifty bucks, Brent, what are you doing? Uh. Real Trump donated twenty dollars. Kelly, you oh, look like you cook some file oh, my noodles. You just and to Daisy, your child me. literally yes. could have been the next Tiger Woods, but you said someone being mean to me on the internet wasn't worth it. Daisy's defense donated twenty dollars. You, you guys are disgusting for trolling a woman you guys, who you made just her rage lost quit. her baby. All this Lost woman wanted baby. was a baby with the man Guys, she loved. Oh, it was an accident. With H3 she didn't mean to. To understand for Guys. picture. Guys, you should, you gotta be nice. They would, she didn't mean to. She didn't mean to. Mommy, this person is loaded with money to help me speak to you. You need oh to hide. God. God has shown me all the things now. U.S. justice system isn't your friend. Daddy is angry with you. Hail Mary to hell. <laughs> She, she left, donated way, twenty dollars. So you literally came here on own. There you go again, blaming someone else. Uh, I did tell them before the show that they were going to get pushback by the by, by me, IQ by Andrew, donated and by the comments. I told them the shit I, told I took earlier had a higher IQ than Fresh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, wait, Gustavo, you want to come? Bye bye donated twenty dollars. Okay. One, two, Daisy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. Five, six, grab a crucifix. Seven, eight, right, gonna stay done, up late. Gonna, uh, Nine, ten, never sleep again. Uh, okay. But lover donated twenty dollars. This situation could have been avoided had Daisy used her bunghole instead. That's, no. I guess so. Yo. Yeah. Real Trump donated twenty dollars. Andrew wins again. There Get you the go. fuck out. You got the you got the walk off. It wasn't a kick. It was a it was a it wasn't a rage quit though. Yeah, she was very. She was very uh, how was that not a rage? Venom donated twenty dollars. 
Hey Brian, I'm a big fan. I've watched over 130 of your shows. I've also learned so much about women because of your show. Plus, I'm a 27-year-old virgin rip. Hey, it's all good, bro. You got time. You got time, dude. Just keep keep at it, bro. Cycle underscore path donated You'll be $20. Fine. Stop giving this man if pause. only pushing up daisies pause, meant pause. something else. Okay. Thank you, Psychopath. Pre cycle Psychopath. Uh, I mean, as they were leaving, I was like, hey, you can, but... Daisy's baby fun. donated $20. My mommy left because not sticking around runs in the family. <laughs> she's not even here. Yeah, she's gone, guys. King1998 donated $20. Mm. Brian, we are loyal to you, not Andrew. He went to a competitor who badmouthed you. Tried to get a viral moment tonight so he can go to fresh and say he tried. Stop platforming him and let him with a... Well, it was this... Daisy's right, video donated $20. Oh, the funny. fact you didn't show her video I'll makes this it. podcast trash AF. Should give a fair and reasonably sided argument. I mean, we showed all the stuff that she leaked, though. Our so PR it's not... Requited, I mean... donated $20. Andrew, have a lovely day. Love seeing her face here. I think the video that she was going to share, look, if any of you are interested, I, it's on her YouTube channel. You're welcome to go find it on your own time. But... Camo Motor Homie Tony donated $20. And now she leaves like that sweet little soul leaving her womb. <laughs> there, it's the roast segment, guys. This is the roast segment. Netflix did a roast segment that was way Note more intense. Communist donated $20. I have always wondered if snakes killed their babies. Fang Fang, I mean Daisy has given me the answer I was looking for. Commie scum. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Kamikaze Cam donated $20. Gus, do you know Krav Maga? I'm afraid to be around people because of it. Do you know Krav, Krav Maga? No. Oh. You know Jiu Jitsu though, yeah? Oh, so. oh my god. Oh. Infetus donated $20. Mommy, my Wait, son is still with you. Take... I'm a little upset, but God gave me grace to forgive you. Take... Thank you, Andrew, for speaking up for me. The ride to heaven down the toilet wasn't nice. Hail Mary, Daddy, Mommy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see here. I'm putting Maddie in the uh, daisy seat. Um, yeah, so there's Maddie. Maddie, do you want to just role play as Daisy? Seven hundred and seven donated twenty dollars. She didn't lose oh, her baby. Right, she know which Planned Parenthood clinic in New York that she right. left the kid at. Never justify the okay. killing of okay. innocent. Uh, Nick, so we're gonna do well, Grandma on Twitch. George Ip donated $20. Daisy loved her child not a very long time. <laughs> Welcome to the whatever roast s segment of the show. That's what we should call it, the roast segment, the chaos slash roast segment. Appreciate it, guys. Okay, those of you, uh, a couple things really quick before I wrap up the show here. Daisy Dookie Shoot donated $20. The truth is that Fresh paid $50 extra to put it in her starfish. Y'all are crazy. Just didn't realize are that crazy. you can't get pregnant that way. This is why everyone knew you weren't pregnant. Mm. Also, just to address the thing, like Andrew going on the other platform, uh, look, I mean, um, Andrew's his own man. Um, like, he can go where he wants. It is Disappointed what it is. donated $20. Um, Brian, it was very unfair for you to not play the video and troll Daisy the whole show. I wasn't trolling This her. is clearly an attempt There's to appease banter. Fresh and Fit in a hope that they no. will not attack you again. Nice job. Uh, no, not really. Um, I, like I said, I wasn't doing, in the, doing this in furtherance of trying to do collaboration with them. Um, I do think that the conduct was despicable, whether this was done to somebody who I have an issue with, who's neutral, who I even like. Uh, I think this, condu this conduct is uh, actually a prime example of... I'll get to it in Real a Trump donated $20. Maddie, you better wash that seat before you sit there. 
might still have some aborted DNA on it. What the? Oh my God, bro. Hey, uh, uh, hey, Brian. Yeah. Would it be Would it be disloyal of you then to have on female guests who I don't like because you've had on many that you dislike? And yet I don't. And yet I don't give a shit. Isn't that interesting how that works? Is because it's not my concern. Right. Yeah. I mean. Um... Oh. Jeremy donated $25.69. I just want Andrew and Brian to take my dollar. Okay. Straight on, can I buy the rest of you ladies a coffee? Non-baby killers only, please. Wait, Jeremy, have you been... I, re I know we've had, like, yes. a Jeremy message Touch before. Me. <laughs> uh, have you been in the chat before, or this is your first show, Jeremy? You're Like, we've, heard, we've had the Jeremy messaging before. Look, I mean, the thing is, the video she sent me, it's not clear if that video is material to the actual conversation we were having. Um, I mean, you could, we could pull up, I'm sure, tons of videos of, that paint uh, Walter in a, in a bad light. I don't think it's really material to the actual argument that was going on when it came to, we showed all the DMs she leaked, we showed the, the leaked uh, video, I'm not, I would, for example, then would it be fair for me to show like any other kind of things that would discredit even Daisy? I don't think any of that stuff is material to the actual conversation at hand. Um, if you guys are really interested, you're welcome to check out her YouTube channel and you can find it there. But uh, I don't know. Plus, and the point where that came up, we had been on it for like two or three hours or, or something. I was really wanting to try to involve the rest of the panel who are now about to pass out and die. Andrew donated $20. Out Except of they straight up disrespected Brian and his show by name. Has any of the girls disrespected you by name prior to the show, Andrew? Yes. Yes. And I don't say shit because it's not my fucking business. It's not my concern. It's not my show. I'm a guest here like everybody else and you're a fucking idiot and just got proven wrong by your own logic. <laughs> Camo Motor Homie Tony donated $20. Please take off the oh, helmets, fuck. ladies. It's disrespectful. All Daisy sees is a coat hanger. First of all, you guys, she said she took a pill. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. Okay, a couple things here. Oh. Daisy donated $20. Brian, you are go too far, sir, and now I are going to airport. Next baby I abort, I will name Brian. I now mad and will not uh, give you shout out. Andrew, I hate you long time. Definitely Whatever podcasts her. suck. <laughs> David Tuzekciak donated $20. What will it take to beat your best grossing net? Maddie, you great. Sure. Gus was great. Andrew, you were funny. You Brian, you like great. You Did a good job. What is the number to make your highest number? Respect I, I actually don't know what the uh, two thousand most. Log to engineer donated twenty dollars. Show is. Oh, how I yearn for Brian's sweet cringe. Thank you for a good night. Yeah, thank you, man, for the Daisy, message. drive safe on the way home. We don't need to lose any more innocent lives. Oh boy, can you read this, Maddie? Oh, brutal. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, all right. Let me uh, try to. All right. 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 Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. Uh, Brian having Andrew on this podcast. Best combo. Brian would agree. Different level of convo when you can challenge. Yeah, yeah, Andrew's been Bo, great on Bo, the show. Bo donated twenty dollars. Can we see a bow from Maddie? Maddie. I only my okay, sorry about that. Uh, Matt, Maddie's mic is muted because that's where CCTV is. Wait, 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 wait. Nick, it's been, how long has it been? Trashy muted? dude forks over 304 groupies. Okay. They all suck. Oh, yeah. Wait, she was muted when she walked <laughs> off. <laughs> I've been talking oh. this whole time and no Wait, one can hear me. Wait, did the guys me. even hear her say her thing? Jeremy donated $100. I have been here before. I have watched both. You probably I have been accused myself. During the it's disgusting. Andrew is ding it right. Brian, stay true. You are down the right path. 
Yo, dude, Jeremy, you're a legend, man. I appreciate all your patronage tonight. You have been here before. I do recognize your name. Thank you, man. King1998 donated $20. Shut it, Andrew. You are getting way more in return than Brian is by coming onto his platform. Not equal at all. F and F attacked Brian personally, and you come on here simping for fresh. You should be well, banned. By that logic, wouldn't I be getting more by Andrew going on donated $20. Platform? Makes the difference sense. is that the of girls have simps as an audience. F and F's audience is the same demo, not the same Andrew. Trash talk from the same demo is much more damaging than the simps. No defense. Oh, okay. Like What's that? Yeah, that, I mean, that, it's a non-argument. So all you did was switch the goalpost when you realized your original argument was fucking stupid. By your own logic, it was stupid. It made no sense. Once you got proven wrong, you switch to the next one. This argument is also equally as stupid because you're saying that if it was not mutually beneficial, why would either podcast have me on? Thank you, Pop Dumb fuck. Anyways, um, so uh, as soon as uh, Kelly's back, I'll wrap up. But I just want to say GG, well played to the panel. Thank you, guys. Uh, those of you watching on YouTube, last call, hit the like button, please, on your way out. We are going to do a Twitch raid if you can hang tight for a second. And then... We will be sending you guys over to Andrew's channel as Daisy soon as we end the stream. Daisy donated $20. Me Reiki back page. Me Reiki coat hanger. Me no Reiki Andrew. I am have a bobo and I'm looking for a new brack man to trap. Okay. Real Trump donated $20. Brian, you need to pay Andrew to be a permanent guest host on the show. By the way, tell Daisy I threw pots and pans down the stairs to find out what her aborted baby's name would have been. You guys need to pay me anything, I'm happy to be Canada a Canada One SD donated $20. I like F and F and you, Brian, them attacking you pissed me off. Yes, I still watch them, but not as much as you because of that. I barely watch F and F now. Also, no more baby murders on your show, okay, Lamau. Uh, no, thank you, man. Thank Cartman you. donated $20. Yes. These are premium fetuses. They've been kept cold. Oh, you're breaking my balls here. 100 per pound. Bro, the girls are so over it. <laughs> There's, I'm gonna, guys, trust me, I'm gonna wrap. Okay, Pinkerton, uh, happy Mother's Day. You can pull that up really quick. Maddie, can you read that real happy quick? Happy Mother's Day to all the good mothers. Ladies, there's no reason to kill an innocent human being. <laughs> guys, if you get a woman pregnant, step Maddie's up, stop huge the donor's head donated $20. The self-hating Asian 304s love to get gassed up by God. yellow fever simps. Y'all mid as shit. Bish, be humble, what? sit down. BTW Andrew, I'll smack your fat ass. Bro, Mr. What Ten in charms and those big tits. <laughs> King 1998 donated $20. No, I'm saying Brian shouldn't bring you on since you are a grifter, not that hard to understand big brain Andrew. My argument is you have no loyalty. You are the dumb guy's smart man. Turn off camera. Hey, if he doesn't invite me on, I won't come on. How's that sound for fair? Jeremy. Uh, F Daisy is what Jeremy says. Yo, Jeremy, thank you, man. Okay, uh... Hold on. Uh, all right. Logue to engineer donated $20. I will Probably sleep good tonight, tonight knowing Daisy will be crying herself to sleep and baby ABA will be taking the long dirt nap. Damn, bro. What the Why fuck? Yo, like brutal. That? Oh, my God, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tonight is toxic, so toxic, mean. toxic tonight. Okay. Uh, those of you, really quick, twitch.tv slash whatever. Drops a follow. Drops a prime sub. Twitch.tv slash whatever. There it is, twitch.tv slash whatever, drops a follow, drops a prime sub if you want to do this. Hate for Maddie donated $20. Maddie, now that you're sitting closer, I can see your pores. <laughs> I actually don't have many pores. I take very good care of my skin. Cool. Cool story, bro. Rise and 562 Yo, up, donated $20. Hey, Brian, finally catching a live stream. Watched every episode Thank since you, the beginning. Thank love you guys. the show. Appreciate it. Andrew, Thank love you. your content and the way you handled Wes at the live event in Miami. Keep it up. Oh, man. Imfetus donated $20. Uh, yeah. I am Fetus I ABA. Mr. Andrew, you're my adopted daddy on earth for giving me a voice. I died okay, to I two rich famous adults who couldn't um, be responsible for me. 
The pill hurt and burned me. In heaven I have scars. It's never going to stop. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to it up. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but if I was in a relationship for two years trusting the person and she That's purposely tweet, stopped but, taking yeah, birth control to get to pregnant, to how does it make me bad to leave? No, I mean, I, I just put Camo it up, but you left the Tony donated $20. CCP brings to you, Daisy, artificial intelligence less the intelligence. Okay, let's just actually try to just get through that. Nick, uh, pull up. We're going to do a Twitch raid. Pull up Will Grandma, please. Uh, I'm going to do a raid for her. Jeremy donated $20. Maddie has paused. Yo, guys, we're going to raid uh, so Will Grandma. She's playing World of Warcraft uh, retail. So those of you watching on Twitch, thank you for tuning in on Twitch. We're gonna give her, we're gonna do a raid over there on Twitch. Uh, be nice to her, guys. Old be nice. Marie's She's 82. $20. She's 82, guys. So CCP be nice. CCP okay? wants to take down the red pill spaces you guys there because men are starting minutes. to step ten up. Seconds. Keep it up, boys. China is coming. Uh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Um, for show. All right, guys. Those of you on Twitch, thank you for tuning in on Twitch. I'm gonna do a raid here. Sending a raid now. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for tuning in. Boom, that got sent. We'll just wait here for a sec. Look at her flexing that watch. Hey there, how are you? Hi. Uh, whatever, Raid. Is the audio boosted? Oh my. Yeah. Okay. Welcome, Raiders. All right, a little wholesome moment here at the end. Let's a little wholesome go. moment. Showing some love to a uh, small whatever. streamer on Twitch. She's got better stream oh, setup than we do, much. though. Look at that setup. God damn. <laughs> she's so cute. She's a, she does have a good yeah, setup. Yeah, she's so adorable. She's got, she's got a legit stream setup. Uh, so be nice, guys. She's 82. She's playing World of Warcraft retail. Welcome, everybody. Happy Anyways. Mother's Day, if there's oh. any brothers that was on. Happy Mother's Day oh. to you. Happy Mother's well, Day. Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> no, totally happy Mother's that. Day. Okay. Uh, hopefully Thank you the, for the welcome, everybody. Anyways. Okay, there's that done. Um, I'm trying to see here. Okay. Uh, so Andrew, how many cigarettes have you smoked this whole podcast? <laughs> you know, how many dicks have you sucked? Way. <laughs> like, hey. uh, I'm serious. If you answer, if you answer me, I'll answer Kamikaze you. She's, she's got a boyfriend. $20. Oh Next my. show, try and include all you panelists more. The girls still here look tired out and annoyed. Lol, I'd be too. I, try, I, I, I tried. <laughs> I tried. I proposed to um, Gertrude. Oh, my God. There's still time. I'm just saying. Uh, real Trump, Daisy's possibly aborted baby name. Oh my, I'm not gonna read that, bro. I'm not gonna, I can't read it. I'll get in trouble. Uh, okay, thank you, Real Trump. Appreciate it, brother. Okay, GG. Well played to the panel. Thank you, guys. Um, guys, like the video, por favor. We will be doing a redirect to Andrew on YouTube after this ends. So if you want to stick around there, uh, drop him a follow, subscribe, whatever, like the video. Bo 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 donated twenty dollars. Can we get Madison's boyfriend on the next show and see her bow to him? Maddie? Uh, that's the only way I would ever bow on this okay. live stream. Okay, all right. Uh, so guys, thank you. I want to do a big thank you to uh, everyone who tunes in, supports the show, really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who super chatted, uh, sent in a Streamlabs message, TTS, whatever it may be, however you support the show, really appreciate it. We will be live again Tuesday. Andrew should be joining us then too. Got a good show for you guys. Uh, appreciate it. Any girls who want to be on the show? Maddie's huge head donated $20. How does Simpai Frankie feel to stick his penis in that loose hole that had seven hey. other penises in? Disgusting. Hey. Oh my Thanks. God. I don't know. You have to ask him. Brian is cuck donated $20. Brian, you should have respected Andrew's booting of Daisy. He's your Caucasian, and you've respected him in the past. You went full cuck tonight. You're right. I cucked out. I'm a simp. I'm a sucker. I'm a white knight. I white knighted for Daisy. Uh, look, I, I just don't make it. Uh, if somebody's otherwise being respectful, even if they are, they did something pretty uh, egregious, even if I disagree with them ideo ideologically, uh, if they're conducting themselves respectfully, uh, I'm not going to kick them off. Uh, she ended up just leaving anyway, so it is what it is. But um, yeah, if I, just because I disagree with somebody or even if they've done something, um, which I think in this case is egregious, you know, leaking the DMs, premeditated recording the phone call with the intention to leak it, uh, terrible thing. 
don't co-sign it at all, but I'm not going to invite, you know, I'm not going to have her come on the show and then kick her off. Mind you, I, I just want to clarify. So I invited that girl back on. We have, we make it a habit to reach back out to people who've been on the show before. Uh, and then she is friends with Daisy. So it wasn't like we didn't reach out to Daisy. Uh, Noel said, hey, can I bring Daisy on? And I was like, okay. Um, I'd actually like to call her out for what I view as uh, King despicable King donated $20. Oh, which reminds Why me. is this guy coming back Tuesday, Lamau? Does he have dirt <laughs> on you, Brian? Is this the best you can do with? Where is Chase? Uh, well, okay, I mean, um, uh, first off, Andrew's a wonderful guest. Always happy to have him on the show. Uh, he's uh, our most frequent recurring guest. As far as uh, Chase, um, you'll have to ask him. Uh, Chase has had a, you know open invitation to come back on the show. I think he's just kind of doesn't really enjoy, at least from what I've heard from him, I don't think he really enjoys arguing with, uh, although this was not an OF girl panel, he doesn't like arguing with OF girls. And uh, I'll do it for him. Kelly will do it for him. But um, <laughs> yeah, you know, some people just, uh, you know, it's not for them. Uh, and uh, also just. Jeremy donated $20. Maddie, give us the all the middle finger PLS. I don't do that. She doesn't do that. Okay, anyways, um, I'm trying to think if we're, are we forgetting anything? Body count really quick. Gustavo, what's your body count? Last zero, thing. zero. Body count? Scoot your mic to the... Uh, two. One. Oh, okay. Twelve. Four. Madis Madison's no longer answering this question. She used to, so anyways. Um, okay, there it is. Uh, well, that was a uh, interesting show. Thank you guys. Really appreciate all your patronage. Any girls who want to be on the show, DM out whatever on Instagram. If you can make it to Santa Barbara, do we have, are we forgetting anything, Nick, or are we good? No, you still need an RDL there or something. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're all caught up. I just want to make sure everything, okay, we're good. All right. Wes Watson donated $20. Okay. Andrew, birth control okay. was invented to reduce the number of kids in the right, nuclear as as family, next to come not in, we're to gonna facilitate the promiscuous sex. Promiscuity is just a byproduct of that, you fucking retarded biatch. Damn. Jay, oh, you donated Jay. $20. Good to see you, brother. Hey, Brian, have you ever considered doing a and q episode? Eh. Nah, probably not. I mean, maybe, maybe down the road, but... I mean, we just do the dating talks. We, we don't tend to do much of like other formats. So occasionally we do, but mostly we just do the dating talks. Anyways, any girls who wanna be on the show, DM out whatever on Instagram if you can make it to Santa Barbara. 07's in the chat. Thank you to the wonderful panel here. They're all about to pass out. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Uh, uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. Truly, and uh, yeah, good night, guys. 07's in the chat. We'll see you next time. One of you, you guys are all good people. I enjoyed chatting with all of you. And even though you guys have some radically different beliefs, I think you're all good people. Uh, Grace, I'm not as sold on, but you know, we'll see how that. Well, hang on. Can I, in, in the spirit of good charity, also thank my opponents for coming in. I appreciate yeah, you having sure. me on the panel. Uh, both, both Erudite and Destiny. I don't, I don't usually ever take conversations like this personally if I can avoid it. Uh, it looked like uh, Erudite and, and Grace were having the exchange, so I got involved. But I don't generally bring up people's personal lives. I don't give a shit about that. I was really just here for the arguments. Yeah, okay, hold on, up, wait. That is not true. Conscience. Andrew, you fucking gossip liar. so much on Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> you're fuck? such a fucking So do you. So insane. do you. We're, he's not saying, I don't like to do this. He's not morally pontificating. I'm you sure think he you, yeah, so, I so hang on, hang on, stop. What's wrong with me addressing what's going on in real time or allegations which are made and things like this in real time? That's not even gossip. Because the allegations and gossip have nothing to do with any of the points or any of those kind of people. You're, just like, you're like Rolo in this space. You just like Tell to me. keep up with the gossip. Tell me which thing specifically the obsessing over like me and lauren's hypothetical aborted child did you like, fuck okay like, okay hang on hang on then let me ask you a question directly <laughs> answer it directly did you fuck lauren southern it's hard to say for sure because just I answer the question the did you count. did you have you're sex you're doing the thing right now you're just deflecting 
I'm you're, not deflecting. So you're deflecting. I'm not trying to make you're deflecting. You're just, deflecting. You, just you just said I'm talking about things that are true and relevant and true. And now you're like obsessed. They're relevant and true. Word. You refuse to actually answer. What is the relevant thing? Okay, tell me. What? Let's say that I say yes or no. What are the mm -hmm. different worlds that open one's up? One's a lie and one's the truth. Why no, no, but you, you're saying it's relevant. Like, what is it impact? Well, the relativity is whether or not Lauren Southern's a chronic liar who cheated on her husband and is LARPing as a trad person while she was secretly having sex with you, which is true. It's not gossip if I'm asking the source. It's not gossip if I'm asking the source. Let's say that's true, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. You, have you ever interacted with her? Do yeah. you make content about her? Did you like interact with her in the YouTube space? Like, Yeah, I've interacted with her. No, you don't. It's just Yes, I do. In fact, she DMs my wife all the time. What are you talking about? Are you and your wife the same person? What does that have to do? We, she, okay, we operate on, in the life. space. If she, if she DMs your wife mm -hmm. all the time, then why not have your wife ask her? She has. Oh, And well, like you, you she's deflected. And so so you bring this up. You say, I'm, a, I'm some gossip monger. But when you're directly asked these questions, you directly deflect. You don't actually answer them. So you're just, how about this? How about this? Just say no. I didn't want to make just it say personal. no. I just wanted to discuss ideas. Just also, say destiny. no. You fucking air date? Also air date. He brought it Why up. Why are you a bad Christian he brought it up. open relationships? He brought it up. Because you asked me. So answer no. Me. Answer no or yes. Did you fuck no, her or not? I don't talk about my personal life right. or anything with other people. So then don't say that Rolo's a gossip monger while you deflect from this question just answer the question that's literally the point of talking about god <laughs> no he brought up evidence he brought up me, evidence if you oh, really mm -hmm. show out where's the evidence the evidence is you want to answer the fucking question <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I just like as long as I say it. He brought up. That. He really? said that he has a source. Well, you mean, when you match it, you he said a that he had a source. The strongest form of logical. He blah, claimed blah, 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 that he had a source, and the source told oh, him. Well, if he claimed he had a source, well, and the source was her husband. Got railed by ten dudes in high school, Bro, Andrew. Bro, just answer the question. No, I don't talk about my personal right. life with anybody. And the that's but we know just because of gossip right? people like you. So you want to answer the question? I won't, if you ask me if I fuck anybody, I won't tell you if I fuck Alex or not. No, yeah, you talk about the women you fuck constantly. Would you like a list? If, 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 do you want a list, bro? If another person, if another person, when people bring this up. Andrew, do you yeah. understand the difference? If a person wants to be public about a relationship that we've had, or if a person wants to come out and make statements about it, then sure, then I'll do that. That's fine. But that's a lot different than speculating on, have you fucked this person? Have you fucked that person? Have you fucked Why did you ask BX Bullet who she fucked? You asked BX Bullet if she fucked John Zerka. I didn't ask her. If you did. I have the DM. Have you want to see it? <laughs> yeah, because I was fighting with her and John. Okay, okay so you did ask her. So you did ask her. So why can't Andrew, I ask this you? This doesn't matter. Andrew, this doesn't matter. Why can't I ask you, bro? Andrew, you can ask me. Yeah. When I was asking BX Bullet, it's because I was shit slinging and being gossipy. The difference is I'll admit when I am. So, so hang on. So it's not okay for me to do it. It's just okay for you to do it? No, you no, stupid if you motherfucker. Want, it's not yeah, okay keep spurting. No, 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 no. If you want to do it, knock yourself out. That's why I blocked you on Twitter. I don't want to associate with you it. Didn't you didn't block me on Twitter. I think you're there right now. Oh, fuck. I thought I did. My bad. If yeah. you want to do it, you can do it. That's fine. By the but way, mad. this was don't only brought up. This don't was only brought mad. up so that oh you understand in the context that Rolo brought it up. So I retweeted it. And then I asked you directly. No, no, that's not that's not true. You've obsessively been tweeting about this for like months. I show them. Show it. Show it. I don't have every tweet you've you. You go my over your right tweets now. on your show you constantly. Thousand dollars that you've tweeted about this at least ten times this year. Thousand dollars on that. I don't think I've tweeted about it ten times. You, I do. I, bet people blink me your tweets all the not ten thousand. <laughs> Jesus. 10, people blink me nice. your tweets all the time about this shit. It's not just because Rolo. And even if Rolo does bring it up, then just say, just admit it. Be like, oh, I was just being. He brought it up. Sometimes, I asked you. You still won't answer. Sometimes, sometimes I got. It's relevant to my political oh my party. God. Whether it's or not, not relevant it is all. relevant. It has no relevancy whatsoever. It does. Even if me and Lauren had fifty secret children, it wouldn't mm -hmm. be relevant at it all. It would to be. Anything. It would be relevant in this entire space. Is this woman it is really larping as a bear, bear killer? Trad girl. Anything. Do you want to let me talk? She oh, said yeah, she's going to. about Britney from P P she, as well. Yeah, sure. keep on going. As well. True. You yeah, do. keep you're on going. You're, anything you can it. do, you it, anything you, you can do to fight, divert. Like, yeah, do That's but fine. just we remember, you bit. haven't answered the question. Correct. Just I don't. I don't answer right. those types of questions. You haven't answered the question. Just, wait, just admit that you're a gossip then, Andrew. It's not gossip to talk about things that are relevant going on in the space I'm in. So relevant. It is relevant, and I can explain my how. Dick is the I guess Hunter's dick, my dick. How many dicks do you follow in the political? How many dicks, dicks do you follow? <laughs> follow Jesus. Like too, you think that people who 
who espouse my beliefs, my ideology, and my ethical system who are engaging in things counter to that, that's not relevant to me. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. You call that out yourself all the time. All the time on, for on your side. Relevant things. That, yeah, this is a like... relevant thing. Okay. All right. How is Hunter Avalon's dick relevant? Because Hunter Avalon, who has long been considered a grifter inside of the space, he had a massive scandal which went on as he's going on Twitter and all these places, calling out conservatives and saying, no, I'm the trad guy because I have a nice wife and kids and blah, 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 who actually his wife was secretly setting up gangbangs in the background. That's what was really going on. And it's a bunch of bullshit. You guys can well, claim that this isn't relevant to the space, that the largest creators... It's that fine war, that you gossip, bullshit. Andrew. It's fine that you're a gossip girl. We all are. The problem is when you try to say that you're not. That's it. You it's relevant to, to like, my political None system. Of this is personal. It's relevant I just am to the political up relevant system. Discussions. I apologize. You know, they I are relevant. Bring up these personal things. Mm -hmm. You're just lying. No, I'm not lying. I, I didn't bring any of this up in the debate. Other people did. You're lying as often as women do about. So, women. so because I go to a debate, I agree that I'm not going to bring up any personal attacks. This, this equates to my Twitter somehow because I uh, retweet or uh, engage in things which are uh, relevant to the space that I'm in. That's absurd. Space. As long as you say it loudly. I'm sure somebody out there will believe you. Well, I mean, oh, give me an argument. Can't, can't wait to hear it. Is there, is there anything you want to say? Anyone? We'll wrap up. All right, there we go. Uh, thank you, Destiny, for putting on a... Uh, using me as an example. Now, uh, the 1% of cringy autistic people are going to use that as an example. Like, oh, Alex is gay. Look, just to call it that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it was fun. Talk it was fun having this discussion. I enjoyed it. I think the internet enjoyed it very much too. Uh, and uh, yeah, I stand by what I said. You guys are all good people. I appreciate all of you. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to really quickly plug your channels, feel free. Uh, I'll start off with you, Andrew. My name is Andrew Wilson, host of The Crucible. I guess soon to be blocked by destiny. <laughs> but uh, you can find me on The Crucible. And um you know, we are we're, we also operate as a debate channel, and we have some of the finest debates on the internet. I appreciate both of my opponents' time. I do think these are relevant things to my space and what's going on politically, whether they want to believe that they're political figures or not. What was the deal with the cross on the throat? Because I wore a cross necklace on my throat. And no, the tat, the fake tattoo. The tat, the black tattoo. Yeah. I wanted to get a cross tattoo, so I was like you know seeing what it would look like i didn't yeah. like it so i got rid of it oh okay okay well i'm just i'm just i'm just trying to figure this out right so i just joined so just bear with me i'm just trying to <laughs> kind of kind of under like understand the mindset and this type of thing so uh you do identify yourself as a as a christian that is correct right yeah i love god okay okay and what what kind of christian what uh, denomination do you know you're just non-denominational, maybe? I love God. <laughs> Though not, so no denomination. <laughs> like, you don't belong to an official church of what's any kind. Your, what's your definition of de denomination, <laughs> Andrew? You belong to a certain, a certain sect of church. So, like, maybe you're a Calvinist, or maybe you're a Baptist. Wait, can uh, yeah, I actually you? was stop, stop, um, stop. baptized at St. Baptist Church. You were baptized at St. Baptist Church? Yes, I was. St. Baptist. Um, I have to like really go and like ask someone like what church I got baptized. Is that like St. Baptist the second? Perhaps St. Baptist the third? I don't think that. I'm not really <laughs> familiar like the first, second, third. Yeah, no, and I can, you're, I can you're, understand. I can yeah, understand yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. So, so I just, I just have a quick question. I think I do remember the episode. So, in this episode, Brian asked you, if I remember correctly, if, um, if God wanted you to do OnlyFans, then what would Satan want you to do? To stop doing OnlyFans. So, see, do you think that Satan would want you to stop doing OnlyFans? That son of a bitch. Well, I think the original answer to the question was, I, th I forgot exactly the framing of the question. I mean, but... that's mine, right? So, I mean, do, do you think, though, that Satan is the one who would want you to stop doing OnlyFans? Yeah. No, she said originally, God wants her to be doing OnlyFans, <laughs> and then and Satan would be the one who wanted her to stop doing OnlyFans.
to tell her. Yeah, that's what she just said now. She just said the same thing. She just said Satan would want her to stop doing OnlyFans. No, she. Wait, hold on. Yes, sorry, sorry. I'm getting. Okay, yeah. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Wait, it's Andrew. All good, Brian. It's all good. Wait, Andrew. <laughs> discombobulated today. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 been a hectic day. Wait, Andrew, are you able to tune up the light a little bit on your camera, or is it too much? Yeah, I can tune it up a little bit. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Cindy. There you go. So yeah, so um, so so you think that Satan would prefer that you um, that you gave up the old OnlyFans? Yes. Yeah. He would tell me. He, he would, would tell me to stop. That. Yeah. Why do you think he'd want you to stop? Because I love making. I love making sexual content. And money. Yeah. Yeah. That. I mean, that makes sense. So you think that God would? His preference would be that you continued to make sexual content on your OnlyFans, and in order to keep the devil away, right? The the devil is the one who would have the preference that uh, that you stopped making the self-indulgent sexual content that you're making. I just want to make sure I got this clear. Yes, he oh, wants me to do it. I God hear wants you yes. to yes. Yeah, do you have visions? Does, has God come to you in a dream and told you perhaps that only I talk to him and to he go? tells me, yes, keep doing what you do. Girl, it's where great. Do you, where do you it's talk great. to him? Like, real, small... real talk speaking, like people around, it's like, I get that if you are a good, like real Christian, that can be a part of your platform, but if it's a joke, it's like it's a respect thing, you know? I've said my piece. Are I have, you, I have are respect. Are you sure you're talking to God? For my religion. <gasps> yeah, they, I'm just curious. How do you know you're talking to God? It, right. <laughs> are you convicted by the Holy Spirit? My relationship with God is God different from your relationship because... For different people. Yeah, for different people. That's very valid. Mm -hmm. But it's like it, it comes to it comes to the fact that it's like you still it, it's a respect thing at the end of the day and like yeah people's relationships with God are different but seeing it in, in like in an overall look you know how it comes across you know no I don't do you because earlier you were talking about how um, you 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 would want like sex reserved for marriage right no, I think I really want sex. I was. I did not say that. I oh, did I'm not. Sorry. I, I, did not I say thought we were clarifying at the beginning. Like well, I was sex just curious. What's, what's if you don't mind, if I just quickly finish my inquiry oh. uh, before we go over to the to the rest of the table, if you don't if you don't mind. Yeah, go for it. Um, go ahead, Andrew. Thank ahead. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, does God want you to stick it in your mouth? Is that what God wants you to do when you talk to God? Does He say gobble up that? Is that what He says? <laughs> I can't if it's like a guy that I like. No. And I end up partaking oh, sexual, like. yeah, the, like the guy that mm -hmm. my, my boyfriend, my Does husband. Does God tell you to do gangbangs? Mike Davis so, to do that. like privately, wait, if on, wait, what's what's Cindy? Hey, it's Mike Davis. Don't put God first, put Mike Look Davis first. God may or may not love you, but with Mike Davis, you're going to win 100% of man. the time. Wait, hold on. I got to give a quick, I'll let you get back to it, Andrew, but I got to give okay, a quick, sure, no sh quick shout out to Mike Davis. We haven't seen him in a while. Yo, MD, thank you. Uh, good to see you in the chat, dude. Right, I hope the like, Burger King restaurants are doing good for you, man, over there on the East Coast. Appreciate seeing you back on the show. You're a fucking legend, dude. And uh, you're always welcome here at whatever. Uh, I just was curious. Does God want you to engage in gangbangs, as he told you? When you were dreaming, for instance, and you had a conversation with God, did he say, thou musteth goeth and get gangbangeth? Did, did, did that conversation happen, do you think? Yeah. No. No. But so what, out of the conversations like where happens, God tells you that you must have sex with strangers for money, how does that occur? Can you kind of like give us an overview of how God frames his you need to have sex with men for money conversations with you? I'd like to hear about it. What is your definition of making money with men? You have, I'm, I'm guessing that you have sexual huh? intercourse with men for the purpose of collecting some type of cash. Right. right, right. Okay, so that would be my definition. You're right. So yeah. So what is so I, what is God? So how does a conversation with God go? Can you like give us a brief overview? Well, I don't really tell him anything like about my sexual. I just tell him like that I'm blessed with the job that I have, and you know I appreciate everything He's already given to me. And but I thought you said God wants you to do this, and you've had conversations with Him. Yeah, like with like OnlyFans, especially like that's like my 
work. I have to continue. Okay, so like, you've do that had every conversations with God about your OnlyFans? Yeah, to prosper and attract abundance and growth with my business. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, just to, to make sure that I'm clear, you when you speak to whoever this God is that you're speaking to, you don't Jesus actually. Jesus Christ. What's that? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ wants you to do OnlyFans work. Yeah. Uh, just just so that we're clear. Yes. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this, just out of curiosity. If a man offered you $100,000 to sell your soul on a piece of paper to him, would you do it? Yes. Huh? Yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought that you might. <laughs> what? Yeah. I feel like you're going, you're going against your whole thing then. That's literally going against, oh, you're talking to God for I think that ever, I think that ever since I moved to LA, I've sold my soul. Oh, Ooh, girl. So don't put don't don't, also, don't put God in whatever you're doing if you've sold your soul. You know, it's like a. Are you at don't peace go hand with hand yourself? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm finding peace within myself every day. Who do you think you sold your soul oh to? Ooh, <laughs> baby, it's not God. To <laughs> myself. You sold your soul to yourself. How much did you pay yourself for your own soul? Was it cheap, or did you? It did was you definitely not cheap. A bunch of money. I've spent a lot of money on myself, yes. Yeah, so you charge yourself a lot of money for your own soul. So you sold your soul to you. Mm hmm Okay, got it. So, but if a man, you know, some like, um, I don't know, OnlyFans bum, simp, uh, offered up like $100,000 to you to sell your soul to him, you would do that, right? Yeah, why not? That's uh, yeah. that's a uh, now. What if as part of the contractual deal, he says your soul's right actually there. going that's to Satan? Would you would you still do it? Girl, that's a whale, girl. Did he say a hundred thousand? Yeah, you're selling, selling, you're selling your whole existence for a hundred thousand. Andrew, can you repeat yourself? Would you say? Yeah. So it was, uh, my question was, what if an entailment of the contract, meaning inside of the contract, he wrote, and by the way. I'm going to then barter your soul with the devil. Would you still sign the contract? For a hundred thousand. Yeah. Okay, how much are we talking about? <laughs> hundred thousand bucks. She would do I feel like it shouldn't be a question. question. How, how much is it? How much is it? Hang on, hang on, let her answer. How much is it? How much is it? Hold on, wait. How much is it? One person at a time. Hundred thousand dollars. That's not enough. Okay, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's not enough. Okay, how much? More, like in the millions. So for $2 million, you'd sell your soul to the devil? Hmm. No, not $2 million. Higher. How much? It's just higher. $15 million? More. $30 million. More. Okay, $100 million. <laughs> Final offer. Like, more. Being a conversation in <laughs> itself is showing that. <laughs> but I don't God know how much more God. is. Mm -hmm. So name your I mean, price. I know that you're probably used to saying the word more when you're on camera, but I would still like <laughs> it and would appreciate it if you would uh, tell me what the actual number is. <clears throat> Are you talking Thanks, to God right Bobby. now? Yes. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm like... <laughs> Uh, I need to, like, for making Rich I Guy donated $200. Thank you for pushing back <laughs> against Andrew. I would not be able to have so many side chicks on rotation if women I'm, like you didn't co-sign the lines cool. that I tell them. You are helping us rich guys get laid. What are you talking to? <laughs> or about? <laughs> this was like in the beginning. Oh, I'm so sorry. Like, oh, I wouldn't pay for the date. Good. Where'd Andrew go? Oh, there oh. he is. <laughs> So he's telling you, like, at what price would you sell your soul to the devil? Um, uh, what price? Yeah. There's really, like, because, like, the price is, like, endless. Do you know what I mean? One trillion Yeah, the price is really endless. <laughs> so you so would. Um, saying? I'll do it. I'll do it for the right price. That's all I could, I could say to you. Yeah, that Maybe. makes sense. That makes sense. So... When you have your conversation with God later and thank him for all the prosperity of giving you money so that you can get plowed by random men on the internet, uh, are you going to let him know that you also, for the right price, are willing to sell your soul to the devil? I just want to just want to make I sure. I would say clear. maybe like $10 million a year. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. What? I could see that. She just said 15 I mean, I would say like uh, there's probably bands which have sold their soul for less than $10 million a year. I mean, that seems like a reasonable price, right? Yeah. Actually, yeah. make it twelve. So I want to make yeah, one million every month. 
I mean, it's the devil. The devil can afford twelve million a year for your soul, right? Yeah. But the thing is, is I gotta ask, why would he give you a dime considering you already did that? All right. Well, let's try to keep the next one more topic. So, next topic is: Should men treat women as equals? Um, <clears throat> I don't know who you want to start with. You don't need to make an opening statement. You can just free flow it. I feel like this is always one of those like bait questions where what we're really asking is what do we mean by equal? I think that's like the yeah. What do because we, like what like do we the mean same probably not, but like equal rights and everything afforded under the law probably yeah, right. I mean, equal access. I yeah. think we generally agree about this one. Yeah, I but I mean, I don't know that I. Uh, I don't know that I do. So okay, does everyone think that women should be able to vote? No. Okay, there we go. That would be our disagreement. Why yeah. do you think that women should not be able to vote? For the same reason, I don't think most men should be able to vote. <laughs> Damn. Which is? Which is that they have no stake in the game, and so if you don't have a high enough stake in the game. Why should you be able to vote in the game or delineate the direction that the nation should go? How do women have no stake in the game? <clears throat> well, not just women, men too. So this is the big problem. What I would propose. Don't we all have a stake in the country and how? Yeah. So what I would goes? what I would propose would be uh, some sort of limited democracy, which is what we started with in the republic anyway. Was a limited democracy where only five percent of people could vote anyhow. And, I mean, our entire electorate system has changed drastically in comparison to the early parts of the nation. And I do think that stakeholder democracy is far better. What my proposal would be is uh, service guarantees citizenship. So some sort of elongated, unpaid service to the state. And then from there, you can, be, uh, you can vote. And that would apply to men and women. I think both of those would be, would be fine. I just think that you would necessarily end up with far more men who would do it. Isn't isn't the issue here really like it, are men and women complementary or are they like distinct individuals like do they work together or are they perfectly fine separate from each other because I think men and women are complementary so just be uh, a lot of the time when people say women should be treated equal to men what they mean is they should be treated as men which is sort of prioritizing men and deprioritizing femininity really what they are is they work together everybody knows that right I mean if you say men are better leaders and women are better supporters that's obviously true no they're different well, I, but they have equal I think, yeah, I, think, I think everyone on this panel would agree that men and women work better together i think the crux of the uh the topic is when you're when it comes to like let's just say dating uh should you you know act differently around girls that you're trying to pick up and like your male friends right is what are those differences how substantial are they well i don't think right? it's like, just in dating i mean when you're asking family, kind of this family. This fundamental question of should men and women be equal, you know, Destiny asked probably the, the very first good grounding question, which is what do we mean by equal? So uh, they're kind of making the distinction, or I think they're trying to, that, of course, men and women, from an ontological standpoint, are different, right? But that doesn't mean that they should necessarily be treated different in society. Is that what you guys are saying? Uh, I think it's about like access to certain like, opportunities and protections, right? Like we're not saying that they can't be treated different because what does that mean? We mean like at a legal, like, uh, like governmental level. Yeah. Both should be given like access of opportunities. They should have like the certain rights, you know, assault on a woman is the same as assault on a man. Yeah. But I mean, the, the problem with this argument though, is that due to the ontological differences in men and women, when this is applied, we actually see it become very unequal. So men get longer sentences, for instance, than women do for the same types of uh, crimes, especially violent crimes. Uh, same thing with sex crimes. They get much lighter sentences when it comes to that as well. So you might, it, might, it might sound good to say that we can apply these things equally to both, but they don't seem to be being applied equally to both. And this might have to, something to do with the difference in men being men and women being women, that there's an actual, there's more fundamental differences there than just this kind of idea that we can treat everybody equally. So well, you believe that the reason that men are getting longer sentences is because of an ontological difference between men and women? Yeah, I think that uh, men, generally speaking, uh, hand out and dole out lighter sentences to women than women would <laughs> to, to women. And yes, there is data to support that, by the way. If you'd like to see it, I can pull that up and send it to you. But I don't even think that that's really in dispute. 
the, there is a massive amount of lighter sentencing which happens across the sexes. And it's because right, men and women view ontological. each other very. Yeah. Well, I think that the the necessity of when you're talking about being that men are different, not just physiologically, but I think that there's an ontological difference between them, too. Yes. Of course, so I do. do. You, well, would Kyla, you agree Kyla, I, that they women should woman... get less of a charge than than a man? Like, do would you agree with this? If, like if women are fundamentally different than men in most ways and the mm -hmm. law is therefore punishing them a little bit less, wouldn't that just be society responding correctly? No, to them? because if fundamental? no, because each society has a different sequence of systems which that society operates in for their codified laws. So that might only be a symptom of a democratic system and democratic law, whereas if you had uh, a, a monarchy, for instance, or you had um, some type of, of government authority which had a distinction, you might not see such unequal things applied. In fact, I remember we were kind of discussing this on an earlier panel about witches, for instance, um, and how, you know, they would burn them at the stake, right? They would burn them at the stake. So what I'm saying is, is you know, they, they seem to have not so much of a problem doling out equally harsh punishment. It just depends on the system that you're in. So, no, I don't think that it's it's uh, playing out how it's necessarily supposed to. I think it plays out how, maybe how you would think it would play out depending on the system you're in. I think Andrew might find like your guys' relationship dynamic pretty interesting. I mean, I think it's true though. You should subscribe and you'll see. Nah, we're good. Um, so anyways, <laughs> moving You'll on. see. <laughs> what about that's like weird. girls who do but not, not express it? Do you still think that's wrong? Not, did you say not explicit? Yeah. So like okay. lingerie pictures, bikini pictures, Conversations. Yeah, it's, well, is so the, 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 the point is, is that you're moving towards sexual vice, right? But and sexual sin. So, well, hang on. If, okay. if you'll humor me, I'll answer the question. So just, just hang tight. I'll answer the question. I'll let you respond. So, um, yes, if you're, if you're selling sex or, or sexual provocation with intent to do this. So, in other words, there are men who could sexualize you absent your intent. There's nothing you can do about that. But if your intentionality is to sell and in some way, then, um, yeah, that would uh, definitely go against Christian ethics, for sure. That would be from the Christian standpoint. Well, even if it, there's no sexual intercourse on the page? Yeah, that would be harlot behavior. So we would consider those ladies. Prostitution. We would consider those ladies of the night, or, in other words, if you sell sex for money, you, by our definition, would but be prostitutes. It's not. That you sell in. It's what are you selling? Like lingerie pictures, but that can arguably yeah, be models. So is every Victoria's Secret model and every Bo Avenues model? It's intense. It's selling for money, yeah. yeah. I would say that they're all engaging in some form of prostitution. Yeah. So you think models are <laughs> prostitutes? I think that yeah, women who sell is. pictures on purpose, which are provocative, are pro engaging in prostitution, yes. But what if, like, it's just a girl with a bit of cleavage out on Instagram? Is that still the if same thing? It, again, this is why intent matters. So what is the intent? Mm -hmm. Is he is the intent, for instance, that she yeah. just has really big knockers and can't help that you know shirts don't fit her? That's an entirely different thing than, hey, look at my boobs, aren't they great? Send me money. That would be prostitution. Wait, so what, what's the intent is for her stop, to Cindy, stop, express stop, herself? Cindy, Cindy her stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Wait, so like, what what's your reaction here? What? I don't know. You seem to have a reaction to what he's saying. Go ahead. Oh no! Well, no, I don't have no reaction. I'm oh, just... I don't know. You just—I thought there was something. Okay. Was... Can you can you define? Yeah, yeah the uh, intent to sell your body in some way, in a sexual way, for money. No, it's getting checked for money. That's what prostitution is. Yeah, prove it. Why should I? Why should I adhere to that standard definition other than you want me to? It's right. That's, well, that's, that's the definition. No, it's not right. It that's is wrong. right. You choose. What you're doing, you're what you're doing is a classic Mott and Bailey, Mott and, and Bailey. it's uh, it's very low tier. In fact, um, you're trying to s explain that there's some type of delineation between selling your to be penetrated versus selling your to not be penetrated. Though the effect is the same, you're still selling for money. I feel like penetration has like a big umbrella term, and a lot of people just try to make things seem as it's not. So like, not everything is sex with like, what you want to call prostitution, but okay. That's so my so opinion. let me ask you this: Would you say, for instance, that um, uh, being a stripper would that be considered prostitution by your metric? No. No. 
No. Do strippers, strippers give lap dances? Yeah. Yes. But it's and as a result of the lap dances, do some many late? <laughs> but then at the same time, for nah, the hang on, hang on. Answer my it question. Depends how good they are. I mean, I would assume. Yeah, do some many late based on the lap dances. Are they getting the lap dance because they don't want to get a hard on, or are they getting the lap dance because they do? Yeah. Men can get a hard on from counting from 10 to 1. Yeah, but we have a it's distinction true. between so that intent. That's why we have intent. But what, what, if was, what if I was just counting down? Then is that yeah, me? Hang on, I'm going to explain. I'll explain it to you. I'll explain it to you. The okay. distinction is intent. The job is to give the guy a stiffy. Their job is to make their their uh, their pecker hard, right? That's their job. Not all the time. How you can not consider that to be to not be prostitution is actually the better question. <laughs> Because seemingly that is selling people favors for money. I don't know how it's not doing that. So okay. is this the same with like male strippers, like thunder down under? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think you're choosing a harsher word. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It 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 is work, but it, using the word can feels different for to people. Um, so but it is I, why should I care how they feel? That's I mean, a distinction no, I mean, with no merit. I get that. Well, I mean, if you say, well, listen, you should use this other word, Andrew, because it makes them feel bad when you call them what they are. If that you, makes no sense to me. Andrew, Stripper to is change. engaging in prostitution. Tell me how they're not. No, no, and I agree with you, but if we want people to change, we're not going to get that by using harsh words. We're going to get that by oh, using yeah, we're gonna, By tone policing? Tone by police. tone policing. That's how we'll get them to change. We just need to tone police harder, don't we? I don't think it's that we want them to change. I think it's like more of like, why do you guys get defensive when someone just wants to know like, a, like a simple answer to a simple question that selling your body in any sort of form for money is in that gray area or like umbrella of Because you can define it and there is, it's not prostitution. I just don't see how it's prostitute is you go on vivastreet.com and you ring them Maybe up it's not and the right you like say I'm word, coming over I want an hour's worth of sex yeah. okay. and you pay well, here's the thing I have the definition of prostitution in front of me and the pro the definition that I'm looking at has as example to the selling of sexual favors for money yeah have you ever watched how is it not a sexual favor to grind China on a man's in order to make it hard how is it not a sexual favor sir because usually you can't touch them in England anyway you can't touch them here what? too so what so you're wait actually, so you're saying that if you don't touch a prostitute the they only touch you they're not anymore wow. no. well no it's eye candy you go to strippers to look at sexy women it's just yeah. like if you watch on or watch do you strippers so grind their externally their over a man's do they do that yeah. Not all of them. Yeah, Some yeah, of them, they do yeah. that. Not yeah, they do them, that. No, they all do that. I I, I'm not aware of any strippers who do not do that. What what strippers are you aware of that don't do that? Um, ones in Leeds. <laughs> What's that? I've been I've been to clubs and I've got lap dances before, but they've not actually touched or anything with the. Vaginas. Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? Just so because it you've doesn't make all lap. of them. It doesn't make all of them. Yes. It makes them all prostitutes, yes. If you <laughs> grind your <laughs> on a man's for money, you're engaging yeah, you, in no, a no, sexual favor before. and prostitution. That's like, what do you want me to say? But How do you get around that? Then if, if people are sleeping with someone who's not their married partner, it's that them being a No. Practicing. But what if, they're, what if they brought they're them committing to dinner adultery. before? Wait, say that again, I'm sorry. So say you took someone out for dinner. So, so hang on, so real quick, just so you know, uh, if we're gonna have the exchange so that you understand because I'm remotely calling in. When you talk into the mic and I'm talking at the same time, it cuts the audio a feed on my end. So what we're gonna have to do is go one at a time, right? So you go first and then I'll go and then you go, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Go ahead. Have you ever watched Yeah. So you're also a slave to the industry. Oh, so if you've ever done anything, that means you're a slave to it? That doesn't make any sense. But you're consuming and then judging. But no, I'm I have sure consumed. I... That doesn't mean that I did a good thing. That doesn't mean that I did a righteous thing. That doesn't mean did I did you... a good After thing. watching that? I'm not going to get into any of that. Did it's a, there's did implications which you, are there. Did you use, and the did you use a rat come? Hang on, stop, stop. The Cindy, implications stop. are fine. 
as they are. You can imply what you want from it, but the, the purpose of and the point is is that me having engaged in sin would not exempt you from being prostituted. How would it exempt you from that? Donated two hundred dollars. Saying things in a nice way is why whores think they are not whores. Cold hard facts do not care about your feelings. The wages of sin are eternal hell. So instead of being nice, let's try reality. Yo, Grid One, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll so, know yeah, if you, so do you guys want to continue on on that? Thing? Yeah, I want to continue okay. if you don't mind. Go ahead. Yeah. So so anyway, I'm sorry. Go go ahead. The floor is yours. We were we were having the uh, back and forth before the chat came in. Go ahead. Oh, this is Me for you. you. You guys were oh, having no, no, no. This is this is yeah. This is for. Um, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't catch your name because I came into the show later. Sophia. Uh, yeah, pink top. Sophia. Um, Sophia. So okay. basically, what we're saying is, you're judging women for doing and being on the platform. Mm -hmm. Have you also had encounters with like normal women, or had a wank over someone who's just them, mm -hmm. or fantasized about them? Because then you're saying. Because someone's on a platform and you've had a wank over them, but then there's someone else who's not on a platform, but you've wanked to them with full clothes on, this, that, and the other. What's the difference if you're given intent. someone? Yeah, I know, but well, so the distinction's intent. The intent. What is the intent? Yeah, but there might not be intent on someone's part for. It, it might just be because there's. There's no intent there's on a person's part if they're going to over a woman they're not intending really no, no, like, you the think they're not intending to do that i, 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 I just want to make sure we're clear saying, like if you yeah, didn't watch see. that you would have never had that visualization of that woman that you you just yeah. talked to so this you would know? defer so to you intent again wouldn't it technically did participate in it by visualizing that woman naked yeah. so intense so you're talking so about intent again that, yes i yeah, agree if so you intend to jerk off over for. a woman then you intended to do that so i agree you're wrong for judging these women that are Why would that confident be enough to, to like, show their body wait, so so wait so just for so you I get this right. to visualize and jerk off to a cum rag mm -hmm. what the yeah fuck? so just just so i get this right if i smoke which i do you can clearly see that i smoke these cigarettes mm -hmm. here then it's not okay for me to tell my children not to smoke. I just want to make sure I got that clear. Is that right? Okay. Is that, is that correct that I smoke, so therefore I'm not allowed to tell my children not to smoke? Like if they're three years old, should I just be like, and they go, hey, dad, can I try that? And I go, no. Am I being a hypocrite? Am I being hypocritical by telling Junior not to to have a Marlboro Red and a beer at three years old? Am I being a hypocrite? Yeah, but that's legal age, so that's some completely three? different. No, it's not legal age. Oh, well, the, the point is, it? yeah. The, the yeah three. Three. No, no, that's what we're saying, three, yeah, three. Yeah, so it's legal three. age, so it, it's it's something else, three. that. No, three, you're, saying, you're getting confused, three. He's saying he's three-year-old son. He said he's smart. Three, not yeah, three. That's years not legal old. age. What three years yeah. old? Three years old. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's oh. not legal oh. age. Oh, I just said yeah. it was. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh shit. Who? Well, yeah, just so you were, know, what you're engaging in right now is called. Mental. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to clarify that what you're engaging in is called a a two quo quo fallacy, which is you're essentially uh, doing a. But what about what about you? What about you? Well, okay, yes, I'm awful and horrible in every... The chief of sinners right here in front of you, how that would exempt you from what it is that you're doing, though, I have no idea. Like, I don't, I don't understand that. It's not, it's, not a great, it's not a great argument. So well, kind of back to this, back to this with you, I'm, I'm just saying, I, can you guys define how it would not be... If a guy paid you money to grind on his in order to make it uh you know do stuff how 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 would that not be because well, that's not her intent some people like the um the art that's of, very like, clearly twerking. her intent twerking twerking is considered an art like it's a dance form like people yeah, enjoy the art of making penis shaking art. their big right. ass booty uh, yeah i get it but the thing is is that if you're twerking if you're like some chick who's twerking and you're dancing with some guy or something like this Shira? Um, he's not paying you. There's no money, which is being transacted. Some people but will, if there's will money, be, hang on, yeah. hang on, calm down. Let me finish. But if there's money being tra transacted, okay, uh, then you would be engaging in prostitution, be sexual favors for money. 
So, so Shakira's backup dancers who twerk and they're getting paid to twerk, are they then they're not twerking on someone. They're just right. dancing. They're, like their attention is yeah, to dance. Like, oh, they should get people hard. Also could get people hard. I mean, but their their attentions are dancing as a backup dancer. But they're not they dancing to get people hard. Yeah. And also, if they I get hard, that's their. Yeah, but, that's yeah, but exactly. there's there's there are girls that go to clubs that not intentionally exactly. like, to yeah, get like them hard, light. but they just like dancing. But as a stripper, like in Jamaica, there's literally clubs like exactly. Well, that's they're not like dancing, and you guys. But they're still like getting money, like like guys. Yeah, it's like Ocean Beach. Guys. Who have money? They also like to go to clubs and just throw ones, throw ones down. What's uh, uh, Andrew? Yeah, I don't know because they think because they think the women there are a bunch of. Don't, literally, they, don't want, they think that no. they're they think that's what they think. They think that they're going to spend money on a. That's what they think. There's that's why difference. they're in clubs throwing that money at these girls is because they think the girls have a price, like you do. So, diving in uh, recently. Um, you covered a, the Fresh and Fit fiasco, and this was mm -hmm. the um, the in-person event which happened in Miami with Wes Watson. It's gone viral all over the place. Um, interestingly enough, I, I think, and I wanted to kind of give you a take here and see what you thought about this because you covered it. And I thought you gave really good coverage uh, on your channel. It's very level-headed. I think that what happened there is the people, like there was something for everybody. So for the people who really loathe like red pill content creators in the manosphere, you can use Wes Watson as basically the perfect caricature of everything mm -hmm. about that sphere that people hate, right? Totally empty and vacant of anything that is, um, you know, worth, uh, worth something that's non-material. Uh, all that matters is muscles and roids and, you know, uh, appearances, this type of thing. So I think, I think the haters can make the perfect caricature. And then I think the red pillars themselves who watch it, they look at it and say, this is exactly what we don't want out there representing our message. And the Manosphere mm -hmm. people are saying the same thing. And then over on the kind of Christian side or the people, the men who embrace some form of spiritualism, which I think is probably the, the best path, uh, see it as, um, you know, a rejection of materialism kind of triggering the materialist worldview. Uh, so I think that there was something there for everyone. I think that that was kind of the perfect storm for all these different kind of internet groups to all then get together and have a take. Yeah, I agree. Um, someone said in my comments, I think you're right about the caricature. Someone said that he's, he's watched too many Sigma edits. And he's kind of true. He, he kind of <laughs> personified what people stereotype that red pill type of guy to be. Mm -hmm. And um, I think a, a lot of the time it's the younger guys that get confused with this. They think that being a high value man is all about being like ripped and having a six pack, having a fast car, fighting everybody that gets in your way. And that's just, that's just not the way it is in my opinion. I don't think that's what a high value man is at all. Well, doesn't it have um, to start with emotional control? A hundred percent. Like, doesn't it have? I think you'd have a bit of emotional control to get physically in shape and to, you know, be financially stable. But I guess it was the injections that got them there quicker. Yeah. Well, know? I mean, the thing is, it's, that's funny about it is, yeah, you would think that there would be a lot of discipline, uh, which would be required to get the body shape like that. But the steroids also do provide a shortcut, right? They do provide a mm -hmm. shortcut, and also they make you mentally unstable if you take them long term like that. Well, no one ever talks about the side effects. Yeah, yeah. It's whatever. not all bad for certain men at certain ages, but it it can make you more aggressive, more emotional. It can give you boobs. You know, he was talking about boobs the whole time. Yeah. But he might get boobs <laughs> in ten years if he forgets his injections yeah. when he catches a flight. He'll get boobs and little balls as well. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, well, don't those guys deflate once they stop taking the steroids? They deflate yeah. to about like half the size, and they age yeah, five yeah, yeah. years overnight, and they they don't look great after after. No, the it goes from stop. it goes from one extreme to the other a lot of the time. Yeah, um, yeah, that's just that's but just I think, wild. I think yeah, I think you did really good just to keep you calm and you ended up basically playing him, playing him in his own game. Yeah. He was trying to mock you and roast you in front of that whole audience. And, um, you ended up doing it to him. Well, so, the, the thing is, is I've, I've said this, um, 
probably because I've been in so many debates over the the, the last few years um, against everyone from top tier to just kind of randos. Um, but once somebody loses their emotional control, you own them. Mm-hmm. They are 100%. now they are now your property. You can do yeah. with them whatever you want because yeah. um, once you have found the triggerable button, all you have to do is push it, and there's there's essentially no defense against that. And um, I I think that that's a huge weakness. So if if I were to look at uh, everything you can do for self improvement as a man, and I I get it right, I got a beer gut, I drank too much, you know what I mean? I smoke too much, I get that, you know. Um, I can I can do to uh, to to work a bit on my health, but I also think that you should start with the idea of being at least somewhat in control of your emotions. And what's interesting 100%. about that is you can be somebody who allows emotion to come out and still be in control of it. Like there's a time, for mm-hmm. instance, rhetorically, where a kind of self righteous indignation. Uh, sounds really good, but it's controlled, right? You know what the message is that you're giving. You're not actually losing emotional control. So the opposition doesn't end up owning you. And if have you found in your life yeah. that that's important? 100%. Um, when I was younger, I think the way I grew up, the way confrontation was dealt with was by getting physical or by trying to insult somebody. And... Um, you soon start, I think if you've got a brain, you soon start to realize that's not going to get you very far, especially as a man, there's consequences to these things. Like if you're going to just get violent or start insulting people in all these types of situations and you're probably going to go to jail. So we're going to get, which is exactly where he went, Um, right? (laughs) That's exactly where he went. Exactly. (laughs) That's where he was was there for 10 years or something, weren't he? So there you go. I think when you get older, you realize that, um, it truly revenge is a dish best served cold and you getting hot or something like this most often plays into the hand of whoever the opposition is. They end up mm-hmm. controlling you. They take headspace up. They make you think about them, uh, you know, things like this. And ultimately, um, that's a lot of men's downfall. A lot of men's downfall is becoming obsessed with conquering other men who aren't even thinking about them. They don't even, they don't even yeah. care about their existence. So, uh, no matter how rich you get, no matter how much wealth you have, reminds me of the old movie, The Count of Monte Cristo. Did you ever see that movie? No, I've never seen that. No. Well, inside the movie, uh, a peasant is imprisoned by a nobleman who was his best friend because he was always jealous that the peasant was happy with having nothing. And no matter how much the noble got, he just he he never could fill whatever the void was, and he was always upset that the peasant had nothing and was happy. And, uh, and I think, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, I think that really, I think that annoyed him that day because the first question he asked you was, are you rich? Do you have money? Yeah. Or right. Are you broke? Are you broke? And you said, yeah, I'm broke. I, I don't have anything. You, you just showed you didn't care about money. Your value doesn't come from money. And when he's probably thought to himself that I'm going to be, I'm going to stop being a loser as soon as I get rich, as soon as I get a fast car, as soon as I have all these things. When someone just shuts you down and someone's even more self-assured than you are when they don't have all the money and all the crap that you have, that can really fuck with your head. And I think that's what happened with him. It really fucked with him that you were just so confident about yourself and what your values were. He just spent all this time trying to be rich and trying to be this big boss. And he realized in that moment, I think, that that's not what it's all about. That's not what being a high value man or a boss is about what are the steps when so this term gets thrown around a lot as you know and i think there's different interpretations of it it's one of those things i think that's better felt than telt right which is what is a high value man what what does that mean ultimately i mean i think a high value man is somebody that can take accountability look after his family not expect anything in return so there's high value men that don't earn two million a year, but they still look after their families. They still don't expect anything in return. Um, and they'll take a bullet for their families. I think that's what a real high value man is. I don't think money and materialism is what it's all about at all. As an end in, of itself, the pursuit of materialism always seems to lead people to bad ends. I don't think there's anything wrong with being rich. I don't think there's anything wrong with having a lot of wealth. 
I just think that using it as an end itself, that's the end of what it is that you're after, is pretty empty and vacant. If it's being used as a means for a greater end, like the taking care of the family, like the taking care of the mm-hmm. people around you, like the taking care of the, your community, I think it, is, it can be a noble pursuit. But being an end in and of itself, you will be happy with the Bugatti. You will be happy with the muscles. You will be happy with the perfect body. That's all vacant lies, isn't it? Of course. Uh, it's like I said in that video, I think, if you're, if you're lucky enough to get old and you're sat there and, and you don't have your body, but you have all these materialistic things around you, I don't think that's going to be the thing that makes you happy. I think seeing your grandchildren running around, your kids still there for you, I think that's what's going to make you happy. What about so, the fact that your bloodline lives on? That cross generationally, you know that you have clones of yourself. You're you you have genetically lived on through the generations, and even if you're forgotten, your blood still exists. Isn't that really the highest value you could ever offer planet Earth? I agree. I yeah. think so. I think that's what we're meant to do. And yeah. I think if we can do that with somebody that has the same values as us to help us bring the best children into the world possible to make the world a little bit of a better place, then I think that's the best thing. This uh, comment, I uh, screenshotted it from your channel. Um, It was one of the best ones that I saw when I was scrolling through the comment section. This guy, his name is Killer Sushi. (laughs) Killer Sushi, (laughs) and he says, this guy has me fired up. My father was a tradesman. The day he retired, he was making about $36,000 a year. He was married 56 years. He owned a home and a little beach house, two cars, and raised three children. Not a single day in my life did I ever think I was poor. My wealth was knowing every day my dad would be there. I had loving parents that gave me what I needed. Maybe not everything I dreamed of, but we got by fine. My dad drove an old Ford pickup truck and built race cars for fun. He didn't go to some dealership and spend millions of dollars to have a vehicle. I loved that old pickup truck. We went everywhere in that truck. The time in that truck with him was my wealth. To me, priceless. Everyone loved my dad, not because of his net worth, but because everywhere he went, the world got a little bit better. I think that that's maybe the best definition uh, or the best explanation of what high value, what a high value man is. Is that... I uh, think think it is, yeah. I think it is. I read that comment, and I like that comment. Um, You hit the nail on the head. You hit the nail on the head. Um, I think when you're growing up as a kid, especially, you don't really care about how much money your parents have, do you? You care more about their presence, their values, how other people look at them and how they treat others. Um, So having a Ferrari and all these things, yeah, it's cool. I'm not saying it's, it's a bad thing, just like you said, but it's not the be all and end all. And it doesn't make you high value, in my opinion. Well, as pointed out, there was another channel uh, who did a review of this, and a clip of it was sent over to me, and the guy made a really good point. He said, you know, it's funny. Think about a seven-year-old girl, your daughter, in your home. How much money um, would she would she spend to make the monster in the closet go away? And only dad can make the monster in the closet go away. Would she rather have a million dollars, or does she want the monster in the closet to go away? And I would say that that's a really good analogy. It's uh, mm-hmm. showing, it's demonstrating what the value of a father is to a daughter, which is that the world is full of monsters, whether they're real or just perceived. And just having a male, a masculine male around in a young girl's life is enough in and of itself to make most of the monsters disappear. How do you put a value on that? Yeah, I think that's actually the main role of a man is to basically is for your family to look at you like the safety zone, the protector, the provider. So when your daughter, your wife is scared or having a problem, they look at you like, oh, everything's going to be all right. This guy's going to look after me. I think that's what a real man is and what a real high value man is. Isn't it interesting too, the that particular relationship between fathers and daughters, that seemingly when they have fucked everything up possible, when dad shows up, they just kind of melt, right? Up, oh, everything's yeah. going to be okay. Dad's yeah. here. Everything's going to get taken care of now. I can, I can breathe out a sigh of relief, right? 
And isn't yeah. isn't that the kind of man ultimately I think that men should strive to be? But now, well, a friend who's now mad at me, this girl's <coughs> mad at me. I'm so annoyed. I try to set up a debate with these pretty little Patriot girls, and they acted like they were the biggest victims. They're on the Whatever podcast, which is a confrontational podcast, and they, they you wouldn't even confront them that hard, but that's what the, the tone police. So let's play this clip. Do we have the clip, or do we have a tweet first? No, it's, uh, we have a full clip. We need to play the full 90 seconds. We have seconds. to play the full 90 seconds, or yeah. else they're going to be like, he didn't give it in the right context or something. So we got a 90-second clip, so let's watch it and get your instant reaction. Oh my word, <laughs> this guy is a never ending douchebag. This is the, the thumbnail for his cheesy, ridiculous beta male podcast. Andrew Wilson writes, Andrew destroys child support queens on whatever podcast. <laughs> Images of me. Here's the actual clip. Yeah, but I want to put it in a context that empowers women, which is yes, women who get to stay home and raise their children while their husband works hard. That is a blessing. Absolutely. That, that is a blessing mm -hmm. to the woman. And I have been an entrepreneur my entire life. And four years ago, I lost everything I had worked for. And God gave me the gift of enjoying my children at home and I didn't realize how incredibly empowering that was and well, that was our natural role and I will say this too as well God because if I don't keep talking you're just gonna talk over everybody child support started on this concept that well because I stayed home all of those formative years I wasn't able to this is when people got married at like 20 I wasn't able to go to college and build a career and now if we get divorced I don't have anything that I've done for myself except for these children. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm saying that's how child support started. And may I remind you that I have three children with one man, my current husband. I have only had three children with one man, my current husband. Andrew is married to a woman who has five kids from three different dads, and she has petitioned child support from all of those dads. You tell me who the false prophet is here. Thoughts? So first and foremost, um, she lifted those talking points from none other than a former prostitute. Um, <laughs> not kidding. Not a joke. Believe lifted it. those talking points from a former prostitute. On top of that, all she's saying there is that I'm so altruistic. I don't care about a woman's past that I guess that's the most unchristian like thing you can possibly do. She also didn't mention that she herself would have five children, except she murdered two of them with abortion. So it's really interesting how it how this woman can talk smack maybe it's true that uh, she's had all of her children uh we you know with the uh, with the same guy it's just that the previous guy's children she killed those children that's why that's you know so there's a there's a big distinction there boom roasted clip that no andrew and your wife's great i think she's an awesome debater too uh but that's that's the thing it's like in the, in that debate, did you even do now, it? Alex? We did have it set up, if I remember correctly. We did. She did lie and claim that you never reached out, never tried to set up a debate. However, you did DM me, try to set up a debate so that we could set the record straight. Instead, I've been living rent free inside of this chick's head, and she's referencing a clip I didn't even know was on the channel. I have a clips guy; he takes care of the clips. I wasn't even paying any attention to it. Yeah, in time out, Jimmy, who's an idiot, my producer, he can confirm. Jimmy, how many times did we reach out to Lindsay to get her on the podcast? So well, she's yeah, lying? We, no, we, we we were going back and forth for a while, and they wanted, like, certain criteria <laughs> mm -hmm. of doing the show. And then we agreed, and then she said, actually, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to platform Andrew. I was like, okay, well whatever so she with lied little teeny, with yeah, so little wait, wait, teeny she tiny that, audience she said that we never reached out i didn't know that they they wanted us mm. to make andrew rage quit on the show <laughs> that well, was their that exact true? that was their exact quote well i i just told her it's like if you want me to rage quit you have to do it yourself and i and i like i personally like Lindsay and kendall because you're gay jimmy yes okay. i'm pretty gay I, mean, I am <laughs> apparently but uh yeah i wish i could have seen this debate because it would have been great television i know andrew you're you're a pimp on a blimp when it comes to debating so tell me this though in this red pill manosphere isn't sometimes it is a little kind of toxic though right i mean like i'm not even trying to side with Lindsay, but like is, is the red pill toxic to like i guess women and in traditional life or is it not not really. No, most of the red pill creators that I've dealt with in the past seem to be highly respectful towards women. They just want their issues to be understood and they don't want to uh, straw man uh, by the opposition, which is what these feminists always do. They straw man the positions. These two women are wolves in sheep's clothing. They're feminists who are LARPing as trad cons, which is very, very, very common inside of this sphere. Um, they hate nothing more than being confronted on that fact. And one of the things that I often will do with these supposed conservative women is confront them on their feminist ideology. 
which then in turn upsets them and they go ballistic. These women were trying to market their clothing line. They weren't expecting to get actually confronted on ideology. The next day they were embarrassed, much like uh, women who will sleep with a man and then regret it the next day and then accuse him of SA. This is the same exact thing which happened here. They got humiliated. And so the next day, due to their bad performance, suddenly started to say that they were held hostage on the, the podcast. They said they were deprived of food and drink <laughs> and sleep. We showed pictures of them with their drinks in their hand drinking. We showed pictures of them, uh, you know, having a good time, having a ball. And by the way, if you watch that episode, they were far meaner to the girls who were on that podcast than I was. I can't debate you on that, Andrew. I think you're, I, that's one thing, Andrew. I do think you are intellectually honest. I would on, honestly say that. I don't think you're lying about anything. And it kind of makes me upset that she said that we never reached out. That's the farthest thing from the truth. So you win that debate, in my opinion. Okay, Chase. We got Chase Geyser on, Info Warrior right here, works at InfoWars. Chase, what do you want to tell uh, Andrew? Anything you want to talk to him about, blood sports debates? Well, I'll tell you what, when I watch debates like that and see women like that, it just makes me abundantly grateful that I am married and only have to deal with one. <laughs> it's like, I can't imagine being single it right makes, now. It makes what everybody, a nightmare. It makes, it makes every married man on planet Earth happy. That yeah. they only it saves so many marriages one. seeing that podcast. Yes. Even my girlfriend, I mean, my girlfriend too, I'm happy I only have to argue with her, but gosh, she'll debate me all damn day. I mean... But now, well, a friend who's now mad at me, this girl's <coughs> mad at me. I'm so annoyed. I tried to set up a debate with these pretty little Patriot girls, and they acted like they were the biggest victims. They're on the Whatever podcast, which is a confrontational podcast, and they, they you wouldn't even confront them that hard, but that's what the, the tone police. So let's play this clip. Do we have the clip, or do we have a tweet first? No, it's, uh, we have a full clip. We need to play the full 90 seconds. We have seconds. to play the full 90 seconds, or yeah. else they're going to be like, he didn't give it in right context or something. So we got a 90-second clip, so let's watch it and get your instant reaction. Oh my word, <laughs> this guy is a never ending douchebag. This is the, the thumbnail for his cheesy, ridiculous beta male podcast. Andrew Wilson writes, Andrew destroys child support queens on whatever <laughs> podcast. Images of me. Here's the actual clip. Yeah, but I want to put it in a context that empowers women, which is yes, women who get to stay home and raise their children while their husband works hard. That is a blessing. Absolutely. That, that is a blessing mm -hmm. to the woman. And I have been an entrepreneur my entire life. And four years ago, I lost everything I had worked for. And God <laughs> gave me the gift of enjoying my children at home and I didn't realize how incredibly empowering that was and well, that was our natural role and I will say this too as well God because if I don't keep talking you're just gonna talk over everybody child support started on this concept that well because I stayed home all of those formative years I wasn't able to this is when people got married at like 20 I wasn't able to go to college and build a career and now if we get divorced I don't have anything that I've done for myself except for these children. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm saying that's how child support started. And may I remind you that I have three children with one man, my current husband. I have only had three children with one man, my current husband. Andrew is married to a woman who has five kids from three different dads, and she has petitioned child support from all of those dads. You tell me who the false prophet is here. Thoughts? So first and foremost, um, she lifted those talking points from none other than a former prostitute. Um, <laughs> not kidding. Not a joke. Believe lifted it. those talking points from a former prostitute. On top of that, all she's saying there is that I'm so altruistic. I don't care about a woman's past that I guess that's the most unchristian like thing you can possibly do. She also didn't mention that she herself would have five children, except she murdered two of them with abortion. So it's really interesting how it how this woman can talk smack maybe it's true that uh, she's had all of her children uh we you know with the uh, with the same guy it's just that the previous guy's children she killed those children that's why that's you know so there's a there's a big distinction there boom roasted clip that no andrew and your wife's great i think she's an awesome debater too uh but that's that's the thing it's like in in that debate, did you even now, do Alex? We did have it set up, if I remember correctly. We did. She did lie and claim that you never reached out, never tried to set up a debate. However, you did DM me, try to set up a debate so that we could set the record straight. Instead, I've been living rent free inside of this chick's head, 
and she's referencing a clip I didn't even know was on the channel. I have a clips guy. He takes care of the clips. I wasn't even paying any attention to it. Yeah, in time out, Jimmy, who's an idiot, my producer, he can confirm. Jimmy, how many times did we reach out to Lindsay to get her on the podcast? So well, she's yeah, lying? We, no, we, we we were going back and forth for a while, and they wanted like <laughs> certain criteria mm -hmm. of doing the show, and then we agreed, and then she said, actually, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to platform Andrew. I was like, okay, well... Whatever. So she with lied, her little Andrew. Teeny, with yeah, her so little wait, teeny, she said tiny that audience. she said that we never reached out. I didn't know that. They they wanted us mm. to make Andrew rage quit on the show. <laughs> that well, was their exact. True. That was their exact quote. Well, I I just told her I was like, if you want me to rage quit, you have to do it yourself. And I and I like, I personally like Lindsay and Kendall. Because you're gay, Jimmy. Yes, okay. I'm pretty gay. I, mean, I am <laughs> apparently, but uh, yeah, I wish I could have seen this debate because it would have been great television. I know, Andrew, you're you're a pimp on a blimp when it comes to debating. So tell me this though, in this red pill manosphere, isn't sometimes it is a little kind of toxic though, right? I mean, like I'm not even trying to side with Lindsay, but like. Is the red pill toxic to, like, I guess, women and, and traditional life, or is it not? Not really, no. Most of the red pill creators that I've dealt with in the past seem to be highly respectful towards women. They just want their issues to be understood, and they don't want them uh, strawmanned uh, by the opposition, which is what these feminists always do. They strawman the positions. These two women are wolves in sheep's clothing. They're feminists who are LARPing as tradcons, which is very, very, very common inside of this sphere. Um, they hate nothing more than being confronted on that fact. And one of the things that I often will do with these supposed conservative women is confront them on their. Do you have a job? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You're a slave to money like me. Uh, that's a slave. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're a slave. A job? Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Yeah. I'll have a job. Yeah, Shagging. so wait, so wait, I just want, I just want you to, I, just so that we're clear, look directly in that camera <laughs> and tell a hundred million men that they're it's slaves good. because they don't let other here? men. Your chick for money and instead they have jobs. Go yes, ahead. Yes, if you want a good lifestyle yes, yes. and you don't let other people f*** your missus, you're missing out and you're a slave. You're missing out. Ladies missing and gentlemen, out. you're missing out. If you have one of those stupid jobs where you're supporting your family and you're not letting Chad f*** your chick for cash, you're missing out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Andrew! Oh, my God. Yes, I, I want to give credit to, uh, to uh, Bevo. Do you prefer Brandon or hey, Bevo? Bevo's we're, on, we're on the thing, yeah. Uh, you're you're being a good sport, Andrew. Yeah, no, Andrew's I'm coming fair, at I'm, you fair with it. I'm fair with it. This you're, one you're again. You're being a good sport. It, I appreciate. When it. you first come on, you, I was bored, like you, with all this God talk, and this one again to everyone here. Yeah, I'm we like, need this kind yeah, of. Shit. I respect your religion. Oh. I get it, but I personally, all I care about is money, living life, and making money for my children and my mother and my family mm -hmm. and my wife to be, Sophia. So I, I couldn't give a flying toss about God. Anyway, I could name them all, but yeah, I don't, I don't care personally. That's just me. That's Wait, question: Did you grow up uh, like religious or not religious? No, no uh, East End household. Then, then, not atheist. Okay. Yeah. Wait, one, uh, one question for you. I mean, would it be preferable? Were both your parents in your life by chance? Um. So yes, my no. Well, so my no, 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 there wasn't. I'll be honest. So my mum and dad split up when I was about three, four years old. But and then yeah. I had my stepfather that got married to my mum pretty quickly, and yeah, he's been there ever since. So I've had. A dad all the time again i see my dad but yeah i've had my stepfather is i'll call him dad as well because he's been there all the time and yeah sure. they've been in a happy marriage of 18 years Look, and there's nothing wrong no, there's, nothing listen, wrong with that. i'm not i'm not knocking uh you having a strong male role model in your life what does your stepdad think about other dudes plowing your chick though what does he say about that again i don't he hasn't really said much but if i showed him my bank balance he'd be like go on some Really? Yeah, definitely. It's a different would life you we tell live in your, now. Would you tell your kid to let other dudes plow his chick for money? If you if you enjoy it and you earn money, why not? Again, it, we're we're different. I'm, how old are you, my ask? Again, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm forty. You're forty. So you, you, my dad's yeah, my dad's a little bit older than you. It's a different life we live because more what my dad says, he's like, I'm very jealous of the money you make because back in his day, he didn't have access to social media, and do you know what I mean? And it, even he even told me do it son why not you're making the money you're enjoying life why not and again in 10 years time when i settle down with the love of my life to the left of me and have children and i've got all the money in the world happy days why not who gives a f, f? who cares who cares and god ain't gonna be there to save me god whatever i don't, I don't care okay. money's god to me yeah money's, i agree money's, money's god to you yeah. and you're a slave yes. to that god if you're a slave to your whereas god. my god no my god gave me free will in fact, my God rejects slavery 
uh, that is part of the religion, that it must be something which you come to on your own. Wow. I am the opposite of a slave. You, on the other hand, are completely and totally enslaved to materialism to the point where you can't see the objectively valuable thing in front of you. Listen, the objectively valuable thing which is right next to you is your woman. That is the most objectively valuable thing you'll ever have, and you sell her to other men. Do I sell you? For money. No. She enjoys it. I enjoy it. Why not? Because you don't you have do you have no sense of pride or dignity? Pride. Yeah. Uh, any sense of virtue at all? Do you have any self respect at have all? Respect, yeah, of course you do. And there's boundaries, of course there's boundaries. But again, we live life, we're young. What are the boundaries? You can only suck a guy's dick on Tuesday? Like what are the boundaries here? <laughs> Touch Friday. Friday, 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 <laughs> Friday, yeah. Um. <laughs> Wait, I got. I, go on, I, I got a quick question for you. Uh, like, just curious. I mean, if if you could have her stop sleeping with other men, like, would you prefer that over the current status quo? Like, if you're like, and you could keep it open on your end. No, 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 of course not, because it goes both ways. How you'd I want it both, it, both? No, both no, ways. of course, because I have respect for women, like. If I can't do something, she can't do it. If she can do something, I can do it, you know? So I'm not gonna say, yeah, I can sleep with all these birds and you can't sleep with all these men because it, it's unfair. So, no, well, it, Let's it say she was down for that though. She's like, babe, I, I don't wanna sleep with any other guys, but you can keep no, sleeping with girls I'll if you want to. I would be respectful. So you would just say, close oh, it off? Yeah, I'd close, close it off. Like, yeah, yeah, no, 100%. Because so I have respect okay. and you, you might not think I haven't, but I have. And again, if it's making money and we're having fun, why not? Listen, you get one life. Why are you stressing about God? Come on now. That's just how I act. Is. Well, I'm not, listen, I'm not stressing about God. I understand that you are a virtueless, pre-lest filled individual. I don't care, right, ultimately. I'm on the show, though, to talk specifically about the paradigm of world. Grid One Motorsports donated $200. If a man called me a Bye, cuck, baby. his teeth would look worse than the limey. I would be working in a BK for Mike Davis before I let man bang my wife. No man will ever be able to ask me how his dyke tastes. Yikes. Yeah, that's well, the thing, that's the, so this is the thing, <laughs> right? It's like, um, I can't read it. this, this is what we were alluding to earlier. Thank what you, I'm saying one. to you is that my job here is, is specifically to push back against worldviews. I have a worldview, you have a worldview. That's what I'm here to do is push back on that. You, yourself, being a cuck who lets other dudes stuff your wife yeah. on purpose, I'm not here to come in. Dylan Lolly donated $200. Oh, the revaluationary re war losers go like this. Cuck, cuck, cook, cuck, 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 Money. That's all I hear is money. So, whatever. Anyway. Right, because you're a slave to money. Yeah, How can you're a slave you not to say that you're a slave to money? It's the only thing you value. You value money over the virtue of your own woman. We have just been. How are you not a slave to money? Let's say that again. Sorry. How are you not enslaved to money if you value yeah, it over everyone, the virtue of again, your own I, woman? I, I listen. If you have a nine till five, I'm not disrespecting, but I am financially free. I can buy what I want. I can do what I want. When I was working a job for probably conversion to dollars per about $600 a week, I was spent 12 hours a day working. I would go home, have a shower, eat my dinner, go to bed, go back to work six days a week. That is a slave to someone else, your boss. That is a slave. It's not enslavement. It is. It's yeah, a slavery. It, it, it's slavery. No, it's, it's not if I can get my cock out and make offering, money, I'll Offering will. added value and service to the world, which makes it a better place, the opposite of enslavement. You working a job, providing goods and services to other individuals is something which is highly valuable. I would value that. Value. Chris donated like $200. Like Andrew, he doesn't let her bang other men. She obviously wears the pants and wants this, and he has to agree with it. Stop pretending like he has a choice. He is weak. Okay. He can't defend himself. Cut. I love that word. I love it. Yeah, but, uh, but anyway, so back to this. Uh, that's there's a lot of value which is being added here. If you if you have a job, you're providing goods and services that people need. Right? They need those services. Yeah, I don't know. That's important. I know I need money. You you hang on. You strip all the value off. Your money, the money that you earn, is cheap. It's cheap money. It's cheap money and it's valueless, you worship it. And instead, you give the most, the thing that you should value the most, which is your wife, you give her away as a whole.
to other men. It's just not and you say, me being a c and making money, that's the most important thing. Why, how, how could a man ever respect somebody who has no virtue like that? How could they do that? Again, we're young, we're making money, we're living life. And again, when I'm 30 years old and I wanna have children and I wanna relax it a bit. Again, I still do social media, but I won't pre be as open as we are. We live in Kushti, do what we want when we want. And yeah, we settle down then, but who cares? Sex is great, money's great, filming it's great, why not? Andrew. So what happens when you're 40? Oh. I'll be living in my mansion with a nice Ferrari on the drive with my beautiful kids and my beautiful wife, so. I, I just wanna let you know, here's a good piece of wisdom for you that you'll ignore, but I'll give it to you anyway. When people get cheap money, they spend money cheaply. And what ends up happening is it cheapens them and they end up with no money and they end up without any of the things which they thought the cheap money was gonna bring them. They, they never end up with those things. Money which comes easy go, or easy come, it's also easy go. Yeah, That's why you have what's called the lottery curse. The lottery curse uh, is most people who win the lottery end up broke within just a few years. And the reason is, is because the money came cheap. Money came cheap and so it's easy out the window. You'll never value it nearly as much as you would value the virtue of your woman, but you gave that away. That's not true. I would say like, if you have like healthy relationship with your money, your financials most definitely going to grow. Just depends on how you invest in yourself. If you keep spending, most, uh, if you, spe you, if you spend up, more time spending, you then broke. you lose more oh. money. But if you work, most more. workers end up broke. Most workers end up broke most lottery winners end up broke they almost always are you a broke. sex worker if you're not then no. you, if you don't if you're not oh, a sex so worker I, I then you shouldn't the have any in order to, say. to comment on the thing that yeah clear. if you if you're not a sex worker okay. or anything like that or have done anything you, you, you don't can you i screw in a light say. bulb if i'm not an electrician that has nothing to compare to yeah, like sex does. work that's, same logic. You're saying that's not the same logic not the thing. that's that not <laughs> That's yeah, not it's the, the same. same logic. Yeah, it is. It's the same logic. The logic is you can't comment on the thing if you're not the thing. I can't comment on the constitution if I'm not a prostitute. I can't screw in a light yeah, bulb because if I'm not an electrician. A light bulb no is sense. so much different. You can put on a light bulb in two seconds. Being like as a content creator full time, you do that day in, day out like a job. Like how you yeah. attend this podcast is different. So you yeah, have so no what? idea. Have you no will idea never know. Why. You will never I know until it. you put yourself in someone's so you, shoes. I just, want to, I just want to make sure I got this clear. So your I opinion does make... not matter at the end of the day. We will never oh, take I advice see, from you because you're not you a sex vote? worker. You, if you're you... a sex worker, then we would take advice from you. Okay. Do you vote? Yeah, I vote. Yeah, I, I don't understand. Vote. Why do you vote? You're not a politician. You'll never understand. Because what it's I like want to choose who to govern All right. the country so that wait, I live in. So wait, wait a second. So you can have a say even though you're not a politician. That's really weird. It's more what do you talk back to people have fought for the decision for that certain thing but no one's fought for you to have a decision on sex work yeah they, people they've been fighting lives. about it for the last hundred years they've been fighting about the decision on sex work how Be well i mean feminism is part of sexual liberation sexual liberation is the promotion also of sex work yeah but that is a political it's a political agenda there's not been wars over sex work. There's been wars over voting. That's the difference. Oh yeah, where? Where's there ever been a war over voting? No, someone died over voting. You don't know, right? You just made it up, I, right? No, like, I, no, you know. I learned it. You just think so. It just sounded well. good, so you just said it, right? <laughs> yeah, there's wars over religion. I won't get into it, but there's wars over religion, which yeah, I there's also disagree, war over atheism. Have you ever heard because... of communism? That's an atheistic. That's an atheistic. Uh, mode of governance and what they did was kill all the religious just so you know so you, you act like religion is the only way in which there's going to be war we have these massive atheistic armies like the communists had and what they did was put all the religious to the sword so it's not like your guys' hands are clean so most most wars are based on religion I won't say again we're not clean, no I wouldn't but... say most wars are based on religion I'd say most of them are based on resources but mm. that's just me okay Let's uh, move things on a little bit. Uh, that was good. We'll, we'll, let's, we'll hear a bit more from some of the other panelists. That was a good, uh, that was a good uh, exchange. Your, uh, your future daughter, Cindy Lou, okay, comes over and, um, you know, uh, or you know what, let's do this even easier. Let's say your little son, Jack, comes over to you at 19 years old. And all things equal, Jack has the choice between two women. They both adore him. They're both beautiful. 
They both have what you would consider to be great virtues, but one of them had a past that was highly promiscuous and the other one does not. Which one would you want Jack to end up with? Well, um, are you asking me? Because yeah. my, my personal opinion, like what I, what I would say is whichever one he felt like he wanted to pursue and whichever yeah, one. Yeah, but he says, but Mom, I can't decide. They both adore then me. Then neither. And I like them. I like <laughs> them you can't both. decide yeah. who like you want to pursue, like then both. neither. Not right? They're both, both, they're both pursuing okay. me with rigor, right? If you I, had to make I this think it'd be a better, it better, it better. Hang on, hang on, let me finish the question. Let me finish the question. I just <laughs> your let you question answer. doesn't make sense. No, I'll, I'll help. It out. does. It does. Well, hang on, it does make sense, right? So the the question is, is that if they have the same current virtue but not the same past, wouldn't you recommend that your son move for the one that has the same virtue as the other? but without all of the bear down Back of the past. I don't believe that the past has any relevance to the current. Yes, I just don't understand. Hold on, I but, definitely but, hold on, just, it but just, just to answer his question, <laughs> he's his asking face. you, he's asking you just in, actually try to engage with Well, that's, I mean, hold that's on, insane. Wait, what do you mean how, the past has no relevance? So we'll, we'll if, get to that, wait, Andrew. If she was a felon that had no relevance, if, uh, if, you know, well, I if, she I blew, a if she blew felon, 100 so. guys, <laughs> if she blew 100 guys in a month long blow, blow dick affair, right? She had a blow dick a thon that, that, and she blew 100 guys that would have no relevance to you whatsoever. Really? Go ahead. Tell me with a straight face that you're not lying to me. No. Tell me with a straight face that would have no relevancy yeah. to you yeah. whatsoever. No. No, you do think that. You're because, full like, of there's, shit. There's, like, full there's shit. There's consequences. What's who this the fuck about would, the who would ever believe you that that would mean nothing no. to you for little Jack? You'd be like, you know, Jack, no don't way. worry about it. Sure, she sucked a hundred dicks in a blow He's dickathon. Move past it. Okay. Leave I'm, the other shit. How do you get shit, invited you know? to the dickathon? Hold on. Because this stemmed from... <laughs> Like the advice to have girls wait and be less promiscuous. Well, okay, and then he was talking to me. About okay, it. hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, I do actually want to see if we can get an, Andrew, uh, an answer to Andrew's question. If you had to counsel your son, which do you pick? Well, I mean, as a mom, I'm sure I would prefer the one that was less promiscuous, but I truly believe that people can be reformed. People can. Uh, separate themselves from their past and start sure. anew, and that's from my own experience, and that's from my husband's experience. Yeah, we're, so no, that's, we're not doubting that so th people that can is, be reformed. That's what, I that's what I base my answer off of. Yeah, but nobody's doubting that reform reformation is not only possible, but is key to the Christian ethic. But that does not erase your previous deeds. It does not erase your past. That just because you have been redeemed, the past no longer exists. For instance, you would agree with me that a who horribly people could be redeemed by Christ, right? Yeah, of course. Are we going to just suddenly forget that he? You don't forget. <laughs> you don't forget. Okay, about the past. No, but, it matters. But it is forgiven, and so when you. I didn't receive, say it's not forgiven. Receive, I said it matters. That's the point. Is that it matters? It's not that it's an equal thing across the board. That still took people, loved ones away from families. They still did so horrible things. So let me ask things. you, Andrew. Why does it matter to you so much? It, that a, a person has a past because Why I don't want to see my children. Various crazy if people donated $69. Jesus <laughs> forgives your past, men don't. I got something here. I got something. So because look. if I had to counsel my children to answer your question directly, of course I'm going to counsel them to go with the person who has the higher virtue without the past because it shows a pattern of behavior that they've always moved towards virtue. It shows a pattern of behavior that they've always moved inside of that field of view. And so um, I'm not going to just dismiss a person's past behavior because their head was dunked in holy water and they say, now I've been saved. Christianity is a lifelong process. That's what theosis is. Your past is not suddenly erased. Mine isn't. Yours isn't. Nobody's is. That's why. And not only is that logical and consistent, but that's within the ethic itself as well. Redemption without works is no type of redemption at all. It can spend, see, you can take a lifetime to really repent for the horrible things that you did, like St. Mary of Egypt, for instance, who was a sex worker, promiscuous, spent the rest of her life in seclusion, in repentance. That's the type of thing that is redemption, not I got my head dunked and now my past is erased. That's insanity.
Well, are you? Wait, looking, wait, hold on, you... hold on. Question, question here. So, okay, do you think a man is wrong for not being willing to date a woman who perhaps she's changed, she's been redeemed, but despite this, she still has a past? Do you think a man is wrong for not wanting to date her because of her past? Absolutely not. I don't oh, think so then what are we arguing about? That's that. why I'm confused because yeah. because well, I want to know why it's so important to Andrew. Because if you look at the fruit of a person's current life, if you look at if you look at the fruit of of the spirit, and you see that someone is you well, know, so then you do complete. object to a man not wanting to date a woman with a past. So wait, wait. So wait a second. So wait, you would uh, you you couldn't judge the fruit. You would have to ask your husband, right? <laughs> This is not a productive word. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, listen, I just want to know why it is that you wouldn't give a woman that has a past, you know, a chance if if she was trying to be different. Or I didn't say I wouldn't give them a chance. I didn't say that I okay. would not. Yeah, that was uh, me. I would okay. not. Hang on. I didn't say that I would not adhere to the Christian ethic. What I said specifically is that if I was going to counsel my children, my children, which is the question that I asked you, and they were to come to me and say that a person had a very highly promiscuous past. They had had sex with tons of people. And, so, you know, last week or a year ago, they got their head dunked in what they perceived to be some holy water from the local heresy Protestant church and then said, hey, I'm reformed. Look at me. Everything's OK now uh, that I'm going to counsel them against that. And I'm going to tell them, no, that's not the fruits. Fruits are, are seen through works. That's how you see what the fruit is. Otherwise, how could you ever determine what the fruits are? In this particular case, here's what the fruits are. She was a prostitute, or she was a loose woman. And in any case, this is counseled both ways in the Bible against both types of women, easy women and prostitutes. So yeah, it's gonna take a little more than, um, well, I just, I just got baptized last week, last month, last year, yeah, of before course. I give my blessing to my kid to marry somebody like that I and i would question. think that you would counsel them the same way your past is not just erased and I, I don't and i don't say that that's wrong and i don't i don't say that men should feel obligated to date a woman if they're uncomfortable with their past whether their present life is like that or not i don't think that that should be held against them because yeah but this is the wrong way to look at it this is why we keep arguing right because i'm saying she just they said there's shouldn't no I'm saying that my advice would be you should not do that. Just because they're reformed and Christ has forgiven them doesn't mean it's a good idea for you to marry a former or a former promiscuous woman. Just because Christ has forgiven them, that's great. Then that's what, how that's would the you, path. How would, you, how would you preach that to a current Tell me. I would tell them you're going to have to live with what you did just like I would David tell a man. TM donated $69. Andrew, your point about women hiding behind religion is valid. Your favorite logical fallacies are Marlboro red herrings, straw man, and false dilemma. If a woman can prove she's reformed, may. Andrew, you're yeah, about. What does that even mean? So anyway. Oh wait, hold, sorry. Hold. Various crazy people donated sixty-nine dollars. Born again Christian here. Former psycho man in the forest essay artist. Serial. Oh, Oh. But you have to excuse my past. Dumb. <laughs> that is dumb. But back to this, <laughs> back to your point, because it's important. Um, your, your question uh, was asking me about forgiveness. Yes, of course it can be forgiven. They should be forgiven. And you ask me, well, wait a second. What would you say? I would say the same thing I would say to a man. You have to take accountability for what you did. That's part of the fruits you bear is accountability, especially under Christian ethics. That's what humbleness is about. It's part of accountability. I wish I would see more reformed who went over to the Christian ethics who said, I'm accountable for everything I did, and I'm going to spend my life making sure that all these wrongs I did were righted. But they don't do that. Well, they go, that's, oh, I think that's well, what, I did these horrible wrongs, but now I'm safe. Don't judge me. We're disagreeing because you're talking about women that weren't actually born again, and I'm talking about women that were. Exactly. That's, no, you're that's, not. You're talk, we're talking about the same type of woman. You no. think, for instance, a or tomorrow could go to your church, whichever one it is that you go to, and the pastor could dunk her, she's saved, right? No, no. you can't just say that you're saved. 
You can't. You, I could say that I'm a freaking yeah. Okay, hippopotamus, she gave her heart to Jesus. I'm sorry. She comes in. She says, I, "I." She throws herself down. She says, "Lord, forgive me." He dunks her. Okay. These now actions she's saved, right? She she has she saved. has she has been saved. Is that wrong? It, it oh, she would know that because she would accept Holy Spirit into her life. Right. Sure. Okay. Truth so she knows so that the she's only been way saved. done that. The only way another then, person can know is by the fruit. That is the That's only right. Way another the only way another know. person could know. You'll know is before the fruit. the fruit comes out. But yeah, but how other do you people know? won't know. How do you? Until you see how the would fruit you judge that? a woman okay. so the, the, who spent the, twenty years the, blowing men? The what ex, fruit the does she need to produce? The ex would feel after you receiving the Holy Spirit an, <laughs> an immense amount of shame. For, first and foremost, you would feel conviction in your heart for the first time, and that conviction would prompt you to. Listen, you can laugh all you want, but this is to do just what it would prompt. It would to do prompt what? you to want to change, reform, and and take ownership and accountability for that past. Mm -hmm. however, oh, I see. So, however, so for instance, they, if however, I could tell you that there's a former star who exists right this second, who's been sitting literally right where you're sitting right this second, literally been sitting there. Yeah. And she went and she got uh, dunked at HeresyChurch.com. <laughs> Being and she baptized. She went on a, make a publicity see. tour with her testament. Okay her testimonial to the world about how she has been reformed by Christianity, okay, you would say that this has not been enough time given for I'm us to really judge the fruit. Right? No, I, I think that, that telling the testimony and making a public, I guess, proclamation about your past and owning up to it and actively speaking about that testimony in, in front of people, in front of an audience, or you're saying this person is like, okay, um, talking in front of an audience. I think that that would be considered fruit, right? No, would fruit. Be, I wouldn't. I would consider. Would I would listening. consider <laughs> that a person. I like man, uh, I like stone fruit. Just that mangoes. just that just oh, rolling yeah. through just, with your testament, your testimony, your testimony you doesn't like mean anything. That what I means something <laughs> is what you actually is do. Fruit is, is what you well okay but here's the fruits the fruits are a lot more attention yeah, for you now. and a, now a shield and a cloak from criticism using christianity as your shield i would say that i would like to see women like this who reform actually give their life to making compensation to, towards those that they horrifically wronged and i don't ever see that ever based um, yeah how about this so I women, completely agree with you. I completely on. agree so, with you. So women can change and be redeemed, but men are not obliged to then disregard their baggage and marry them. Nope, they're not. These are compatible. No, and I it's think compatible. That's, that's, part, that's part of the works that Andrew is talking about. It's going to take work for you to earn the trust from a man when you have that type of past. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. that's, I completely which agree is, with that. Which is why you encourage girls Carnal to pursue knowledge. the highest form of purity. Damn, she's far as fuck from the mic oh right now. I think Holy everyone shit. is entitled to have their preferences <laughs> when it comes to dating. Here, I do have to move on here. We do have, uh, let's see. Should you wait to have sex in a relationship? Well, we kind of already talked about that. You wanted to uh, men be following OF models on Instagram. I agree with you. Men should not be following women on any women on Instagram. Uh, Unilad, OnlyFans star, make it a little bigger, please. Uh, how much she made sleeping with 122 college students during spring break. Made a staggering amount. How much did you make? 250000 and this is three. This was through your OF. Yes, like the boys that I sleep with, it's free. I it's don't free for them. them. Yes. You don't charge them. Okay. Yeah. Two, how much? Two hundred. Yeah, two hundred fifty thousand. Okay. All right. US dollars. You wait. You just so you just, hang on. You just film it so that um, other people can see it. Essentially, is yes. that how you were making the money? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, and then you said you slept with thirty-two eighteen-year-old virgins, and you filmed that too. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious, like for the guys in the chat, is it, and maybe the girls can weigh in too, like is it a W to lose your virginity as a guy to star? Like is that, a, is that like a bragging, do you think it's a bragging thing? Or? Well I think like personally when people lose their virginity, it's usually terrible. Like yeah. I gave them a very good experience. A good and sexual like experience. For, for sure, and not only that, like it was so relatable. Like, because the reason that I started doing that in the first place is that when I started you watching porn, 
it wasn't relatable. Like, I was like, when I have sex for the first time, it is not gonna be nothing like that. Like, they're professional people that do it all the time. So I was like, there's no better way to make it relatable than literally sleeping with virgins themselves because mm. everyone performs so differently. Like, some people barely lasted 30 seconds. Some people went for quite a long time. How do you find, how do you confirm that they're virgins? You just ask them? Um, yeah, like, obviously, there's no way of proving it. There's no... Right. Um, just like scouts on her. They're pretty nervous, and I wouldn't say they're very good at knowing what to do and sure. where things go. So. Okay. Well, yeah, for many of them, it was probably their very first time with a prostitute, right? So that's yeah. and that, that's that is your use. prescription here, right? Your prescription is, according to you, that men should lose their virginity to prostitutes. No, I'm not saying they should. They're contacting me. I'm no, not short of people to make videos with. My inbox is full of people begging. Yeah, I mean, but do you think that it's virtuous to take a man's virginity? Like, would you recommend that that men go to a prostitute so that they can they can get rid of their V card? Does that sound the like it's like, very virtuous to you? So after they've slept with me, they're confident they're walking away. Like they'll continue like asking for tips, messaging me. The next person they sleep with, they're going to be able to give that woman a good experience. If they sleep with someone that's also new to sex, they're both probably going to be walking away from that experience no better than what they was, and both shit it. What? Oh, you're, what Not you're sure doing. I'm not sure I agree you're with just, that, but... You're, just, you're just ahead. building, you're just building confidence in, in these kids. For sure. Basically a community work. Yeah, I mean, you're really, you're really a saint when it's, when we get right down to it. I, I am mean, indeed. you were, you know, willingly taking their virginity away mm -hmm. so that you could build confidence in them so that they could go out then and face the world having dick down a prostitute. You think that that that, do you think that they might have regret later? Do you think they might be like, oh man, I've not really had should one probably person. have not given up my virginity to an actual prostitute who then filmed it and showed it to other men. Like, do you yeah. think that that was maybe if I kind of low key, the thing is like awful my, thing to do? For sure, I, like, but my name is very much out there. It's not hidden what I do. They fully know when they sleep with me, it is to get posted. Yeah, aren't we also talking about consenting adults? Like they sure. agreed, they consented to sleep with yeah, her. Yeah, so what if they consented? The People video. can consent to all kinds of horrible things. Doesn't make it a good thing to do it. You uh, can consent to take drugs, for instance. It doesn't mean it's a good thing to take drugs. You we're can consent to all sorts of horrible things. We're talking about adults who are making their own decisions, things. though. Right. What's that? We're, we're talking about adults who are making their own decisions. Who are yeah, I know what we're talking about is adults making their own decisions. I just got done giving you my argument against that, which is that who cares? It doesn't matter because adults make horrible decisions all the time. Well, consent to doesn't me is very important. doesn't matter if they important. consent to it. doesn't mean it's a good thing just because they consent to it. But they, that's what sure. their choice is. Some people yeah. like pink hair, some people like blue hair. It's down to a choice. Yeah. If they want to sleep with me, sleep with a prostitute, if you want to word it that way. That is their choice, and they can withdraw consent at any point. And it's well, I mean, you, I mean, you do them. agree that it's prostitution, right? I mean, I, mean, I don't know why no, people think no it's like a bad word. About that. It's I do What's OnlyFans. That? I'm an OnlyFans creator. If we want to call it prostitution, we can call it that. I don't care. Is it? I mean, I wouldn't say it is, but I'm not. I'm not bothered. I'm you not wouldn't say that having sex with men, for, having sex with men for money is prostitution. I don't really get obsessed Grid with what we call it. One Motorsports donated two hundred dollars. If a man dicked down this many women, he would be called a predator and likely be in prison for SA. There is nothing to be proud here. This is what mental illness actually looks like. Get help. Hmm. Um, yeah, that's okay. not true. I mean, yeah, I mean, a, this would be the yeah, yeah, it is no, true. No, what do you so mean? Like, if, if, that, an man, if an adult me, man, if an adult man is actually sleeping with calm consenting down, adult down, women, how is he going to be considered down, a lady, predator down, and a sexual lady. assault? Relax, lady. Calm down. We're all, we're having a good, nice conversation. Good, sir. Relax. Exactly. So you should let you'll, me also speak. Right? You'll be able. Yeah, no, but yeah. we were speaking. So not you. You weren't speaking. Me and her were speaking. So I'll, I'll no, I was actually just, responding just to I'll, someone I'll get you on the chat. Just let them, just let them okay, have a back and forth. I promise I'll get you in. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, I'm. Go I'm not bothered. So if you want to call case, it prostitution? That's fine. I call it as an OF creator, but I'm not. I'm not phased of what you want to call it. You saying prostitution is you're trying to insult me with it. I don't think it's a bad word. I don't care if that's what you want to call me. I'm fine okay. with what I do. Okay, so I just, wanna, I just want you to understand the scope of this, that if a man set himself up in a hotel room yeah. where he was filming himself sleeping with virgins, 
mm -hmm. and getting paid lots and lots of money for it, don't you think society would have a way different outlook on that? That's not my problem. If society has got an issue with it. Yeah, I know, but I... that's not my question. I didn't ask you if it was your problem. I asked if you think society would have a way different outlook on they it. They probably would, yes. But I also received yeah. a lot of hate. But there's also not, I'm, I was 24 at the time when I was filming the content. Well, there's mm -hmm. not a massive, massive age difference. And the biggest point is they're choosing. If the women, 18 year olds plus, was choosing to sleep with a guy for experience and fun, and that's what they classed as fun, then no, society shouldn't have an issue with that. Yeah, so um, essentially, as, as we dive into this, you understand that society would have a much larger issues with, with this. They would not be writing articles about that guy. They would not be celebrating him. They would not say how, uh, how great it is that he made $250,000 pulling the virginity from 30 women, filming it, and then putting it out there so that he could make a bunch of money. Wouldn't they consider him to basically be uh, both a prostitute, gigolo, and pimp at the same time? Wouldn't society basically be very upset with this guy for doing that? I think, well, society was mad at me myself. I went on Sky News, did multiple interviews on me saying it was disgusting, they didn't approve of it. The MP of Australia came forward, did an interview, but like I said, that's not my problem. The main thing is it's legal, they're consenting. If people have an issue with it, I really couldn't give a shit. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, do you think that if that led to laws which would reform that so that other women couldn't do that, would you be against those laws? If the law changes, I'll then change my rules. Until then, <laughs> no. Yeah, but that's not my question. My question is, would you be against those laws? No, but we, we've chosen it to be 18. I don't see why we need to be treating 18 as a child. It would then so you, wouldn't be, you wouldn't be against the laws if people wanted to reform this so that no other women could ever do that inside of Australia. What? So you women, would not oppose women that. can't sleep with 18 year olds. No, that's not my, that's not the law. The law, the re, if you were to reform the law to say that women couldn't uh, cam up, film themselves having sex with virgin men and then sell it, distribute it for cash, uh, would you oppose that law? Yeah, I don't see the issue with that. Uh, Unilad, OnlyFans star, make it a little bigger, please. Uh, how much she made sleeping with 122 college students during spring break made a staggering amount. How much did you make? 250,000. And this is three, this was through your OF? Yes, yeah, so like the boys that I sleep with, it's free. It's I don't free for them. them. Yes. You don't charge them. Okay. Yeah. To, how much? 200? Yeah, 250,000. Okay. All right. US dollars. You wait, you just, so you, hang on, you just film it so that um, other people can see it essentially? Is yes. that how you were making the money? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, and then you said you slept with 32 18-year-old virgins, and you filmed that too? Yeah. Uh, I'm curious, like, for the guys in the chat, is it, and maybe the girls can weigh in too, like, is it a W to lose your virginity as a guy to star? Like, is that, a, is that like a bragging? Do you think it's a bragging thing? Or? Well, I think, like, personally, when people lose their virginity, it's usually terrible. Like, yeah. I gave them a very good experience. A and good sexual, like, experience. For, for sure. And not only that, like, it was so relatable. Like, because the reason that I started doing that in the first place is that when I started you watching porn, there. it wasn't relatable. Like, I was like, when I have sex for the first time, it is not going to be nothing like that. Like, they're professional people that do it all the time. So I was like, there's no better way to make it relatable than literally sleeping with virgins themselves because mm. everyone performs so differently. Like some people barely lasted 30 seconds. Some people went for quite a long time. How do you find, how do you confirm that they're virgins? You just ask them? Um, yeah, like obviously there's no way of proving it. There's no... Right. Um, just like scouts on her. They're pretty nervous and I wouldn't say they're very good at knowing what to do and sure. where things go, so... Okay. Well, yeah, for many of them, it was probably their very first time with a prostitute. Right. So that's yeah. and that, that's that is your prescription use. here. Right. Your prescription is, according to you, that men should lose their virginity to prostitutes. No, I'm not saying they should. They're contacting me. I'm no, not short of people to make videos with. My inbox is full of people begging. Yeah. I mean, but do you think that it's virtuous to take a man's virginity? Like, would you recommend that, that men go to a prostitute so that they can they can get rid of their V-card? Does that sound the like amount, it's very like, virtuous to you? So after they've slept with me, they're confident, they're walking away, like they'll continue like asking for tips, messaging me. The next person they sleep with, they're gonna be able to give that woman a good experience. If they sleep with someone that's also new to sex, they're both probably gonna be walking away from that experience no better than what they was and both shit at it. What? Oh, so you're, what Not you're sure doing I agree with that, just, but... Go you're ahead, just, you're go just ahead. building... You're just building confidence in, 
in these kids. For sure. Were Basically a community worker. Yeah, I mean, you're really, you're really a saint when it's when we get right down to it. I, I am mean, indeed. you were, you know, willingly taking their virginity away mm -hmm. so that you could build confidence in them so that they could go out then and face the world having dick down a prostitute. You think that that, that, do you think that they might have regret later? Do you think they might be like, oh man, I've really not had should one probably person. have not given up my virginity to an actual prostitute who then filmed it and showed it to other men. Like, do you yeah. think that that was maybe if I kind of low-key, like, awful my, thing to do? For sure, I, like, but my name is very much out there. It's not hidden what I do. They fully know when they sleep with me, it is to get posted. Yeah, aren't we also talking about consenting adults? Like, they for agreed, sure. they consented to sleep with yeah, her. Yeah, so what if they consented? The People video. can consent to all kinds of horrible things. Doesn't make it a good thing to do it. You can any... consent to take drugs, for instance. It doesn't mean it's a good thing to take drugs. You we're can consent to all sorts of horrible things. We're talking about adults who are making their own decisions, things. though. Right? And What's that? We're, we're talking about adults who are making their own decisions. Who are consenting. Yeah, I know what we're talking about is adults making their own decisions. I just got done giving you my argument against that, which is that who cares? It doesn't matter because adults make horrible decisions all the time. Well, consent to doesn't me is very important. It doesn't matter if they important. consent to it. doesn't mean it's a good thing just because they consent to it. But they, that's what sure. their choice is. Some people yeah. like pink hair, some people like blue hair. It's down to a choice. Yeah. If they want to sleep with me, sleep with a prostitute, if you want to word it that way, that is their choice. And they can withdraw consent at any point. And it's well, I mean, you, I mean, you do them. agree that it's prostitution, right? I mean, I, mean, I don't know no, why people think no it's like a bad word. That. It's I do OnlyFans, I'm an OnlyFans creator. If we want to call it prostitution, we can call it that. I don't care. Is it? I mean, I wouldn't say it is, but I'm not. I'm not bothered. I'm you not phased by the title. You wouldn't say that having sex for men, for, having sex with men for money is prostitution. I don't really get obsessed Grid one with what we call it. donated two hundred dollars. If a man dipped down this many women, he would be called a predator and likely be in prison for SA. There is nothing to be proud here. This is what mental illness actually looks like. Get help. Um, yeah, that's okay. not true. I mean, yeah, I mean, a, this would be the yeah, yeah, this. No, true. what do you so mean? Like, instance, if, if that, an adult man, this, here, if an adult man is actually sleeping with calm consenting down, adult down, women, time, how is he going to be considered down, a predator down, and a sexual lady. assault? Relax, lady, calm down. We're all, we're having a nice conversation. Good, sir. Relax. Exactly. So you should let you'll, me also speak. Right? You'll be able. Yeah, no, but yeah. we were speaking. So not you. You weren't speaking. Me and her were speaking. So I'll, I'll no, I was actually Mr. responding Here. to I'll, someone I'll in the chat. Just let, the, just let them okay, have a back and forth. I promise I'll get you in. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm not bothered. So you want to call case. it prostitution, that's fine. I call it as an OF creator, but I'm not I'm not phased of what you want to call it. You saying prostitution okay. is you're trying to insult me with it. I don't think it's a bad word. I don't care if that's what you want to call me. I'm fine okay. with what I do. Okay, so I just want to just want you to understand the scope of this. That if a man set himself up in a hotel room yeah. where he was filming himself sleeping with virgins mm -hmm. and getting paid lots and lots of money for it, don't you think society would have a way different outlook on that? That's not my problem. If society has got an issue with that, yeah, I know, but guy... that's not my question. I didn't ask you if it was your problem. I asked if you think society would have a way different outlook on. They it. probably would. Yes, but I also received yeah. a lot of hate. But there's also not. I'm. I was 24 at the time when I was filming the content. Well, there's mm -hmm. not a massive, massive age difference. And the biggest point is they're choosing. If the women, 18 year olds plus, was choosing to sleep with a guy for experience and fun, and that's what they classed as fun, then no, society shouldn't have an issue with that. Yeah, so um, essentially, as, as we dive into this, you understand that society would have a much larger issues with, with this. They would not be writing articles about that guy. They would not be celebrating him. They would not say how, uh, how great it is that he made $250,000 pulling the virginity from 30 women, filming it, and then putting it out there so that he could make a bunch of money. Wouldn't they consider him to basically be uh, both a prostitute, gigolo, and pimp at the same time? Wouldn't society basically be very upset with this guy for doing that? I think, well, society was mad at me myself. I went on Sky News, did multiple interviews on me saying it was disgusting, they didn't approve of it. The MP of Australia came forward, did an interview. But like I said, that's not my problem. The main thing is it's legal, they're consenting. If people have an issue with it, I really couldn't give a shit. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, do you think that if that led to laws which would reform that so that other women couldn't do that, would you be against those laws? If the law changes, I'll then change my rules. Until then, no. Yeah, but that's not my question. My question is, would you be against those laws? No, but we've chosen it to be 18. I don't see why we need to be treating 18 as a child. It would then so you we... wouldn't be... 
you wouldn't be against the laws if people wanted to reform this so that no other women could ever do that inside of Australia. What? So you women, would not oppose women that. can't sleep with 18 year olds. No, that's not my, that's not the law. The law, the rep, if you were to reform the law to say that women couldn't uh, cam up, film themselves having sex with virgin men and then sell it, distribute it for cash, uh, would you oppose that law? Yeah, I don't see the issue with that. What's the line that white people can start experiencing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Answer it. Like the, well, I guess it's hard. The line at which white people would have to be in, I'm not really sure I understand the question. He's asking, how much institutional He's asking, power how much would, less white do you have to be before you can enter into theoretically having perpetuated on you if people look at you and perceive you as black or a different race what if you have vitiligo i think people you can still easily tell if someone is black with vitiligo okay just except checking. maybe in the case of like people who have extreme cosmetic procedures like michael jackson but there's always going to be fringe cases that are that are a little weird but i think everyone can easily perceive race but if we're just saying the bad is the bad because that's what we're just saying here. The bad is the bad. Whatever we perceive is bad, and whatever we perceive as bad is what we don't like. Then mm -hmm. if white people say that if you're going after them based on their skin color and they don't like it, then that's that, that would be the same exact standard you would appeal to. I don't know how you get around that. Well, I think there can be things beyond. Th there, I mean, it, it can be a problem of scale. Like, what what is more bad? If we're just talking about what's bad, what is more bad? I, I say that this is more bad. Like, if we're really going to reduce it down to that... I think there's Yeah, but more I say that that's less bad. Okay, well then, I mean, what are we even arguing? <laughs> that's I... my whole point. This is the problem when we're going into justifications of what is bad. If it's just the bad is the bad is the bad is the bad, you know what I mean? Well, Whatever I, I think is like bad I said, is bad. Like I said, I tried to give examples. You weren't, you're just not going to let me give any sort of like ethical justification that is secular. I'll let you give any ju ethical justification you want, which is secular. Well, no, but you, you will call it relativism. It, it is it, relativism. Okay, well then, I mean, I'm kind of at a, I can't really do anything. And I, so if it's relativism, then asking me for any sort of justification is relative. So... Rel relative to what? I mean, to like, nothing, because that's your justification. But do you nothing. do you believe whether you'll give it or not? Do you believe you have an objective Christian ethicist justification for what is bad? Do you? Well, if you're making that claim, if you're if you're asking me this question, mm -hmm. do you believe in objective truth? I don't think so. No. Well, then why do you care what my answer would be? Because I'm, I mean, there, genuine it would curiosity. Not, no matter I, what I said. We would not objectively be true in your worldview, right? I mean, you... Thank you, Sean. Go ahead. <laughs> I just don't... I mean... I know it would not be objectively true, whatever you say in yeah, my worldview. Say. But... Because there is no standard for which is true. And so that's why we end up with relativism. And so when I tell you that what's I have... Wrong, what's bad about relativism? Well, here's what's bad about relativism, and it's reduction. So it works like this. If you have a standard, we both have a worldview. And if I have a standard for truth, that means I need to have something which is an invariant standard, meaning we can apply all standards to it. This would require a standard for knowledge and epistemology. Okay, So your knowledge has to have a standard, and it has to be a standard which has no variant. This is how we know if a thing is true or false. Would you agree with me that the laws of logic, which are required for us to have this debate, are objectively true? I mean, I'll say yes. I'll say yes. I don't well, have to no, think about are that they or aren't they? I don't. I really don't know. You I, don't know if the laws of I don't logic. Know if there, I don't are know if there is objective truth. Like, no. for instance, the law of non-contradiction. Can you be here in an outer space at the same time? No. Okay. Is that objectively a true statement? Yes. So, okay. what's your standard for that true statement? I guess experience and reason. Experience like, and reason? Yeah, I can reason that those things... But you are, just got done telling me there's no such thing as objective truth. Well, no, I'm agreeing with you now. There is... Now there, there is, is a such thing as an objective truth. I'm always, I'm always thinking and, and I'm always learning. And if there is a standard for objective truth, an invariable standard, which you cannot move away from, right? From your perspective, when we're talking about the laws of logic, you say these are true. Can you justify why we ought to use them? Can, I mean, the, no one, I mean, everything is argued in that way, just the same as Christian ethics. Can no. You ju can you justify why we ought to use Christian ethics? 
I can, but before I do, I'm, tr I'm trying to show yeah. you why the well, reduction I, here is wrong. I would argue that we ought to use secular ethics because it's not based on something that is not real. But it's subject. No, 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 it is because it's all subjective. And yet you just said that there's an objective standard for truth. But why should we have subjective morality if there's an objective standard for truth? If we have an objective standard for truth, wouldn't we want objective morals? Because we know I what, don't believe we that, know a thing can now be true, right? But I, I don't. But that's the thing. If you can't enforce a system of morals that is based on something that only a fraction of people believe, I mean, <laughs> well, if I, well, whether you can enforce it or not hmm. would not make it less true or false if it was moral, right? Sure. I guess. I guess I just struggle to understand how ethics based on religion, something that not everyone believes is somehow more objectively true than ethics based on, on something that nobody believes <laughs> on. I mean, there's lots of different secular epistemologies. They're all based on different things. Yeah, but they're I'm all not... based on just relativism. I... So you can't, the, the problem with it is you can't say that yours is better than mine. And, but so asking me for justification for mine's irrelevant. Who cares? No matter what, you're always in the position where it's just as valid as your position. And there's really nothing you can do about that. So asking me endlessly to make a justification for a thing which you have no just, I'm not trying to convince you that I'm correct, just trying to show you that we're always, always going to be equally justified in whatever it is that we want in society from your own worldview. There's nothing I could do which you could ever point to as being bad because it's just as morally justified as anything you do. I mean, that, that's all well and good, but in reality, I, it, there's a sense of like moral intuition and oh, how can you say that? Intuition. How can you say that like an, well, int an intuition is 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 wrong? Everybody doesn't have mo the same moral intuitions. No, but I think there are certain things that are like necrophilia. If we all had the same moral intuitions, and you think that that therefore those are the right morals? Not everyone has the same, but I think there are general things that we can agree on, and there's always going to be people who. Then why do we need feminism for all just moral people based on our intuitions? Well, I didn't say that feminism was a, was a moral thing. I didn't it's say that feminism moral. was morally right. So is it right? immoral? <laughs> no, I, I'm, I mean, it's not concerning morals. It, I, not, it's, it's not, not mor concerning morals? No, I think it's concerning the so way So egalitarianism people... isn't a moral position? No, I think it's... It, I no? mean, if you're, It's what... Well, I don't like not being treated equally. That's... You I don't mean, like it. Yeah. Right. And we can reduce your entire moral uh, epistemology down to... I don't like it, right? No. No? No. So what like can I we said, reduce it down to? I mean, intuition? My, my personal, I would intuition? say it's a combination of intuition, my experiences of the world, mm -hmm. and my ability to think and reason through But we things. all don't share the same intuitions, right? No, but I mean, there's a reason we have, we have classes of, of epistemologies. Clearly enough people agree on a certain standpoint that, it, that there's a school of it, a school of thought. I yeah, mean, for different yeah for different branches of knowledge, but actually that would make my point that we don't share the same intuitions, or that otherwise there wouldn't be so many different branches. No, I of would people who have epistem uh, or uh, theories of knowledge, right? I would agree that I, I mean, knowledge is a tough thing to pin down. I don't think anyone can really ever say what how we know what we know and and what is. Oh, uh, we can't, truth but we just know that there is objective truth by your own admission. I I'm going back and I don't know if there's objective truth. I haven't really thought so about it. So we can be having this conversation and not having this conversation at the same time existence is pretty absurd i don't know no. it's one of those so things existence not... itself is a contradiction it might be it might be yeah i don't right, spend a lot right. of time i won't thinking. look i won't belabor the point it yeah. feels it feels um it's kind of silly to do at this point but anyway brian do you want to move it on to anything else uh, i'll come back in just a second okay not one step back ever ever Shining bright in the dead of the night. Whiskey in my head, I would fight the skank all night. The Irishman is weeping here in a haunted tomb. Now the time has come for all of us to go. The ashless mic is bothering you. Devil's 304 is an echo in Does that make you feel better? Sound of ancient sorrow, skanks a suspend call. The heart is a slow and steady, 
Like a heartbeat in my room Lost souls crying out Trapped here with the cool Hey, you have a good one too, The Stone. Midnight fight, you got me in Boy, we got him. Boys, we got him. Want access to this music? You have to become a member to the Crucible dot video. We make everything ourselves. All of our content's original, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Next is Myron. I will not give up Myron to Sneeko. I will win him as well. One of these motherfuckers at a time, we're going to get them all. All of them. Not one step back. If I can get Brian, I can get Myron. We get them all. Every one of them. You ain't gonna let the Muslims have them. We're gonna take them ourselves. 